Tricks defy gravity. First ever land in triple stories history. Crashes echo with resilience, and the indomitable spirit of human determination resonates through every run. For these athletes, it's not just another event, it's the grand stage, the Coliseum of Dreams, where champions are crowned and legends are forged. Perfect 100. Yet, with glory comes the shadow of defeat. Athletes pushing boundaries, risking all, sometimes tasting the bitter cold of failure. Oh, oh my but from those lows rise stories of resilience, determination, and an unyielding spirit that defines the X Games. Come on, Megan. So, as the world watches, remember this. In Aspen, where highs touch the sky, games is carving the path to greatness. X Games goal. For these athletes, this is not just an event, it's the heartbeat of their year. Progression rolls on here in X Games Aspen. It is a beautiful day in the neighborhood for some action sports progression. Wouldn't you agree? The Rockies just showing off today. Welcome, my friends, to X Games Aspen 2024. Hello, everybody. My name is Salema Masakela. Proud to be your host on this ABC broadcast. And on this Saturday, we are excited for the Samsung men's slope style in ski as well as women's snowboarding coming up. But we just have to stop and take a break and recover from the incredible performances that went down last night. Friday night under the lights at X Games was all time. Chloe Kim, after a two-year break, taking a, some just some time for her mental health, comes back and gets a goal, throwing the first ever 1260 ever in the half pipe from a woman. The rookie, Liam Brearley, a former professional wakeboarder, the Canadian coming through, a last entry in the snowboard knuckle huck, defying logic. You see the smile, he likes gold. And then over in Ski Big Air, Troy Podmilsack, his first X Games last year, he finished in sixth place. He told his agent, he said, hey, next year, I'm gonna win. Throws the forward 2160 to make that promise come true. The smile says it all. And then the man with the red gloves, the dominator, Scotty James from Australia, making it three in a row. That switch backside 1260, only he can do it in the pipe. He's halfway towards Sean White's six feet. Today we kick things off with the Samsung Galaxy Men's Ski Slope Style course under a beautiful bluebird sky. And we're gonna check in with our analyst, the former gold medalist in Men's Ski Slope Style, Tom Wallace, for a little tiger talk on the quiet sled. Good morning. Good morning, Salema. It's a perfect day and the course looks amazing. I'm getting a first-hand look at these massive bottom two jumps. I imagine that Burke Rude and Mac Forehand, after underperforming in big air last night, are coming in with a, with a chip on their shoulder. 
That's correct. I think those guys both wanted some bigger tricks last night, both going for gold, did not want to settle for anything less. And I know they're both coming out here to send it in slope style, which is part of their forte, really. We've been talking about style being the new progression and creativity. What is it about this particular course that is really going to open up opportunities for that creativity and style? I think the big thing is the top section. We have four rail sections and only three jumps. And the rails give you a lot of opportunities that highlight your style, your creativity. So it's a bigger part of your score than those money booters at the bottom. Awesome. Thank you, Tom. Look forward to seeing you get up into the booth, and we'll throw it up to my main man, Jimmy Coleman. Take it away. Thank you very much, Lemma. As you can see, it is a bluebird day out here at Aspen Snowmass. Day two of three for competition out here. X Games Aspen 2024. And as the boys said, this is Samsung Galaxy Men's Ski Slope Style. Jimmy Coleman here in the booth alongside Tom Wallace. And I have one question for you, sir. How did you get here that fast? You were just on a sled, and now you're here mic'd up and ready to go. Those sleds got a lot of power and a lot of speed. <laughs> and so excited to be here and outside at the bottom of the venue looking up at this perfect course on a perfect day. Ten skiers in the lineup out here today in Samsung Galaxy Men's Ski Slope Style. Uh, three runs, best run counts, but let's talk about Colby Stevenson. He's won this thing twice, 2020 and last year. Yeah, Colby Stevenson, so good, so creative, and he's got so much style through the whole course, but so much talent on this start list. You got Henrik Carlo, who is just the phenom of skiing. Everybody's favorite skier, Mac Forehand, Alex Hall, Bert Groot, who's been on a tear this last few years. This is going to be an amazing showcase of slope style skiing. Four different slope style gold medalists in the field. Andre Regetli, he's won this thing twice. Alex Hall has a gold, as we mentioned. Colby Stevenson with two, and as you just mentioned, Henrik. Carlo has one as well. Eight in the field has at least a slope style medal or more. We started off with Max Moffitt. He came into big air as an alternate last night, had to settle for eighth, and now he finds himself here starting off Samsung Galaxy Mint Ski Slope Style. He does own a silver medal in this event, by the way. It's from here in Aspen in 2022, Tom. Yeah, Max really smooth, competed in big air last night, came in as an alternate, had so much fun with it. You see this guy's always got a smile on his face, and the big breakdown on the course this year, there are a lot of rail features up top. I've been talking to the athletes. Some of them are a little shorter, and they're all really tight, so you have to be really on your A game when you're doing these technical and stylish tricks to connect one rail into the other and then wait to get down into the money booter. Four rail sections, three jumps, Three runs per athlete. It's the best run that counts using a 100-point scale. You saw Max Moffat there squeaking that 1270 around. The rest of the rails are really clean, including that hand plant misty five over that final rainbow. So that first jump there, you have that shark fin, so kind of an angle takeoff going into the last couple of jumps here. And the, the trick is with the shark fin this year, there's not two options. It's only that left side wall of a half pipe. So everybody's going to be hitting that one. It's mandatory. And here, Max, just doing the seven at the end. I think slowly that run was just not falling apart, but it wasn't perfection. He wasn't getting the amplitude and the pure movements on the rail section up top. So you just know with eight talented, everybody in the field with an X Games medal, you got to be so perfect and you got to do the most technical, most amazing run. So just kind of slowing it down and then just taking that as a speed run at the end. So again, we're working Sketchy off of... Rails. We got two more, let's go. So sketchy rails, I got two more, let's go. But again, 100 point scale. So Max is going to settle for a 52 to set the bar here. The good news is when you have to go first, that puts you in the top yep. spot, no matter what the score is. Moving on to this gentleman right here, Henrik Harlow. Look at those hardware accolades to his name. 2018 Ski Slope Style gold medalist. Henrik Harlow is everybody's favorite skier. He's been competing for so long, a legend of the sport, so many accolades to his name, and so many film parts as well. He's so beloved in the ski scene for his style and his technicality and all those film accolades. So great to see him back on course, bringing that signature Henrik style with that double flat 900 there. There's the right side trick. Judges want to see you spinning to the left and the right to show that variety. Bottom jump here. Oh, Henrik with the cap oh. 10 with that signature style. It's 
diving forward. It's not necessarily a double flip. It's like the double flat, double rodeo, and just coming up a little short on the rotation there, but with such a steezy run from Henrik, and just so amazing to see him out here. He's been doing it forever and still doing it at a high level. Slow that down, he grips the edge. Anytime you stop that rotation and go back the other direction. <laughs> so he'll settle for a 25 right there and scrap that one. Remember, out of your three runs, it's the best run to count. So I like that reaction though. He says, ah, that, that was unnecessary. Uh, Evident McEachern out of Canada coming up next. 15 X game starts. He has two medals, a silver from right here in Aspen in 2020 in slope style and a bronze from 2021 in slope style. No, a bobble on the rail there. I mean, like I said earlier, these rails are quick, tight, so much metal side to side, and they're a huge part of your run. The reason you're going to see some of these athletes trying really difficult tricks on the rails and then kind of ruining their whole run is because they are a bigger aspect of your score. The judges take every feature into account, and with four rail elements and three jump elements, a higher percentage of your score technic technically will come from those rail tricks. So Evan with the bobble on the first rail, just going to have to wait and try again next run. But I talked to him just before this event started, and if he's feeling it and he gets those rails, he's going to attempt to do two 1800s in his run, Jimmy. Two back-to-back, -back, that's five plus five, ten full rotations in the period of like 12 seconds. So with 38.33 there for Evan. So again, looking to throw that one out and looking to rounds two and three. So again, just to recap the format, 10 athletes out here. They're each going to get three runs. Judges are working off of a 100-point scale, and it is the best run that counts out here that hopefully gets you on the podium here for Samsung Galaxy Men's Ski Slope Style. As we mentioned at the top of the show, eight in the field all have at least one slope style medal. We have four returning gold medalists in the lineup. This gentleman that you're looking at right now, he happens to have a couple of slope style medals. He owns three of them. He owns one silver and two bronze. This is Norway's Ferdinand Dahl. Yeah, Ferdy is always a threat at X Games. Kind of step back from the competition world, no longer competing in the World Cups or doing anything that way, but always comes out to Aspen with flavor and style. He's got his own clothing company and always bringing some extra flair that just seems to boost him up onto the podium. And another athlete having trouble with the rails. I know everybody at home might be asking, why aren't they doing some of their bigger tricks on these jumps? But slope style, the whole run is scored together. It's like a full routine you have to put together and you need to do great on the rails, great on the jump. So as soon as one element is, of that is a bobble or a miscue, there's no reason to push the limits in the others. You can't make it up. It has to be that full performance, the full pull, if you would, to get that score really high out of 100. Taking a look on the Samsung Galaxy Ultra View here from Ferdinand's first attempt. Such a cool view to see. That's the bio rotation diving forward. Really cool shot. And Ferdy, another one of these athletes that's going to have to look to that second run. But there are three runs. I love that. A lot of opportunity. And with this talent, with three runs, every one of these athletes is going to be able to put down a solid run. We saw a similar situation last year with some low scores. And as we got deeper into the competition, people started to figure it out. But right now, Max Moffitt sits in that top spot with a 52. We now move on to a Swiss skier here. This is Andre Rigetli, Aspen 2024. This is his 11th X Games appearance. He is a two-time ski slope style gold medalist. Andre very classic on the first rail. Seen him do a lot of that front side switch up, front side rotation out. Smooth there on the disaster. So gapping to that second down. And there another 450 spinning out of that rail. So big combinations. And wrapping up a 1440. This is shaping up to be a massive run for Andre Rigetli. Left, so spinning right on the shark fin. Left 16 on the center jump. Final jump, big run. Gets the Buick grab and reaches over the switch. That is a huge run in the first full pool with massively technical runs. Andre Rigetli, no stranger to competitions. And you can see the excitement there as he exhales at the bottom of that run. Take another look here.
gets that tail grab, comes around on the 16, 24 and a half full rotation. And that's Thayer's unreal height meter all the way up. There's the Buick grab. Came into the scene from Alex Hall. Two hands on that left ski and the landing is perfect. So back to back 16s. Easily going into first. You can see the relief on his face from that one. And we are into the 90s in the first Let's round. Go. Audrey Rigetli with a 93 flat. No surprise. That puts him in the top spot. Well, we're just getting started here at Samsung Galaxy Men's Slope Style. We'll be back with more when we return to Aspen. X Games Aspen is brought to you by the new Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. And Thayer's Natural Remedies for better looking skin. Freezers? How unusual is this for a restaurant? I think that that's unusual because a lot of restaurants have freezers. But we don't have freezers. We have fresh food every single day. How fresh is fresh? It's real food that's coming to our tables. That's what sets us apart. Wow. With Thayer's Go Deep or Go Home. Snow Mushroom and Hyaluronic Acid. One, Milky Cleanser. Two, Cushion with Milky Toner. Three, Deeply Hydrate with new Soak It Up Liquid Moisturizer. It hydrates for 80 hours. Thayer's. We all remember waking up to that first blanket of white. The promise of long days playing outside. But while we were out having fun, our winters became less predictable. And now, our playground is in danger. At Taiga, we know that the only way to keep riding is to respect our environment. No noise, no emissions, 100% electric. Taiga, explore differently. Milky Toner. It does more than pours. It hydrates for 48 hours. Snow Mushroom and Hyaluronic Acid takes skin from dry to dewy. Milky Toner from Thayer's. Good Ooh. morning. It's nice to see you all. Thank you so much for joining us for day two of X Games Aspen 2024. We're underway. Yep. Skiing's going off. Yeah. My name's Jack Matrani. Gabby Maiden. In the house. Yeah. Uh, I want to start off by addressing what I'm seeing in the chat. I'm seeing yes. a lot of vote graph off. What is this graph? Well, um, so basically, TV's not even seeing that graph. It's just the internet stream. And the graph is essentially the heart rate. So as you see these spikes before the skiers take off, it's kind of cool that you're seeing it, but yeah. I understand that it's interfe interfering with your viewing experience, so we're gonna adjust it. We're gonna make it a little smaller. Thank you for the feedback. And that is the beauty right. of a watch along because we're all a part of this together, all right? We and we see you and we hear see you. you. We hear you, we got you. We got you. Uh, yesterday was insane. Oh my God. Like, what happened? So I, much happened. I mean, Chloe Kim. Return of Chloe Kim. The return of Chloe, first ever 1260 by a woman in a pipe. And it was Switch. Cab and it 12. It was Switch, it was Cab, that's and, right. And she didn't even have to do it. It was on her victory lap. It was right. insane. Oh my Scotty God. James still on top. Scotty did it, three Pete. Liam Brearley takes home his first X Games medal, happens to be gold in Knuckle Huck. Yep, that was bad him. to the bone. And um, he was like a last minute. Yeah, he wasn't in. even invited until like a week ago. And he just Yep, and then it. yeah, so yesterday was insane. We got yeah. Saturday is insane. Twelve hours of action sports, skiing and snowboarding. It's gonna be a blast. Woo, let's but go. stay with us all day. Um, if you're watching this, we love you. Uh, share the stream. Let's get everybody watching. We got more men's ski slope style coming up for the Samsung Galaxy. Let's get it. Woo.
just a snippet of some of the Samsung sites of the week, and that was just from day one yesterday, and we're just kicking off day two out here as we are smack dab in the middle of round one here in Samsung Galaxy Men's Ski Slope Style. We got Jesper Shatter coming up next, but first, let's learn a little bit more about this course out here in this GoPro course preview. Hi, this is Jesper Shade. Welcome to X Games Aspen. We're here at the Slopestyle setup to bring you the GoPro course preview. Just below me is a set of four jib sections, and then there's three big jumps. Let's check it out. All right, you ready? All right, my dude, let's go. Enjoy. At the top, there's so many different rails and so many different ways to approach it, so you gotta find your own line and be creative with it. I like this line. jump section there's three jumps first one is like a shark fin like a quarter pipe hit sideways into a big landing second jump is a 65 foot gap you gotta go fast maintain your speed between all the jumps to clear them last jump the money booter the big air jump it's a 70 foot gap so it's quite huge and that's where you're gonna see all the big tricks yes <laughs> That was sick. That was fun. Woo. Absolutely amazing to see Jesper take us through it. The point of view you get from that GoPro camera and seeing the size and scale of the jumps and the closeness of the rail features. So amazing to see that angle of this Samsung Galaxy slope style course. Well, Jesper is due up next. He has 12 prior X Games appearances. He does not have any slope style hardware. As a matter of fact, he has one X Games medal. It's a gold from last year. He earned that in Knucklehuck. It might go unnoticed how technical that first rail trick was. Came on switch and then did the back three switch up, popping over his tails on that transfer. And there, a huge transfer. We saw it in the course preview, gapping all the way over that one rail with the 450. Jesper's got a huge run together, technical rails, 1440 on the shark fin, similar to Andre. There's that double misty and stopping the rotation to land switch. On this final one, does he do that pretzel rotation as well? He does! His best finish in slope style out here was in 2020 in Norway. He was knocking on the door of the podium. He had to settle for fourth, but that's his best finish in eight starts in this event. There's another look at that top rail I was talking about. It's so difficult to jump backward off your heels. And there, that transfer, so big. Slow-mo on this one, you can really see. It looks like he's gonna go to 1080, stops the rotation. Same with this one. Looks like it's gonna be a 900 and brings it back. That is a trick only Jesper Shatter can do. So again, if you're just joining this three runs, best run counts, it's a 100 point scale. Andre Regetli, before we went to break, posted up a 93. What are the judges gonna think about Jesper Shatter and that first attempt? We're into the 90s with the Swede. He's gonna jump into second place right there. So there you go. Now it's Rigetli, Shatter, and Moffitt. You're one, two, three. What and a big first run there for Jesper, Tom. I got to say, this new format or the judges' criteria looking for style and creativity is really lending a hand to Jesper's skiing and his technicality on rails and that creativity on the jumps. Mac forehand out of Stratton, Vermont, doing next. Three total medals for him in four X Games appearances. Mac holding it together there, the first super fed rail trick and able to just hold it together despite kind of bobbling on the rail. Another big trick, the 360 switch up. So doing a full rotation from sliding one direction, landing the same direction on the rail. And it's on these jumps that Mac Forehand really excels. Last year's X Games gold medalist in big air. He has those big rotations, including up to 2160. Here at the bottom, it's a triple cork, the first triple cork of the day. 1440 triple cork, locked in grab. So, another full pull, maybe a slight bobble or two up top, but those jumps were incredibly smooth. There's that shark fin feature. So you see it's a quarter pipe takeoff, almost like the super pipe style, but only on the left wall. So every athlete has to hit that. And here's that Samsung Galaxy flow motion, slow down, watch this grab. So he can do the 1440 here, 
and we saw him in big air last night do that trick as an 1800 so now that he put one run down are we gonna see the 1800 coming in runs two and three it'll put him in that number three spot with an 82.66 you mentioned big air had to settle for fifth last night he's doing this this weekend with an injured back he hurt himself about a month ago lifting a snowmobile he's definitely not feeling 100 percent i was talking to his dad earlier and he said you know it's just kind of day by day hour by hour but he, you know he said he doesn't want to want to come out here and go for first not second or third he's aiming for gold out here today love it taking a look our first look here in slope style at park city utah's alex hall who ended up with a silver medal last night in big air Oh, and their signature Alex Hall style. You see, he always has the ability to add just a bit of flavor to the run, tapping the noses on that switch 270, and here getting technical with those final rails. Alley-oop on the shark fin. First athlete we're seeing spinning that alley-oop direction, so spinning up the hill, not spinning down the hill off that takeoff. Switch left, 1260. Alex Hall, will we see something creative? This is that double court. Oh! So the reason I'm a little underwhelmed, the double court, it looked perfect. He lands forward. He wanted to land backwards there. He does that right side double cork. And what makes the trick so cool is that he stops it from going to 10 and is able to land it at 900. So this is great to see just for the viewer's sake that unfortunately for him, he messed it up this run. But next run, when he does get that trick, you'll see that's why it's so difficult to stop his momentum in the air, use his hips to slow it down and land switch. Taking a look inside the judges booth there on the Samsung tablets tallying the action or what do they think of that run by Alex? So yeah, a 77.33. So that's only going to be good enough for fourth place as of right now. But keep in mind, this is round one. We have three rounds total. It is the best run that counts out here at Samsung Galaxy men's ski slope style. This is Burke Rood out of Oslo, Norway. Burke looking for a little bit of redemption after uh, last night's big air event. Yeah, uncharacteristically, Burke Rude was going for such technical tricks in big air. Unfortunately, not able to put him down. And he is, it's been years almost since he's missed a podium. He is so competitively sound and so technical that he's just always one to watch for. And the hair, the revert, it was the final rail, unfortunately. The run was going so good and just came off that final rail a little early and that's why he just resets knows that the rails are a big part of your score and you need to grind the whole rail they're not incredibly long so if you are to come off early and leave metal left to be slot slid you're not going to get the good score he has five X Games medals total in nine appearances, but all of those coming in big air, he does not have any X Games slope style hardware. Yeah. So Andre Brigetli sitting in that top spot with a 93. Jesper Shatter in second with a 90. And Mac Forehand right now sitting in third place with an 82.66 as we await the score here. So it's going to be a 34 for Burke. So throwing that one out, looking to rounds two and three. Right now, let's check in with the third member of our team. It's Kristen Beat. Thanks, Jimmy. In slope style, there's choreography involved. Which tricks to uncork and where? Colby Stevenson, who won this event last year, told me he uses visualization to piece his performance together. He'll imagine his run a hundred times before ever competing. He said it triggers the same nerve response in his body. And guys, a lot of these athletes are tapping into that mental skills coaching with a playbook at work for this event. Yeah, and you kind of hinted, I mean, you talked about this earlier. I mean, you need a variety of things. I mean, it's so technical with those rail options at the top. You need the best of both worlds there with the technicality on the rails and then sending it on the jumps, going big at the bottom of the course. Yeah. It's Colby Stevenson here in for his first of three attempts. Putting that whole run together like... Kristen said it is it's a whole ensemble it needs to be a flow from top to bottom not just an individual amazing trick Colby Stevenson oh, oh. got a little deep and gets tossed on that one 
looks to be okay. I talked to him just before practice ended. He said that shark fin feature has an interesting shape today, and he's one of the only guys hitting that thing backwards, switch, and looks like he just got swooped out by the verticalness of that feature. Let's see if he free spun that a little bit. Yeah, that ski opens up, and he's just flipping so fast, comes around on that switch 14, and it's so high impact being that high off the ground into that landing. So your defending gold medalist finds himself at the bottom of the pack right now. But again, we've talked about it multiple times. It's worth repeating right now. Three runs out here in Samsung Galaxy Minsky slope style. It is the best run that counts. So as of right now, it's Andre Regetli sitting in the top spot with a 93 flat. One round in the books, two more to go. We'll be back with more after this message and a word from our ABC stations. I don't know if you guys What are you can, doing there, Jack? I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm making a graph over here <laughs> of the schedule today because there's just so much going on and some of my favorite tricks. Yeah. Did you see that tail graph? Yeah. Or cr grab. Sorry, <laughs> tail grab. Chad, I just love you guys. This is so much fun. This you is guys are the best. Yeah. Um, but I got to say, so far so good, Regatli throwing down. Mm -hmm. I definitely want to see Colby Stevenson land that double off that of that sick. side hit because that was ginormous. That side hit is awesome. People are getting really creative on that. Yeah. Aside from the graph chat, um, who are you guys rooting for? I haven't seen really yeah. any comment. <laughs> besides just the besides graph. the graph. So let's get let's get back to competition. Yeah. Who are you guys excited to see? I'm really really interested. Me too. I'm checking too. I want to see Mac forehand. I do want to see Alex Hall put it down. I know, Alex. I want to um, get going. Oh, here's our here's our schedule. Lots to come. Oh yeah. Samsung Galaxy men's ski slope style. We're in it. We're almost halfway through. Yep. Thayer's women's snowboard knuckle hawk for the first time ever. Very excited about that one. So sick. We got Thayer's women's ski knuckle hawk. That's going to go off. And then Ooh. the OKX snowboard street style, which yes. someone very cool might be competing in. Does anyone know who's competing in that? Yeah. Chat, do you guys know? <laughs> here we go. Jesper. Everyone's saying Jesper, Mac. Okay, here we go. There we go. Henrik, yes, Henrik's killing it. Yes, that's right. Gabby is competing. It will be. This I... afternoon, and she'll be commentating while she's competing, so extra credit. Um, <laughs> we'll try. Uh, Craig is going to be doing it, too. He's going to be also <laughs> chatting. Jack, you will be part of it as well. I'll be chatting. Yeah, you'll be chatting. I'll be chatting on TikTok, so come hang TikTok. out with us over yeah. there. It's going to be sick. Um, for the rest of the day, Chipotle Women's Ski Super Pipe, the return of Eileen Gu. Very excited for that. Pacifico Women's Ski Big Air, Yip. Tesla Du, Mathilde Grimal, that's going to be another battle. Pacifico oh. Men's Snowboard Big Air, that's starting at 19 o'clock PT, uh, 7 o'clock PM, if my math is correct. <laughs> and then there's Men's Ski Knucklehawk to close out the show. And from what we saw yesterday in Knucklehawk, it's going to be a it's darn be good time. It's going to be wild. I'm really excited to see what's going to be thrown down. Yeah, me too. I and um, what? I'm really excited. Oh, yeah, check this out. Yo, we need your help, chat. Look at the bottom left of the screen right now. 0% complete oh, on man. our race to subscribers. So if you love X Games, please give us a little share. Text your friends. We're trying to get to 500. Join up. I'm not even going to tell you what I'm going to do, but... It might involve something like this. If you were joined with us yesterday, yes. I got this jersey, and then I decided it'd be cool to get it signed by all of our guests, and then also spill coffee all over it under the Which X. It's extra special. And we're gonna give it away tomorrow. So make sure to hang with us all day to find out how to win this thing, and then we will be announcing a winner tomorrow. Yeah, we'll be doing some polls behind the scenes. Constant interviews. We got a lot of good interviews today. Yeah, I'm yeah. excited. Who are you excited to talk to today? Oh my gosh, I have so many. I mean, we're going to talk to Salema Masakela. Of course, the GOAT. Legend. Yep. Um, we're going to talk to Trevor Andrew. We're going to talk to uh, Jason Ellis. Zeb. We are going to talk to Scotty. We're going to talk to Mia. But yeah, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. Speaking of great, let's get back into the Samsung Galaxy Men's Ski Slope Style. 
Let's get it. We're forging connections with people and our planet by letting small, singular moments give way to something bigger. This is where nature meets culture and a storied past meets a fresh perspective. And this season, new terrain meets new memories as we celebrate the opening of Heroes, 153 new acres of skiing and riding on Aspen Mountain. Whether you're exploring our 5,600 acres of terrain or simply connecting with the community, you'll discover that here, passion meets purpose and the possibilities for transformation are endless. Visit AspenSnowMass.com and carve a new line with us this season. Flight on the menu, you've come to the right restaurant. Here's Liam Rearley. Oh my good word! 2160! Oh. <laughs> Scotty James has every trick. of day one action courtesy of our friend at Bears and how about that finish last night at Pacifico Men's Ski Big Air on the last run for Troy he takes home X Games gold tripod melt sack that 2160 blew my mind final run to put it down in the pressure and with snowboard knuckle huck and the super pipe action it was all out mayhem to get x games aspen 2024 started well there is a shot of your current leader here in samsung galaxy mint ski slope style that is andre regetli one round is in the books there's three rounds here in this event we're about to start round number two he sits in that top spot jesper shatter sits in second right now with a 90 and mac Forehand sitting in third with an 82.66. It's the best run that counts as we bring back in Canada's Max Moffat. Go! Max sitting two spots out of podium contention right now. He's in fifth. Starting off real smooth. That's the super fed with the 450 out. That's where he had a slight bobble in run number one. So already smoother. Switch 450 to switch. No! Oh, and the frustration, you can see it from Max. I don't know if he wanted to go to switch there, if he needed to land forward, but either way, the slight bobble and then has to pull out of these jumps and the frustration mounting. Three runs, so he still has another chance to put that full run together, the full ensemble of tricks, but it is so difficult to put that run down in run three after having those bobbles in the first two. The frustration, the build, it's so much easier when you're Andre or Jesper or Max, somebody that has a run down to build on it because your confidence is high and Max is going to have to forget that that happened. As Ted Lasso said, think like a goldfish <laughs> and get back up there and just start over. Yeah, down but not out. Again, it's best run that counts here, but it definitely puts the pressure on him here going into that third and final round. So he'll throw that one up, stick in that number five position. Yes, out. Sweet Henrik Harlow. He has the most ski medals in X Games history at 13 in total. Henrik finds himself sitting down there at the bottom of the pack right now in ninth. Henrik also has a record for the most barks barked at X Games. Always having fun with it, bringing some hip hop style, barking, wearing the, the most insanely stylish clothing. So fun to watch and he is smooth through those rails. That 450, stopping it to forward was perfect. And that double flat spin, he's doing it so differently. All of his rotations are so unique. This bottom hit, he's the only one that spins on that flat variety rather than the cork rotation. It's so flat, holding the critical grab. It's like Dave Crichton from the old days. It's poked out, the leg kicked out. There's a, there's a couple right, right, dog right, right. barks for there you. There you go, I was waiting for him to do it. You called it out and there it was, the Henrik Bark. <laughs> You get the bonus round, you get the bonus part. Watch this style, the 450. He might be a little corked on that rotation, but his skis are always together in the landing. And then here's what I'm talking about. Gets that critical grab and look at it, poked out the leg, flying back into that Daffy sort of style. I mean, he's just got flavor. There is spice to this run that no one else can add but the legendary Henrik Harlow. 
So look at it clicks that 25. So he gets an 85.66. So he'll overtake Matt Forehand. There you go. There's there's the third bark. We got the trifecta on the Henry Harlow barks. He's in podium contention for right now here in round two. So as we talked about earlier, once you get that pressure off, you get one down. It kind of it opens it up there for the, the third and final round. This is Samsung Galaxy men's ski slope style. We are just kicking off round number two of three out here. Best run that counts. We're getting ready to send Evan McEachern. So fans weighing in, not the highest scoring, but definitely one of the best looking runs. We'll see, there's still lots of skiing left to go here before we hand out some medals. Let's see what Evan Kecker can do in his second attempt. He sits in eight places of right now. He's already off to an exponentially better start. That first rail trick, four and 450 out. So that bobble is gone, forgot about it. These rails are technical, the transfer there and the front four. Let's see if he goes huge like he did in practice. The double flat's been 900 massive. I don't know how he holds on to that. He's so high in the air doing that double flat spin. There's an 18. 1,800 to the right. Does he mirror it? Will we see two 1,800s? He does. He puts it down. Kekrin back to back 1,800s. I don't know if I've really ever seen him put those down so well. Did you see the pop that he had coming off of that shark fin and the speed that he had going into those last two jumps? Whoops. Oh. Look at this first rail trick, the 450, 450 out, so technical. This whole run has so much technicality. If I were to take anything out of it, there's just these landings. A couple of these bobbles, because he goes so high. We got the height meter as high as it can go on the Thayer's height meter because of this technicality. It's two 1800s, this one. The tail grab is amazing, landing solid. It was that switch right side. That was tough. Look at the digital host in there, Jack Matrani and Gabby Maiden. They're in the athlete lounge. Look at that reaction right there. Jack's face says it all on that one. He had a 38.33 to start that one off. So he gets an 87.66, and he's going to jump ahead of Henrik Harlow. So Evan McEachern now looking at a potential bronze medal here in round number two. We've got Ferdinand Dahl coming up, but before we drop him, let's learn a little more about him as he is the feature of our Monster Athlete Profile. My name is Ferdinand Dahl. I am 25 years old from Oppegård, Norway. I think there's a lot of similarities between competition skiing and film skiing. At the end of the day, it boils down to expressing yourself and showcasing your skills. I tried to have a, as little difference on my competition skiing and film skiing as possible. If I learn a trick while competing and bring it to a whole other feature or element, it's a very nice feeling. Here's that flip, let's see if he goes for it again. Super hyped to come back and compete in slope. This is his first time getting all the way through the course double. Wow, that was really incredible. So a little insight there into Ferdy. He does own three X Games medals in this event. He owns one silver and two bronze. Currently, he finds himself in that number eight spot as of right now, looking to get rid of a 46.66. Really cool to see that breakdown too and see how he takes these tricks from the film realm, from the backcountry in the urban environments into the park and from the park into those other elements of skiing. That's why he's beloved in the scene. That's the fast slide. So fast slide and back slide, the one footers in skiing when you're balancing on just one of your skis, so difficult to balance on that narrow ski. Here's that switch double bio. Looking for the Japan grab. I have to take another look to see if he got it. And here, going triple cork, Ferdinand Dahl on the final jump. He is not here to just do all stylish maneuvers. He's also here to go upside down. Through. However, remember, best run that counts out here in Samsung Galaxy, men's ski slope style. Andre Regetli 
The Swiss skier sitting in the top spot as of right now. He posted up a 93 flat the last go around. The only other skier thus far to score in the 90s, Jesper Shatter. Smooth again up top. The front side switch up front side, 450 out. There's another big front side spin with that 630 out. These rails have so much spinning, so much technicality. Left and right side, so two different 450s. So Andre known for the technicality always. And here's that 1440 to the right. Then expect some big left side rotations to finish this off. 16 again, will we see him step it up from the 16 on the bottom jump? Diving forward, gets the grab, 1800, Andre Rigetli. <laughs> Two big runs out here for Andre. Again, coming into this one, your current leader, he boosted up a 93 flat that first go around. He's won this thing two times before. He's got a gold medal at slope style from 2020 in Norway and 2022 right here in Aspen. There's the 450 to the left. So two different 450s there and so smooth on the jumps. Let's take a look, reaches back, gets that tail grab. That's a 16, and we saw him step it up on the last jump, spinning the 1800. We're gonna slow this thing down. Take a look, this is the Buick grab. Watch here as he reaches back for it. You can see that hand right on there. So solid, so contorted with the body to get all the way over to it and then come around, gets that other hand on it right there. So that is just so impressive that he's able to get both of those grabs in an 1800. I mean, the biggest trick we've seen so far today. If you're sitting at home, I say this all the time, and I know it sounds corny, but sit on your couch and try to reach over and grab both hands onto that other foot. Like this is, they're doing some yoga out here on course, Jimmy. I was wondering when you were gonna mess with that Telestrator. You just channeled your inner John Madden right there. Very impressive. Just dropped a heater at X Games. Yes, he did, he's dropped two. We're at the halfway point here. We'll have the conclusion of Samsung Galaxy Slope Style when we return. Ask and you shall receive. All right, that guys, we got rid of the graph for you. You happy now? <laughs> I hope so, because <laughs> my gosh, that was hard to read anything but graph this, graph that. Look at this graph. Look at this photograph. Every time I do it, it makes me laugh. <laughs> that was good. Yeah. Well, hey, look, honestly, that's what this is all about. You know, it's supposed to be, in, you know, inspired by this community, and so... Your voice is heard, even though we can't hear you. Now we can read it. Oh, now you want it back. We're bringing the graph back. Oh, my gosh. Enough talk kidding? about this. That's All funny. right. So we still have run three to go. Still rooting for Alex Hall. I'm still rooting yeah. for Colby Stevenson. Going to come up. Mac for him. Andre Regret uh, Regret Regretly is throwing down. He's on fire. Um, we got Knuckle Huck coming up here, the women's for the first time ever. Here's a little bit of, if you didn't see so this exciting. yesterday, I know we got a lot of ski fans in the chat. So we got more Knuckle Huck coming up today, women's ski and snowboard. If you missed it last night, it was quite a show. This is Liam Breerly in his rookie appearance. He got the invite in the last world. week, yeah, which was crazy. Yeah. And he said a lot of these things, a lot. he has never tried that before in his life. Really? That was yesterday. That was the first time we did that. Yep. That's so sick. Well, that's what happens with Knuckle Hug, right? You're just kind of going with the flow of what you're feeling in the moment. Exactly. Getting inspired by the other riders and just going for it. So and that's sick. Exactly. So, as you can see, no graph on the screen. Uh, <laughs> the graph is gone. If you're happy the graph is gone, do us a favor. We did you, we did you a Give favor. Some hearts. We need a favor from you. Help us hit that followers goal. We're yes. zero out of 500. All you got to do is just send it to one friend. Yeah. If one, if every one of you sends this stream to one friend and says hit the follow, that's going to be an easy one. It's nice when we all win. W's in the chat if you're having a good time. Saturday morning, we got a huge, humongous day of X Games. I know. I'm excited. What are you most excited about? I mean, I'm, I'm obviously excited for the street. I think it's going to be sick. It's the first time in years that they've been doing this. And, and there's a lot of really fantastic riders that are here. A lot of creativity will be thrown down. Yes, indeed. And um, 
just yeah, that's that's gonna be awesome. It's what about awesome. you? What are you? What are you feeling? I'm feeling this this graph on the screen right now of the global um, audience yes. that we have. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, yeah. So here is a look at the different time zones in the world uh, for the Thayer's Women Snowboard Knuckle Huck. It's coming up after this. Eleven yep. thirty p.m. <coughs> I actually think. Look at Taylor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yay. We're gonna see. Sarah Hoffman. Oh, this is the ski side of things. Lisa Zimmerman. I am lineup. so excited to watch this for the first time ever. Knuckle Huck is by far one of my favorite events. Knuckle it's Huck the, is sick. It's the most relatable. It's the most creative. It really brings it back to the roots. You know, yeah. it's not all about who can spin the most, flip the most. Who can get creative? Just having fun, and too. And who's having fun? Yeah. I mean, I think fun... Having an event that fun is rewarded is amazing. Yep. Oh, and look, we've got the polls here. Looks like we want to see Dusty Ooh, Hendricks, we got two. Look at that. Hendrickson and Mia Brooks. We'll get them, but in the meantime, let's go finish up this Samsung Galaxy Menski Slope Style. Love you guys. Well, there you go. The announcement was made. X Games Summer Edition is back in Ventura. The end of June this year. You can find out more over at xgames.com. You can also get your official X Games merch for swag and rights. Get your X Games Aspen Limited Edition merch right now. All you have to do is go to shop.xgames.com. Those lucky fans, they just have to go down to the merch booth and pick theirs up. But what an awesome day out here. Day two of three of competition out here. X Games Aspen 2024, Bluebird conditions on this Saturday afternoon as we are smack dab in the middle of Samsung Galaxy men's ski slope style. Get ready to take our second look here at Jesper Shatter. Now the last go around, Jesper bumped himself up into second place with a 90 flat, Tom. Yeah, and it is the new, not the new format, but the, the push from the judges to look for creativity and variety say yes for there with the 630 so already stepping up the rail technicality here there's that 1440 the 630 on that transfer is so difficult and here are these jumps they're smaller degrees of rotation so not as many flips not as many spins but watch that pretzel at the end Jesper taking that push from the judges toward creativity straight to heart and that run I mean the rails were better the jumps were just as solid to me that's got to be an improvement from the judges watch you can really see from that angle how far that transfer is that's a solid 15 20 feet three to five meter difference transferring to the right and here's that final jump watch that left arm and right arm let go and he does that body tweak twist how does he get that? It's it's like it's a cat out of a window. He twists his body and it just lands on his feet. So you said you think that's going to be an improvement. He had a 90 the first go around, and then nine. Excuse me, he needs a 93.33. He ends up one point shy of that. A 92.33 stays in second place, but he gives himself a two point buffer of breathing room right there. Nicely done there by Jesper. And as I said before, he owns a knucklehawk gold, but that's his only set of X Games hardware. So looking at the potential slope style medal out here today as of right now. Speaking of slope style medals, this gentleman walked away with a silver in this event last year. He finds himself in the number five position right now. It's Matt Forehand. And you can see a little Instagram love there for Matt Forehand. Also filming with faction skis in, in the backcountry, in the streets always doing technical stuff that's why he's got the hurt back for picking up that snowmobile probably trying to dig himself out from a nice stuck but he's back on course and this is honestly where he's the most comfortable so solid skis every day nine to four he is a force in the park and look at that tail grab the switch 1260 so perfect will he see the 1800 potentially on this bottom jump he's doing it is he gonna put it down yeah. Make Absolutely gigantic triple cork 1800 so smooth through the rails and then spinning to the moon on that 
last and final jump. That is a trick that scored a huge score last night in big air. And he's just deciding, you know what? It's not just a big air trick. I'm bringing it all out in X Games slope style. Take another look at this whole run. The double cork nine. Look at that grab right underfoot. We're going all the way up again on the Thayer's height meter for this one. Mac Forehand wants some redemption after last night's big air finish. Look at this set. He's so upright at the start. It's unlike anyone else's in the game. Wraps it in the middle there and then just comes around. I don't know how he gets that around. This one is different than it looked last night. It's so upright at the beginning and just has to wobble it around and goes so far down the landing. Absolutely huge run for Mac Forehand. Had to settle for fifth in big air last night. He was sitting in fifth place pre-run. What is it gonna be? He needed 87.66 or better to jump in a metal condition. He's into the 90s at 95.33. Your silver medalist from last year just put himself two points ahead of our previous leader. It's now Matt Forehand, Audrey Regetli, and Jesper Shatter. Three scores into the 90s if you're trying to get a medal out here as of right now. Nicely done, Mac Forehand, hurt back and all. Alex Hall due up next. But Alex is about to give us the lowdown on how he prepares for ski slope style in our Pacifico Discover More. My name is Alex Hall and I am from Salt Lake City, Utah and I'm a slope style and big air skier. Yeah, I guess for, for trick selection for events, it's always kind of tough. What I'm looking for the most in my runs is like a good variety of style, creativity, technicality, and then hopefully it'll score well on top of that. Opening your mind up to hit stuff that isn't necessarily meant for skiing. I think it's helped me a ton. I mean, there's several events where, you know, I've thought of a trick because I did it in the streets weeks earlier or because I did this weird trick filming in the backcountry, whatever, like just those sort of things help push you you want to feel like you're just flowing down a course and everything's going your way, like you're not rushing anything, you're not being overly technical on a feature where you don't have to be having full confidence in your skiing and being at the top of the course knowing that you can do the run you're, you're about to do and, and do it with style and, and enjoy it. Well, style and continuity, the name of the game here in slope style. Again, you've got several rail features up top, four different rail sections, and then you've got three jumps. It's how well you perform on all of those obstacles. Judges working off of a 100-point scale out here today. Alex Hall sitting in the number six spot as of right now. Yeah, filmed an entire movie last year with tons of urban in it. Magma 3, you have to watch it. He's so technical. One of the best street skiers out there right now, and that's why he can come out here and excel on the rails. Big combination there with the switch to switch up and the pretzel. Oh, no. Oh. Weird hang time on that. Just kind of got a bit of the knuckle there coming off that shark fin. It really is. I tell you that the normal jumps, you go straight in. Your speed's the same every time because there's no line choice variation. With that quarter pipe takeoff, if he takes off lower, higher, depending on speed, trajectory down the course or uphill, you can change your airtime and your distance on the jump so quickly with just a fraction of a different thing. So I just think that's giving everybody trouble trying to perfect the trajectory off the shark fin. So he's going to throw that run out. It's going to come down to that third and final attempt for him as the 77.33 that we saw from him in round number one keeps him in that number six position. As of right now, you can just see the frustration with the body language. I think you just said right there, that one hurt pretty bad. Owen McDermott weighing in on the chat. Nothing better than watching ski slope style. You're absolutely right. We got the best seat in the house, Tom, down best here at the, bottom of the, at the bottom of the course. We got keep, an upgrade here in 2024. Keep on chatting in. Tell us what you think, because I am having a blast watching this right now. It is ski slope style at its finest. This is Norway's Burke Root in for attempt at number two, sitting down in that ninth position pre-run. Getting tech up top on the rails here. Let's see this back three switch up transfer. That's what gave him trouble earlier. And we know Burke, he excels on the jump. No way was that that good. That's a right side 16. 
There's that switch 16. Will he go even bigger in the final jump? He's a big air master. The double bio. Oh, yes. just squeaks it around. Burke Root finally puts down a run, gets the rails and jump combinations together. I'm still dumbfounded by that right side 16. That was huge. And you see the relief on his face after coming up short in big air last night. Yeah, seventh last night. He was frustrated with that first run here. And there is the relief. There's the redemption that he was looking for here in round number two. He had that 34th the first go around. Had him in ninth. Let's take a look at some replays, and we'll see what the judges think. Wrapped up, gets the safety grab, and this one was huge. It's the biggest air almost all day, and he's doing a right side 16. And here he's diving forward on that final one, wrapping around. Take a look at this landing, though. We just got to eyeball this final jump landing. He's so good at this trick, too. Just that ability to spin so much, but be composed with the grab. Oh, man, no hands down. He's able to just squeak it out, and ah, the judges, I think they're going to love that one. You loved it. Look at that reaction right there with the two shots. So, again, it was a 34. Uh, round one at 96.33. Burke Rood just jumped to the top of the leaderboard by a full point. And as I mentioned in round one, he owns plenty of big air hardware. He's got five medals, but he doesn't have any slope style medals. So he now finds himself in the top spot here in round number two. Wowzers, Bert Rood putting down a hammer here in run number two as Tom jumps out of the booth to go give him a big hug. That's oh. the beauty of being out here courtside. You get to do stuff like it's that. It's awesome, and I know he was frustrated after last night coming up short, so I'm so excited for Bert to put one down here in slope style. So now it comes down to Colby Stevenson to cap off round number two here. We'll bring Kristen V back into the conversation here as we send Colby into the course. Kristen? Yeah, so I checked in with him after that first run tumble. He is okay. He attributed that error to poor line selection on the shark fin. He said he didn't train that line this morning. You know he's looking for redemption here. Free run, he finds himself at the bottom of the pack in 10th place, looking to get rid of that 14.33 through the rail section here and heading into the shark fin. Let's see the line selection this time. Oh, he gets it. The only athlete hitting that feature switch. It's so hard to get that line. There's the switch 1260. And then watch this bottom jump. Let's see if he has that nose butter rotation. Nose butter, double cork 16, and he maintains on that final one. Colby Stevenson. Your defending gold medalist from last year, putting it down here in run number two, looking to oust that 14.33. Look at the top rail section here. That's the backslide. So only balancing on one ski, spinning on, spinning off. And there's that trick that gave him trouble. So difficult to get the line in the speed correct, hitting that thing. And look at this bottom jump. Look at the noses right here. He's so early on the takeoff. And look at that right there, the snow coming off. It is just insane to be able to do that, set the rotation, then get that grab. You see that grab locked in there at the end, so smooth. Only athlete doing that big nose butter rotation, spinning early, pressing off the tips of the skis. Colby Stevenson absolutely putting one down. And let's see, no hands down on that. So judges, what do you think? Are you not entertained by slope style out here today? So a 96.33, a 95.33, and a 93.33, your top three scores. As we said, pre-running was down at the bottom of the pack. So a 94. So that's going to put him into the medals for right now. He'll overtake Andre Regetli. It'll put him in a broad spot with one more round to go. So round two is off the charts, but hold the phone. We still have one more round to go. We'll have more when we return after this message and a word from our ABC stations. Open kitchen mean to you? Absolutely. When it's delicious food and they come in, they see our food steaming on the lines. They see our chicken glistening, our fajitas sizzling. It's magic happening every time they come into our kitchen. This is real.
Pacifico is a crisp golden lager. Brewed for those who know, it's what's behind a label that matters. Hello again, friends around the world. While we're in this little commercial break, we have a very special guest. Gabby, who do we got? We got my, my baby boy, Moon. Moon doggy. Can we see, see Moon? Yeah. Where Where is this little pup? Kind of come say hi. Here, I got this little handy got portable cam. Camera. Oh, lotion down. <laughs> there we go. Uh, this is my bubby, Moon. He's yeah. a Saluki and a Silken Windhound. And he's three years old, and he's my road dog. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Family, community, friends around the world here at X Games. A nice celebration of action, sports, culture. And what that is, is it's family. We push each other to be better, whether that's on the hill, off the hill. Always, always. And just have a good time doing it. <clears throat> it's making it light, making it fun. And I drove with him out here from L.A. You know, we always go on road trips together. It's just, it's nice. How is he like in the athlete lounge? I mean, there's food in here. Oh, there's mac and the cheese. Oh, he's liking the smells of the food. I think that's why he's staring down the barrel of like the line of food over there. But he's chilling. He's having fun. All Everybody's giving him some pats and some loves. And it's, uh, it's great. It's nice to have him with. Yeah. yeah. Anybody in the chat have a dog? What kind of dogs do you guys have in the chat? Or names? Drop your dog. Drop your name. Oh, where's the jersey? You're looking for the jersey. The jersey? The dog jersey. Oh, I wish I could. Jersey's right here. <laughs> if you're just tuning in, well, we're almost finished with the Mensky slope style. But in the meantime, while they're in commercial breaks on TV, we get to show off this really cool X Games jersey, which oh, yeah. I don't know if they're still selling on the X Games merch site. It might have sold out, but I'm giving this away tomorrow. This was my own jersey. I think it did sell out. The stain is coffee. <laughs> it was <laughs> It was really... by accident, but it is a pure Jack. It was awkward. Moment. No. I hope you guys are enjoying this ski <laughs> event. There are four dudes battling it out right now in the yeah. 90s, 90s clubs, but we're not done yet. Let's get back to some more action. Who's going to take it? It's time to find out in the Samsung Galaxy Men's Ski Slope. You. And, uh, did I see that you made a little uh, cameo in there, Tom Wallace, from Games of Slush? That's true. A little judging refing action from Games of Slush. Welcome back to X Games Aspen 2024. This is the third and final round here at Samsung Galaxy Men's Ski Slope Style. It all comes down to this last run. Why? It is the best run that counts. It is Berg Rude. Well, that second round, man, we saw something shake up quite a bit there, Tom. But Berg Rude jumped up to the top spot with a 96.33. You got Mac forehand and second with a 95.33 and Colby Stevenson who goes last in the rotation found himself in that third position to round out the podium but this is still up for grabs everybody gets one more shot at it here Max Moffitt X Games Aspen 2024 his fourth appearance he now finds himself in that number nine position his best run score out here today, a 52 flat. Look at the top six. We've got five of the top six scores in the 90s, yeah. then an 87. This may be the most competitive and intense slope style event I have ever been a part of. Yeah, that second round shook things up quite a bit as Max is on course here to kick off the third round. Max Moffat, the switch 450. There's that hand drag, Misty. 
over that rainbow rail, dragging the hand. Here on the jump, looks out for that safety grab. Puts a hand down, but looks like he still has speed. Can he get into that left side 14? He does, left side double 14. Look for the forward spinning double bio here at the end. Going kicked out Japan. Max Moffitt on the third and final run. Definitely going to be an improvement on that score. He had that slight bobble there on the landing of the shark fin, but everything else was nearly perfect. I think he went to that squat a little bit to try to build up the speed. See, with that second to last jump, did you see how far he carved his skiers right where he took off? Almost missed the takeoff. And then look at that at the top. He's hand dragging along that. So not a rail trick. It's a jump trick that he's doing on the rail, diving forward and... So an 86.33. So that's going to be good enough for seven. So that's only going to move him up two spots right there. So one down, nine to go. Yeah. Henrik Harlow, he sits in that number eight spot. Currently, Henrik has a gold medal from this event from 2018. He's also got, what, six big air gold medals, so he is no stranger to walking away with X Games hardware. Nine totally bigger. Six gold, three silver. He's got 13 total X Games medals overall. So smooth, so fun to watch. Have not seen him competing in a long time, but so great to have him back out here at X Games. Love that double flat spin. Here's the switch, double cork 1080. Obviously one of my all-time favorite tricks. And here, spinning switch off that last one. Going around for the 12. Henrik holding that grab, not opening up. Instead, tucking it around for an extra rotation yeah. there to up the ante. In the banks, will he do it? <laughs> his reactions <laughs> after each and every one of his runs is the best. And he's, pray for me. he's rapping. He's shouting out a hip-hop star. He's saying something. <laughs> he is too fun to watch and too fun to know. Here's the switch double court 1080 with the Japan grab. Something I know a little bit about, love that trick. Here's the 12 at the end. Just so different the way he spins with that grab. Everybody else going upside down or wrapping up the cork. He has that unique flat rotation all on his own. Thank you for the opportunity, X Games, in the morning. So it was a pleasure after a bunch of years be back. There we go. A couple dog Tang barks to end it. And his staple line that Wu-Tang is for the children. Always got something to say for us, Henrik. And it is an honor and a privilege to have you back out here at X Games Aspen, buddy. As we move on to Evan McEachern here for his third and final run, he sits in that number six spot with an 87.66. So smooth and technical up top. That 450 variation continuing on in technicality here. Look at the transfer. Jumps from one rail to the other. There's so many opportunities in the rail setup for different transfers, but not too many athletes doing it on that bottom rail feature. And there, had trouble with that one. The double flat's been so big. Oh, and you hear him exhale on that lip going so big. I don't know where all that speed came from for him, but wanted to wrap up a bit more in that one, maybe miss the grab. So these big spins nowadays, these athletes get the grab and then they pull that grab to their back so they can spin. Oh, look at the grip there on the Samsung Galaxy Ultra View. It's so close. You can see the technicality and the edge grip that takes to pretzel out of these rail features. Still fun. It's a little frustrated with that one, but you heard him say it's still fun, so he's yep. going to have to settle with that 87.66 that keeps him in sixth place as we get set to take our final look here at Ferdinand Dahl. He was your bronze medalist in this event last year. Right now, he finds himself at the bottom of the pack. Yeah, but that's the beauty of this format. It's not jam format where every run kind of counts. It's best overall run, top to bottom, who absolutely can do the best tricks through this full park and Ferdy still has a chance with that stylish fast slide, that technical switch up at the top. Oh, going to the moon on the double cork 900. 
almost needed to let the airport nearby here know that Ferdinand Dahl was coming into orbit there on that one. I was going to say, you're going to have to get permission from the FAA to go that high, this close to the airport. And it is that height. You saw the height. It ruins his speed a little bit. When you go that large, that high off the feature, you come down with such high impact. Watch this. I mean, this has got to be 18, 20 feet in the air, and then watch the impact. It's like taking the impact of hundreds of pounds. It's one of the snowmobiles slamming into you, and it's so hard to land without putting a hand down, and that bobble will be scored badly, so Ferdy knows it's not going to be enough. Well, let's bring Kristen into the conversation here as we get set to bring Andre Regetli in for his third and final attempt. Yeah, Andre's coach, JP, told me when he was leading, if they need to, they have something else in their back pocket. Now, I checked back in with him, and I asked him if they'll pull it out. He said playfully, probably. Oh, little teaser going into the that third and final round. That is a little teaser, Chris. And thank you. He was in the driver's seat until we got into the latter half of the run order in round two, and now he finds himself outside of the medals by one spot. Let's see if he answers back here, Tom. I'm interested to see what that additional trick or change would be. We saw in run two, he changed from doing a 1620 on the bottom jump to that 1800. Will that be the change we see, or will it be on one of these other jump features? Oh, and there's a butt check on the 1440. So unfortunately, Andre knows it, it's that shark fin. We really, it looks easy. And when they do it appropriately and get the trajectory right, it looks so smooth and fun. But when you don't get the right height versus the right carve down the hill, it's just so hard to land. So hard to know how much air time and amplitude you'll have. Another GoPro look here. We got that right side 14. Watch this. If he had more air and landed higher up, he just was traveling further down the hill than he did in those first two runs. So Andre, yeah, gonna have to settle for that first run score. Yeah, that's good. I mean, it's crazy. I mean that first round, he was in the driver's seat. Like I said, we got to the bottom half of round two, and then he just kept getting bumped down, and just, yeah. now he's not able to get back into the medal, so going to have to settle for fourth as we only have five skiers left to go here. Jesper Shatter due up next, but let's take a look at run number two from his point of view here, courtesy of the GoPro, Tom. Oh, my God, I love that GoPro POV. Did you see that 630? You can see him spot. I love the point of view because you can really tell where these athletes are spotting their tricks and it gives you insight into how it actually feels to hit the X Games slope style oh. course. No. It gets tangled up. Oh, he's up right away. Ah, that, that was, was a slam. Yeah, how did he get up from that that quick? I, he looked a lot worse. Must have just not had the, the speed or the, the jump to the right. I mean, he just came up short and we had just finished watching the GoPro POV of that trick, and Jesper made it look so easy. And then we check back into the current run, run three, after watching that POV of run two. And that's the one that kind of just bodies him as we take another look at these rails. Love that first three switch up transfer. And OK, so Bobbles that one already knows that that run's not that good and still was just going for that 6.30. So that's going to bring us down to our four final skiers, three of which are in the top three. The only one who's oh not boy. in the top three right now is Alex Hall. So this oh. is going to get real oh. interesting here with these final four skiers. It's getting hot here at the bottom. I don't know if I could sit down any longer. Mac Forehand with that 1800 last run. Like, what is next? What can happen in ski slope style anymore? I can't keep up. He was your silver medalist last year. In round two, he jumped up into silver medal contention again with a 95.33. He's currently just one point behind our leader, Bert Root. Oh, and he might just be playing around on this one now. That first rail trick, he was doing the super fed on. He did get to the end of the rail with that switch hit, so he's going to continue, see what kind of a score he can make up, even though the technicality on that first rail wasn't as high as his other runs. Oh, and I take that back. He was adding some tech rail tricks, but he's just going to flow through these jumps now. And this is what we like to see, the switch 540 blunt. That is fun. What's he got in the final money booter for the crowd now that this run is done? Rodeo 5 critical, another one of my all-time favorites. Thanks for that, Mac. That uh, makes me really happy.
Uh, you know, to get to tell the story we were talking about earlier, man, coming into this with a hurt back. I wrote five was for Tom Wallace. Yeah! Oh, you got a shout out! Yeah! I got a shout out! See what happens when they yeah. put the booth outside by the course? Thank you, Mac. That was so fun to watch. <laughs> but his run, too, was one of the craziest runs I've ever seen with that triple 1800 in there. As we look at Gus Kenworthy over there, he's got the locked box with all the medals ready to hand out. Not messing around with the security. Gus had that big handcuffed to himself right there. So Gus set to hand out the hardware here. We take a look at Alex Hall, third and final attempt. He is on the outside looking in. He's down in that number nine spot. You need a 94.33 or better to jump into the medals. He's in for his third and final attempt. Oh, this is Alex's best run yet on that first rail. And the scores are so high. Look at all those scores in the 90s. Alex got that 77, but just needs to clean everything up and get all the way through this course. I can't believe he can pretzel that. That is switch 270, backside switch up. So technical to get the final pretzel. There, so smooth on the shark fin. That double 12 spinning alley-oop. Into the switch, 14. Did he get the grab good on that one? He's going switch. Will we see that pretzel switch right side rotation? Alex Hall! Oh, that was a huge score last night in X Games Big Air. The switch right side 1080, and he pretzels it in the air. You can hear him. I've never seen Alex get that intense. He's going, <laughs> yes, at the bottom. The excitement from him. He was looking at a gold medal last night and had to settle for silver in Big Air. Looking for more hardware here today. Boom, look at that switch up to the flat there. So technical. And this might not look like a ton, but it's dancing. It's perfect choreography, as Kristen talked about. The switch up, the pretzel, everything coming together. Here's that 12, I was, or the 14, excuse me. I was worried about the grab, but I had nothing to worry about because Alex knows how to do it right. This one, it's cork, but it almost goes side cork there. And watch this at the end. Shifts the body. I don't know how he holds that from not going to 1260. It is a 14 or a 1080 instead of a 1260. And it's a pretzel, as you see. I'm just losing it down here. I'm losing my mind watching this slope style event. Team Rocket Nick weighing in. Can't count. Haul out. No, you can't. What's it going to be again? Colby Stevenson sitting in bronze medal right now with a 94.33. Mac Forehand with a 95.33. And Burke Root in that top spot. And the judges, it's taken a while for this. The judges are talking this one over. They're having a discussion right now, Tom. And it comes in. It's a 96. Oh. Woo. He jumps into second place. That's going to bump Colby Stevenson down to fourth. Let's check in with the judges. Fellas, talk us through that decision. I mean, that was a really crazy run to watch top to bottom. Colby coming down up in the ante from his last run. Pull, or uh, A-Hall, sorry, pulling one of his tricks from his big air final last night with that switched up 12 pull back to 10. Uh, just a really good run overall. Had to reward it. Thanks, guys. That is Jason Aarons, our head judge, down there Good in the judging job. compound. So now Colby Stevenson outside the medals, although Colby's going to get to ski last, so he'll get a chance to answer back. But it's your current leader, Burke Rude. He had a 96.33 the last go-around. Oh, and already just some slight bobbles on those rails. So I don't know if that's going to be enough, but he's sitting in first. That last run was so good and to come from a couple, couple mess ups last night in big air into the slope and just have that miscue on run one but just demolishing it on run two so just having fun with this which it's he's still doing double corks and having a blast going down it but sitting in first he's 0.33 ahead of alex hall so he has that lead but Colby Stevenson still to go, has a 94.33, and he could easily up the difficulty two points and get up there back on the podium, if not in that top spot. So by no means is Burke safe from having the gold taken away, but he's guaranteed a spot on that podium. And that would be his first, uh, that's going to be his first ever X Games slope style medal, as Ooh. I talked about at the top of the show. He owns five big air medals total, but no slope yeah. style hardware. His best finish ever at this event was last year, where he settled for fifth so he's assured a slope style medal will it be gold 
We're about to find out because it all comes down to this last run right here. Colby Stevenson, you're defending gold medalist from last year. He was in medal contention. He's now bumped one spot out. He sits in that number four position, Tom. Oh my gosh, the pressure, but this is what Colby Stevenson's built for. He's been on the top of the box at X Games before. He knows how to get back there. It comes down to this final run. 360 switch up on the first rail. There's the backslide on the second feature. Another 360 switch up. Oh, it was a slight bobble, but he just didn't know which way to hit that rail. So that bobble and the skip of the rail feature means he is not going to challenge for the podium, and that's our podium set. There's the switch right side, 12, still having fun. He had an amazing run and run to that 94-3. The level is just so high out here today. I mean, all scores above 92 in the top six yeah. is incredible. This is the highest level the I've ever 90s seen. The 90s go all the way down to sixth place. I mean, that is insane. Andre Rigetli, who was the leader after round one and halfway through round number two, he has to settle for fifth. Oh just God. shows you the level of skiing that we saw out here today. Level is insane. Burt Rude with that second run was incredible. But Alex Hall, so impressed to see him come in that third and final run. Put it all down. Mac Forehand with the 18. This was a show of epic proportions today at Men's Ski Soap Slope Style. But Burke Rude in that second run, jumping up to the top of the leaderboard. And how about this, Tom, for his first ever Slope Style medal? It just happens to be a gold. So cool, including this final trick. He told me he was going to warm up with the 14. And instead of doing the 14, because he fell on that first run, goes just straight to the 18 and gets the landing. Immaculate performance from Burke Rude. Yeah, I mean, just coming off the frustration from last night, he had to settle for seventh in big air. You can see the frustration on his face in that last run, but Mac Forehand, he had silver last year. He's going to get another medal this year, taking a bronze. Alex Hall with his second silver medal of the weekend. He got one last night in Big Air. He doubles up, but it's Bert Rude who finally tastes X Games gold here, Tom. Can we give out more medals? Every run in that event deserved a medal. That was absolutely incredible action. Yeah, a blowout here in Samsung Galaxy Men's Ski Slope style. Bert Rude becomes the 17th different skier to take gold here in the history of Minsky Slope Style at the X Games. X Games Aspen is brought to you by Pacifico. Rude for those who know that every day brings... Yeah. yeah. Round of applause. That was fantastic. That was insanity. First one first of the day. Thing. First oh, yes, Mia. is out there as Mia Brooks just rolls right through. Just no big deal. Just champion right there. Um, can we just talk about the fact Burke Rude finally taking home a gold? Right? We'd love to see that. We're all huge Burke Rude fans here. And well of done. course, Mac Forehand with the bronze, Alex Hall in second. Came that up. Podium, the level, I mean, so much respect. Right. So many we landed so runs. so close. 96.3, 96, 95, 94, 93. Like, yeah. you never see that. Like, it's usually like, like last night, Scotty James was pretty far ahead of the pack. Chloe True. Kim, really far ahead of the pack. That is why that's the 17th unique gold medal in men's ski slope style. Well deserved. It always changes up. Yeah. No, that's so sick. So, hashtag X Games you see up on the screen, wherever you're watching, I know a lot of the people that I'm seeing up on the screen right now are photos from the event, but let's see where you guys are watching from. I wanna see, like, are you just kicking it on your couch? Are you at the office? Yeah. I wanna see where you guys, where's this chat? I mean, I feel Should like we we've do been the map? out. Should we see where everyone's at? Yeah, we could do a little map. We got this map. Where's everybody tuning in from? Because Yeah, mark it, say it down, and then we're going to mark it. Yesterday, we went ahead and we started marking down the map. Doing pretty good. Let's see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, yeah. We got to get the cam. Okay. Grabbing the cam. We got the, the camera. marker. Let's do this. Going to be. All right. So where are we going? 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 Where are you watching? Where are you watching from? Ontario, Canada. Canada. Let's hit Canada. Okay, we're just gonna check Canada off. <laughs> Who else is going? Let's see. We are in Ohio. 
Ohio. And we got Long Island, New York. Long Island, Strong Island. Hey, right down there. How Ew. you doing? Boom. We got Denmark. Okay, we're going to do United States, Denmark. We got some... We got England. Did we go to the UK? We did the UK. Sweden. We can do it again. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm getting some... Okay, there we go. All right, where else are you guys tuning in from? <laughs> we got someone from London? Wakanda. I think they're... They're liking my Black Panther hoodie. But love it. Finland. We got Czech. Finland, Oregon, Greece. You guys are really testing. Lithuania. <laughs> You're doing so Estonia, good. Estonia. Ghana. Republic, Austria. Let's get some Ghana Austria, in there. Belarus. Spain. Oh, Ibiza. I heard Ibiza. Ooh. Portugal. Quebec. Here. The Quebecans love it. Egypt is watching. Ayo, Egypt. Russia is watching. Argentina and Nigeria. I what love about, it. Like, let's get South America. Yeah, anyone where are we from, at South America? Any, we got anyone some. from Brazil? Oh, my computer, I'm gonna. We got Japan. some Japan. Where's Japan? Oh, there we go. Chat is moving way too close. Antarctica. Brazil. Did I hear? Brazil is in the chat. Antarctica. Did someone say Antarctica? I heard Argentina yesterday. We didn't hit that. And Chile, oh, Argentina. I heard. There we go. What about Peru? Anybody from Peru? Oh, we got Chile. Greenland. Iceland. We got the South Pole in China. Okay. China. The Bam. South Pole. Japan. We already have Japan. Okay. Guys, this, that was fun. This is fantastic. Look at where we are. This is all This is global. We're global. We're around the world. We're everywhere. Live. Extreme close up. Whoa. Whoa. All right. It I sounds like it. we're going to go check in with Salema, but we love to see that we are connected across the globe. So exciting. X Games runs far and wide. We love you all. Let's check in with Salema. What's Yoop. going down? Let's go, Salema. Time X Games gold medalist, Chloe Kim. Troy Podmosak on the last run. He went from the bottom to the top. What a moment for Leo Brearley. Scotty James winning his third consecutive X Games gold medal. It has been nothing short of a joy festival of accomplishment here at X Games Aspen 2024. Hello, everybody. I'm Salema Masakela, and this is Jason Ellis. Welcome to the Inn in Aspen. I am a hospitality, and this is the, the, the concierge. I'm the lieutenant, chief. <laughs> uh, what did you make quickly of what you just saw with, uh, with Burke Root and, and company in Ski Big Air, Jason Ellis? I, I feel like these people are going to get me hurt because they make it look so easy. So I, I feel like tomorrow I want to jump, I want to grind a rail and then jump off a rail onto another rail because they make that look like that shouldn't be that difficult. Yeah, and by the way, that was Ski Slope Style. I'm still from last night uh, in Big Air. We got plenty more coming up uh, tonight. Excited also this afternoon for Women's Snowboard Slope Style. But let's give you a little, uh, a little head start in what we're going to see in tonight. Uh, in our evening show on ESPN, Mark McMorris. He is coming up in Snowboard Big Air. We'll also see him in Slope Style tomorrow. Eileen Gu going for three gold medals in Women's Ski Superpipe. And Alex Hall already sitting on two silver medals. Can he finally maybe get a that, that gold that he's been fighting for so much in Men's Superpipe? We've got Women's Snowboard Slope Style coming up. You do not want to miss this event after this message and a word from our ABC stations.
and it has been a heater out here in women's snowboard slope style as we approach third and final runs a look at this gorgeous course here in women's snowboard slope style from x games aspen 2024 we're two runs in and mia brooks has been in fuego yeah. on this slope course First place on run one and just up the ante on run number two, setting the stage for what's going to be an unreal finish out here on third and final runs of women's snowboard slope style. Everything so tweaked out, so steezy, and she's got the jumps to compete with anybody on the planet. Oh, by the way, just turned 17 years old one week ago in search of her first X Games medal. Could it actually be gold out here at X Games Aspen 2024? If you're asking Tora Craig and I, yep, we couldn't even stand in our seats for that one. Well, she's sitting in third place right now, but let's hear from Anna Gasser about switching things up from the competition scene and getting out into the streets here in our Pacifico. Discover more. Yes, I think I'm more known as a competition snowboarder, like doing slope style and big airs. And last year I had the chance to get out in the streets a little bit and try that part of snowboarding out and yeah, it was pretty fun. I think in general everything where you get out of your comfort zone helps you in snowboarding. Like I love that feeling of butterflies and like scaring myself a little bit and getting out of that comfort zone and I think for board feeling, for, for my creative eye and filming has changed my snowboarding in the last year and I hope I can show it um, at X Games this year. Well, Tori, she talked about it, right, in the Pacifico Discover More. The getting out of your comfort zone for the sake of progression. I mean, it's easy to say it's very difficult mindset to really go out and do it, but she's done it time and time again. And she's riding everything, and that really changes the feel on your snowboard. And feel is everything. So she's got that 91.33. Can she jump up into either silver or even gold medal position here on her final run? Solid up top, really, really good rail tricks all the way to the end. Front double 10, get going. Oh! Oh, and she was on one there, Tora. It's, it's really, I've got to gain my composure. It's, okay. really hard to, it's really hard to watch the girls go down. Especially when you have got an absolute gem of a run going, yeah. right? That switch lip, same way. Absolutely beautiful. Cab one in, backside 360. She went four for four up top. This switch underflip, switch 540, whatever you want to call it, yeah. on the uh, quarter pipe two landing, maybe let go a little bit early, but if she would have put down this front 10 and then matched it up with another 1080 on the final jump, but you can see she was... Um, and then that's speed playing it back to there. Absolutely. She didn't quite nice clear it. Not, not enough air time to bring it around. Correct. Well, can't blame myself that I didn't try. That's right. She can't blame herself because she didn't try. She definitely did. <laughs> It would have been so great to have seen if she could have gone three for three on this course because few women send it as much as Anna Gasser does. And unfortunately, she's coming up short. So she'll have to wait and see if she's going to stay in that bronze medal spot because this young lady could certainly knock on the door. Layla Iwabuchi right behind her in fourth place. And these Japanese riders, they spend a lot of time on airbags and dry slopes, I hear, in, in Japan training. They have a secret coach <laughs> helping them on their variations of spins and axes. And So Layla's best slope style finish happened here last year when she finished at fourth. That is where she is right now, but she's looking to get some hardware here today. Front two in, two out. Beautiful 270 there as well. 
Now, Tori, you mentioned that dry slope riding. It has helped her take off so much. Watch on the two final jumps how straight she goes off, how solid she is. Going very fast on a very big jump. Cab, double under flip. Centering up. I'm thinking backside rotation, 10, 12. Backside 1080 gets it around. Just so composed the whole way down. She just makes it look easy. That's so no, easy. Yeah, no panic revs in no. there. I almost thought she was under rotating that back 10, and then she says, no, nope, I'm going to put it down. I'm going to put base down. Front board 270, maybe off a little bit early there. Like that alley-oop. Didn't see too many riders doing that on the heels, you know, front side rotation. Let's take a look at this third and final jump. Backside 1080 has to really fight to get it around. You see her whip the hips around. Yeah, let go of that grab early and whipped it around. You can tell she's not totally pleased with herself there. Reading some body language here. Yeah. I mean, she's here to win. She she said it time and time again. A 92 for Layla Iwabuchi. And she jumps up into that bronze medal spot. Wow. Okay. Gold, silver, and bronze. There, I believe there was a handcuff on that briefcase as well. <laughs> it's not going nowhere. And then there were two. Mia Brooks versus Kokomo. Marase is going crazy. K cap, no cap. Mia versus Kokomo, our last two riders to drop in. Is there any way Mia can give herself any more distance, Craig? As we go into this one? Absolutely. We heard her after her second run. She came down, came right beside us, said, I messed the take up off. I can do a 1440. Look for a 1440 on the third and final jump. Everything about that. Look at the way she lands and just straight lines it into this second feature. Backside nine needs to land clean. That she does, Tora. Switch, land switch. Maybe not the cleanest landing, but hey, Stuck semantics. I don't know if it, I don't know if it beats her 97.66, but hey, we wanted to see the 1440, and that we did. X Games mode, never been done. Check out the Samsung flow motion as we see this run one more time. Uh, but again, I just can't speak enough about this 17-year-old upping the ante every single run, Craig. Three for three. You say, oh, that's an amazing run, run one. What does she do? She makes it better in run two. What does she do? She makes it better in run three. How hard is that for her? She only just turned 17, guys. Too. Like, <laughs> I mean, the, the physicality of it, the mental prep of it all. Like, I don't mean, I have to share this story about her. That landing. Go ahead. Metallica. Lead singer Metallica threw the gun, uh, his guitar pick into the crowd. She caught it. Who does that? That's like ninja style. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, yeah, this is uh, our reaction. We, uh, we like what we saw. Corral liked what they saw. It's going down. Jack Matrani, of course, on the digital side, bowing down. X Games mode, never been done. <laughs> As you said, Tori, she turned 17 less than a week ago. Yes. <laughs> She's a 96 for Mia Brooks. So that's the judges saying, you know what? That wasn't as clean as it could have been, but my God, what you just tried to do and what you did, amazing. Now, Brando, this sets us up for some. Frankly, I'm I'm terrified. This is some big. <laughs> and then there was one. There's one woman left who could potentially catch Mia Brooks for that gold medal spot. Best for last, come on Kokomo. Yes, Jay Dynamite Vice. Kokomo Marase, our last to drop in. And it should be noted again, when we're talking about judges' criteria and how important creativity is here in 2024. 
She's got it. She's got creativity. She's got technicality. She's got style. The question is, does she have execution? Front board 450. That is just silly how easy she makes that look. Oh my goodness, the cap to pullback. Very technical rail tricks if it sounds like I'm speaking gibberish. Thank you for adding that in there. That is, that is beautiful. The question is, do we see the back triple? Oh. oh! That angle, you knew she was coming up short early. That was a terrifying oh. look at that. Yeah. Just a tough way to finish for Kokomo Morase on that third and final run. But what it does do, Craig and Tora, is guarantee Mia Brooks her first career X Games gold medal. She, I mean, all the females are just they're phenomenal. That was unreal. Mia is, watch out, world. You've only just starting <laughs> to see the beginning of this woman. Uh, yeah, Mia Brooks, she's going to be a problem for a long time. Absolute <laughs> problem. She was a problem for this entire field today. Three for three on her run. So technical, Brandon. She had... 1080s, 1260s, she had a 1440 right at the end, backside 900. I could speak to nauseam at her technicality, but it's all worth a gold and, medal. And just never being satisfied. She was in first place from run one on and kept wanting to climb the ladder. It was about her, it was about this day, it's about progression. And the 17 year old putting on a show here in women's snowboard slope style. Her first of what will be many X Games gold medals. And how about that? Getting it put on from the queen, the goat, Jamie Anderson. You saw Thayer's on the screen there. Well, it's our lucky day. We got. Dr. Dustin Portella in the house. Woo. How are you, man? How's your how's your time in Aspen been so far? You loving it? Yeah. Awesome. Nice. What can you tell us about Thayer's? We're seeing it everywhere. I'm personally a big fan, but for everyone Same. in the chat, what can you tell us about Thayer's? So Thayer's is a it's been around for 175 years. What? It's one of the oldest skincare brands that there is, and they are coming out with so many amazing new products. And they use, you know, clean, plant-derived and derm-active ingredients for cruelty-free skincare that's highly effective and very accessible. It's not super expensive stuff like a lot of the things you're going to find. And how does Thayer's help the athletes here at the X Games? So the extreme athletes here and really anybody out here even just enjoying the games, being exposed to extreme environments, a lot of cold, uh, the dry air, yeah. If the wind is ripping around, all of that stuff is going to impact your skin. Very familiar it's with gonna this. It's going to dry it out. <laughs> Very yeah. familiar, yep. And so having a robust skincare routine is not just about aesthetics. It's about protecting your skin, fortifying that moisture barrier so that you don't only look your best, but you're going to perform better because you're not worrying about your skin or having you know complications from that. And what is the whole love for action sports? I mean, you know, it's just really, we're all grateful for, you know, the love that we've been getting from theirs, especially over the summer. It was great there, especially with the BMX athletes. But what's the tie-in with, with X Games here? So we're here all about moisturizers right now. And yep. so the whole moisturizing routine is going to help cleanse the skin while inputting moisture in the skin. That's with the Milky Cleanser. And then you're gonna come in with the Milky Toner. It's got snow mushroom, hyaluronic acid, and those are gonna be antioxidant to the skin. It's oh, gonna put more nice. moisture on the skin. So you've got two things already. And then you finish it up with the Soak It Up 80 Hour Liquid Moisturizer. That's got shea butter, more snow mushroom, more hyaluronic acid. And so, and it's going to last 80 hours. So this is going to take you through the whole weekend. Like I recommend reapplying every day, but <laughs> I reply, I reapply every eight minutes. I didn't know it was 80 hours. That's good to know. You're going to, that's why you're glowing. I'm telling you though, but at altitude, <laughs> you're so right. And like, first off, the sun beams off the snow. So yeah. you're just getting fried. Very the true. wind, it's freezing. The altitude, it's dry. I wake up with my tongue stuck to the side of my face every morning. I'm like, I can't breathe. <laughs> no, but it's so true and it's so needed. Yeah. Um, 
And one of my favorite stories from the summer was one of the massage therapists actually ran out of their like massage oil, so they started using Thayer's. And yeah. Like, oh, it's this, super milky This is and the good slick. stuff. Oh, it's, yeah, it spreads it's really nice. easy. Yeah. 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 And you don't have to just use it on the face. Like she was using it on the body. One of the things I love to do with that milky toner, you can keep it in the fridge. It's nice and cool, and uh, you can use it as an eye mask underneath those little gel sheets. Okay. If you need a little extra moisturizers on the hands or the body, you can spread it around there really easy. Yep. So. Yeah, I've been putting it everywhere. I put it on the base of my snowboard to go extra fast. You probably yeah. would under my really feet. Fast. No, I used it the other day and uh, on hill, and it was super nice. Yeah. I, it, I first time knowing about it. The consistency is fantastic. I'm right. really big about skincare as well, just because I don't really like to wear makeup. Yeah. So this is something that's really nice. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm you really kind of put it on. You can forget about it. You don't have worries with your skin. No. Oh, yeah. And you're protected all day. And it's hydration. That's what we need. That's what we need. And then um, there's, we're watching a lot of tricks out here. Any skincare tricks? You know, I think that just the fact that these are made for the face, but you can use them elsewhere. Um, one thing you can do is you take those little cotton rounds and you can put them in a baggie, pour that toner all over, and then at the end of the day, when you're just wiped out, you can pull those out and make a, a mask out of it. Genius. Just kind of sit there and chill and unwind from the day. There we go. All well, these tips. Time to unwind and head over to Homeset. Thank you so much. Thank du you for Dr. Joining Dustin us, Dustin. Portella from Thayer's. So sick. Load up on all Thayer's. Right. All right. We'll be back after a little break with the home Boop. set. Salama? Salama. can get. There's a lot of unknowns <laughs> here, but it's going to be very, very exciting. They've all got incredible, incredible skills. We have such an eclectic group of individuals attacking this knuckle. Let's take a look at the start list so I can really break this down. Easy. Okay. Cool. Do you want me, Jo? Do you want me to put sunglasses on? Maybe the goggles are too big, or. Yeah, we're just going this way. Okay, so you uh, keep the goggles? Yeah. Okay. Well, we can we can back up and move them just yeah. this way. Yeah. That's what we need to do. There you go. Wait, we don't have to go that far. Right here. It's got some, so there you go. Yeah. Your last time here was 2022 in Superpipe. Yep. After what we just saw in the uh, Samsung Galaxy men's ski slope style, when you come back to X and, and you see like, just how crazy it's progressed. What, what, what is that like for you? Uh, it's honestly, it's pretty surreal. I mean, it's like, it's always the ongoing bit that everyone's like, progression, progression, can't believe where the sport's at, can't believe where it's gonna go. But every single year, it pushes that barrier. And so the tricks that everyone is doing right now are tricks that I never could have imagined when I was a kid. And it just continues to blow my mind. And being here as a spectator is, it's kind of surreal. I mean, it's, it, it's nice, there's no pressure. Uh, I love it. I love getting to cheer on all the athletes, but there's like a little bit of FOMO too. I kind of like still want to be out there, but I don't. <laughs> do you think you could do it if you had to? Uh, I mean... If you didn't have such an illustrious career in other uh, avenues? Uh, I think I could still do it and like I could put a run together. I don't think I could be in metal contention at this point. With a little bit of practice you could though. Look how fit you are. You could do it. I mean, are you fun with me? Thank you. Um, <laughs> maybe. I don't know. I, I mean, my last like two years competing, I had a couple bad head injuries, and I'm 32, which is young for life. It is old for this sport. So I was definitely feeling the crashes, feeling the injuries, <laughs> taking longer to recover. You just and, said uh, that to a man with an AARP card. Man, with every, with every <laughs> oh, says dude, can I, I would love to use that discount if you don't mind. <laughs> I didn't, I wasn't you even got some of steals of deals. Um, <laughs> besides your skiing, um, you you are one of the most multi-hyphenate folks to come out of, out of their action sports world. Like every time I turn, oh, oh, there's there's Gus in a campaign, and then there's Gus making his test, his his acting debut. I am American Horror Story. I am just like scamming everybody. I don't know how I'm getting a lot of these opportunities. I feel really grateful. But um, how did that come about? Well, I, I always kind of wanted to act in the back of my mind. It was going to be the thing I would turn to whenever I was done skiing. And I knew that skiing wouldn't last for forever. Um, and my ex was an actor, so I got to help him a lot with like taping auditions and working on sides. And it got me super excited about it. And he was like, you should pursue this. And so I kind of did that. And I got very lucky at the beginning. I got a role in American Horror Story. And I thought maybe that was going to like... Small show. I know, it's a huge show. I thought maybe it was going to open the door and just be like, floodgates are open, acting roles. And it's not been that. And so now I've got to sort of see both sides of it and do the there was a hustling, the auditioning. That's true. But there I mean, I've just strike. been auditioning a lot. I've booked yeah. a couple of things that I'm, I'm super excited about and have a couple of things coming out. But it's been a lot of auditioning, sending tapes out into Ether, never let's hearing take, back. Let's take a look at your Instagram to, just to see the way you transform 
as uh, as an actor uh, because you're kind of irrecog. Look at that guy. Look how hot he is. Are Wait, you kidding sorry. me? <laughs> With the, with the sweep side, what... If I had hair, I think I would be almost <laughs> as attractive as you. I think you would what do you be think? much more attractive. I think you are without the hair. I like you. I really like I, you. I love this. I love where this is going. What, what happened here in London? Uh, that was an Omega launch for their new Aquaterra Shades watch, which I was just attending. I was an Omega ambassador during the last Olympics. That sounds um, like a watch I can't afford. Uh, same with me. I mean, they gave me one, and I was like, do I have to get this back? And they are like, no. And I was like... You'll never see me again. I like ran away. Um, no, it was uh, it was a great brand to work with, and I feel like that's kind of the thing that has kept me in the sport is just continuing to work with brands. I've been super lucky. Like Monster's been my title sponsor since 2014. They're the lead sponsor at X Games, and so I'm super stoked to have their support and to come out here and to get to cheer on the other Monster athletes and all my friends and this younger generation of kids. Um, well, it's awesome. Yeah, I'm giving myself an actual brag right now, but Troy, who won Big Air last night, I saw him at the hotel at the end of the night, and I was like, dude, I'm so stoked for you, congrats. And he was like, oh, man, you don't even know what that means. I used to tag you in all my Instagram comments so you'd see my videos, mm -hmm. which, like, <laughs> like actually was, it was the highlight of my, my X Games weekend, so. Ah, uh, man. Well, it's really, really awesome to have you here. We look forward to all of the things that we know that you'll be doing that will blow our minds, including adopting more puppies. Yeah, probably. <laughs> you love puppies, too? I do. I brought dogs back from the Mate, last couple We really couple get along. He I have five dogs. Oh, no way. Yeah. I rescued all of them. That's amazing. I love One that. of them has a, a, a leg that doesn't work. It's just like broken and hanging off the side. That's how they found him on the streets. And you, you, you two are best friends. He's like a chicken wing. I was like, sounds like right. me on a lot of my contest rounds. I'm going to let you guys uh, work out your, your, your puppy party. <laughs> uh, our show continues to roll on. We've got our digital show with Jack Matrani and Gabby. Made it where we will see the Thayers women's ski and snowboard huck, knuckle huck. Um, enjoy the rest of the day, and we will see you tonight. Um, let's go get some dogs. Yes, <laughs> thank you for having me. <laughs>Deeper, go home. Snow mushroom and hyaluronic acid. One, milky cleanser. Two, cushion with milky toner. Three, deeply hydrate with new Soak It Up liquid moisturizer. It hydrates for 80 hours. Thayer's. Chipotle's carne asada is back. It's our most tender cuts of steak, grilled and seasoned with cumin, oregano, and coriander. Finished with fresh lime and hand chopped cilantro. Carne asada. This is our best steak ever. Thayer's Milky Toner. It does more than pores. It hydrates for 48 hours. Snow mushroom and hyaluronic acid takes skin from dry to dewy. Milky Toner from Thayer's. for better weather and blue skies as we welcome you now to a brand new event. It's the Thayer's Women's Snowboard Knuckle Huck. What's happening, everybody? Brandon Graham joined alongside Tora Bright and Craig McMorris. Tora, so hyped for this one. It's the debut of a brand new event. The ladies finally getting their own knuckle huck. Yes, and a quick thank you to Jamie Anderson. 2022 being the only female showing us how gangsta the women can get over the knuckle. And it's going to be a, a very exciting today. It's going to be an exciting event. Why? Because of the tricks we're going to see and the riders we're going to see doing them. A very eclectic group of individuals will be attacking this 
Knuckle here on a beautiful sunny day in Aspen. I want to highlight a couple names, Kokomo Morase, Jasmine Baird, and Annika Morgan. Those are three picks for me that I think could be podium threats, but you don't see an Iris fan or an Egan Wint, Ellie Weiler uh, at X Games often. That is why I love this event. You see names you would never see in a slow style or pipe event, but uh, I'm excited for it, Brando. Yeah, I can't wait. As you said, Tora, Jamie Anderson, the first and only woman to ever compete in the men's side when we just had the men's knuckle huck really blazing the path. What else is new? That's what Jamie Anderson has done her entire career. But we're excited to kick things off with the next game's rookie, Jasmine Beard, out of Georgetown, Ontario. Let's kick things off here in the Thayer's Women's Snowboard Knuckle Huck. That was a very big front three, Tora. I'm going to tell you that. Uh, that was very big. And these girls are used to just sending it over these big jumps. So that, that skill is going to come to play in this knuckle hawk event. And, I mean, the aim of the game is to go as big as you can, do the best trick you can. Absolutely. Make it creative. Make it look stylish. Make it look easy. And you might find yourself on the box. Bozeman, Montana, stand up, making her X Games debut. Here's Iris Pham. Nice little backside 360 hand drag over there. Trying to get that backside Miller flip game started early, and that's what I think I'm really excited for. Maybe some Miller flips, maybe some hand drags. Now out of Denver, Colorado, another X Games rookie, Egan Wint at Princess Menace. That's the IG handle if you're looking for a follow. <laughs> That's a great handle. What menace is she going to get up to here? Oh, I like it. A little, little Nolly Crail grab, seat belt, if you will, there. Yeah, it's getting sandy. <laughs> Just a little warm up. And Tora, for the uninitiated that are maybe seeing Knuckle Huck for the first time, can you just put into words exactly what this event is all about? I think it's about getting creative, getting sandy, getting loose. And I mean, snowboarding is just fun. And I think this event really allows the girls to be playful, be fun, taking the skills they've got from the slope style from the streets and just linking it in this one hit wonder, the yeah. Knuckle Huck. We've got six riders out here. As you see, it's the jam yeah, session. And uh, we can't wait to see what Ellie Weiler puts down out of Silverthorn, X Games rookie. She said she was really hoping for an invitation when she saw Women's Knuckle Hawk. She reached out to everyone she knew. Woo! Okay! I said it off the top. I want to see something Miller flippish. I want to see invert. I want to see hand drag. And Ellie Weiler, she answers all those questions right there. Take another look. Are you kidding me? Just getting the grab. It looks like she wanted to keep it at 360, but uh, it kind of went to 540 there. We got the Thayer's hype meter out here in the Thayer's women's snowboard knuckle huck. But yeah, Ellie was doing everything she could to get on the invite list. And then her mom uh, saw on xgames.com that she was on there even before she got the invitation email. And Annika Morga, I'm wondering if she's listening to her own DJ music right here. Getting pumped. Okay. okay. <laughs> I like that. She got Cindy. Everything was tied together. I know you liked it. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. That backside cork three almost looked like she was going to put her hand down for a hand drag, but did not. Generating her own pop. Very different if you watch Big Air Slope Style. There's a takeoff there. Yeah. The reason this is so interesting is this is just a knoll. If you've ever been to a right. ski hill or a hill in your backyard, you have seen a knuckle. You have seen a knoll. You have seen a bump. This is the most relatable event we could possibly do. And Annika taking the overall lead in her fifth X Games appearance. So she's now in first place. But here's someone who might shake things up. Kokomo Marase. <laughs> wow. Oh, she sent it. Landing in the parking lot. Kokomo. Security is going to need to see that parking pass. Those are really hard to get at X Games, and uh, Kokomo is just landing in it. So that was large. Few better on the planet at jumping in women's snowboarding than Kokomo Marase, proving that right there.
Hey, let's bring in the fourth member of our team as we're checking out these highlights. DC for a course report. DC, what's going on, man? This is absolutely incredible. We didn't know what to expect coming here into the debut of Women's Snowboard Knuckle Huck. Thank you, X Games, for bringing this out here for the women. But this is absolutely incredible. Loving what we're seeing on the first run. And the oohs and the ahs from the crowds out here is absolutely incredible. So thank you, everybody, for being part of this history-making experience. Yeah, well said. Picture-perfect day. No filter needed out here at Buttermilk as the sun is shining out here at Knuckle. So we're already run number two, Jasmine Beard. Front three in run one, no mistake in run two. Jasmine Baird putting one down there, Brando. We got a tweet. I didn't get to read it, though. I apologize. Yeah, it went too quick. I think it was about wanting to bring uh, a snowboard video game back. Big floaty front three there. Tora, if you were in Knucklehuck, what trick would you do? Ooh, good question. You know question. what? I would probably see if I could go bigger than Coco Mo. <laughs> Send it to the car park. Clear those blue lines and more. Here's Iris Pham sitting in second place. Much cleaner backside Miller flip there for Iris Pham. And we'll see Iris in street style also. That's correct. Thank you. So Egan wins second run with under 16 minutes to ride with here in Knucklehuck. Okay, I like it. Utilizing said knuckle right there, Tora. Yeah, I kind of missed that a little bit, but a little butter in and... Yeah, like back one, switch nose. A little backside 540 essentially with two, with a nose and a tail tap right and there. That, we haven't seen that yet. We still have 15 minutes left, so. For sure, and, I, and that's what is going to really stand out to the judges. Mm -hmm. You know, do something that the rest of the field isn't. We've seen a lot of big airs. We've seen a lot of 360s. I think Egan separating herself there. Yeah, Egan taking over first place. Here now, Ellie Weiler. Yeah, Jen Wang. Super stoked we finally get women's knucklehuck at X Games. Co-signed, Jen Wang. And as Ellie picks up something that fell out of her pocket or a GoPro on her head, was it? She is actually tunes a lot of the professional snowboarders. Snowboards. Oh, really? Yeah, Monticero tunes. Ryan Wilmot. Absolutely. Shout out. And, uh, and Chip, too, is also in there yes. as well. I picked up my board from Chip today, actually. Annika Morgan. Sitting in third place. Beautiful. Now this girl, I love her style. That was just absolutely solid. It looked effortless. Absolutely. And hats off to Annika Morgan. She competed in women's slope style in her first run. Mm -hmm. Had a very hard oh, slam yes. on a backside 1080. Got back up there, did a backside 1080, landed it. Yeah and had a great showing in slope style. And now to put the snowboard back on the feet and get out to knuckle huck, hats off to Annika Morgan sitting in second right now. Absolute boss move. How big is she going to go this time? That's what I want to know. <laughs> I don't think you physically can go bigger and still stay on your feet. I mean, she's used to clearing, you know, 70, 80 foot jumps, I reckon she went just as far on this knuckle. Here now, Kokomo Morase. Oh. Uh. Kokomo out for style points with that sweater and with that trick, Jay Dynamite. Method. I mean, and how far deep they're landing. I mean, how? what is the distance from that to the actual landing? It's crazy. I, I think it's immeasurable. I don't think, yeah, I don't think we can. I don't, I don't think that's right. Yeah. Well, and I don't know if you guys do methods over straight jumps. It's very hard to stay on your feet doing a method. Packs. You almost saw Coco like, rotate side a little yes. bit on there. Yeah. That is very tough to hold it, especially on such a flat takeoff. So Kokomo Morase building here. Under building. 13 minutes to ride with here in the Thayer's Women's Snowboard Knuckle Hug Run 3 time. Jasmine Beard. Oh. Snowboard that comes from being on a snowboard.
snowboard from 18 months old. She I, just, she found her feet. She found her feet. Yeah. It's that board control. Let's take a look at this right here. I'm thinking at this juncture right here, she's lost it, right? Yeah. Watch her toe edge go into the snow there. You see some snow fly up. Let's keep running it. Let's keep running it. You see the snow fly up there. You think she's dead. She's gone. Yeah. And then she still rotates out of that. That's air awareness. That's board mm -hmm. feel. That's spending some time on your snowboard. Who starts snowboarding at 18 months old? She oh, does. Jasmine does. <laughs> That's wild. So Jasmine jumping up into fourth place here in the Thayer's Women's Snowboard Knuckle Hunk. An absolutely stunning Aspen afternoon. What else is new? As we're kicking off run number three. Here now, Iris Pham. And she came in switch there, I believe. I believe you're right. Goofy Rider coming in natural. She's starting to do a butter. And that's what we're going to see more of. We've seen a lot of big airs kind of like going deep. Now I think we're going to see some 180s to, you know, tail press back three or tail press back one. She's from Denver, Colorado. She has a cat named Pork Chop. She's Egan <laughs> Wins. Things you love to see. Thought she was going to grab that Miller flip, but then opts for the, uh, you know, the Zeb Powell Darcy Sharp approach. Let's do the two hands. And Egan also has a video part in Emotional Success. It was filmed in streets in Norway. Oh, no way. Yeah. I wonder where. It's interesting. Great handrails over there. We're also going to see Egan, I believe, in the street style event later today. We'll see you, Craig McMorris, in that set of events as well. I'll see you as well. <laughs> I really want to see Ellie get this Miller flip. Here's Ellie Weiler. Oh, she switches okay. tricks. No, Ellie's battled with some knee injuries, and she's just so stoked to be back and riding and putting on a show. Well, she looks like she's got some pop. I think those knee injuries may be in the past because that Nolly front foot looks pretty good right yeah. there. And then adding extra style points. Usually you want to ride away straight, but Ellie, uh, throw up some snow for the fans. It's all part of the Flavor Flav, you know? <laughs> Knuckle luck, anything goes. Yeah, it's improvisational jazz. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, under 11 minutes to ride with. Oh, would you look at that? Tom Zekas and our snowboard judges. Tom, how are you guys liking uh, the debut of this brand new event here for the ladies? We're liking it. Yeah, definitely. Seen uh, some good stuff. Talk to us about what you're looking for specifically here in Women's Knuckle Hub. So ultimately, we're looking for use of the knuckle. We want to see hand drags off, presses, buttering off. We don't, you know, ultimately don't want to see just straight launches, but we want to see use of the knuckle. That makes sense. Thank you, Thanks, Tom. Jeff. So hitting the 10-minute mark, Kanika Morgan. Beautiful backside 180 there, just falling over that knuckle. Taking a lot of speed in there. Almost looked like she was going to tap her tail before she back one did. She's so composed, though. Look at this. Oh, what just a view. Looks like she was going for that, that tail tap. Back. Just missed it. Going a little fast. Sometimes adrenaline, you know that. Mm -hmm. You see the crowd. It's a beautiful day. You want to go fast. You want to go big. So here now, the owner of seven X Games medals. And Gimbal got on the follow cam. No one better. Here's Kokomo Morasa. Frontside 360. GoPro shout out to Gimbal God. And I love seeing that she is here just participating in the knuckle hug. She's just off of a high from slope style yesterday yeah. and she's got big air coming up, but she's here because I did find out from her straight from her mouth. She loves snowboarding. Loves she loves it. It. And Everything. She's, and she's one of the most competitive riders yeah. in all of Aspen. Mm -hmm. She's not here just to participate. No, she's here to win. No she's ribbons. Here to win. We're three runs in here in the Thayer's Women's Snowboard Knuckle Hawk. Much more to come from X Games Aspen after this. What the knuckle huck is going on, everybody? I know. Wow. <laughs>
Yeah. Isn't that gay? He's We're so good. I thought I was edgy. You win, dude. I'm yeah. out. We are on the internet. We have Jason Ellis, <laughs> iconic skateboarder. <laughs> oh, yeah. Versus Wolf. Um, we've got a, a question from the chat uh, from SGX Venom. What does Tony Hawk smell like? Wow. <laughs> I'm sure you I, didn't I see did that. Not, I did not see that coming. <laughs> he smells like glory. Glory. Wow. Yeah, great. He smells answer. like Heard it here. legendary with a, with a hint of pine. Love that. <laughs> there you go, chat. There you go. Ask and you shall receive. I love it. Let's talk about your Aspen experience. First time hosting a winner X Games event. How's it been for you? Uh, it's amazing. It's very exciting, very nerve wracking. I've got a lot of pressure on myself because, you know, I'm not from the snow. I'm, I'm a skateboard guy, but I want, I want the masses to people that don't snowboard or ski to, to fall in love with it and understand how exactly. difficult it is and how challenging it can be. And I just want the people that don't do it to, to fall in love with it because when I fell in love with skateboarding, it changed my life forever and it made my whole life okay. And I just want everybody to to, to get a chance to feel that and, and, and also appreciate it because the closer you get to it, the more you're just blown away by how incredible these athletes are. Love it. Well, thank you so much. We love your perspective. We're grateful to Always have you Jason, here. Always, Jason. You come back. Everyone's so nice here. I wish we had <laughs> more time. Because you're cold? What is this? It's exactly <laughs> We're right. warming our hearts. Exactly. We're going That's back now. That's what it is. Let's get back to yes. the Knuckle women's Huck. snowboard knuckle hawk. Thank you, Woo. Jason. Alice Legend. 28 through the 30th, 2024. Info and tickets, head over to xgames.com. Well, we just wrapped up run three of the Thayers women's snowboard knuckle huck. And this is an exciting one. It's a debut event. So a gold medal at stake, some history making. No one has ever won this event before because it's never been contested before. And how about the woman who really trailblazed for this thing to even become an event? Jamie Anderson, the winningest woman in X Games history. There you see with Tyler Nicholson and Baby girl Misty. God, it would be nice to see Jamie out here competing, huh? I was really trying to get her in there. I was trying to pep talk her, be the <laughs> biggest cheerleader. I'm like, you got this, mama, you got it. We'll watch your baby if you need to go up there. <laughs> I will. We have a great babysitting service over here. <laughs> so here's Jasmine Beard, the X Games rookie, sitting in fourth place. Whoa, a very big cab 540. So taking off switch landing regular. Spinning around one and a half times right there from Jasmine Baird. And Jasmine is, it's not a first time in competition. She's got seven career podiums in Fist World Cups. Yep, three big airs, four slope style podiums. She's currently studying life sciences and pre-med at Laurier University. Am I saying that right? That's correct. Laurier? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's extremely prestigious. She hopes to eventually become a doctor after her snowboarding career. Yes! More than just a shredder. Yep. We are, we're still going to figure out our, uh, our post plans, but yeah. here we are. Here's Iris Pham on her fourth run, sitting in fifth place. Closing in on the eight-minute mark here in the Thayer's Women's Snowboard Knuckle Huck. And Iris skied until she was nine. I'm so happy she got put on the snowboard because <laughs> I like watching her snowboard. I did too. That was very, very fun. We're 180, 360 out of it. So our current leader, Egan Wint, dropping in now. Oh. So Egan must have heard the judges talking. They said, utilize the knuckle. Don't make this a big air. Use the knuckle. And that's what Egan went, attempted right there. I bet her cat named Porkchop is, Pork is there cheering her on. Porkchop's watching. What a name. <laughs> Thank you. Ellie Weiler, sitting in sixth place. What has she got here? She's been trying that Miller flip. She did the tame dog here, opting for a little butter 360 right there. There's a little change of approach there. They all heard the judges, I believe. Play oh, with yeah. the knuckle. Play with the knuckle, guys. <laughs> they have the IFBs in here? Right 
And Ellie does compete on the Fisnor Am circuit. Her first pro level event was due to her Copper Mountain 2021. So she's pretty fresh to the field, you know, these pro events. She is hyped. So here's Annika Morgan sitting in second place. Oh, yeah. Oh. That is going to go well, down well with the judges. I like what you said before. You wondered if maybe she was listening to her own music because yeah. she was a DJ. Is that just the absolute flex of all flexes? <laughs> oh, look at that. Flexes. She did get two hands down right there. That was so sick, that little Miller flip. But that is the – that I couldn't agree more with you. What is it, Deep House, or what are we – I don't know. I just created Jordan my own Pass. playlists on Spotify, and I feel look like Look at that right there. I love that. Beautiful. Your artwork's getting better too, Greg. I drive circles. <laughs> you know, coming into this event, Annika, I thought she could be up there because she's just so playful with her snowboarding in slope style as well. It's, it's not new to see kind of butter oh, knuckle tricks. Always a creative approach mm. on the way she does her tricks, rails, jumps, and now we're seeing it in the knuckle. Kokomo Marase sitting in that bronze medal spot. Got that beautiful, what is it? So styled, and Kokomo is going X Games mode because she just only has one gear, right? Oh, we're officially in X Games mode, folks. Take a look at this beautiful backside 180. Oh, the Thayer's height meter's coming look at out. That. This bone right there is oh my. beautiful. Just That's my favorite back one I've seen. And look at how close she gets to the camera right there on the landing. Uh, you can't do it much better than that. Oh, that is X Games mode. If you're watching this at home and you're saying, how do you do a backside 180? I need to take notes. That's perfect. That's the dictionary definition. That's a little Jamie Watch in gangster that. mode. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Well, I've just been told DC is joined alongside some snowboarding royalty. DC, who you got? Yes, thank you, Brando. That is correct. I got Jamie Anderson and Barrett Christie and, of course, young Misty here. So generations of women snowboarders here in 2B as well. Jamie, you busted down the door for women's snowboarding a couple years ago when you entered Knucklehuck with the gentleman. What does it mean to you, your thoughts on seeing Knucklehuck debut for the ladies now? I think it's amazing. Um, the girls are killing it. I remember a couple years ago, I was like, yo, what's up? Like, let's get the girls involved. And they're like, all right. You're in tonight. I was like, oh, snap. Um, but I had fun. And, yeah, unfortunately, I pulled out this week. But I'm here to support the girls. And I'm very impressed. It's awesome. Yeah, it, it is awesome. And it's awesome to have you here supporting. And Misty as well. Misty looking at me like she wants to get a question. But Barrett, checking in with you. Barrett Christie, of course, snowboard legend for the women. Your thoughts on the evolution of women's snowboarding and now having this new event debut here at X Games. Yeah, I mean, the evolution is massive. I wish we had knuckle huck when I was throwing myself around. Um, I am so impressed. Obviously, the girls have come a long way since I was doing this, but the fact that there's girls here doing knuckle huck that haven't had a chance to compete in X Games before, most of this field has never done an X Games. So, and then wait till the Rail Jam. It's pretty cool. Well, thank you for everything you've done to pave the way, and Jamie, you as well. I mean, really, this is snowboard lineage right here, and it's beautiful to see. Thank you so much. And Misty, can't wait to see you on the board. Soon enough. Back to you guys. Oh, that would have been amazing <laughs> if Misty said her first word right there. <laughs> Knuckle hunk. Oh, my gosh, that's amazing. Uh, and by the way, Barrett, uh, trying to take your microphone. She might be trying to take your job there, DC. Uh, we're closing in on final runs here in the Thayer's Women's Snowboard Knuckle Hunk. And what a show we've seen so far. Annika Morgan, Kokomo Morase, and Egan Wint currently in our top three. Fifth run time, Jasmine Beard. Tora, favorite trick you've seen this far? I mean, I know they've got to play with the knuckle, but I love seeing the girls send it at Kokomo. That back one, sending it, loved it. Beautiful, beautiful Jasmine Bear. Cab three in the middle of it drags the switch nose along the knuckle, utilizing that knuckle as you Jackie, mentioned right there. I love this. Absolutely, look at this. This is 
the knuckle and sending it. That's that feeling that we all chase, that weightlessness, right? Mm -hmm. Ollie up, just dragging the nose of your snowboard along there. Very well executed by Jasmine Bailey. And Jasmine is inspired by X Games gold medalist Spencer O'Brien and Lou Bluton. Blue, Blue, <laughs> Blue, yeah. No, that's all right. Two minute warning, under two minutes to ride with here in the Thayer's Women's Snowboard Knuckle Huck. It's Iris Pham dropping in. She sits in fifth place. Now, Iris doing that 18360 out. You think maybe she was beating the hand drag, but I, I kind of think that was maybe saving herself from falling on those on those hand drags there. I'm going to say it's intentional. It's all. <laughs> yeah. It's intentional. A little hand drag on the knuckle. Judges love that. I think that one was intentional. Uh, I don't know if that one was. That one. The that second one. was one. definitely yeah. saving. She was a yeah. little backseat. She's happy with that one. <laughs> so here's Egan Wint. This may be her last chance to climb up podium position as he's certainly already in that bronze medal spot but can she move up yes he is love that little slash at the bottom front one in drags the nose switch backside 360 out there's a good look at it presses the snowboard doesn't put it all the way down Keeps the hands away from the snow. Gets a body over the toes, lands perfect. And as you said, Craig, all-terrain vehicle. As soon as this thing ends, she's over there for rail jam. ATV. That's short for all-terrain vehicle in case people didn't keep up there. So here's Ellie Weiler. Born and bred in Colorado. Oh, oh. Ellie Weiler! Yes! Stand up! Cab 180, Nolly backside rodeo attempt from Ellie Weiler. My opinion, she would have landed that. That would have been the best trick we have seen today. Definitely. No doubt. Just sending it on her final run, Tora. I, I had to see the, the slow-mo to actually comprehend that because I my brain didn't go there, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah, she just couldn't quite get around that landing. Just, just a little under-rotated. But so there, right? Cab 180 right using the nose of your snowboard almost like a trampoline to initiate that rodeo. How much time we got left? Do you reckon she can go redo this? This is it. This is it. Final two runs. Ellie Weiler does move up one yeah. spot, though, in the fifth place. Respect. Here now, Annika Morgan, our current leader. Okay. Okay, taking a page out of Kokomo Morase's book <laughs> and trying to locate the parking lot because uh, she's going so far down this landing. I respect that. Maybe she's just like, hey, I've done the tricks I can do, and I'm just going to go have fun and send it. Have snowboard, will travel. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly wow. by air, though. So, Annika Morgan, could she earn her very first X Games medal? And could it be gold? There's only one rider left who might have something to say about that. I'm nervous. The most decorated rider in this field, 19-year-old Kokomo Marase, owner of six X Games medals, including a big air gold from back in 2018. Already in bronze medal position. Oh! oh play on that one because if she did get the hand dragging across the knuckle this could be uh this could be a gold upset here take another look watch the watch her left hand watch her left hand or her right hand pardon me and her left hand i guess for that matter so her right hand touch and then watch this left hand right here oh it's not working for me yet yeah, right there i think there's touch i think we have touches there, there was touch there was contact into the backside, 540, the way she stalls it and whips it around, Brando, go. Does Tom Zekas and the crew have a decision to make right here, right now? I believe they do. I believe Craig. they do. And Kokomo Marase takes the gold medal on her last 
first one. I love seeing this. Coco Mo bumped Annika out, but Annika is so stoked for her. Absolutely. I mean, just the level of riding that we saw. Comes down to the last rider, puts it down under pressure. So for Kokomo, it's her second career X Games gold, but making history as the first gold medalist in the history of the Thayers women's snowboard knuckle huck. <laughs> Annika Morgan taking silver, and how about the rookie, Egan Wint, earning a bronze. <laughs> I love watching the interactions. I'm trying to make out what they're saying to each other. But they're both very, very happy. So let's take another look at how we got here. Still my favorite shot. That backside 180 from the other angle. Kokomo was a little off axis. So sick. Here's the backside 540. Right hand, left hand touch then whips it around. Watch how solid she is when she lands. It looks like a feather. What a weekend thus far for Kokomo. A silver in slope style yesterday, and then wins gold in the inaugural women's knuckle hug. Well, let's head over to DC. Barrett Christie giving off that gold medal to Kokomo. DC, let's talk to our gold medalist. Oh, congratulations, Coco. Omerito gozaimasu. You looked like you had a good time out there. The debut of Knuckle Huck for the women. How fun was that for you? Yeah, first time Knuckle Huck. I'm, I'm so happy. I'm doing my best. You did your best indeed, and you got a gold medal in your seventh X Games medal. So once again, congratulations. Omerito gozaimasu. Thank you so much. Thank you. Amazing performances from all our ladies here in the Thayer's Women's Snowboard Knuckle Hop. We're all having fun out here today. But when it all ended, on the final trick of the contest, Kokomo Marase saved her best for last, winning goal. No freezers? How unusual is this for a restaurant? I think that that's unusual because a lot of restaurants have freezers, but we don't have freezers. We have fresh food every single day. How fresh is fresh? It's real food that's coming to our tables. That's what sets us apart. Wow. Thayer's Milky Toner. It does more than pours. It hydrates for 48 hours. Snow mushroom and hyaluronic acid takes skin from dry to dewy. Milky Toner from Thayer's. Are we live? We We're are live. live. We're live with one of my favorite people, not only in the entire world, but in the entire world. Oh my God, look at that. Not only because he's the best snowboarder in the world, but because he's the best finger snowboarder in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Scotty James. Yee! Taking home Peter. another X Games gold last night in the Super Pipe on Australia Day. On Australia Day, I forgot. That's even more special. It's funny, it always falls on the event. Like every year, they do it on purpose. And so I feel, you know, I feel I like sometimes uh, X Games week changes weeks, but it still happens. So, 
What was it like uh, growing up in Australia on Australia Day? Like, yeah. Is it similar to like Independence Day, July 4th in the yeah, States? Yeah, pretty. It's, it's pretty similar. Yep. Similar kind of uh, energy and vibe. Very nice. But I just love that you guys actually also just celebrate it, not even just in Australia, if you're just out and about. Yeah, out I mean, it's especially here in Aspen, there's a lot of Australians here. Yeah. It's a big contingent, which is fun. I uh, okay. saw a lot of them last night at the pipe, which was awesome, and uh, yeah, it's great. Love it. That's awesome. Take us through last night. Yeah. Were you, were you be honest, still dizzy. were you planning <laughs> that first run like that, or was a little bit of audibles happening? There was a little little bit of a wobble happened in the middle, yep. for sure. So I uh, oh my God, you're I'd right planned, right here. I'd planned to do the, um, the oh. run that I did on the second run. Right. So this was first run. And I felt good, and then Woo! I'll show you right here when I landed the 14. There, I broke my board, and it's broken now. What? No way! And so I you're doing like, this uh -oh. on a broken board? Yeah. And Scotty, then, could um, you get any more amazing? Yeah, and if I'm what? honest, I didn't notice, so it broke right here. And what? That's, How did it break? Like, snapped? So it broke through my heel, so I came yeah. down on it really hard. Oh. And then um, Dude, had to scary. obviously try and continue. And then I didn't really notice it until you see me hit the flat bottom there. I kind of... So in Lost your the edge. in your mind when you're going it's switch fantastic. back double ten, you're like, I am flipping right now on a broken snowboard. I was definitely <laughs> uh, oh. a little scared. My Atlanta. <laughs> that is that yeah, is but wild. I'm super happy it worked out and um and you didn't yeah, get it was broke a little off. uncomfortable. Yeah, Dude, that could for sure. Been I mean, because the switch backside, oh, as you would know, or even just backside in general. Jack is like when you're going up, you have to trust the edge so much. Yep. Right. And especially switch backside twelve. If you don't have the edge, it's a little bit scary. So um, in that moment, it was a little hairy, but all good. Yeah, I remember when I was doing switchback 12, same thing. <laughs> Gotta trust the edge. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I learned it from you, sir. I did do back 12. Makes sense. I did I know. Back I heard. With yeah, tail, check. right? With tail, not switch. Um, and okay, so then from there, what happened? You swapped out boards. You had a backup board. So we had our great friend, Ryan McDermott, up there. Yep. Oh, I Nicest too. person in the world. You're hit um, right here. He went up and we just switched out the board. And uh, yeah, it just went for it again for the same run and managed <coughs> to get up. it done. So it was super, super stoked. Talk to me about that first the first hit, trick, please. Because I don't think we've chatted about it yet. So sick. Is it harder than a switch make twist? Like going back in switch? I think it's it's much of a muchness. I think the scariest thing and why I respect just McTwists in general, like when KP used to do it and um, Terrier and Danny oh, yeah. is there's like proper McTwist and then there's like back five McTwist. Sure. So I felt like, and the, and proper McTwists when you first do them are really scary because you almost, when I think about doing it, I think about if I was diving into a pool. Yeah, exactly. So when I'm taking off, I'm basically like, okay, I have to dive forward and just look at the deck the whole time. Um, so wow. it's an incredible feeling once you overcome that first little scariness and then, um, I think I don't have many upsides of being very tall and lanky and snowboarding, <laughs> <laughs> but I think being able to contort my legs I and mean, revert around uh, is something that definitely plays a little bit of a helpful. benefit to me. Yeah. So. Well, you heard it here first, chat. If, you, if anyone out there is trying to learn McTwist, just try to put yourself in the mindset of it's a nice day, you're diving into the pool. <laughs> you know who used to really dive their McTwist was J.J. Thomas. Yes. Ooh, J. He, J. Would, Thomas he would like sick. go full head bomb all the way to the end and then just boom, legs back. So good. And did you ever see the clip, I don't know if we've talked about this, of Kevin Pierce when he was working on double McTwist yes, in Mammoth. It. You did see the Double McTwist double, pullback? So double McTwist, double grab, and yep. then let go on the second one. And then pulled Chicken. it back. Dang. Nuts. Did you see the one where he pulled it back, though, and landed switch? No, I didn't see That it. might have never surfaced, but while we he was that to surface. while he was learning, I know when I saw yours, I was like, you have to see Kevin, because he wasn't trying it. So he was trying to learn double McTwists, and then I think the first one he ever landed, he came back around by accident to okay. switch. And he was pissed. He was like, damn it. I, like, that wasn't what yeah, I was trying was to do. Sick. And I was like, what did you just do, man? It was really cool. It's, it's funny because the first time I did it, um, it was a little bit by accident because I was in the glacier riding and I felt like I'd floated over the deck too much. Mm -hmm. And to save myself, That's I scary. pulled my legs in. Mm -hmm. And I went around to regular and I was like, oh. 
And then I was like, I'll do it. I'll go for another regular Switch Mc Twist. And then just since then, it's always going to regular. So it was the evolution. I love it. That's it. What do you think about second and third place? I mean, amazing. Uh, Kaishu, uh, uh, has he come back down to earth yet? I don't I think, think he's, he's still, still up there. there. <laughs> Dude, it's it's so he's sweet. <laughs> he's still up there. Um, and Ruko is, you know, he's riding super well. He's putting in the switch backside spins. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, it was back -back. incredible. I just loved that Kaiju, I think he had one more run left, or I think he got the score on his second run and um, still had some hitters behind him to come through, and he's like, I'm just going to go for a huge 25-foot air and then do some coping tricks. Uh, respectable. It ended up on my Instagram stories. I saw that still shot. I, I mean, you can, you can appreciate like, a good backside edge. I sure probably can. has. One of the bigger backside airs I've ever seen. Yeah, this was no, before was they were quiet. really like counting how high they were. You yeah, know? that was just uh, like we should it. we should go back. We should get like we could a, figure it out. Yeah, I think we could. May have photoshopped it a couple tech. of feet. <laughs> There's enough tech there these days. Um, tune in over to the chat. We got Demarcus Smith. Happy Boxing Day. <laughs> uh, C GC Media Hollow from West Virginia. West Virginia. Hey, West Virginia. Let's see. Um, oh, yeah, there's the gloves. I, Speaking I of the gloves, a, go ahead, Gab. I had a question about the gloves because I know that you started wearing them because of there was a, uh, you won, and then you they were a glove, and then you started being like, you know what, I want to just keep having these gloves. But are these actual snowboard gloves that you created to be like boxing gloves? Exactly. So, That's yeah, they're, it, they are snowboard gloves, and the first, uh, first time I got them actually, um, was grenade gloves made them. No way. Yep. Uh, Shout out to Grenade. Danny Cass. OG, Danny. Danny. Made Love them, it. And it was really cool. So I'd come off uh, an event before this one years ago, I think 2016 or 2017. And I was pretty fired up. And um, yeah, I'd got given these gloves, which were kind of sitting on the Love shelf it. that I hadn't used. And then I brought them here and I won my first X Games gold in these gloves. And I since love then it. I've continued the tradition. So, um, yeah, shout out to <coughs> Grenade. They were the the OG pair of uh, boxing mitts. And then we continued. That is an that awesome is so story. so sick. I love yeah. that story. Do you ever get challenged to actual, like, box people? Oh, my God. I mean, yeah, fortunately, no. Like, Jake Paul or anybody hasn't hit you up yet? No. Like, I want to fight you. In the ring? Yeah, that would be uh, <laughs> Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that would be I, ugly. What that a might fight be my was. last appearance. <laughs> States, <laughs> yes. Snowboarding is not much of a fighting community what, no. uh, whatsoever. There's a lot of love. Sweet. There's a lot of love. Dude, Outside of snowboarding, what else is going on in your world? I feel like, I mean, you just got married. Everything I saw on <gasps> social was like... The most beautiful wedding I've ever seen, like out of any. And we're still anyone. married, so that we should. Congratulations! <laughs> yeah, I see the still ring is married. still on. Is she yeah, here supporting on. you? She's here. Yep. Nice. Oh, um, had uh, shout out club. My mother-in-law's in town too. First event she's watched oh. last night. No way, really? Yeah. The first yeah, one. Was which, real pressure. What was her reaction? She loved it. She's oh. um, only ever really seen it on TV. And <gasps> there it oh, is. Oh, look at that! Oh, there you go. Thank you, and goodbye. <laughs> that is amazing. What a um, wonderful shot. Yeah, so we had a had a had a pretty good crew around last night for the event, which was really fun. Um, life's good. Yeah, super happy. I've got a lot of joy in my snowboarding at the moment, and a um, few other endeavors happening away from snowboarding. So it's been, yeah, really good. I think um, at the moment, I would say that all encompassing, very happy and. Um, I think that's also been a bit of a re re recipe with my snowboarding and everything as well. So I truly believe that when you're happy and fulfilled and got really good intentions Absolutely. every day. Yeah, man. Um, can't really go wrong. So. Do you do media training or are you just naturally like awesome. a very adorable human being? You just like, watch you. <laughs> you just watch me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Watch, yeah. See, that's media training. Or it must <laughs> be. <laughs> like you're, I just loved your interview after you won last night. It was just so was genuine. So and, yeah. and I remember Gabby was just like, Oh, that was so I was cute. Just like, like, so you sweet. got right into her heart. It was beautiful to watch. I love the the anybody that's just having so much showing their heart and being super genuine, as Jack is saying, and just also I, we want to root for you because you actually care and you actually are just people look up to you and your positive energy. Oh, awesome. And it's infectious. It really is. And we can see it in your writing. You know. Uh, thanks. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think we uh, we always. I feel like uh, I, I like to have a role to just. It's cliche, but keep it real. I find nowadays keep it real. there's so keep many. Real. We live in a world that might not always be exactly the way that we would 
or people perceive it a little bit different or people want to maybe act or be different to maybe who they are. So I think it's important to always just be true to yourself. and Always. Yeah, man. That's it. Can't I love, go wrong. I think you said, like, it feels like you're a kid again or something. Yeah. yeah. Like, that was, that. I don't know, I pictured you as a kid riding... <laughs> And I was little like, shit. just <laughs> running around. Well, I knew you when you were a little When's kid. When's the next Friday. Friday. Vision video coming <laughs> yeah, out, Jack? Exactly. <laughs> I was like, who is this kid? <laughs> and look at you now. We're proud of you. Yeah, um, proud. We do have a subscriber goal, a follower goal. Um, we already know what's going to happen. I'm going to shave Love X One oh one. head. Yeah, do you know what, he, what Jack's going to do? Have you heard? You don't want to know. Uh, please, enlighten me. I think I'm going to shave an X in my chest again and then oh. maybe in the back of my hair. Yeah, back of the hair. And I'm hand when we hit 500. Me. Yeah, so if there's anything you can do, chat. Bring them um, up. I really want to see this. Just share this broadcast, you know, tell your friends that they're missing out. We're, we're live all day uh, today just, and tomorrow. I'm more just jealous that you have enough chest hair to shave an X <laughs> in your chest. I have so much chest hair. <laughs> oh, I've wow. been growing it out. Jack, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, trying still to get trying to get a, I'm still trying to get a beard, honestly. <laughs> he already got it. Yeah. He's, he's like, I'm not touching that. He's ready. I'm saying he's ready. He needs the gloves. He's got gloves. Yeah. Won't do it without the gloves. <laughs> oh, is this your little puppy? Yeah, this oh, is Jack Bauer. Oh, no. yeah. Jack Bauer? Jack, Jack Bauer. Oh, yeah. That's fantastic, Nick. I don't actually... Chloe's... It's from a TV show, I think, like Suits yeah. or something, isn't it? Yeah. Jack yep. Bauer. 24. At yeah, 24, that's... Yeah. Yeah, so that's him. Nice. I never watched the show myself, but uh, yeah. Plenty of times it's streamed, it, you know. Yeah, he looks like a little puppy, but he's actually nine. Dude, I want to go back to your mo your mother-in-law's first X Games watching. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, it was. Um, yeah, she was she was enjoying it. Yeah. Yeah, she was really bringing the energy. Did you feel the extra pressure? I mean, like your parents are one thing, but like <laughs> the in-laws, man, that's what it's like. The in-laws. Yeah. I gotta tighten uh, my shiz up a little bit. You that's know. Important. <laughs> Uh, nah, she had the best time. That's awesome. And uh, yeah, she was, I would say, one of the more excited uh, awesome. people out there. Chloe, nice. my wife, Chloe is, I, in my family, we, we celebrate, but we're not like over. Like we don't go right. crazy. We're very like cool, you know, Tame. good job. Yep. You know, next one. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. That was good. Help. Let's keep it going. Whereas she's like. <laughs> If I won noughts and crosses, we'd <laughs> pop a bottle of champagne and get yes. the balloons out. I the love so her. I want to hang out different. with her. I would, I would identify with her. That is fantastic. Yeah. What's going on tonight? Can we all hang out? Oh, my I think gosh. We that would be it's fun. It's celebration time. Last night celebrate. we had a late one. I think we started at 10 till and yeah. finished till 11. Yeah. So. That's the latest one I've ever seen. Yeah, I went to bed. I always feel like, you know, we're going to win and party and go out. And then I got home and I was like... Did all of us. Oh, so, really? uh, so you yeah, didn't get tonight to we're refreshed. Yet. Nice. Yeah. And um, they'll hold you both to it. We'll see you out for sure. Oh, no, it's happening. 100%. I heard uh, Trouble Andrew's playing. I know yeah. Trevor's playing. I'm so excited. It's going to be so That'll be sick. cool. So I'm yeah. going to try and go watch that. That'll well, you be better. Cool. Oh, it's going to be a good one. He, he's got new music, too. Yep. Yeah, he's, he's back He's out. back in the music Trouble world. Andrew. I love it. Me, too. Dude, I love this video. I watched this whole oh, thing. And <laughs> honestly, I'm so impressed with your video. Oh, skills. my gosh. This is adorable. This is yeah, this, great. This takes time. Yeah, I was going to say, because, I mean, <laughs> Gabby, you did a day in the life, too, so you did. know how it is. Oh, man, it was very, there was a lot invested into it, yeah. And then also, I was getting really into it as well, so I was finding different ways, and for we were doing it for Samsung Galaxy, and it's just, yeah, you get kind of into it. Yeah. You're all like, oh, okay, what a production value, you're doing this. This shot. Yeah, and then this you, shot. And then you start to overthink, and you go, <laughs> yeah. I'll just go through my day as I would. Exactly. And then you're like, oh... Would I actually do that? And then you end up doing more than you actually would. Yeah. Right. Anyway, makes for good content. I kept trying to pause it on your great. OKX wallet. I was like, how much money does Scott have invested? What's his wallet <laughs> looking like, dude? You in the crypto it's scene? Fine. Yeah, I love it. You do? Yeah. How long have you been in it for? Please say two years. Be two years, <laughs> two, and a bit, two and a half years. Two and a half years? Okay. Yeah. Nice. First six months, yep. figuring it out. Yep. It's a lot of growing pains and trying to understand it, but um, it's fun. And I enjoy it. It's a good way to. I like to expand the portfolio and just see, you know, what's gonna love that. What's gonna hit? But yeah, no, I really like Web three. I think it's an exciting space for sport. Yeah, too. for sure. You have any uh, NFTs? 
Got some MNFTs. I made my own ones. No way. Yeah. That's exciting. On the platform, actually. I've been oh, wow. I am going to be purchasing one. Yeah, you should. Is it on the Ethereum main chain? I'm just kidding. I've minted it. <laughs> you minted wow. it? Wow. Nice. You got to awesome. get a wallet, and then you can purchase. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to yeah. do it. I took a break from it. I was getting a little, like... To. Getting really into it. I was just like going to bed, and like it was turning into Instagram for me, where I was like, "What's That's the price? What's the price? What's the price?" Oh, wow. I got to throw this in a different altcoin, and I was like, "Okay." Well, it's 24 hours too, slow so down. the the exchange never closes. Exactly. Different to the normal exchange. Yeah. So you can always be engaged. Yeah. Which I was. Yes. <laughs> Sounds like it. I'm Get learning a, break, a lot right now, guys. I'm learning a lot. Oh snap! This is a women's first ski ever. Knuckle hunt. Yeah, women's stairs. Ski Knuckle Huck, seven minutes out. This cool. is the first time we will ever see this event. I love this. This is just rad. building off of the first ever women's snowboard Knuckle Huck. Yep. Kokomo Morase. Kokomo. I love to see it. Kokomo. Love Kokomo. She crushed it. Very cool. She is quickly becoming a lot of the snowboarders' favorite snowboarder. Yeah. I think her performance and slope style. Yeah. Not only her performance, but her style. Yeah. I was going to say, open jacket yesterday. Open jacket. You, you got Wild. confidence. It's respectable. I was like, you 100%. know what? She's here. She's going to put on a good show. And that she did. Yeah. Mia was amazing. I mean, I've been yeah. enjoying Mia's insane. women's big air and slope. Honestly, it's been so cool to watch the progression and the style and how it's evolved. Totally. Um, I like watching the guys, but oh it's almost God, like too hectic now. I mean, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You and guys like, are going at and the women are doing twelves and exploring triples. It's like kind of fun to see, to see that. And um, but I think with a new format with Big Air this year, it'll be good. The ten percent of the score. Yeah. To style. Some Switch style up. at the start. Yeah, the style. Yeah, it'll be cool. So I'm excited to check that out. Give big ups to Egan. It's her first time X Games. Love that. She got third. Awesome. There you go. That's a good start. Probably not your favorite conversation in the world, but I'm dying to know. I forget. Have you landed a triple in the pipe before? Yeah, I've done cap triples yeah. quite a, a, a few times. And so you just kind of pick and choose when you want to pull that out, if it's needed kind of thing? Um, not something you're like, oh, I can't wait to go do a triple cork today? <laughs> yeah, well, not really. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think this year in particular, with my run, I don't really have a spot to do it, Got it. if I'm honest. So, right. Because I, with the switch Mickey to back 12, the front 14, if I did the triple after the front 14, then I couldn't do switch backside 12. You do front 12. So I'm trying to, um, we always say like put tricks in the pocket and then pull them out yeah. if you have to. Right. Take but uh, no, for sure. I mean, I, 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 don't, I don't think I'm running away from it. I think yeah. it's something that needs to be done for sure. I think I just um, trying to figure out where to put it um, amongst all the others. So it's um, that's so exciting. Just yeah. planning out your own. It's like fun. That. Thank you for answering that. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> that was a great answer. I'm um, looking at you, chat. What's going on? Sorry, I feel like I've neglected my family can I, here. Wh where can I get? I want your gloves. My gloves. Quick plug on my website. Is it? Honestly, Scotty. I'm, I'm sure chat would love to know where to get some of your yeah. gloves. Yeah. What is my, the website? Uh, it's on my website. Shop. scottyjames 31com Love it. We made um, scott.scottyjames31.com. 31.com. All right, I'm putting this in the chat. It's for you, chat, because I, I'm, I'm curious. I, I want a pair. I love, I love mitts, and your mitts they're are so just. They're so comfy. They're so comfy. They're my favorite. Like finger they're ones. Very like you know, there's a time and place for it, but like something about mitts just like feels really good. But yeah, it's fun. You, the, uh, yeah. we made, we made kids ones this year too, oh which is awesome. Stop. They have like little mini gloves. That's very adorable. Cute. That'd be um, sick. Yeah, we got a glove in here. It's chat. always, uh, it's always, it's one of those things where I pinch myself a bit when I see people with the gloves. I'm always like, oh, that's really cool. You started something pretty awesome. So I really enjoy seeing that. It's, um, yeah, it's neat. Yeah. It's really cool. You should be proud. That's awesome. Yeah. You're a trendsetter and a jet setter and a just a awesome just all just around a, just an human. Australian setter. <laughs> You're an Australian setter. We got a we got a question here from Taylor Brandt Film. What Scotty like to name his new trick? Ooh. Mm. Are we talking? Uh, I've been switch? asked Mickey this question back? a couple times. Um, uh, yeah. Any suggestions, chat? Go You're this way. Go that way. Yeah, there it is. That it's actually is really in. looking good. Did drop Frank in Wells front 180 come coming in. Oh yeah. Switch backside. So 
Bam. Oh, okay. Right it away clean. Dude, you make it look so easy. <laughs> I'm going to go try it this afternoon in pipe practice now. <laughs> Let's do it. Well, too bad the YOLO flip is taken, because that would have been it for sure. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think that's also why, <laughs> why I haven't decided to name it. Uh, oh yeah, there's, my um, gosh. I mean, Sean had the sky hook, which is a frontside five stale fish. That's a cool name. That's um, sick, yeah. Sky hook. Seb Toots did the first back double ten, which is what we call back double ten, but it was the two T roll. 2T roll, that's that. brilliant. 2T roll? Yeah, two -t roll. that's sick. Um, what else has there been? Uh, I mean, Michael Chuck is iconic. Michael, Michael Chuck. Chuck? It's Ripper. pretty cool. That's sick. I don't think you could name, it, name yourself after a trick these days. Like, Michael Chuck deserves that Michael Chuck, and it's like... Yeah. I guess there's the Hawk. It's also a cool name, and there's it has Chuck in it, yeah. so it's like super fitting. It's true. Hawk and Flip? Like Michael Chuck. It's yeah. a All right. Name. Well, we'll keep brainstorming. Thank you so much, Scotty, for Thanks, hanging with Scotty. us. Honestly, yeah. if we could hang out tonight, I would love to meet It's here. happening. We have our numbers. Extended family. I'm Let's really hang. excited. All right, sounds good. Thank Thanks you so guys. much. You're the man. Thank you. Congratulations. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Oh. We'll be back after this chat. Short commercial break. We'll see you in a few. You. Go deep or go home. Snow mushroom and hyaluronic acid. One, milky cleanser. Two, cushion with milky toner. Three, deeply hydrate with new Soak It Up liquid moisturizer. It hydrates for 80 hours. Thayer's. So tell me, what, what does open kitchen mean to you? Absolutely, when it's delicious food and they come in, they see our food steaming on the lines, they see our chicken glistening, our fajitas sizzling, it's magic happening every time they come into our kitchen. This is real. We all remember waking up to that first blanket of white, the promise of long days playing outside. But while we were out having fun, our winters became less predictable. And now, our playground is in danger. At Taiga, we know that the only way to keep riding is to respect our environment. No noise, no emissions, 100% electric. Taiga, explore differently. Milky Toner. It does more than pours. It hydrates for 48 hours. Snow Mushroom and Hyaluronic Acid takes skin from dry to dewy. Milky Toner from Thayer's. Games Aspen rolls on. Day two of three of competition out here at Aspen Snowmass as we get set to unleash a brand new event. It's Thayer's Women's Ski Knucklehuck. Welcome everyone to the new and improved outside booth. I'm Jimmy Coleman. Not only do we have a new event, I have a new co-host this year for all things women's ski. It's none other than Maggie Voice and Maggie, welcome to the party. Thank you, Jimmy. It's an honor to be in the booth with you. I've been hearing your voice for years and I'm so excited to be back at X Games in a whole new and exciting way to be a voice for these female athletes and to give you all my perspective on all the action that's going to go down this weekend. Well, it's an honor to have you here. Let's talk about two of our standouts. First one being Taylor Lundquist. She's kind of leading the charge right now when it comes to women's ski street riding. Yeah, not gonna lie, Taylor has some of my favorite style in all of women's free skiing. And fun fact, she's the first and only female com to compete in X Games Real Ski, which was back in 2021. So this is her first on-site appearance here at X Games, and we are so happy to have her. Another to watch for, Lisa Zimmerman. She makes a return since 2017. She got a big air gold that year. We haven't seen her back here at the X Games since. Yeah, this might be a new name for our audience, but she is no stranger to the X Games. Like Jimmy mentioned, she has an X Games gold here in Aspen. 
Um, but unfortunately, due to a head injury, we have not seen her here in years, but we are so happy to have her back here at X Games competing in the first ever women's ski knuckle huck. So those are just two standouts to watch for. Right now, let's check in with the third member of our team, Kristen Beat. Thanks, Jimmy. Coming into this event, I had a report prepared on Rel Harwood and her body mechanics, but then I saw this. And guys, this is what it's all about. This weekend, we're debuting a brand new discipline for women at X Games. And these little rippers get to witness that progress being made in this sport. Girls who run the world. Yeah! Ski like a girl, Jimmy. Oh my goodness, that was exciting. That's what it's all about, that young female energy. Would probably help if I put the right headset on right there. Sorry, <laughs> I'm like, I Jimmy, come on. I know, there's, there's three headsets. You're already covering me. It's your first one out of the gate. You've already got a cover for me. They're going to send me home. Let's take a look at the rest of the start list out here. We talked about Lisa. We talked about Taylor. <laughs> Who else do you like in the start list here, Maggie? I'm not going to lie. I've been teammates with Rel Harwood for the last couple years, and this girl brings it. She has a nose butter 900, and I know she's done it out here already tonight, so I'm really excited to see it. But, I mean, we've got a deep field of ladies out so it's going to be a great show. And I'm going to be honest, I don't know what to expect. This is going to be exciting. Well, it's the first time it's been contested on the women's side of ski out here. It's been contested six prior times on the men's side. If you're wondering what in the world is knucklehug, basically, there's no jump. You're basically going off the roller section of the last landing of the slope style course. And it's all, all about progression. It's all about uh, creativity, expression, just having a good time. As we take a look at our first competitor, Aliyah Eichinger from Germany. Oh, yeah. I love that little bit of a double combo, like the 180 into the three. That was super awesome. And starting us off here, that's this is history. This is our first lady to start us off here for the ski knuckle huck. It is a 20-minute jam session. So what you're going to see, you won't see scores. We'll have what we call a live ranking. So you'll just see the names on the leaderboard as the judges sort them as we roll through this jam session. Taking a look at our next competitor here out of Switzerland. This is Sarah Hoffman. Oh yeah, Sarah, she is a vet here at X Games. I was talking to these ladies who were competing in the events like slope style, big air, um, and they said they were so excited to be skiing in Knucklehuck. It's a great way to just start off the X Games of the weekend for them. It's a little less serious, not as much pressure, and like I mentioned, just a fun way to get things going here in Aspen. Look at how far she takes off cover. She almost ran out of real that. estate there, almost into the <laughs> snow fence, Maggie. She did, holding on to that one. It's a big landing, but it is pretty tight and narrow, and you do not want to go into that fencing. That's going to bring up from the Czech Republic. This is Teresa Korobova, who was in our Games of Slush yesterday afternoon. So she's in it for her first attempt here at the first ever Fair Ski Women's Knuckle Hug. Oh, yeah, the nose butter 540, super smooth, super styly. And for those of you here that might not know what a nose butter is, you're essentially kind of pre-setting on the snow and pressing into those tips and then continuing your rotation. So there you go, you get to see it right there, pressing the noses into the snow and landing switch. That was awesome. She's the first female skier from the Czech Republic to compete in a trick discipline here at the X Games. Well, hey, we're all about making history here at X Games. We love it, throwing out all the good facts. Well, let's talk about how it works. Eight athletes in the field out here. It's a 20-minute jam session, as you can tell by that clock at the top left part of the screen. And uh, again, overall impression, what the judges are looking for out here today. And again, this is all about just creativity and expressing yourself, and dare I say, just kind of winging it and making it up as you go along, Maggie? Yeah, absolutely. And like we mentioned, it's just not your traditional slope style big air. It's more fun. It's more like you're jamming and doing a session with all of your friends and that's what all the girls have said during practice out here we're just having fun we're vibing off of each other and we're just happy to have the woman here finally doing knuckle huck at x games we talked about her at the top of the show this is lisa zimmerman Whoa, that <laughs> with, was awesome with the hands behind the back with the entire time that was technical i mean for you guys who may not know, you really have to use your arms to get into specific rotations. So the hands behind the back is not only styly and cool. Oh, here we have it. The Thayer's unreal hype meter. Yeah, that was you pretty unreal. You snuck one of those in on me. I didn't even see you press <laughs> the button there. <laughs> um, but once again, this is so technical. Super cool. The hands behind the back. I am impressed. Yeah, how do you tuck into that front flip right there with your hands behind your back? And she didn't, I mean, she yeah. held them there. Usually you would use the momentum of your arms, but it looks like she's just really using her upper body to give her that rotation. It's going to bring in an X Games rookie competing in three different disciplines this weekend. This is Rel Harwood. Oh, Rel Harwood. Oh, oh my gosh. 
Looks like she's just going for a big steezy straight air and almost missing that entire landing, which she is went, landing She went down to the last dot line right there. She <laughs> sent it deep into the landing. Let's take another look. Oh, the grab. yeah. I'm all about that. I think Rel, she knows she has these bigger tricks, like I said, the nose butter nine, but she's just starting out fun, being like, hey, guys, want to see me go big? <laughs> So Sarah Hoffman sitting in the top spot right now. Lisa Zimmerman, you like that run, but that's the judges only think that's good enough for third right now. Yeah, man. yeah. So it looks like they're really right now um, kind of favoring those nose butter kind of styly tricks. But we'll see. I mean, this is just the beginning. Oh, the follow son. Follow shot there with Andy Caraba from Finland. A beautiful 540. So styly, so steezy. I love that trick. Oh, this is so fun. Once again, I'm just so happy that these ladies are finally back in this event. Here you go. Taking a look at that 540 with the styly safety grab. Oh, perfect. These ladies are really starting it off great. That puts her in the number two spot right there. Again, you won't see scores. It's just a live ranking with our judges. So that puts Annie in that number two spot as we are just under 16 and a half minutes left to go here as we take our first look at Canada's Olivia Oslin. Olivia, she is a styly queen. Oh, see the hand drag? that's a hand drag 540. That was style. Oh, I knew she had that trick. I was hoping we were going to see it right out of the gate. And it looks like she might have like over rotated a little bit on that landing, but this is such a technical trick in the sense that you are almost jumping in and doing a flip and then you have to commit to putting your hands on the knuckle. It's it's wild. You see, you look at it. Yep, she just taps that knuckle for a second. Oh. Yeah, see, maybe just kind of over 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 rotating slightly there, but Nonetheless, still an epic trick. So that's going to slide her into that number six position yeah. as of right now. So Sarah Hoffman sitting in the top spot here still. <laughs> lots of time to go again. It's all about overall impression. Another one that we talked about at the top of the show, Taylor Lundquist making her first ever on-site X Games appearance. As you mentioned, Maggie, she appeared in Real Ski back in 2021. You Oh, just going down and losing a shoe on that one, but she was definitely doing Kind of a little combo variation there with the 180 in to the switch three. It's gonna but have yeah. to make a hike back up the hill right there and go collect the rest of her gear. But again, jam session here, so still lots of time left. So while she uh, collects her skis right there, that gives us a minute to uh, check in with the judges right now and find out what they're thinking. You're getting no scores. Jason Aarons, how you doing? Uh, the live ranking. Talk us through your thoughts here on that first round. Yeah, super impressive first round. Uh, a lot of the knuckle being used, getting some butters in, seeing some nice slow rotations. Really excited to see what the next couple hits bring. Matt, do you have a question for those guys yeah, in the booth? No, Put them on I mean, the spot. Oh. Hey, you got me here? I got you. <laughs> no, I mean, is there anything that you're looking for specifically? I know you guys are really emphasizing on style, creativity, and progression. Is there anything, like I mentioned, specific that you're looking for? Yeah, we're really just looking for a lot of creativity in terms of how they're using the knuckle. I feel like we, we don't want to see this turn into a big air. We really want to see all these riders utilize that knuckle for what it is and see how creative we can get um, from everyone. Oh, I absolutely love that. Yeah, that's, that's a great point. You know, you can take it really massive off this knuckle, but that's not what it's about. So they're looking really, for that unique factor out here today. Exactly. Utilizing this big knuckle as we see right there from Aaliyah. Aaliyah Eichinger starting off the second round here as we get down to the 15 minute mark here in our Thayer's Women's Ski Knuckle Hub Jam session. Yeah, that She's was... in that number five spot right now, so two spots out of podium contention. Sarah Hoffman still sitting in that top spot, and here she goes in for round number two. Our current leader. Let's see what she's got for us. Jimmy, want to know what's crazy? I was talking to Sarah this morning, and she said she hadn't even practiced knuckle hook at all because she was so focused on the big air jump. So it's super cool to see her out here just playing around. She says, I'm just going to have fun with it. That's what it's all about. That's kind of the embodiment of this event. That's the name of the game is just get out there, have a good time. She's giving us a big 360, super styly, holding on to that safety grab to the very end. But once again, the judges emphasize they really, really want to see the girls utilizing this knuckle, hand drags, butters, getting really creative. All right, Teresa Korobova from the Czech Republic. She's looking at a potential medal right now. She finds herself in that bronze medal spot. Coming in switch here. Ooh, I like that. A little tail butter variation. Kind of skirting around on the landing, but still, she's getting creative. I haven't seen a girl, or any girls yet really pull that out. So I'm loving it. Steezy little style here as we take another look. <laughs> as Tom Walsh would say, some flavor. <laughs> 
Look at you. First hand, you already had to pick up where I dropped <laughs> off because I put on the wrong headset. Now you're quoting Tom. Welcome to the booth, Maggie. <laughs> Thanks, Jimmy. No, People it's weighing so in on the conversation say, go get him. Go get him, ladies. Yes. Lisa Zimmerman, or she, she's just outside of the podium right now, sitting in that number four spot. In the last go around, she had the hands behind the back. Oh, Changing it up here in round number two. Switch tail buttered forward. There we go. I think, like we mentioned, so we didn't see Lisa on the podium, I think, because they said they didn't want to see a big air. They really want to see these girls utilizing the knuckles. So I have a feeling we might see Lisa jump up into this podium position with that one. Oh, yeah. The slow mode, tail butter. Super styly. And like we mentioned again, we haven't seen Lisa here at this event since 2017, and we are so happy to have her back here at X Games. She decided to pivot more into filming in the street skiing scene. So that bumped her up. She was in fourth. She now there slides into that number two spot as we bring back in Park City, Utah's Rel Harwood. Oh, starting us off with that nose butter 540. Like I said, I know she has the 900, so she's just slowly easing into it is what it looks like. But Rel, I know she's got more for us to come. She was sitting down in that seventh spot prior to this run. Take another look here. Get a close-up look. She's been doing lots of knuckle training. She's been rollerblading on the ramp out at Woodward and uh, skiing. And yeah, at Woodward as well. Rel's been doing knuckle tricks for years now. So once again, you know, you've seen this event just in X Games for the men. And I'm, I might be biased, but it's about time that we had the ladies out here. Did you see that comment? I need to see Rel Harwood shred like I need air to breathe. Well, guess what? You're going to get some air because Rel <laughs> jumped up into the medals right there into third place on there that run. There you go. Yep, the judge is really liking that one. And Annie with another styly knuckle trick here. She just came out with an insanely impressive segment of her own, a bunch of jumps and a lot of urban skiing. And you know, that's what I love about this event is that I'm able to highlight a little bit more. This, like I mentioned, it's not your traditional slope style big air event. Um, and that's the other thing, you know, I can highlight these women who are really pushing it in the, the style side of things, the filming. Um, and that's also just the roots of free skiing. It's not just about contest skiing. And these women are really paving the way for that. Well, Rel had gotten bumped out or bumped in and then Andy just bumped herself right back in. So she's in second place. This is Olivia Oslin back in here oh, in round for two. There we go. She just cleaned up that hand drag 540. That's definitely what she wanted this time. And oh, so styly. Thanks, Olivia. I love seeing that. Yep, here we have it again. See, she's kind of going into a Lincoln Loop side flip and then putting her hand on the knuckle and then rotating all the way to switch. And like I mentioned, just cleaning that up from her first attempt. So she'll jump into the top three. So it's now Sarah Hoffman, Annie Carava, and Olivia Oslin for top three. Lisa, Lisa Zimmerman drops the fourth. First ever women's ski knuckle hug at X Games. Ski like a girl is ski right. That's right. Like a girl. That's what it's all about. You can thank the local Girl Scout troop for coming out on Moss <laughs> and having the signs out here today. Taylor Ooh, Lundquist. With a style 180 off that knuckle. And then also this little spray at the bottom, she's adding her own little bit of flavor and spice in there. <laughs> I love seeing it. And that's the other cool thing. You're going to see these women who are really emphasizing style within their skiing. They're not only just doing tricks off the knuckle, they're kind of adding that flavor in when they're landing or before they're hopping in, and I love that. So we're at the halfway point here for the first ever Thayer's Women Ski Knuckle Hug. Still about 10 minutes left to go on the jam session. Sarah Hoffman sitting in the top spot. Who's claiming gold? The local Girl Scout troop. They're loving it. Ski Like a Girl will continue when we come back.
success here. X Games Aspen 2024 continues on here at the Thayer's Women's Ski Knuckle Hub. First time the women of ski have been able to compete out here in Knuckle Hub at the X Games. Jimmy Coleman here in the booth alongside Maggie Boyson. We got Kristen Bede out in the field getting ready to drop Aaliyah Eichinger here for round three. But before we get to the top of the third round, let's take a look at her last run with the POV cam, Maggie. All right, let's check it out. So she started us off here with the Switch 180, kind of double variation to continuing three. Super styly, super clean. And like I mentioned, that was the start. That's history right there. Women's ski knuckle hug going down. So again, it is a jam session out here. You do not see scores as we roll on through this competition. It's all about a live ranking. So she starts off round number three. All right, here we go. So we have our top three, Sarah Hoffman in and Olivia. So she's just sitting out of the podium, but still, oh, nonetheless, having fun out here. And that's what I love. You can see it on these ladies. It's just not as much pressure as those normal kind of higher stress events. And that's what I love about what I love about this event, especially. It's just really showcasing the fun and just playfulness of free skiing. Let's see if that jumps up Aaliyah's standings at all. Right now, we're taking a look at our current leader, Sarah Hoffman here for right. round three. Oh, it's a little bit massive 540, but definitely trying to get a little bit of a nose butter in there with the tail grab. Get a little spray there on the camera. <laughs> Sarah's showing us what she's got. Oh. She owns a total of four X Games medals, trying to add a fifth out here today as she sits in that top spot as we take another look. Yeah, there's that big trick for her, going massive and deep down the landing. Looks like she kind of went for the tail grab, didn't quite get it, but showing us that she can also fly off the knuckle and grab her skis. So we're just under nine and a half minutes left to go here. It's going to bring back up Teresa Korobova. Teresa sitting there in that number six position at the moment. Judges looking for an overall impression out here in this event. Oh, and there we have the hand drag. I love hand drags. Once again, this trick is so technical. These girls make it look so easy, but there's so much commitment involved and in making it look so stylish. Oh, getting some high fives there. All right, here we have a look. So like I said, you almost throw yourself into a side kind of rotation, and then you commit and drag your hands on the knuckle and come back to your feet. So technical, so stylish. Yeah, and again, for those just joining us, there's no lip, there's no takeoff for this. I mean, you're literally using the movement to just propel yourself off of that roller of the landing and do the double hand drag like that. All right, here we have Lisa Zimmerman. Teresa jumps Ooh. up into the number two position right there as we bring back in Lisa Zimmerman. Sorry, see, I didn't mean to cut no, you off. No, you're good, dude, you're good. Yeah, see the judges really liking that hand drag variation, and there you see at Lisa doing one of her own, too. So I think maybe they're noticing, okay, the judges are liking these hand drags. It's time to bring them out. <laughs> Teresa Korobova jumped up into that number two spot, so. Lisa Zimmerman's going to stay in that number five position for now. Before we get to Rel Harwood, let's check in one more time with Kristen. Yeah, quick note on Rel Harwood. I just checked in with her mom. This is a busy weekend for Rel. She's one of the few athletes in this discipline completing in three different disciplines this week. And I asked her, how proud are you of your daughter? She started crying underneath <laughs> her sunglasses, and she said, unbelievably proud. Yeah, she was actually, she started it off yesterday. She was in the uh, Games of Slush. She the was, first time yep. that we've ever done that out here at the X Games. Yes, the women are full sin in this knuckle. Yes. You are absolutely right. We are loving the love. And yes, Rel Harwood, she actually unfortunately had a knee injury going into the 2022 season and missed that entire, oh, okay. I'm gonna, my train of thought, that was an epic nose butter 720. I love seeing that. There we go. These are some of the bigger nose butter rotations that I know Rel has, but once again, Rel is coming back from, you know, from a knee injury. She kind of had it rough there. It's tough as a rookie trying to get into and breaking your way into the sport. And she is finally here at the X Games making it happen. Proud of her as well. <laughs> She attends the University of Utah where she's in her fifth year, majoring in management and a minor in health. She was in the sixth place position there prior to this run. I don't know. I, I think that's going to bump her up. But once again, I know she has another 180 rotation to add on to that trick. So we'll see what the judges do. There oh, you go. Harwood, she overtakes Sarah Hoffman. Right that's the first, first time we've seen that top spot change in quite a while. So the judges are liking it. They've rewarded her as such. Again, no scores. It's just a live ranking. 
Yep. Rel Harwood finds herself in possible contention for a gold medal out here as of right now. There you have it. Like you mentioned, Sarah Hoffman's kind of been right in that top spot this whole jam sesh, and Rel Harwood really mixing things up here. But all right, now we're jumping into our next rider. Oh, yes, kind of the switch 180 tail drag back to switch over the knuckle. Once again, these women showing us all their different style and variations of tricks off these knuckles. Well, Andy was <laughs> in at the top three, but after what we saw at Arel Harwood, she just got bumped down to that number four position. And there you go, you see she kind of hops to 180 and then drags her tails across the knuckle and then continues her rotation all the way to switch. Ooh, super styly kind of holding the tail drag on that one. That was super impressive there in the slow-mo and just uh, gives you a full appreciation for that. This is the Thayers Women's Ski Knuckle Huck that you're watching right now. First time it's ever been contested for the women out here at the history of the X Games. It's Rel Harwood sitting in the top spot as of right now, still about six minutes or so left on the jam session clock. All right, yeah. You get I mean set to bring in Olivia Oslin. Here comes Olivia, one of the most styly skiers out here. I keep saying that about all the ladies, but it's true. They all bring their own style, their own creativity into this. And oh, Olivia doing another little nose drag across the knuckle. That was so sick. Once again, this is the first time that Knuckle Huck has ever been in the X Games for women skiers and snowboarders. So it's kind of new. We Not knowing what to expect and just seeing these ladies absolutely dominate and throw down. And skiing like girls. <laughs> I see a little bit of a hand drag on the last bit of that rotation there. Oh, Olivia jumps back into the medals. So it's Rel Harwood, Sarah Hofflin, and now Olivia Oslin, your one, two, three. So Teresa Korobova gets bumped down to fourth. Look at all the moving around on that leaderboard that's happening oh, right yeah. now. I know, it's been all over the place. Taylor Lundquist in for attempt number three here. 180 to switch three. So another like variation there, hopping to 180 and then continuing to do a switch 360. Oh, loving the style. Yeah, Taylor. Once again, Taylor, she is, I mean, in my opinion, she's leading the charge and paving the way for women when it comes to filming in the streets and urban skiing. And for those who, may not, who might be like, hey, Maggie, what's street skiing? What's urban skiing? Essentially, you go into the cities or into towns, and you're just building jumps onto random handrails and kind of getting creative within, the, within what you have. Yeah, just kind of making your own terrain park out of whatever you can find out there and just exactly. getting creative and, and filming these epic video parts in the process. And like I said, women are just, you know, it's been something that's been happening for years, but women are really starting to show that, hey, you can make a career out of this side of skiing, and I absolutely love it. Well, there was a big announcement earlier this week. X Games Summer Edition is returning to Southern California, Maggie. We're going back to Ventura June 28th through the 30th, so it's a little earlier this year than it was last year. You can get info and your tickets now over at xgames.com. So happy to have that one back in the mix. The best of all things skateboarding, oh. BMX, freestyle motocross. I've never been to a Summer X Games. i got to make that happen. Maybe that if I do a good job here, they'll hire me. Come on out. <laughs> last year was an absolute blast. We go back up to the top of the order. Aaliyah Eichinger. Coming in switch for us. The switch 180. Oh, to the hand drag three. I love that. So you've seen hand drags out of a lot of these ladies. But she came in and decided, hey, I'm going to kind of do two tricks. I'm going to come switch, hop 180, and then go into that rotation. So that's something new that we have not seen out here today. So again, the big story out of that last round, Rel Harwood jumps up to the top spot. She overtakes the lead from Sarah Hoffman, who we are about to see next. We're just under five minutes to go in the jam session here in Thayer's Women's Ski Knuckle Hub. Sarah's in, coming in switch this go-around. Coming in switch. She's in second place, so we'll see what she has for us to see if she can bump back into that top spot. Coming in switch. Oh, it looks like she's going for a massive switch, zero spin. And I want to mention again, I talked to Sarah this morning, and she's like, Maggie, I haven't even trained the knuckle hawk. I'm just going to go out, have fun, see what happens <laughs> and right there you're seeing she's just going for it and i love to see the switch zero spin such a styly trick but once again the judges are emphasizing we really want to see them use that knuckle and unfortunately maybe with that trick even though i love it she's definitely just kind of going for more of the big air style so that's going to keep her in that number two spot well for someone that said she didn't practice she's looking at a potential medal here which will be historic because it's the first time it's ever been contested on the women's side here at the x games teresa korobova trying to answer back jump back into that top three. Oh my goodness going for kind of a side under flip back to forward 
first I thought it was a backflip. I mean, that's technical. That's amazing. There's, like you mentioned, there's no knuckle or no lip off this yeah. knuckle. So you're essentially just using. nothing to give you that pop. There's nothing there. So you're essentially just using the strength of your legs to pop and set you into that rotation. Well, that was cool. I mean, Teresa throwing a lot of variety at us. We have not seen that from the ladies. We've only seen the front flip and then there. So that was awesome. I'm loving this. Taking a look at Lisa Zimmerman right there, kind of going through the, uh, the body motions right there. We'll see what she has on tap for us here. She is in that number six spot. So we're working our way towards the three minute mark. Oh, so it looked like she was maybe going for another forward rotation, but like we were just talking about, there's no lip to help you get into that rotation. So, you know, sometimes you might be feeling it and you get up to the knuckle or the lip and you're like, oh, no, not a good call. So smart on her to be like, I'm not feeling it, but maybe we'll see it again yeah, next run. Saw it kind of wind up into that one and then kind of back off. So we're just under three minutes left to go in the last round. Rel Harwood <laughs> jumped up into that top spot. Can she hang on? I think we're going to see that nose butter 900. Oh, OK, back for the 720. Maybe she didn't feel like she had the speed, but I know she has an extra 180 rotation for us there. Oh, man. Come on, Rel. I want to see it so badly. <laughs> Oh, and getting some love from our Girl Scouts out here who are really bringing the energy. They're the ones bringing the sign. Ski like a girl. And Rel Harwood, oh, look at that. And once again, so sad. She's almost kind of off axis on that trick, which is super cool to see. So but like I said, I know she's got that other 180 to give us. So we're coming down to the two-minute morning. It's Rel Harwood, Sarah Hoffman, and Olivia Oselin. Your top three. Who is it going to be in this final two minutes as we bring back in the finish skier, Ani Karava? All right, Ani, let's see what you got here. Oh, big 720 off that knuckle. Oh, man, these ladies are absolutely throwing down. Uh, that was so styly. But once again, I think the judges, I love that they're catching big air and going off, but they really want to see these girls utilizing that knuckle. So I'm not sure that that's going to put her into podium contention, even though uh, I absolutely loved it. Holds on to the grab through the rotation. And look at her landing. So styly, so stomped. And she gets the safety grab in there as well. But look at this landing. Ugh. So much style. She was in fifth. It's oh, going to bump her up. Never. She was in fifth pre-run, and she now is in medal contention. Never mind. I take back <laughs> what I said, and that is why I'm not a judge. <laughs> Rel Harwood still in that top spot. Sarah Hoffman still in second, but now it's Eddie Carava sitting in third, and Olivia Oselin gets bumped out into fourth with a chance to answer back here in oh run four. Oh, my goodness. So much is happening on this leaderboard. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and there it is, the flat five deep into the landing on that one. Are you kidding? I'm going to throw some love out there. I liked that. There you go. A that's what that's there for. And that's a signature trick from Olivia. That flat 540 right off the knuckle. Oh, so sadly. And I keep repeating myself. There's no lip. I don't know how these girls, they take so much commitment to jump and do these kind of rotations just off a knuckle. I was just about to ask if it's going to be enough, and she overtakes yeah. Rel Harwood. Wow. I mean, I think Olivia's just brought us so much variation from nose butter, tail butters, hand drags, and then also being able to show us that she has some big tricks off the knuckle. And I think that variation is also what, and variety is what the judges are looking for. So there's 45 seconds left. We're down to our last skier in the run order here. Will this be it or will we get another round? We'll see All Taylor right, Lundquist. Taylor. Ew, showing us her style, doing a little bit of a tail nose butt or tail nose butt or tail drag. <laughs> tail butter. Sorry, everyone. But showing us she's got variation with those nose butters, tails butters. I'm getting tongue twisted over here. So going back to Olivia Oslin, she owns a bigger bronze medal from Aspen 2022 and now sitting in a potential gold medal spot here. Take another look at Taylor's last attempt. There we go, yep. Let's see, I mean, that top leaderboard, those girls are starting to bring a lot of variety into their tricks, and I think that's what the judges are seeing. So even though things have been kind of been shaken up here throughout the whole contest, 
I think these top girls are going to start to be tough to beat. Well, guess what? There was still time left on the session clock there when Taylor took her last run. So we go back All up right. to the top of the order. We get one more round of runs, Maggie. It's uh, not over. Yes, I never want it to end. This is so exciting. So I'm happy to see we get one more run out of all these ladies to give us their finale trick. Coming in switch, the switch 180, back into that hand drag. So showing us once again, I think she did that last time, maybe trying to clean it up a little bit, but giving us some variety, doing the switch 180 in, and then into that hand drag. So Leah sitting down at that see. number eight spot. This is the fifth and final round out here at Fair's Women Ski Knuckle Huck. The first time it's ever been contested on the women's side of ski out here at the X Games. And what a party it has been thus far. Ski like a girl heart at X Games. I'm loving it. Yeah, <laughs> that might be the hashtag of X Games this year. Loving or the comments from comment. the fans as we roll through this Thayer's Women Ski Knuckle Huck. So Sarah Hofflin. She was in the top spot, then she got bumped down to second. Now she's sitting in a bronze medal spot with one more attempt here in this fifth and final round. All right, Sarah, I think she's gonna go for that switch zero spin again. She didn't quite get it on her last run, so we'll see. Ew, yep, there it is. Clean it up quite a bit. So steezy, so styly. So it's, it's, this is a really cool trick. So it is a straight air, but you're starting off switch and she almost does a little shifty, which is so hard to get your body back to that switch rotation. You almost naturally just want to go 180. So it's honestly way more technical trick than it looks. Sarah making it look so easy out here today. So she is not going to improve. She's going to stay in that third place position right here and uh, hope that that's enough to get her a medal. Joss Christensen holding on to the medal. That's what the, that's what everybody's in the hunt for out here. But right now it's Olivia and Oslin that's uh, in contention, not a medal, I should say, the knuckle ring, if you will. <laughs> so Olivia Oslin hoping that holds up. She's going to get another run here. You don't want to get in a fist on. fight if you win one of those. I don't know if they're going to let you through security with that one. Maybe <laughs> yeah. on the way out, you're good, but not coming back in. <laughs> Teresa Korobova back in for her fifth and final attempt. Oh, going for that ah. flat kind of spin again off the knuckle, not getting it. But it looks like she's doing all right. Oh. I mean, so much props for her to go out and try that trick. That is not easy and definitely a scary trick to try. Well, it's but good to see her bounce back up yeah. after that one. Listen to yeah. the cheers from the fans as she skis away. Yeah, super happy to see her walk away from that one. But once again, unfortunately, sad to see that she could not land that trick, but really happy that she's out here trying and inspiring this generation of girls who are you know, the first to do ski knuckle huck here at Big Air, or at X Games. <laughs> okay, Lisa Zimmerman eyeing it up again. She looked like she was going to go for a left side type rotation there. She kind of went for it, but then backed off in that last attempt. Oh, she's committed. There, there it is. we oh, go. Oh, man, so that's like a Missy 540, so a forward rotation. That was awesome. <laughs> so like we saw in her run before, it just seemed like she wasn't fully committed, but coming in this time, she felt it and stomped it to her feet. So cool to see this trick come out. Look at the so, wind up going that into that. It get, with no lip. That's so impressive. It takes so much power off of your legs. I mean, you know, like we saw before when she did the no handed front flip, it goes to show with these you know, forward rotations with a little more spin. You have to use your hands to really get your body into those positions and get the trick around. So it only bumped her up one spot, so that's only going to put her in that sixth place position. Rel Harwood was our current leader. She now finds herself in a silver medal position with a chance to answer back to try to reclaim that gold. All right, Rel coming in switch with a big switch 540. Oh my gosh, going to the bottom of the landing there. Oh, that was so cool. So she did. You know, the forward nose butter. And I thought maybe she was going to bring out that 900, but I think she said, hey, I've got a little more variety. Let's do a switch trick. I mean, that was so styly, so clean. Going for the Japan grab. Yep. Oh, thank you for that one, Rel. I loved that. And then just such a styly landing for us. I mean, they are just shooting in flying over that knuckle all the way down the landing. Bam. Yeah, she's down all the way to that last die <laughs> line right there. And she is not going to overtake oh, Olivia, so she will stay spot. in uh, that silver medal spot with just three skiers left to go. If any Carava do up next, then Olivia Oslin, your current leader, taking a look at her. Then Taylor Lundquist rounds out the order here. This is the last round, so last chance for the Finn. Annie Carava. 
And like you said, let's see what she's got here. Coming in, switch, switch 180, continuing that rotation. Super styly. Oh, I mean, like we mentioned, anything could happen out here. You see the leaderboard, Olivia in first, you got Rel in second, Sarah in third, but we still got some ladies to go, so they can shake up this podium position for sure. They have what it takes. But we'll see what the judges give Ani here. She was one spot out into that number four spot. But look at those. So your current leader, Olivia Oslin, who's right. due up next. So it doesn't look like Annie's going to bump up. So with two skiers left to go, we know that Olivia's going to get a medal. We know that Rell's going to get a medal. All right, here we have Olivia, our leader right now, coming in switch. Oh, backing Sarah up too, being like, hey, I've got a big switch zero spin for us too out here. <laughs> and going massive once again. I absolutely love seeing that trick. So um, a Jossie Wells classic trick right there. <laughs> And bam, with the little shifty in there. And look, she kind of opens up her arms. I think she surprises herself. She's like, I'm going big. But we'll see. So she's in the top spot, so. So it all comes down to this last skier, Taylor Lundquist on the outside looking in as of right now. As I said before, Olivia's going to be on the podium. Rail's going to be on the podium. Sarah Offlin in the bubble spot right now in that bronze medal position. This is the last one that can shake up the standings. It's Park City, Utah's Taylor Lundquist. All right, Taylor, let's see what you got. Final hit here. Oh, and just going steezy. I love that. She's kind of doing like a body slide off the knuckle to 180. We have not seen that out of any of the riders. Just and look at that. How do that you smile. slow down and just lay back to like glide off your hip and then pop right uh, back up? I don't know. That's that was kinda, impressive. Kind of got hurt too, I would imagine. But oh, so cool. Like I said, we have not seen that style of trick out of any of the ladies. Oh, loving it. And you could see Taylor there at the end, just her big smile. So it is official. Olivia Oslin is going to be the recipient of the first ever gold knuckles in the history of women's ski out here. The first time women's knuckle hawk has ever been contested out here, courtesy of our friends over at Thayer's. And let's take a look back, Maggie. And talk here us we through it. So there is the big hand drag 540, so styly. And then with this super impressive flat 540 off the knuckle. Oh, I absolutely love that one. I did not see her doing that trick, even though that's a signature signature jump for her, usually on a proper jump. But oh, so styly and so, so well deserved. Olivia, congratulations. Making history. Be so Josh Christensen stepping in to hand out the gold knuckles there. Let's send it down now to Kristen with our winner. Olivia, congratulations. What are the emotions that you're experiencing in this moment? Uh, I don't know how to explain it. I mean, I was so scared the whole time, honestly, and so um, confused because it's such a new thing for like the woman knuckle hook, first knuckle hook. Uh, so I don't know, overwhelmed, I would say. Describe the journey this sport has taken you on. Um, I mean, I think it's awesome that uh, there's more, um, <laughs> there's more like creative events, especially for women, since the knuckle hooks has been there for men for a couple of years now, and uh, I think it was amazing to uh, experience it. Olivia, congratulations, your first ever gold at X Games. And guys, she has now taken two medals in her first three appearances at the X Games. Congratulations, Olivia. That's right, she's a big air bronze medalist from right here in Aspen back in 2022. And now she takes on her second set of hardware and it just happens to be gold. Maggie, how about that? We just made history out here today. Your uh, final thoughts here on the first ever Thayer's Women's Ski Knuckle Huck. Like Olivia said, it's about time that the ladies were able to come compete and show their tricks off the knuckle. I'm so impressed with every single one of them. So proud, showing us what they've got and bringing that style and creativity. As the judges sort them as we roll through this jam session, taking a look at our next competitor here on a Switzerland. This is Sarah Hoffman.
Mm-mm. Well, hey. Well, hey there. I'm Middle-Aged Stream. It's good to see you. Howdy ho. I'm one of the many folks uh, co-streaming the X Games uh, here on Twitch. And it looks like uh, Jack is in between sets, uh, clearly. Um, but uh, now that I'm in control, um, maybe we got some cool music we can play? Yeah, jack it up. Ooh. No, I like it. Hey, but no, it's so good to see you guys. Um, uh, you can call me Jimbles. And uh, I've uh, really been having a great time here at the X Games. I know some of you right now might be um, shocked uh, to see uh, this beer right here live on Twitch.tv here at the X Games. We're doing the best thing we can do. I know some of us, we're all around the country. We get to come together. We get to vibe out together uh, here on Twitch. And I know YouTube also is kind of the, the big deal. Um, but, uh, boy, is it fun. And being able to watch these streams of the games together is just absolutely amazing. Um, pretty much every single event we've watched has been just, mm, chef's kiss. And uh, all I can say is hats off to all of our competitors. Uh, and once you're done competing, make sure you hang out and maybe pour a frosty uh, Pacifico. Mm. Let that get on your lips. Tasty. Delicious. Anyway, I'm Jimbles. Thanks for hanging out. It looks like Jack's going to be coming back soon, so I probably need to go before um, we uh, uh, find out how I actually hacked in. Um, but I love you guys, and have fun at the X Games. Super pipe. What I love, averaging 10 feet a hit. These are 22 foot walls, Craig. Yeah. Put that into perspective. 
backside indie there. I like that. Absolutely. It's very stylish. Now she's spinning. It grabs the tail, comes I mean, around nine. Look how much real estate she covers there, Tora. The front side, like the height, the front side, the style on it all, the backside vibe, everything was done. And that's what we see from the Japanese runners all around. But Mitski just hammered it home. And a hammer of a score, Brando. We have doesn't really win this. The judges want to see you put down all 20 minutes in this jam four. switch does that hand drink kind of like we saw from miles fallon but instead of just putting that switch toes down he adds a 720 to the uh simply mind -bong.
I want that poster. Wow. The way he brings that back. All your body, all your momentum wants to go to switch. He says, no, I'm going to regular. Oh, there's hype meter coming out once again. It's no a real surprise there. Even the way he does the cap nine, right? Maybe a little bit of a simpler trick in his run. He does it perfect. He holds the grab the entire way around. He lands so high. And then the switch back 12. Last run, he did a switch back. And there's Tora Bright giving him the gold, Craig. Scotty James used to fly over to Aspen and watch Tora Bright win gold medals. Guess what? Tora Bright is now giving him one. What a story. Uh, keep on chatting in. Tell us what you think, because I am having a blast watching this right now. It is ski slope style at its finest. This is Norway's Burke Root in for attempt at number two, sitting down in that ninth position pre-run. Getting tech up top on the rails here. Let's see this back three switch up transfer. That's what gave him trouble earlier. And we know favorite shot that backside 180 from the other angle a little off axis so sick here's the backside 540 right hand left hand touch then whips around watch how solid she is when she lands it looks like a feather let's head to see the names on the leaderboard as the judges sort them as we roll through this jam session taking a look at our next competitor here Switzerland, this is Sarah Hoffman. Oh yeah, Sarah, she is a vet here at X Games. I was talking to these ladies who were competing in the events, like slope style, big air, um, and they said they were so excited to be skiing in Knucklehawk. It's a great way to just start off the X Games the weekend for them. 
addition to add on to that. Yeah, Oslin gets bumped out into fourth with a chance to answer back here. So much is happening on this one.
broken ways when we now control how to buy, sell, and trade what's ours. Even that. The system doesn't need an update. It needs a rewrite. Chipotle's carne asada is back. It's our most tender cuts of steak, grilled and seasoned with cumin, oregano, and coriander. Finished with fresh lime and hand-chopped cilantro. Carne asada. This is our best steak ever. Pacifico is a crisp golden lager. Brewed for those who know, it's what's behind a label that matters. What's happening, everybody? Welcome to X Games Aspen as we bring you a brand new event here at Buttermilk Mountain. It's now time for the OKX Snowboard Street Style Final. There's a look at our beautiful Nixon Gold watches and awards we'll be handing out here today for the debut of a brand new event. Brando here with Jack Matrani, DC. We've got Closey providing the soundtrack out here today. We're having the best time. And Jack, for the uninitiated, let's talk about what street style is all about. Street style, this goes back to the roots of snowboarding right here. You Preach. got rail jam. It's just, you're gonna see a whole new crop of snowboarders, the best rail riders in the entire world. Even some of our commentators are here. We got Craig McMorris, my co-host, Gabby Maiden. I got Mike in one hand, I got chat on my left. So make sure to join us in the chat. Big shout out to everybody watching right now. This is gonna be a good Saturday afternoon. Well, we've divided it into the women's division and the men's division. So ladies first, without further ado, let's get it on, send it up to the top. Let's get it. We're ready to roll. Let's go. Yeah, finally, yeah. All right, chat. We got Sarah, shout out Sarah. Shout out all these fans who are here in Aspen getting a suntan. It is a beautiful day to be snowboarding on Buttermilk Mountain. Looks like we got Ellie Weber up there getting ready to rip this thing into shreds. All right, DC, we got Ellie Weiler. Elliot Weiler. Goofy footer out of Silverthorn, CO. That's right, Summit County represent Ellie Weiler. Warmed up. Was this competing in the knuckle huck? The yeah. inaugural knuckle huck. And by the way, women's knuckle huck was literally an hour ago. Hustling, all terrain vehicle. Ellie Weiler, she's doing it all. Madison Blackley out of Salt Lake. I like the pace. This is moving fast. I switch board slides, starting things off there for Madison Blackley, who, by the way, she's not afraid to enter a big mountain event as well. Very well rounded athlete she is. We got Kalista, let's go Brant, baby girl Farnsworth. A lot of fire emojis, Brantsley, let's get it. Well, here's Vita. Oh! 50, 50. Front three out off the donkey. Style, that is why they call it style. Making hard things look very easy. So here's Brantley Mullins. Here's a chat favorite right here. Brian, welcome to the chat. Oh! Textbook front side oh, board slide. That Beautiful. was clean. Almost a little hot garbage over there. Iris Fam, who also <laughs> competed in Knuckle Hawk just a bit ago. What up, Fam? Versatility. Auto Is zone. Key. Go, Iris. Woo. Iris, goofy footer. I'm looking at you, chat. Who do you think is going to take this for the women? Who are you rooting for? I see a lot of Brantley in the chat. Sarah saying the people want Brantley. Jalen Hansen, what you got? Front board, oh. Pretzel. Oh, how about this next rider, a goofy footer from Los Angeles, Gabby Maiden. Gabby Maiden. This is my co-host right here. Not only can she rock it on the mic, but she's got some, some rail skills as Let's well. Let's go, Gabby. Oh, smooth. Oh, dang. Get him with the front lip. 
first female African American professional snowboarder. Fun oh, fact. She's an actress. Egan Wint, fresh off a of bronze medal in Knucklehuck, DC. Yeah, she's warmed up, was just competing, board slide oh. through the king. That was sick. Very smooth, very smooth. Looks like she's got her own speaker. And we're wrapping things up here with Grace Warner on these first runs. Grace Warner. Nice little preview. Women are throwing down. That was a beautiful first run. Here we go, already dropping into the second runs here. It's the OKX Women's Snowboard Street Final. Don't forget the style. Games Don't forget Aspen. the style, Brando. Street and style. We've got some Nixon gold watches. We've got some awards to hand out. So the women have a 20 minute jam. And then our esteemed judges, Eddie Wall. And it looks like, is that Dusty Henriksen? I do see Taking Dusty. down scoring? Dusty, what up, dog? So under 17 minutes to ride with, we'll pick a winner at the end here, and then the men will hit the course. Shout out Garrison Brown 5, let's go Brandt. Ty, the guys go already, question mark? No, not yet, women first, guys are coming up. 16 minutes, I did, uh, I did get a little teaser, the GOAT, 22-time X Games medalist Mark McMorris may be joining us. For real? When the men hit the course as older brother Craig will be competing. I can't wait for that. <laughs> oh, okay. front board, same way, 2-7. What? That, that was, was sick. Beauty. That was style. That was very nice style. Here we go, hit the down. Nice little lip, switch. Are we? Justin Crisman, I like that you're all responding to the comments. I love that you're in the comments. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to share this across all your social platforms, far and wide, we're having a good time. We're here to blow your mind with snowboarding. We're also here to interact with you fans. Yes, it goes hand in hand. Oh, love that follow cam. Little fitty fitty back one. Thing of beauty. Dude, I love the pace. It's just drop. Oh! oh. Huge gap front lip. Now, you know, in slope style, you're used to seeing them rip the rails at the top, but they also have to hit so many jumps after. This is nice because they just focus on the rails. Yeah, exactly. I'm a huge fan of. But as you said, there's been rail jams are done everywhere all the time, but we've got to add just a little something extra because it is the X Games. That's right. And we do get to see athletes that you might otherwise never get to see at a big event. That's right. And it really brings the whole snowboard community, community together. Rail jams notorious, the Nixon jib fest. Shout out to Nixon for that one. Gabby Maiden getting ready to drop in for her second run. Gabby looks like she wants to get that front three out. But she's smiling, she's having a good time. That's my co-host. Hey, Gabby's, oh, hey, Gabby's Let's go, Gabby. Hey, I see you, baby. Gabby, two attempts in, how you feeling? Oh, I'm feeling good. Looking Just, uh, good. Enough. What do you say? You're making us proud. I can't really hear you. But You're making us much. proud. Yeah. Let's go! I got it! I will! <laughs> yeah. And by the way, no sleds are coming up to the top here. They are hustling up yeah, to get back is, up top. I like the pace, man. This Make sure you check out xgames.com, Jack and Gabby. Chatting all weekend long. Veda. Front 50-50, back oh. three going for that off the donkey. The donkey. Back Ellie Weiler. Ellie Weiler. Switchboard slide. For her third run. We're already on run number three here. They're getting it in. If you haven't checked out OKX Web 3, time to get some crypto going. Pop that wallet open. Bitcoin's going to the moon. 
moon. <laughs> we'll switch board slide there out of Iris Fam as well. Yes, Brantley is here snowboarding for C. Does Closey take requests? You know, I think she produces her own music, so don't go flashing Bad Bunny her way. <laughs> this is good. Front board to uh, maybe unintentional firecracker, but love the stair set in the mix here. Street style indeed. We still got 12 minutes left. We're eight minutes into this. We've already seen almost three runs from everyone. And it's going off. And again, if you're just logging in, it's the OKX Women's Snowboard Street Final. At the end of this thing, we're going to be giving away a Nixon gold watch and an award on the women's side as well as the men's side following this women's heat. Kyle Stoller, what channel is this on? Well, it's on TikTok, my friend. Isn't he watching it right now? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, we're, it is exactly where you're looking at it. Jay Fox, how are y'all, chat? Grace Warner, board slide through the kink. Oh, that was a beauty. She puts in work in the streets. Guys, the viewer count is absolutely skyrocketing right now. So thank you for whoever is sharing this. Make sure to tell all your friends to tune in. OKX, snowboard street style, going down for two 20 sure. minute finals. That's it, don't miss it. Yes, Tristan. The men are after the women here in about 15 minutes. So don't go anywhere. Bill not will. OMG, he's on X Games mode. I hope you're talking about Brando. Seen a lot of X Games mode. Wow, right there. Yeah, 50-50 front oh. one out of the kink there. Steezy. From Veda Hallen. Veda Hallen's having herself an afternoon. Yo. Someone's asking why. Oh, CJ Zuma is in the chat. CJ, we miss you, man. We wish you were here. Brando and Jack are on X Games mode all the time. CJ. DC on X Games mode with us, too. Yeah, our, that's what's up. Our favorite New York Jack. 1,000%. Where are you tuning in from, CJ? Let's go, Gabby. I think that front one, I think you're right. I think she wants that front three out. She wants that front three. <laughs> but so hey, it's good to, good to put one down. Oh, CJ's in the crowd, says Craig McMorris. Thank you, Craig. Oh, nice. Yes, CJ. I've had the pleasure of uh, riding with him in the springtime here. What a legend. Out here for culture shifters. I love that he's in the crowd, but also on TikTok. A true millennial. Multitasking. On X Games. Oh. I know they call George Kittle the people's tight end, but CJ Uzama also, he's Aspen's tight end. Less than 10 minutes. You're in the OKX Women's Snowboard Street Style Final. And we are about to cross the 1,000 viewer mark, 965. Let's go. Keep it going. Grace, Keep it climbing. Switch front board. Oh, Come on. Grace. Bringing that back to regs. That follow angle is so sick. Kate D's asking, what's the temperature here? Hmm. Let's say a balmy, what are you going to say? 26? I think I saw 40 for the high today, but it's nice out. I mean, you don't even have a beanie on right now. You're wearing a long sleeve shirt, Brando. Yeah, I got my camp aspen on. Oh, there's oh. that 50-50 front three. Veda Hallen, it's been fun watching her come on the scene the past couple years. Going for that front 50-50. You know, I'm no judge, but Veda is uh, really putting it down here today. What up, Jeffrey Simpson, tuning in from Halifax, Canada. Shout out to the global audience. Thank you, TikTok and technology. Halifax. Halifax. Um, we're in day two, boys. Any favorite moments so far from X Games Aspen? Day two, favorite moments. Scotty James oh, yeah. throwing the red boxing gloves on with that switch Mickey pullback. I could watch that all day, every day. Mia Brooks in her slope style gold medal yesterday. Absolutely insane. Last eight minutes here in the final. Yeah, I gotta go with Chloe Kim, returning 
to Women's Snowboard Superpipe, reclaiming the throne after a three-year hiatus. Grace Warner switch a lot from 50-50. A lot of snowboard love from us, but got to shout out Burke Rude today. Burke! That was an insane performance. Taking home his first gold. We'll take it. That's crazy. I didn't even realize that, that Burke had one goal before. There you are, chat. You're here. Inception. Hey, you're on the internet, chat. What up, Jagger? Rainbow Unicorn, grab the bucket. Oh. Rainbow Unicorn wants someone to grab the bucket. I think you're referring to the bell. Was Ellie eyeing up a transfer there? Is the bell possible, gentlemen? Yes? I don't think it's just here Jamie? for looks, Jack. What's the way onto it off this long flat? Right here? Let freedom oh. ring. Going Go for on. that front board pretzel out. Sorry, DC, I know you were trying to, trying to say that. You know, I know my rail tricks. I might be an old pipe rider, but <laughs> I could get a little, you know, baseball game pretzel going for you, a little mustard. Come on, we got this. There's the bell. There's the bell. It's Can someone ring the bell? Golden shine. and literally here in this distance. women's final. Here she goes. Here's Gabby. Go for that front board. Mm, Stacy. <laughs> Might have uh, recognized Gabby Maiden here from Stranger Things 2. No big deal. And that is why they call it a closeout. Nice to see a big smile. All good, all good. Oh, back lip. Lene Villagracia. Shout out New Zealand. Transfer. Oh, that was sick. 50, Here we 50 go. The board side transfer. That's getting the crowd going. The rest of the riders cheering her on. What up, Omar? Watching from Norway. Front board, same way, 2 7 for Veda. Jackie, how are we looking on viewers? We doing numbies? We are past the 1,000 mark, 1.1. 1 .1. If everyone shares this and one more person follows, that's according to my math, 2,000. Share this far and wide. We're having a good time. Tick tock. Madison switch board slide. 2 7 out there. Closey's here. Grace doing switch work out here with the switch front board. Oh! This little nose press, back one out. That's the style. That's the street and style we're looking for. Oh, we got some sled assistance for these athletes. Back now. up to the top. This high speed board slide. The vibes are immaculate out here. <laughs> Big thanks to Closey. We're loving this. These gold Nixons are beautiful. Jack, can we get another shot of those? Yeah. Oh, I don't have the camera though. Oh yeah. The winners oh. will be going home with these beautiful gold Nixon watches. Shout out Nixon Jib Fest. I like how you got as close as That's you what could I... without touching them. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who do we think's taking home the gold? Oh, I don't know. Let's go to our color analyst, DC. Who's your pick so far? Tough call. I'm not a judge. That's Dusty Hendrickson and Eddie Wall over there, but. Grace Warner definitely with a, a slew of switch yeah. tricks, showing yeah, no, no. that difficulty and the technicality. She would be a candidate, but Veda Howland also giving it a strong effort as well. All these women giving it a strong effort, but yeah, Veda Howland, I'd say uh, up in the running, she's got a bunch of landed tricks, and there she is right there. Front oh! 450! Four fist commish, Four fist as commish. Craig McMorris would say. Okay, that might be the trick of the day so far. <coughs> Guys, I'm just getting word that we're adding five more minutes to the clock. That's, I like to hear that. Pay no heed to the three minutes and change you see. I like to hear that, Gabby Maiden. We keep going. Jack's counterpart out there here this we weekend. Go. Lock it in the front side, board side. Making me proud. Oh, Grace. Board Gabby slide pretzel. Running. The women are moving so fast. They're trying to get in as many runs as they can here before this clock runs out. Madison Woo. Blackley, backside tail press. Yeah, 
that was nice. She's really? been crushing it as well. She's had some sleeper switch tricks as well. How sick is it? You've got one of the most progressive riders of all time, Eddie Wall judging, and Dusty Hendrickson, who's got an injury, back injury, not competing here at X, but also serving on this judging panel. Oh, transfer. Oh, nice transfer. Slipping out. That landing's looking a little, a little slippery. Added five minutes here to this women's final. Oh! Oh! 50 50 front three out. That was. Sticks the landing. Eddie Wall liking that. Steno in the trick. Do you think Eddie's actually riding anything right now? He's feverishly on that clipboard. Oh! I know that transfer. He's got the speed for it, that is for sure. It's the OKX Women's Snowboard Street Style Final. Getting close to handing out some hardware, a Nixon gold watch, and an award here from the X Games. A beautiful award at that. How about the Garfield tee? Egan went looking good with the Garfield tee on. One of my favorite comics from my childhood. Shout out Sierra, Forsheimer, hey. Praise the sun, do y'all read chat? We do not read the chat. Do y'all read the chat? Where you been? All right, he's gonna read the chat, he's gonna read the chat. Where's everybody tuning in from around the world? Who are you guys looking forward to taking home this beautiful Nixon watch and X Games award? <laughs> I saw a comment, turn up the closey. Turn up the closey, let's get it. Cosine. There you are, chat, you're here. I got the whole world in my hand. Chicago, West Virginia, Alabama, PA, Chicago the Netherlands, Ipswich, switch, okay. Win. Here's yeah, Gabby. 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 Oh, front lip catching the edge. Thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Double thumbs up. Woo! And she's okay. Oh. You be careful out there, Gabby. I need you. Grace oh. Warner, switch board slide 2-7. That was beautiful. So good. <coughs> we got Gimbal God on the follow, huh? All right. Legend. Yeah, we're not messing around here today. Oh, that's the, bring the big dogs out. Checking for some burrs on the uh, down rail there, that the handrail after. I, I was actually Ooh. wondering the same thing. Here comes the transfer, yeah. let's go! Yep. Yo, these women are throwing down. The clock is winding down. We're in extra time. Little OT. OT, OT. That's what they say. There's a whole lot of love when we go OT. That's right. Whole lot of love when we go OT. Oh my god. Put that on the cover, Slush Magazine. Stan, you, you hear that? Oh, okay, we're coming in hot. Gap to front lip there. That's a healthy gap. Veda Howland, not afraid. Andy THPS in the chat, grab your controller. No one in the world can beat that dude at Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. That's a fact. That's a hell of a fact. Three minutes, 47 seconds. What do we got? Switch front board. Going for that 2 7 out there for Grace Warner. Do I see Mark McMorris in the crowd? Got a Sparky sighting? When is Ski Knuckle Huck, asked Grady. Tonight, under the lights, the oh, final got, event. We got a big show tonight. Tonight's going to be a big one. Don't forget about men's snowboard, Big Air. Yep. Big hair going down tonight, under the lights. Big Air, do care. Yo, Bobby, shout out friends crew. Respect. 
Finn, Craig's competing, but is Mark? Mark is going to be hanging out with us while Craig competes. Okay. Gimbal God follow cam on the front 50-50, front one out there for Madison Blackley. The Kalen code, how do I get a job with X Games? Send me your resume, I'll have Brando look it over. And then DC will be making the final call. Copy that. <laughs> oh, we're closing in on the two minute warning, boys. Beautiful Saturday afternoon here at Buttermilk. Day two of three of X Games. Yeah. Closey in the house on the ones and twos. Yup, yup, tick tock, what up? Let's get to that 2,000 viewer mark, we're at 1.4. All of you tuning in, if you're in a city that's got some snow, hopefully this is inspiring you to get back in the streets. And Gabby, good to see her. Count it, Gabby. Getting that dirt off her shoulders, getting back up after the toughest slam so far of this event, I would say. We call that resilience. Oh, that was perfect. Board. Yes. Oh my. Popping nice off the donkey. Wolfman31, hello from Colombia. Hello from Aspen. Durr, stirred oh. up closey. We're out here for her. Huge gap lift. Saw dudes from NYC. <laughs> Saw dude. What's up, Madeline dude? Do you even rail jam, dude? I also just got word, we gotta watch this. Yeah, uh, I just got word that uh, the bell, Eddie Wall will be ringing that bell at the completion of the contest. So that's the ceremonial you know it's over when Eddie rings it. We got PJs flying over as well right now. Sorry, I was distracted oh. by that. Wow. God, he's a little early. I'm not ready to leave. <laughs> well, time to go, Brando. Is that how you got here? That is how Sean White got here. <laughs> he had a flight to Utah for the day. A little fun fact. That's actually not a joke. That's for real. All right, Gimbal God setting up. Oh, this is going to be a good angle. Oh, I like this. Here we go. Ellie Weiler. Oh! Backside lift slide. Teamwork. I like that. Teamwork. Last 10 seconds. Emil Vogsnens, hello from Denmark. There we go. Yeah. Dialing in that transfer. Yeah. that bell. Head judge Eddie Wall letting us know it is complete. There you have it. Eddie OKX. and Dusty have clearly made their decision. So let's get the judges over here as we watch some replays from what just went down in the OKX Women's Snowboard Street Style Final. A lot to like out here today, DC. Yeah, Vanna definitely crushing it. There's Gabby right there. Egan went. It was a good time out there. We had great fans in attendance as well. Big shout out to our production crew getting all the shots out here. Appreciate the hard work and dedication. But wonderful having the street style back here at X Games. Woo! Of course, street riding, the culture is thriving. So again, hopefully those of you tuning in at home were inspired by this. If you live in a city, in a town, somewhere with some snow, when you're done with this, get out there, go set up a spot. Go here, get here. clipped up. Here, here. Don't need to buy a lift ticket. Praise the Don't sun. Need to drive Can you up to the mountains? Praise the sun. Can you please say my name again? It would make my year. Praise the sun. Praise the sun. What's your real name? Oh. Durs, turn up closey. I All agree. Right. Now we're getting a little personal, Jack. Where, where do you oh. live? What's okay. your social security we got number? Eddie. What? We got Eddie coming over. Here comes the judge. Jack. Oh. Can you? Here comes the yeah. judge. Get over here. Get on up here, Eddie Wall. 
Eddie, that was not an easy one to judge. Any thoughts before we get into this? What I will say is that there was basically almost a three-way tie. It was very difficult. It, this was very difficult. And to be honest, everybody killed it. So shout out to all the women riders. That, that was amazing. Really high energy. We had a blast judging. Dusty. Yeah, how, how, how lucky were you to have this guy judging with you, Dusty Henriksen? How are we doing? How was how was judging it instead of competing for once? It was it was phenomenal. It was a nice nice breather on this nice sunny day. It's it's pretty stressful out here competing. As an athlete, you know we all want it bad, so we're gonna go for it and send it. And it gets dangerous, so all that pressure off has been a uh, nothing for me to complain about. We love you. We're so glad you both are here. But there can only be one winner. Is it time to announce? Without further ado, Eddie Dusty, who is our winner? All right, here we go. Your 2024 Aspen X Games street style winner, women's winner, is Grace Warner. Grace, Grace Warner! Warner! Come on Let's down. go! Make some noise! Congratulations. Where's Grace? I want to give her her gear. Come on down! Come on down, girl! Representing Michigan. <laughs> so much street talent comes out of the Midwest. <laughs> Okay, grat. A beautiful oh gold Nixon watch. Congratulations, Grace. How you feeling? Uh, really crazy. I was not expecting this at all. <laughs> Go celebrate with the ladies. You've earned it. Oh my gosh! Thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here. Your first ever OKX Women's Snowboard Street Final winner. This is what it is all about. All the women. Group hug. It's a group hug. I want in. Yeah, Brando, you stay out of there. This is what snowboarding wow. is all about. Love for one another. That's amazing. Brand new gold Nixon watch, next game's award. And camaraderie on 100. Yes. Well, as the ladies celebrate, we must move on now to the men's side. So we'll turn our attention up top. We've got some heavy hitters, including my broadcast Thank partner, so Craig McMorris, who's wired up. Craig or Bear, can you hear me? I got you, Brando. What's up? I uh, just want to get a general vibe check heading into the street style final for you. I mean, it's pretty much just like eight mile up here. Nobody's talking. People are staring each other in the eyes. Um, Mom's spaghetti. Yeah, there's already been almost a fight up here. so. Uh, I'll, I'll keep you updated on that. No, just kidding. It's fun. It's it's amazing. Uh, that woman's event was really fun to watch. Yeah, it is amazing. We've got uh, some of the heaviest hitters in snowboarding as well as some newcomers. I love just the uh, variety of rider we've got out here today. Absolutely. Absolutely. Wow, what was your guys' favorite hit on the women's side? Jackie Boy? There was many. I think the front... Blunt, four fifths, Kamish. Oh, yeah. Definitely. But then also some of the transfers, the 50 50 front threes off the donkeys. There was a lot. There was a lot of moments in there. What about you? Did you have a favorite? Sorry, we're getting into a riders meeting right okay, now. Sorry. Okay, yeah, let's keep it down. Keep oh, it down. Oh, sorry. We don't, don't mean to bother you there, Craig. Yeah, oh, we're just so out sorry. here doing a broadcast. Yeah, it's called a conversation. It's yeah. when we talk back and forth. So don't agree one, to be wired up. One way relationship. <laughs> Oh, it's like I'm only willing to give you this much. I just put the chat in my pocket. What Let's are we bring him back out? About? Fancy Pants Manda, uh, give us Mark. Mark is here. Uh, Sparky's here. Uh, Sparky's here, don't worry. Mr. McMorris, if you have a minute. Mr. McMorris. Craig, notice me, Denali. Where's Mark? Mark's here, guys. Don't you worry. So, He's coming in. Craig, I don't know if you can still hear me. So you, are you guys just wrapping up your riders can meeting? I see the start list? Craig is in the zone. He's looking at the start list. Yeah. No, I, I'm not. I'm not in the zone at all. Yeah, yeah. You're out of the Way zone. Out of the zone. Yeah. Were you ever in it? Yeah, <laughs> I've never been there. A lot of people talk about not letting you get into your zone. <laughs> Are we dropping in? Uh, I think this, this is, is warm ups. Warm -ups guys. Yeah. All right. Is that Darcy Sharp warming up? Marky, get over here. We got the kid. We are in some 
Co oh. Company of some yellow jacket I'm sorry, royalty. Right I'm it's sorry. a warm up. Did the owner of 22 X Games medals, 11 of them gold, the most dominant winter X Games athlete of all time, just roll up? Looking That's good. So Looking good. So this fit, let's talk about the fit first and foremost. I saw you post something on your Instagram. I have thoughts. Go for it. Asking the, asking the fans to help you choose. Was this the choice? Yeah, this was the choice. I, I mean, I was leaning this way, but um, the poll definitely was on the same page as I me. And yeah, well, say what's up to the chat. Who do we got? We got oh, Mark Jack. McMorris. It's just a jacket. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Oh, yeah. Shrimp on the Barbie. Holy pen. What'd you think of the women? Or were you out? Did you get to, to, no, uh, I got to watch to it? I see the last few yeah. hits. And very proud of Grace Warner. She is an incredible rider. and. Um, it's cool to see a Michigan gal come out here and win an X Games gold in her first ever appearance. Especially in West Love. In, in that Burton corduroy jacket. Uh, so let's take a look now at our finals list. We've got some pretty big names out here, Mark, including obviously big brother Craig. But uh, immediate thoughts looking at this start list here today. Francis Jobin um, dropping first, you know, he is one of the most technical rail riders around. Luke Winkleman, amazing. Steezy. Jack Hale, a staple in the rail game. Darcy Sharp is a rail jam god. He probably has the most wins out of anyone in a rail jams. Benny Milam, I mean, the list goes on. Pat, Jesse Agostina, big bro Craig McMorris, Zeb Powell's in it, um, coming off a medal last night, and then Nate Haas, who also has won many, many rail jams. Yep, this is a stacked list. I'm excited to see Pat Fava. Yeah. I saw him at a rail jam in Salt Lake City. It was the first time I actually saw him shred rails in person. It was like, okay. This dude is insane. And he has probably the best helmet steez out here. He's yeah, it's in the bike helmet. The bike helmet. <laughs> That's what it's all about. It's where you see the flare, right? Sort of rail jams. This is the, the real flare style. Well, this is the beauty of X Games because you've had slope practice and you were able to just cruise over right next door here for the street style final. Um, your thoughts on this course for uh, slope style tomorrow? Slope style course is extremely technical. There are so many rails and it's running so well. It gets better every day, so the fact that we're on Sunday is really nice. We get lots of practice and the course just continually improves. So, looking forward to it. I got a question from Vault. Is it against the rules to go without being clipped in? Clipped into what? Your board, your bindings. Um, no, I'm sure you could snow skate it, but I don't know if there's anyone on planet Earth. That Are could we going to see a one without <laughs> bindings? I think Vault wants to know if we're going to see any one footers. Thank you for the question. No bad questions. That was great. Shout no out Jack. Questions. What's up? Someone's asking for a signature. Can they have a signature? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. We got Find you. Me. Sounds like we're ready to get things going here in the OKX Men Snowboard Street Final. What's the winning trick going to be? Oh, see? I think it's going to be about a body of work. Yeah. It's not going to just be one trick. There's going to be a lot. Here goes Luke. Wow. He is turned on. What was that? I missed half that cap back three. Hard way, half cab, backside three out on the down flat. Benny Milan. Oh, oh my. Benny Milan, okay. Board slide, lip slide, pretzel out. High, high speed. Uh, Mark, your thoughts on Knuckle Huck last night? Wow, very entertaining. I thought everyone did really well. Um, it, it's incredible what they can do off a knuckle. It made me kind of wish I was out there, to be honest. I was like, ah, I should be out there, but um, it's always. Always been like a marathon of X Games this year. I'm just doing slope style, but it de they definitely make it look fun, and I think it's uh, I think it's really cool for the viewers too. Uh, we've been asked for those who have not watched uh, Craig compete in a contest like this. Can we get a quick scouting report on Craig McMorris? <laughs> Craig hasn't ever been much of uh, a competitor. He he doesn't love competing, but I think he's geared up and ready for this. When he did shine in contests, it was always in the rail jam category. So I think this will be good for him. He spends a lot of times in or a lot of time in the street filming. So this is somewhat similar to that and. Um, I'm just happy he's in it. It's so cool that he's competing in the X Games, and we get to do it together. Did that not just warm your heart? That's yes. the sweetest thing I could possibly think of. Uh, chat firing? What do we got there, Jack? Yo, Jack, Jack's in the chat. Sorry, over here. Greg21, Mark, can you please just say my name? It's Greg. Greg? Got it. Done. Boom. <laughs> Boom, moving on. <laughs> the Kalen Code. Who do I need to send my resume to? 
What are you? What's what? Are, he what's wants the to role? work for X Games. Just send it to me in the are DM. You are you coming for our spots? Yeah, probably. We got room for oh, you, I got buddy. An e I got an email. I can send it to. Yeah, we got you. It might bounce back. Hey, are you so? It might bounce back. So after watching Knucklehawk last night, is yeah. it something you're thinking about maybe for 2025? You never know. You never know. A lot I like of water it. to go under the bridge before then, but it's, hey, it's true. It's in the back of my mind and. Knowing that Jack wants me to be in there, it's a little extra motivation. I keep asking him. Yesterday we had a nice little sit down with that Mark. Was nice. and, and I was like, dude, I've seen you ride Knuckles before. We were in Australia and it was just a full Knuckle day. It was slushy that and was warm out. And I was day. like, okay, you forget how good Mark is on a oh. snowboard with whatever is in front of him. It's always a treat to ride with this guy. Well, Jack, now I'm blushing. Yep. Thank you. You heard it here first. Well, I think we're ready to rock here everybody's having a nice little up chat. top they look warmed up dc i know you've been having eyes up there just your immediate thoughts from that warm-up that Ooh. looked like it was a finals contest already yeah a lot of heaters going down definitely uh, these these riders are ready to go so really excited thank you everybody for tuning in appreciate you tuning in on TikTok. thank you jack with jack, with the uh, chat going on there you got any other ones there I got locked out of my phone and I don't remember my passcode. Classic. Uh -oh, Face ID. All right. Well, well, Jack tries to figure that out. <laughs> oh, got it. I got it. Let's kick things off, shall we? First rider to drop in for the OKX Men's Snowboard Street Final. The Who's one, the be? only. Who's dropping? Frank Jobin. Frank Jobin. Going for the transfer right off the bat. I had a lovely meal with Frank and Craig as soon as I flew into town a couple of days ago. Winkleman. Oh, oh there he goes. Very close to a very technical trick. Luke's got some of the best style in the league. Here comes Zach Hale. Let's go, Zach Hale. Zach Hale never oh, fails. Oh, Let's go. Flip transfer to Fakey. That's our first full pull on the board. Yeah, we did notice the sun did just Darcy drift Sharp. behind the mountain, so a little light change, Switch but back oh boy. does not matter for Darcy Sharp. Benny Milam. Benny Milam. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Butter from the from downtown, honestly. Locked in from downtown. Back, from take deep. off, front side, lip side, locked in, popped out. That's from the rafters. And just hopping off of this road bike, here's yeah, Pat Fava, Fava from Utah. Oh, Looks like a butter. Back two. Half cab to back two. Very clean, very clean. All right, here's Jesse. All the way from the Netherlands. There's a lot of indoor riding. Ooh, switch Rail. backboard, same way. So smooth, so smooth. And now dropping in, Craig McMorris. Big bro. I think he's going to start with a frontside 270 pullback. No, he's not. Taking a different approach. Oh. <laughs> Creative use of space That's there. That's what I was just going to say. <laughs> Let's 50, go, 50. Craig. 50-50, yeah. frontside 180. Here he is, Zeb Powell. Powell. Zeb. Oh. Uh. Lip slide. Oh. He's always an entertainer, man. God, he's fun to watch. He is so funny. It was so fun to watch a knucklehawk yesterday. And we wrap up first attempts, Nate House. Oh. oh, the style, the control. All right, Luke Winkleman back up. Back up to the back top, 270, Luke Winkleman. Out. Beauty. His first make of the event. Francis Jobe. Ooh, switchboard transfer, switchboard, 270 out. Butter, Zach Hale. Backside 270, 270 out. Yo, let's see some W's in the chat. If you're liking what you're seeing, mad respect to everyone competing right now. 50-50 oh. front lift transfer to 270. Cap 270, perfect. Wow. Okay, two for two. Two for two. Two That's for a two for. That's a two for. <laughs> Comes Pat. Hardway cap two. Oh. Takes it right between the bindings. Locked and loaded. My goodness. Okay. Um, how is Luke Winkleman up there again? <laughs> it's insane how fast they're going. Are they on snowmobiles? Shout out Tiger snowmobiles, electric snowmobiles, racing them back. Backboard, up. pretzel out. Luke Winkleman, some of my favorite style to watch. 
Hit him with a follow on Insta. Jesse Agostina, gap, backside nose press right through the kink. Zeb Powell. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. oh. You never know what he's going to do. You just don't. Nate Haas. Unpredictable. Ooh. Wow. Oh. Very technical. Really taking advantage of the transfers here. Back 270 to, nope, back 270 to regular. Very clean though. Lots of amplitude, super cool, super Krager. good vibe. How about Krager's welcome part? Video drop. Very today. nice. Just got signed by Nidecker Snowboards. Boom, front 270. And to the switch. welcome to the team video part dropping this morning. Check it out on his Instagram at Craig McMorris. Good job, Craig. We love you, buddy. We love you, Craig or Bear. Hey, Craig, can you hear us, bud? I can hear you guys loud and clear. How you <laughs> feeling? <laughs> cool. Couple attempts in, how you feeling? Feel great. Uh, going to the I game plan. Hear us. Coach Mark and Coach Scott were uh, coaching me, essentially, but I'm going to lose my mind at Frank Joven back to pull. That was just ridiculous. This dude. Uh, vibes through the roof, guys. Thanks for checking in. You look great. You save, look your, great. save your breath. We're at altitude here in Aspen. Shout out Technologic LV. Where's Forrest Bailey? Shout out Forrest oh. Bailey. Another Seriously. rail ripper. Hot Fava. Oh, <gasps> oh, wow. I am your 50 50. Fava. Gap. Transfer lip <laughs> through the king. Yo, it is a good time. Ooh. Up here at the OKX. Okay. Wow. okay. Nolly backside lip through the down flat, down flat. Darcy Sharp. Darcy. Luke Very Winkleman. nice, Darcy. Oh, okay, Winkleman. Winks. Wow. <gasps> Oh my. Count it. That was part of it. Just like Knucklehawk yesterday with Zeb. Doubles. Wow. Closey putting it down out here. Closey feeling the vibes. Hey, shout out Aspen. Look at this crowd out here. For Straight a up. Event. Aspen, make some noise. All these guys are absolutely lacing their tricks. This is uh, a lot of makes. Not a lot of bailing going on. Cap 270, Zach Kale. Right between the bindings. Shout out Kyle from Sasky. Y'all are killing it. Oh, oh Zeb Gillon! That like late. He is literally a real life action figure. Yeah. Here we go. That's just tricky. Ooh. Thing of beauty. GG's Chronic. Really weird. Chronic. We're gonna <laughs> end it at that. What a show the boys are putting on, eh? Pat on one. Bike helmet, engage. Uh, question in the chat. Mark, where are you snowboarding after Aspen? I'm trying to figure that out right now. Where's the pow at? Yeah, where should Mark go, chat? Where should Mark go? Where's the snow? Big bro, Craig McMo. Here goes Craig. Hey, creative use of space once again. Just goes down though. Looking icy. It's looking a little firm on the landing, but we got to get up to Craig. Taking the most creative approaches to this thing yet. I got a question. Is uh, are Don and Cindy McMorris in yeah. attendance? They are present this weekend in Aspen. I've yet yet to see them, but I'm sure they're down there in the crowd. They have a couple friends here, and my cousin and his girlfriend. There's lots of oh. Sasky folk in the crowd. Met a few Canadians this weekend, and yeah, it's a it's a family affair here at X Games. The beauty is they've been coming so many years. They don't really need you or Craig. They just they kind of have their own program, right? They know what they're doing, and they always bring friends, so they know we're busy here. I did see them at the Hotel Jerome, and they were some of the happiest people in the really? hotel, maybe in Aspen. I love that. That's just energy. a general. They're, they're the best people. Pat Fava. There he goes. Locked in. in. Pretzel out through the down, flat, down, flat. Zeb. I like that. I like that. <laughs> I like that too, Brando. Craig, what are you thinking for your next attempt? Should I go oh! back to the well? Do you think I should go ollie over the kicker and then ollie over that closeout onto the down bar? And I kind of want 270 out, but that one I didn't get it. What do you think? Yeah, back go well back to the well. Go back to the well until you find the water. Okay. Keep digging. <laughs> I was told there would be no cardio here, and I am. Uh, I told him to go back to the same trick. And get oh! Like, I'll go back to the well. Yes! Keep digging. Oh, do you want a new trick, Brando? No, no, no. We're all we're all team. Keep going, keep going until you get it. Cab nine fifty fifty. Here we go. Craig McMorris, X Games. Back to the well. Oh! 
Oh! Come on, Craigie. There you go, baby. How'd that feel, Craigie? It's a little icy on my takeoff, and I have no, uh, no hedge. Craig, don't be afraid to get on a sled. Oh, yeah, you're right. That's why I was so <laughs> out of breath. You got a long time so listening. The real time coaching between you two is incredible. You know, he just never takes a day off when he's working out. Brando's definitely a technical coach, but also a life, life coach. coach. Life coach. Wow, Benny Milam's got the Midas touch. God. Who's in the lead so far? The power in, in on that mind. seal. Yeah, Mike, Mark, who do you like? Um, I think the, the big standouts thus far have been Luke Winkleman yep. and Benny Milam, for sure. Yep. Yeah, I endorse that. DC, what are you thinking? Gosh, yeah. Benny Milam, indeed. Wink. Okay. Yes, yeah. he's cooking up. This is my guy. Too. Conversation. This is my too. guy. I've and been Pat I got my money on Fava. Luke just make after make. I don't even know where we're at on the clock. Just keep it going. Some nice trick. Ten more minutes. Oh, oh Zeb, you lost something. Yeah, something that. just flew out of your pocket, Zeb. I mean, Darcy's been on one too. If he gets. Uh oh. Watch the landing. Watch the landing. You know, you know, boys. What I really think it's going to come down to: who's the hungriest dog in the field? Really. They're all trying to eat, but who's going to get that bite? <laughs> <laughs> that might have been the quote of the day. We all hungry. We all hungry. We're getting the cheeseburger, dude. Oh! Frank Jomay. There's our judges, Eddie Wall and Dusty. Wow, nice panel. Yeah, how sick is it to have those two guys judging yeah, this thing? Yeah, yeah, one of the world's, two of the world's best rail riders, one from the early 2000s and one from the present day. Sprinting. Frank Jobin, yes, literally sprinting He's back hungry. to the top. I am a huge fan. I want to just give a huge thank you to X Games for bringing this event to not only us here in Aspen, but to the world on TikTok. Let's go, Craig Bear. Switch from Bull Pretzel! Yeah. Yes! There's the boy. Switch front board. Pretzel. Craig, Craig how'd that feel? Yeah, honestly, I thought I almost uh, lost it on the in-run, as I mentioned, a little icy, but uh, she came around just nice. She did come around. Under 10 minutes to ride with. Here in the OKX men's snowboard street style final, I'm losing papers. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really glad I'm not Eddie Wall or Dusty. There are so many good tricks going down left and right every second. Winkleman, 10 for 10 now. <laughs> Is it just me or is it Winkleman getting in more tricks than anybody in the field? Is it, it's the hustle. He has that. You hustle. can't Winkleman. He dog in him. Okay. He got that Fava. dog in him. Fava, once again. What was that? I just kind of missed the end. Was that back three, Fitty, back, back one? I still know. I still know what's going on. Was that cab 12, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Not in the rail, Jeremy. <laughs> Never been done. Jesse Augustine has some of the tidiest style. Luke Winkleman, how's it feeling, dude? It's good. It's shady and icy, but jibs are sliding. You're looking great. Keep it up. Jack getting the report from Wink. He's cruising by. He said it's good, a little icy, but he's having a good time. Benny Milam. Oh! Oh, <laughs> Benny. Benny gives the shrug emoji. That could have been a bad time. Mark's reaction just made it even scarier for me to watch. He just completely ran away from the monitor. I thought he was putting his teeth into the stairs. Good save. Oh, oh my. 2-7. Oh. Right, we're the laying it all right. on the line. Yeah, there's a look at that Nixon Gold watch. Only one. One of one. A ton of tricks going down. Everyone's looking good, but only one is going to eat. Wow. That's so Front side 270. About as good as you could do it. There it is. That thing's a thing of beauty. Mark, thoughts on Scotty James winning gold once again in Superpipe last night? Unbelievable. I, I mean, wow, dark sharp. Um, Scotty James has got to be one of the most consistent half-pipe riders to ever live. He is so technically sound and just shows up every time. Very impressed with him. And uh, I was happy to see him do it once again. That was his first three-peat. 
and I would like one of those tomorrow myself. It's very inspiring. Yeah, Pat. Under seven minutes to ride with here in the final. Frank. Back oh, go for the switch back three on Frank Jobin. Oh. Frank the Tank pops back up, though. Jai, 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 Jile, 19, can you say my name? There you go, there you go. We can, we can try. We uh, tr I actually can't, <laughs> I tried, though. I've been told because this entire contest has been Hammertown, USA, no extra time added. Yeah, the judges already have it hard enough. <laughs> Like, this is, everyone is... Yeah, I have no idea how... Oh, oh my goodness! I kept 50. Dude, I was just gonna say, I have no idea how Eddie and Dusty are gonna judge this. Oh, Winkleman! Wow. I honestly don't know either. Like, I, they can barely get pen to pad before the next guy's on the screen. <laughs> I think they're just going over all impression, I would imagine, and I'm sure they'll make that right call. Gold watch is hard to split, you know. A Here's a couple links for you. You get the hand, the dial. What up, chat? How's everybody doing? Oh, can you say Levi? Oh, Praise Levi. The sun. What the up, sun. Levi? Thanks for tuning in. How's everybody his, feeling? I thought Saturday. his given name was Praise the Sun. Praise the Sun, aka Levi. Levi. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. We love you from beautiful. Buttermilk Mountain, Aspen, Colorado. Oh. X Games 2024. Five minutes that on the clock. Five minutes countdown? Okay, we're doing ET, OT, extra time, overtime. Okay, so you're wearing this today. Is this also the kit for tomorrow, Mark? Or do you have something for that? Yeah, I think it's going to have to be the kit for tomorrow. Okay. Um, pretty much married to this kit for tomorrow, I think. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to switch it up this late in the game. Yeah, you know that. no, that's right. Yes. Okay. So just a preview you of what you're going to see in so stuff. I actually voted on your Instagram post from yesterday, and I said, black and yellow, black and yellow. That's right. It's Shout a good out kit. Wiz Khalifa. Shout out Wiz. Yeah, right, right. I'm liking the new branding, you know, the Burton on the side here. Yeah. The AK Burton. AK. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, show the, pe show the people at home who you're wearing. It's bomber. Simple, yet super durable. Very light. Full on. <laughs> Officially full on. Yes. Jack, what do you call this yellow? Um, I call that hot mustard. Hot musty? Hot musty, yeah. Hot <laughs> musty. That's some hot musty. And I like that they didn't go black. It's a nice little blue. Yeah. It's like butter, baby. How you doing? I think it's a queso with the sky blue. Yeah, indeed. Well, if you're just joining us, we're here. We got five minutes. Oh, no. Course hold. I guess I'm just yeah, joining too. I think we might. Took a bit of a harsh slam. Took oh, that yep. last kink right into the belly. Hopefully, I missed that. I think checks out internally, um, but that was extremely scary. And he has the best medical staff tending to him right now. And uh, my fingers are crossed for the guy. Yeah, X Games Medical all over it as they are. Hopefully, Frank is okay. Well, while we wait for an update there, why don't we turn back to the chat here? Got TikTok in my hand. I want to hear it from you guys. Who do you think is taking home this Nixon Gold watch? Who's it going to be? You're in the chat. Predictions. Who's winning? Spy Optics, Zach Hale. Spenny, go Canada, go. Andrew likes Luke Winkleman, also a fan. Kativia, Pat Fava has been insanely consistent, agreed. Uh, period is your name, Zeb Till I Die. A lot of Luke Winkleman fans here. Tara Hershey, let's go Patty. Someone just said, yep, Zeb. Dusty, yeah, Dusty for sure. He will win judging. Yeah, if you're just joining us asking what's happening, Frank Jobin uh, just took a pretty bad spill. So X Games Medical is attending to him right now. That's why we are on a course hold here in the OKX Men Snowboard Street Style Final. 
We've just got 10 of the most technically gifted riders on the planet, all convened here in Aspen on a beautiful day two. Love to see it. Frank Joven is on two feet and standing. Oh, that's amazing. It truly is. We never like to see anyone get carted off, so I'm very happy he got up on his with his own power and oh. but just like that we're back on, huh? Mark, as you said, I mean whether it's slope style, big air, knuckle hook. Even a contest like oh. this, there's always high risk involved. Very much so. And these guys are definitely wow. pushing the limit. <laughs> they have nothing to lose here and everything to gain, as you can see by the trick choice. Darcy. Everyone wow. is just wow. firing. Man. Yes, this is the grand finale, folks, at the fireworks. It was show. like just taking a few minutes off to fuel <laughs> these guys. Bam. Yeah, it did not. What did just not, happened? Yeah, it, it almost stoked the fire. They had a second to breathe. Oh, oh! Okay. Yeah, there's. I could never judge. Uh, I see DC is over there with Dusty and Eddie. Um, they're feverishly riding. Things seem to be changing every rider, DC. Oh yeah, I don't want to distract these guys too much, but Dusty, impressions, what's going on right now? I, don't, I got a bee on my brain right now. <laughs> He's yeah. like, don't talk to me, this I'm is focus. Very fitting on TikTok, very fast pace. <laughs> Craig, nice yeah, press. Definitely got some of the most unique. Eddie Wall, I gotta ask you, are you entertained? I am highly entertained. This is insane. Our minds are melting right Watch now, and uh, it's very difficult to judge. Um, so, yeah, but uh, <laughs> thanks, DC. Very difficult to judge, indeed. That is because everyone is throwing down. Closing in on a three minute mark. Kara wants us to talk to Craig. Joey Fava, what's up, Joey? Craig, you there, babe? What's up, baby? You there, babe? <laughs> you I, I can hear you great, loud and clear. Can you hear me? Oh! oh! Huge Darcy, save. Darcy, try, trying that switch back to pull. Very aggressive trick, tr trick choice there. Craig, we're under three minutes to ride with. You think you can get one more in? I, well, maybe if I get up there. Hustle, Craig. I'm trying my hardest. You keep Should forgetting about popcorn. the, the snowmobile. Should make that popcorn. Craig, every, Craig, you've had six riders since you dropped that have jumped on a sled. <laughs> Food and fitness, you guys. It's not. I'm trying to get the exercise yeah. part of it. I'm actually contractually obligated not to get on that sled. So. More cows than Craig. Cardio, it's boring, Cardio, but it's part of my life. It's my life. I'm sorry. You eat as much pasta as Craig does. You got to hike up the hill. <laughs> nice baguettes and pasta for Craig or beer. 450 for Pat Five. Okay. Orphan's Kamish. This. I love that yeah. one, my friend. This dude is killing it. <laughs> this dude is on one. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Hey. Dude. Yeah. Any Milam and Luke Winkleman, in my opinion, are running away with this thing. IMO? IMO. TBH. Oh. Two minute uh, warning, folks. I wish we had a count on how many runs they got. This has got to be like 15, 15 times hitting it at least. Zach Hale gave me a ride to the mountain today, so I hope uh, he wins. Zach yeah, Jack, no how many different tricks do you think went down? How many different tricks? I'm going to say over a decade. Darcy Sharp. Darcy! I'm going to say 300. 374. Good estimate. Just a physically imposing figure, Darcy Sharp. Doesn't have an ounce of body fat on him. See that guy with his starp off? <laughs> yeah, head home. <laughs> you gotta head home. Okay, yeah, we're good here. Yeah. I'm gonna keep my long sleeve on. All right, looking at the clock, one minute left. <laughs> How is Luke Winkleman going again? 
Wow! Luke Winkleman has had 300 attempts out here in 20 minutes. Incredible. Strategy, Incredible right? pace. Craig Bear. Oh! Almost got a little clipped up on the takeoff there. Dude, good job. Hey, thanks, bud. That was amazing. Oh, Darcy Sash. Watch out. I swear, every time I like think they just hit the bottom, they're like back on the. Did he just hit the rail? Pop up. Last Pop attempt. Going fast. Oh, oh that was. I really sick. like that. Yeah, it's all. That was the street. Stairs. There's the street. <laughs> Big shouts, Mikey LeBlanc. I was about that, to say, actually, shout yes. out Mikey LeBlanc with that Mikey one. Mikey LeBlanc. Oh. Looks like we're hitting 10, 9, 8. Come on, who's gonna drop? Buzzer beater, is this it? Any Milam. Wow. That's a good way to end it. Yeah, it's kind of important to end it with a bang. That makes impressions. That makes a big impression. We get one more. Oh! That is when the donkey is not your friend. Bucked. Looks like we keep going. Okay. Half cab. Front one on. Here comes Seth. Seth. Five off. Seth Powell. Ooh. 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 He'll be back on his feet. I love yep, yeah, when, he, when he falls over, he's it's up. almost better because then you just get to watch the most freaking acrobatic thing ever. <laughs> exactly. He's amazing. Four fifths forward. Four fifths commish. Darcy Sharp, last attempt. Switch back to 70, 270. Out. Wow. There you okay. go. Shout out to every single one of these riders. This has been a show. Amen. Fava going for the Ollie. Somehow already oh my Atlanta! That was awesome. That's a lot of hang time. Come on down, bud. We're worried about you. We love you, Mikey LeBlanc. Oh, oh, is dropping right off. at the bell. Okay. All right. I am really excited. So Eddie hits the bell. A um, couple of tallies going without on. Without giving it away, DC, you're standing over there. Maybe we just kind of get final thoughts before they announce who's getting the W. They're tallying right now, so I'm going to let these guys tally. Tallying. So they okay, went with the tally, tally tally. Okay. Well, while DC stands there as they deliberate, we're going to check out some highlights, shall we? Uh, Mark McMorris, your thoughts after the conclusion of the debut of OKX Men's Snowboard Street Style Final. Extremely entertaining, extremely high paid, fast paced, and um, nice to see some new faces in the mix. I thought everyone did great. I'm, I'm really interested to see what uh, Eddie Wall and Dusty Henry. It looks like we might have a decision. I saw yes. like a little bit. I saw a little bit of an, uh, an agreement between Eddie Wall couple and of, Dusty. A couple of head nods. I from think the they boys. both agree on something. They have uh, come to a decision. Oh, they uh, have come to a decision all right, here. Come, come up here, boys. We're just we're just finishing up our highlight reel. Okay. That must have been the hardest thing uh, to judge on DC, planet Earth. Ask our judges where are we at. All right, Eddie Wall, Dusty Hendrickson. Who wants the honors of reveal, revealing the winner out here? Dusty, it, it, great having you as a guest judge out here. Eddie Wall, he's been in the mix, handling the uh, sport organization. And uh, go ahead and, uh, Eddie, you cool if we have Dusty reveal it? Yes. All right, Dusty, who's our winner? Your Aspen 2024 street style winner will be Pat Fava. Pat Fava, my bad. Yeah, Pat! Get on up there! <laughs> I called it. I don't want to say it, but I called it. Shout out to brother I Joey called it as well. Oh, Utah yes, represent. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. Oh, Pat Baba, dude. Pat Baba. Oh, hey, thank you. Man, here we go. Oh, man. And Mark McMorris congratulating <laughs> Pat. <laughs> DC, get in there. Yeah, Pat. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you. What do you got to say about this this experience out here today, brother? This was insane. First X Games experience. Um, yeah, I'm tripping out. That was too much fun. 
Uh, yeah, thank you guys. What the hell? This is insane. It is insane, absolutely. Your riding was insane. Who do you want to shout out? A lot of people tuning in. Who do you want to shout out? Papa Fava and the Fava family, baby. Let's go! Woo! Congratulations, Pat Fava, your champion out here. Way to hold it down. Congrats to Pat Fava. Winning the inaugural OKX Men's Snowboard Street Style Final. Big ups to our entire field and everyone who was a part of the fun here today. The ladies' side, the men's side, Closey putting the tunes down, DC, Jack Matrani, Craig McMorris and Gabby Maiden wired up, and of course, Mark McMorris joining us. I'm Brando saying thanks so much for watching. No freezers. How unusual is this for a restaurant? I think that that's unusual because a lot of restaurants have freezers, but we don't have freezers. We have fresh food every single day. How fresh is fresh? It's real food that's coming to our tables. That's what sets us apart. Wow. With theirs, go deep or go home. Snow Mushroom and Hyaluronic Acid. One, Milky Cleanser. Two, Cushion with Milky Toner. Three, Deeply Hydrate with new Soak It Up Liquid Moisturizer. It hydrates for 80 hours. Thayer's. Thayer's Milky Toner. It does more than pores. It hydrates for 48 hours. Snow Mushroom and Hyaluronic Acid. Takes skin from dry to dewy. Milky Toner from Thayer's. Wait to see what she has on store for run number two. scoring a 95 and run number one. How about that? How about do a harder, How about How about do a harder trick on that third and final round? I mean, folks, I love a cat 10. What's uh, maybe a little bit more rotation than a cat 10? What about a cat 60? And we do know, we do know she has a cat 14 for it. So she
huge for these guys. We're gonna see triple corks in 1980s, 2160s. So Troy takes the style factor in the grab, the tail grab. That Coming in for run number four, you're currently sitting at eighth. Going to repeat that switch, right side trick, and there! So changes up the grab.
Egan! Woohoo! And we're back. Oh. Sorry if I'm out of breath. I just sprinted here from the <laughs> rail jam. That was a darn good time. That was it? amazing. To, let's high yeah, five. You killed all it, around. Gabby. Thanks, man. Egan killed it too, man. This was this was wild. This was wild. And then Egan, now you have your third play. You knuckle huck. You knuckle hucked it. Yeah. Let's all see yeah. this beautiful this beautiful medal you got. Beauty. Beautiful. How totally was it? Totally insane. Congratulations. So sick. Thank you. The first ever women's knuckle huck. Yeah. Holy cow. I'm uh, glad we made it finally. Yeah. <laughs> right? Um what a what a trip to have been able to participate in this one. Yeah, have you seen any of it? It's it's pulled up right here. Oh my gosh. That's no, I haven't seen earlier any of it. Today. Oh my gosh, here we are. The first ever women's snowboard knuckle huck. Oh, that was so sick. This is you. <laughs> this is you. We're giving you what it your looks flowers. Like. Wow. This is just like, how did it feel? Like, were you nervous? Were you excited? Like, what what was the vibe? Oh, I was, I was freaking out. <laughs> You're freaking out. I'm not gonna lie to you. No, this morning was a little rough. Uh, Get the butterflies. Just, all kinds of nerves going on. I've obvious, or I guess not obviously, but I've I've never done something like this. It was really out of my comfort zone. So you yeah. you rocked it though. Thank that you so grab much. is so sick. Thank Shout you. out to Dinosaurs Will Die. Yes. John Genevieve's. Truly. If you don't know the brand? Check it out. What Best about sports. what about that Garfield shirt? I mean, there's, uh, yeah. I was I was holding down the TikTok chat today. Everyone was like, "Yo, tell me more about the Garfield shirt." No way, that's awesome. Um, I made this myself. No I way. Sure. It. Mm -hmm. Wow, yeah. it's really really good. You Thank made you. that? Yeah. What? Yeah. I, I fell crying. into a crazy Garfield internet hole and like, I don't know. You should see my Instagram algorithm. It's like half Garfield really? memes and That's okay. I don't know. It's like kind of messed up stuff. What's your connection to Garfield? I don't have a huge connection to Garfield. I like cats. <laughs> I really like. I mean, <laughs> I guess I do, but okay. it's just like it's like the edgier version of Hello Kitty, and I also really like Hello Kitty. So Hello Aww. Kitty is the jam. Yeah, Hello like Kiropi and like yeah. all the different characters. I Truly. mean, I'm noticing you have your kitty ears right here. My ears. This is sick that Volca made that. That's so yeah, dope. Yeah, isn't that awesome? Oh my gosh. I think it's a kid's hat. Is it? Yeah. I like wearing kids' hats. It's nice. Too. I have oh, like kids um, earmuffs that have like cats on it. So like I, maybe they just make like could like good cat. I've been on the hunt for, for some good earmuffs. Okay, I'm gonna look for these and I'm gonna get them for you. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it's happening. We're getting some awesome um, comments in the chat. Top Shot Blazers, Gabby hosting and competing. Ah! Go! Yeah. And there she is. <laughs> on oh man! The Yay. It was so much fun. I'm I'm just trying to. Were you trying to go front three there? I was trying to go front three, and I was just like, I just want to land knows. it. Yeah, you did. So then, that was oh, is this is this when I got? Nick, oh no, you've got my front board. I hope they don't show when you got it. It's all good if you do. We can show the next front board because I was, I wanted to get it more centered. I'm really, yeah, there you go. Yeah. It, front boards are my favorite. I just like, oh, here it is. Oh no, that's the, ah, oh, see. So I was trying to do front lip 2-7 and it just wasn't working out, but all good. But Grace took it. Grace. And it was so sick. I. The love in the atmosphere, right? Like all of us girls are riding together. A lot of us have uh, filmed together. A lot of us have grown up together. How does it feel like to be able to like be at the X Games for the first time riding with your, with your ladies, with your dudes? We got our dudes up there too. Yeah. Oh, apparently right. there's a little audio. I was going to say, I was like, I can't hear you. But oh, should we try to been, check on this one? We've also been running around all day. Everything you're saying, I want everyone to hear because it's fantastic. Okay. Do you want to do this one? Let's try this one. SGX Venom in the chat. Remember up, everything that you just said and said because it was beautiful. Okay, there we go. And we're going to lift Gamer dude likes kitties. Check out my bio. Nice. Um. Kablamo. Okay. Hello. Check, check. Wow, Hello. you sound great. Okay. You sound great. So, yeah, back to it. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah. You have to ask me the question again. I'm so sorry. No, I was just saying, like, how does it feel? <laughs> like, we have all of our girls with us. We have all of our guys with us. You know, people that we've filmed with, that we've grown up with, rail jamming with 
um, it's just we're here for the first time, X Games, you know? And like, how does it feel to, to have like your crew with you here? Yeah, um, it's totally surreal. Uh, like I just said, yeah. I don't think any of us knew that the event was even happening until we got the email saying, Same. let's go. <laughs> yeah. And that was, that was a huge wake up moment because until then it was unfathomable. And then all of a sudden, you know, it's happening. And we get to show what we do on the main stage. I love rail jams and I love the format. It's a lot more intimate than, you know, say a slope style. You're all doing their individual runs and I don't know, we're all at the top, we're all dropping, it's it's fast, it's furious. It's furious. It's, yeah. It's it's a really adrenaline experience. pumping. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. I think I think it's it's it really reflects the way that we snowboard day to day more. At least me and my friends and I I really loved getting to show that off. That is beautiful. And we, you killed it. And you did kill it. Yeah. Christian Ir Irizari has a question. Egan, what happened to your chinny chin chin? Oh. My chinny chin chin. Um, I was on a street trip in Finland and hit my chin on my knee and- Not I, the knee! Yeah, I, I, got, I split my happens. chin open and I got some stitches. I actually went back and hit the supports of the rail that I was hitting and got some stitches in the back of my head as well. Oh no, are you good? <laughs> yeah, I'm good, we made it. What's, uh, uh, what's your band-aid? Batman. Oh, Batman's Batman and Garfield. Yeah. That's I pretty mean, epic. Pretty dope. And with this amazing colored hair. I mean, Egan has some of the best, not only like snowboard style, but physical style ever. So please check her out. Cause yep. she, she's, she's not going anywhere. She's going to the top. Is that your Insta? Princess underscore Menace? Princess dot Menace. Princess dot Menace. Egan, thank you so much for coming and hanging out yeah, with us. Yeah, Congratulations. We're oh, for the W's so in the hiding. chat. Thank you. Show us the medal. Yes, there it is. Yes, Beautiful. Egan. Well Beautiful. Deserved. So thank proud of you. All righty. And it All sounds right. like we have another very special guest okay. um, about thank to join us. Thank you so much, us. Egan. Gonna... Potentially Solana ah. Masakella. Yeah. I'm going to see you later tonight, yeah? Got it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Woo! Will you sign my Will you sign my jersey, please? Oh yes, yeah, sign it. Don't forget, chat. Every I'm guess. giving this jersey out tomorrow. It is coffee stained and all. But please, when you get it, if you win it, do not wash it because you'll wash away some very luxurious signatures. Enter, my buddy. Ooh, you got it. <laughs> no, you're doing great. Yeah, I think that's the one that's happening. Amazing. Yeah, that's Thank good. You. Congratulations. Thanks, Egan. Congrats, yo. I see you later. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chat, 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 chat. We hear you loud and clear, and you sound beautiful. We love that voice. We've grown up listening to it. Chat was so excited and voting to have this handsome gentleman on the stream with us. Salema. I, yeah. I'm trying to be a professional because... I've been trained to have my cord behind me, but this wire is too short, so I'm just gonna not. <laughs> okay, but we're on the stream, so if there's ever a time to have the cord out of place, it's here. Yeah, it's, it's loose. It's fun and loose. loose. Yeah, it's moisturized. Oh, you it's guys got the thayers. Dude, Would you like some? Yeah, you we're know, can't be classy when you're okay, ashy. This one's the cleanser. We gotta find yeah, moisturize the my moisturizer soul. one. If anyone should know where the moisturizer is, it is you, Gabby. I know. I love the. <laughs> Yeah, we've, we're just loaded up with product. We got I can't Samsung believe I get to phone. sit in the seat of a future legend of the sport. Wasn't that cool? She's awesome. She is awesome. I, I was on the uh, chairlift with her and Iris. Iris is so sick. And I've never met Iris fam in real life. Let's, let's, all, all, just, let's, let's all just take, all lather really take quick. a moment to not be ashy. <laughs> If you have any Thayer's lotion, mm. now this is the time to really apply. Nice. Also, Mid -day Thayer's, apply. Thayer's my box. Yes. I literally, uh, they, Zeb did a Thayer's promo on there. I did too, yeah. And Oh, you did one too? Yeah. Excuse me, cool guys. No, what? <laughs> You're doing one right I, now. I, I am, informally. <laughs> and I commented and the Thayer's like, said something about my comment. And I was like, yo, where's my box? <laughs> I want to be moisturized too. And they left me on red. No. What? Yeah, Thayers. All right, we'll fix Thayers, that. reach out Thayers to Thayers left him on red. We got you. Um, I have anyway, a question. Can I finish my story? Please. Oh, yeah. So Iris, yeah. fam, she had a helmet on and goggles. And um, she goes, are you Salema? 
we're just getting on the chairlift. I said, yeah. She goes, I'm Iris. And I was like, oh, you're real. <laughs> total fan moment. A total fan out because I've been following her on Instagram forever. Yeah. Love her style. Yeah. And she goes, do you want to take a lap with my friends and I? Wow. Oh. I was like, yeah. I love that. my ear. Me. <laughs> you're like, you're, me. And so I went and lapped with the cool kids. And how cool was the lap? In the park. It was cool. They even made me, I even hit steel. Nice. There you go. Oh, man. I you know, I'm you good for a 50 50 on something that's round and fat. Yep. Yeah. Stable. Me too. Did you yeah. see that rail jam that just went down? Did you I get to catch did. any of that? That I was did. slaughter fast. <laughs> that was awesome. I am also a huge fan of Grace Warner. The, Love Grace. The pride of Michigan, one of the kindest human beings, and just like such beautiful style. Like so she, good, consistent. She rides in a way that she's just she's just doing her thing out there, and she got, I felt like she got to do that in the contest today. Totally. And it showed the judges were like, we don't have a choice. I mean, clearly Grace was just she murdered. She it. was being graceful. Yes, Aww. very nice. In the like steel in the steel garden, and I'm like glad that you're okay. Oh yeah, no, I'm good. Everybody chat, I don't know if you saw it, but like I, I took a rail to the to the chest, but I'm good. Yep. Got right back up, went to to go and, and try it again. It's a lip slide, two seven. You just looked like you were having fun out. There. I was having so much fun and I haven't done a rail jam in such a long time and it's just there's something about it when you're with your homies riding the same contest in, in, in and jam formats. And they give you a little Oh the push, you know, like push. you get you get excited, the crowd is stoked, everybody's just wanting to just ride together and uh, progress together, you know? Like I hadn't done that trick in a minute and like it was the the camaraderie and everyone around me that was just like, Yeah, but you gotta go do it. I was like, All right, I'm gonna go do it. And that happened, but you know what happens? Sometimes you're gonna fall, but you're gonna get back up. Get back on that uh, horse. And yeah. Followed by the group hug of the century. Oh, with Grace? E with everyone, yeah. Every oh. single one of you guys just surrounding Grace with love. Could that you imagine if yeah. dudes Always. showed each other that kind of love? We used to. Remember the yeah, Friends we, crew? I remember. I That's all, that, that Every was what time we did. you guys won, you all hugged you each hugged other. You hugged it out. Yeah. And then suddenly, all of a sudden, everyone became like small little gang warfare. You know? Yeah. Well, oh, COVID hit six feet. No, yeah, I, 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 I ran up to Pat, though. I... Fava, he yeah. won, and I, I gave him the biggest hug. I, I, I sprinted up. I think that the women in general are, are setting the tone for what the culture overall should be. Get back to that, like, if you're carrying a snowboard and I'm carrying a snowboard, we're homies. Yep. Yep. I don't know you, but we're homies. Yep. Yep. That's that. That's what at least I see um, that that the, the women's energy is about that. Preach. Yeah. I mean, it's, it, that's it, snowboarding. Yeah, Indeed. and that's why I think it's really great, and I hope we can keep this uh, rail jam going because it really does bring, you know, the creativity together, but also the camaraderie, like the jam format. It's just, it's really nice. I think it comes back. I think it comes back bigger. Yeah. I think we have like a big double set next year. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. It'd be cool to do one in town too. So oh, town. that would be so sick. Ajax is right there, just right at the base. Right. At night. There you oh go. my Last goodness. event. Straight to belly up. Guy. He's a big picture. He's well, Jack you know, is the coolest, and you have you just are sharp. You know what it is? It's these X Games <laughs> razor blade. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> speaking of like you know outside of the box ideas and not just being <laughs> referred to as talent all the time, you've now signed a three year deal with X Games. The title Woo! is Chief Executive Officer of Global Culture, something oh, like this. We got, no, it's not we that got, long. We got <laughs> yeah, this. Couldn't fit that on the. Card. I know oh, there's culture on. in there, which I love. It's Chief of Sports Culture. I love I that. didn't come up with it, um, but it's Chief of Sports Culture. Uh, is this the happy dance when you were? got the news? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you were in the paper. That no way. Aspen is Times so good. saying. What does it say? Read it out. Oh no way! It's Introducing. New. X James Chief of Sports Culture, Salem Masakella. I gotta save that for my mom. There you go. This is for you. Love that. You know what? The kid who came to the X Games for the first time in 1999 as a sideline reporter, like asking the homies questions, snowboarding, and not knowing what I was doing, um, to be able to 25 years later be in a, a still be here at the party. That's up. That's what's up. Doesn't make any sense. Um, yes, it does. But it to does. be able to do so in, in, in this way, where I'm able to to take the experiences, not just as a broadcaster, but obviously you know, 
from my time within snowboarding and this entire industry and, and maybe just help guide the powers that be to to make sure that they're always putting the culture first. That's my goal. Yeah. Love that. Um, because if, if I can be a part of that uh, uh, alongside the athlete um, advisory committee, I think that, that we can we can take X Games to a level that we're familiar with um, from our youth. Yes. And yeah. I want to see that for this next generation. So that's my charge in this job. How does that work? Love is it that. like a weekly call? Do you got to go to an office? You got to wear a, not a suit because <laughs> this is imagine? all about the culture. <laughs> People are like, do you have a C-suite office? I'm like, no. They just, <laughs> lots of Zooms. A lot of Zooms? A lot of Zooms. We're talking about an X Games retreat. Ah. All the powers that be just to like, you know, sit down, break it down. Take a look at like the last 30 years of what X Games has been. Yeah. What is the brand? Yep. What, what, do we, what, what does it stand for? You what know, does what, it stand for, What Jack? does it do? What does it not do? And to, for everybody that works at X Games to be able to identify that, yeah. so that nothing weird happens, yeah. you know, then people understand like, okay, here's this is this is the bucket, these are the principles that it operates on based on the the sports and the and the athletes and the people who are fueling this culture, yeah. and I think that if we res we do it from that place, it can go nowhere but up. Alignment. Yeah. So one, of, one of the smartest men I know. <laughs> I mean, no, it's... You need to set your sights so, so much higher. And also the I most modest. I have a high school modest. diploma, ma'am. You... I have a high so, school diploma, that's So it. a lot of people have high school diplomas. They're very smart and, and capable, <laughs> awesome human beings. Check out Salema. Thank you, Flip Gabby. that for me. Ascend. I want to put that on my Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> that was the reaction. No, Salema I would so just good. love to say, though, like, this means a lot to me because I've looked up to Salema my whole pretty much life because like when I started watching X Games it's you were like, a young person I was a young person that's when you're still a young person I'm still a young person but that was when I was a little little young person and and you know seeing someone the representation of Salema and seeing someone that looks like me and I'm getting into snowboarding I'm like 12 years old and I'm just like wow like this is wild and then you know seeing Kier Dillon and seeing you know different people that are like in X Games that are of color it really meant a lot to me and then also i'm an actor salema is also does the theater occasionally theatrics. they let me play a character darling yes it's very quite good at it and then also that just you know you. to no thank you because i'm sitting here now in the steps of you know having oh you you're gonna make my steps look so small but no oh uh, trust me no from now you're I, like, what happened to that guy? Yeah, right. Salema, you're legend forever and ever. But I just want to say thank you, and I'm just honored to even be sitting here next to you and having, you know, these these conversations and being in X Games. First time for me, first time athlete. Just it's first time wild. for you, but like slaying it like Welcome you've aboard. been here 50 really? times. Really? So nice. Thanks. Dude, well, Jack, we are honored. We Jack are is honored. the best Knew that was going to be the case. You guys watching, Thanks, you can see we're in two box, but you see this unity. Look, here, bring <gasps> you this. I love unity. it. We're unity. actually all together. All right. Across the boxes, boxes. unity. The That's a screenshot photo Beautiful. if I've ever seen it. You have a big, big superstar coming up next. I saw that. Uh, he just did I a drive-by. He just looked Where? at me to be like, you're in my seat. Yeah. Yeah, before you jump though, let me I ask missed. you. <laughs> oh, that's not me trying to get away. I actually want, I actually want Trevor Andrew to be like, "Yo, it's my time to go." Why doesn't he just come sit Did down? Did you just see Tre Gabby? Gabby just was like, uh, "Yeah, I actually think you need to go." No, yeah, no, just no. Just out I so just no because I didn't even know Trevor was gonna be here until you interviewed him, and oh, I really? saw him when we were sitting here. I was like, yeah, "What?" He, he came and sat on my seat. Oh, look, uh, yesterday. <laughs> oh, look at that reaction. <laughs> I did not this get is it. my homie. I did not get the same response. I what didn't. I there it is. was like 60% less energy. Yeah, I tried to Long say time. hug you. You're just yes. so... Salema, you right. My guy, my guy, my guy. My guy. Did you shred today? I didn't. I'm saving it for tomorrow. Okay. There you go. It was oh, lovely. Shred day. I yeah? Got a oh, we got a ride. Yeah, let's do oh, it. Oh, just pull it under. The cordy is like... There yeah, you let go. Let me help you. Be there you go. go. Chad, if you just... Tuning in, we just had one of the most iconic, iconic snowboarders of all time. Grew up just 100% fanboy watching this dude, Trevor Andrew, <laughs> oh, aka Trouble, <laughs> in the house. And yeah. Salema. I mean, 
Gabby, this can is... we just step away for a second? Like, this, <laughs> this is like just royalty. Just... Gabby's I'll be a over legend here. Too. No, a legend. I know. I'm not to say that, uh, thanks, that you're Gabby. not a legend either. Trouble, no, what I... brings you to town, my man? Um, I got invited, so I'm nice. here. Nice, congratulations! <laughs> Finally! Yeah, yeah. Uh, you send the invite, I'm here. Um, yeah, gonna go riding. Came up to saw the pipe last night. It was insane. You did some TV um, time with this guy, so? He's coming out yeah. of, he told us last night on the broadcast that he's coming out of retirement. <gasps> Feels like he can really take out Scotty James. Seeing the triple. <laughs> Do it, I said Trevor. nothing of the kind. <laughs> but I was very inspired by uh, by his his performance in the oh, you that that it. switch McTwist revert S is switch like Mickey out of control. It's Pretty wild. different world um, than, than our heyday. Actually, huh? very in control, but just mind blowing. Yeah, you guys grew up. You had some overlap riding together, right? Kind of like little little. I, kind I, of I watched tail. your yeah. Yeah, tail, tail end. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he was like the hero. Like I was just. Oh wow! I was like, who's does? that annoying little kid? Like, why won't he leave? I was alone? the kid <laughs> in Stratton trying to get your goggles, like the Oakley uh, Canadian goggles. Uh -huh. and my friend wow. got them, and I was. Oh no way! Yeah, my friend Charlie wow. Benesich. Shout out Charlie. Duh. Um So who gave you the invite to come out here? Uh, Monster actually gave me the invite. I'm, right. I'm doing a show tonight, um, like back an after music. party with the band. I'm they on got, the list. They, they put the band back You're together. You're on the list. You're yep. so cool. I'm on the list. Um, which is really exciting because I haven't really been doing shows in a long time, and I just recorded a new record. So yeah, nice. you did. Yeah, you did, so and it's some really new good. Sounds? Yeah, it's definitely some. Yeah, definitely some new sounds for sure. I have been peeping some of the little drips that you've been putting on social same and yeah. the music sounds good dude oh, i appreciate it's it it's really we've good been, we've been threatening to make music together for too long Ooh. <laughs> yeah dude, no, same. at some point hey now it's really nice to be in a place to like make music and not i kind of when i approached this record it wasn't really a thing of like i'm gonna make music and try to be in the industry or something it was just like i really felt compelled to I gotta make get music. some stuff out yeah exactly yeah. i had to get some stuff out and um i did it in two weeks with a friend and wow. it just it kind of started over the pandemic and going back and forth, trading ideas, and then we sat down together for two weeks and I just banged it out. I hadn't written anything and it just like came out of me. It was pretty awesome. Wow. That's so dope. proud of each really, other. Really, really excited to hear Thank more you. of that, especially in person. Tonight's yeah. going to be fun. Yeah. I know. Sure. I did not know. I told Salema, I said, I didn't even know you were going to be here. Well, you did message on, like, I had like a post and you're like, see you there, buddy. And I yeah. was like, Really? Like, we could have come here? And then when I actually saw you That's and, uh, like, you guys were interviewing him, I was like, this, I'm so happy <laughs> right now. The fact that all of you guys together just interviewing, but then we're here. It's we're X Games together. 2024. Yeah. Look, at, love. You're back. look at what snowboarding can do for you. Yeah. <laughs> if I was a mega church, yes, exactly. like, gospel <laughs> preacher right Welcome now, I'd be like, can't family. you see what snowboarding can do for you? <laughs> exactly. Look Real. at how it made a difference in our lives. Called one night in 900, da, 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 da. That is wild. That's yeah. true. No, I, I agree. Great username. Muff with me as asking <laughs> Salema, what's your DJ name? My DJ name, if I was a DJ, my DJ name would be DJ Alakazam. Okay. Which oh, for is sure. Masakela yep. Backwards is Alakazam. Got it. Where you can find my two full length albums, Alakazam, uh, on wherever you listen to, to music. There you uh, go. Do we have like that subtle plug? Yeah. Like, yeah. no offense. Yeah. Like, that you was know what I'm saying? Like, you know. Yeah, get it. <laughs> it was really good. Some of you are so good at doing that plugging and stuff. Like, Speaking I need of to learn. Plugging, what's the name of the new record? When does it drop? I don't even have a name for it yet, actually. It. It's like that. Um, I was thinking about it was at first it was going to be called Dead End. And then. Um, nice. And yeah, I don't, I'm not even sure. We can ask Just, the chat. Oh, yeah. Yo, what's chat. The name? I got Bunch of name. Trouble's new um, <laughs> album be called. Oh, this is Taking Suggestions. <laughs> <laughs> Taking Suggestions. Nice. Shadow Sled. Shadow <laughs> Sled. Shadow Sled. Where did you, that, that sounds pretty that. cool. That's great. Uh, sounds like a metal death band. It was the EP was kind of titled the Gucci Goth EP. But Gucci Goth, Gucci that's Goth. sweet. I didn't know yeah. if you'd stay on brand, but I like it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Gucci Goth is dope, and it already you already got the stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. It's a little gothy. There's some gothy. Yes. Yeah. No, oh, it's this. good. I love okay. it. Gucci Goth. Dude, I'm so stoked that you're here to play right yeah, now. Yeah, I'm stoked. And I'm, I'm stoked to, to be here and for us to do some laps and stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Heck, Big yeah. mob posse. Yeah. Can we all do that tomorrow? Tomorrow, if it's possible, point? if you guys have time. I got, I got no. a gap middle of the day. 
<laughs> and a gap. We, we might. Ha- I it think t- we all have a gap. It. Depends let's, how good the music is tonight. Let's clip up. I don't know how many. Clip up. Let's get together. Oh my god! I saw Dingo. He was like dead. Are you surprised? He. I literally just saw. Are you surprised? Oh, I gotta catch up, Lee. <laughs> that was the podcast Yo! today. Oh, that was so oh. good. Gosh. What a life to be able to, like, your job is to actually be hungover at, at mostly. At the party, yeah. yeah. Like if, if, it's if like you, this. The life of the party. Yeah. 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 We just need you to send it, land plate straight to flat, pick yourself up and do it again. That's your brand. Yep. Yeah. And to do it with joy. I, talking about mobbing, uh, snowboarding, I... I Went to shoot a clip with Zeb Powell today. Love oh, it, yeah. Zeb. Chris. I've ridden with a lot of big time pros in the last 30 years over my career. Oh yeah. Never in my existence have I ever experienced what happened today, where we get out and start riding through the park, and literally there's a hundred kids, oh, 150 wow. kids chasing us. We stopped to set up for something. They all just stop, wow. and it was like a mobile demo. Wow. And the That's way that he it. just like. Rolls with it, is high fiving and vibing everybody. He's coaching in the middle of the session, and then he does something. I they cheer, that. and then the whole thing. You know, like in golf, when you're like, you go to a tournament, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're gonna yeah, watch don't know. one. <laughs> yeah. So like, if you go to PGA, like I remember the first time I went to go watch Tiger. Like I'm not watching anybody else. Wow. I'm just there to watch Tiger, and you just right, go to the you next goal, you follow him. Yeah. That's what it felt like with Zeb today on the mountain. Uh-huh. I was like, bro, is this normal? He's like. Oh yeah, dude, this is everywhere we go. And I was like, oh, that's oh, amazing. Dude, he needs to do that's impactful. Tour. Oh. That's he does. Incredible. It's called the sliding tour. Oh, of course. <laughs> 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 well, if you're just joining us, we've got some great guests. We also have some great action coming at you tonight. Salema, I know you're excited for some of these monstrous events coming up. Oh, yeah. I am. Women's ski super pipe. I'm Eileen I'm excited Goo. for women's ski super pipe. Eileen Gu. Yep. The uh, yeah. astrophysicist yeah. slash um, incredible skier. Um, I had the privilege of we we did the press conference with her the other day. Ask, and like yeah. you know, you hear the story. This, this she's an incredible athlete. She's won two golds in in, in superpipe. Yep. But she also is a quantum physics major at Stanford. Yeah, she's super smart. Oh, well. Yeah. So you're like, okay, you're kind of book smart. Then you hear her speak, and I'm like, oh, one day this girl's gonna run for president. Hundred <laughs> percent. I love that. I mean. Next level. She told a story about how she was running track uh, cross country in high school. She hadn't made a decision to be a skier yet. And she got the call up to go and do a, a Junior Worlds event. And she's like, no, I just, I really, I was the best girl on my team. Like, and I just didn't want to let down my team. So I stayed to go to do the event. And then the parents got together and were like, yo, if you were our kid, we would have made you get on the plane. And so my mom, put me on the plane and I went there and I got third and I realized because I, I no she got fourth I, I missed the podium by like 0.2 points and I realized that this was the universe showing me a sign and the next year I went back I got third the next year I got second and then I won it and now here I am and I was like who who looks at their life that way at 14 yeah wow wow incredible yeah she's she's next level yeah I mean and she is just yeah we have some of her social really right big here. in our world but supermodel I'm 100 I know supermodel she's like with what um what brands Vogue covers she did Vogue but she, there is a oh my she goodness she had the Design. illest LV Louis Vuitton Virgil that's what I'm saying from yeah. like the, the 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 denim suit and so, that that's what she wore to the press conference and I was like you're that's it. The coolest. You, not only are you like a nerd, but you came here and just out dripped us all. That's <laughs> sick. She's like, oh yeah, no, this is from from Virgil. Yeah. Um, from from back then. No big deal. Oh. No big deal. Shout out to right. Virgil. Yeah. Shout out to Virgil Rich and Pete. All right. Yeah. Only yeah. two million followers on Instagram. She's got to work on that, but she's getting there. <laughs> yeah. Maybe after she I can wins help her tonight. With my hundred and forty thousand. <laughs> exactly. That ain't bad. <laughs> Trouble. You also have a ton of other things going on. I was so lucky to be living in Burlington when Underground Snacks uh-huh. opened up right <gasps> oh next to my, my office. Yeah. So good. Can Tell we me talk a little bit about Underground Snacks so good. for a yeah. second? I always wanted to have a candy store. That was kind of like if I wasn't a pro <laughs> snowboarder, I just always, that, before snowboarding happened, I remember feeling like I want a candy store, like the corner store up at the street or a skateboard shop. And then Love it. Then, yeah, after just kind of making some things happen and connecting with friends that were on the same stuff and just like, yeah, we love candy, let's do it. (laughs) 
We love rare candy, especially like that's traveling the around the that's, world. Yeah, you know, it, like that's and, what makes and, it and cool. Bringing these things back from these places. That's what really, you know, snowboarding was probably the first thing that like sparked that feel where it was like, oh man, we gotta let's let's really curate like amazing candy from all over the place. And so we did it, and we so did brilliant. it, and in, in Burlington with uh, Driscoll and. Um, yeah, yeah, it's been really cool. Cool. It is right? the best Driscoll. thing Driscoll. Yeah. ever. Shout and out Lotto's Driscoll. been holding it down over at the shop too, and like yep. the home's <laughs> been really fun. Yep. yep. I'm about to see Blotto in two days. Very oh, nice. nice. In Japan. Shout out. Blotto. Oh, I want to go oh. back Excited. to Japan. Sorry, was amazing. that a flex? That it looks beautiful. like it's been amazing. Getting dumped right now. Too. Yeah, it's yeah. happening. I've never been to snowboard before, so it'll be the oh, first. Oh, you never snowboarded there before? Oh, you're gonna find that hard to believe. Yeah, no, I haven't. But I'm. Going to Hokkaido. I'm going to Hokkaido. Oh, oh man. So nice. I'm so channel. jealous. That's so Going good. with Blotto. So what's the worst thing that could happen? You're going to have good hands. You're going to have so much Epic. fun. It's funny about the, the candy thing. The first time that, that I ever had chocolate Pocky uh -huh. oh, was yeah. somebody who'd come home from that's how it, a snowboard trip. That's it. Yeah. And right. they're like, yo, you got to try this. And exactly. Like, Wait, there's that's a it. crazy chocolate graham cracker stick thing. Right. <laughs> that's a good description of it. But now you can get them everywhere, but like back in the day, you right. could never get them. We would go to Japan, we would that's stock true. up on the Haichus, high and then the chocolate yeah. koalas. And yep. airsoft guns. And of course, that. <laughs> yeah, chat, favorite candy, drop it in the chat. And if you haven't had Haichus, they're delicious. Or any of this international rare candy, highly recommend you go to Underground Snacks. There's yes. one in Toronto. There's or Halifax. One in, in Halifax. Halifax. And, and there's one in Burlington. In, the, our main hub is actually Burlington right now. We're looking to open up Los Angeles. <laughs> there you go. Yay. Put some respect on Nova Scotia, don't you? Oh, yeah. I was <laughs> saying that Halifax is in Toronto again. I yeah. didn't. I said it after. I first said Toronto, and then I said Halifax. <laughs> Nova Scotia I live in play, dude. I live they, in Burlington, which is in Canada. Yeah, I'm saying they will come down and find you. <laughs> Good luck. Like, yo. I'll no be in Halifax. Play, Were sure. you talking about the facts like it was in Toronto? Yeah. Like, I, don't want I don't want that for you. Yo, facts. Yeah. That's a Bro, peanut M and M. Let's see, let's see. What do we got? Well, you're you're also you can you can get it mailed to you, right? So yeah. you don't have to be like too. actually totally. there. Yeah. yeah, you ship. Yeah, that's amazing. All right, yeah. so let's so drop it with undergroundsnacks.com. Yep. yep, with an X. Yes. Underground snacks with an X dot com. Bang. Up on the tree. I feel an X Games collaboration. Oh, there right. Oh, oh um, that's right. why he's. That's, that's, why that's, why that's it. That's, that's why. why. You saw it happen. That's why really he's big box. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Underground I mean, snacks table right here. For next oh year. My oh, God. my goodness. Look at the dance. Yep. Boom, 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 boom. How does this happen to me? That's so sweet. Send me that. Anywhere there's a camera, you just get clipped. I need that. I need that. Just to send the folks production team please send that to us you are vibing so heavy right there you're, that's just me happy boy when i get fish when i get a, when I, when I get a good, fish, good clip good. When, and when i get it done i always do a little happy dance afterwards which is nice yeah. banana kit kat have you had the banana kit kat there's so yeah. many kit kats at underground banana snacks yeah. Kit -Kat? yeah there's all kinds of kit kats kit kats going crazy, crazy with the flavors right as, now. as well as reese's peanut butter cups there's like yeah. 80 billion i, I just like the and oreo reese's yeah. Um, yeah, me too. But you can't get in Norway. Yeah. Did you know that? They don't like peanut butter in Norway. Really? Why? But the, what are they called? Quick lunch is Ooh. their Kit Kat. Yeah. What? Say that again. Quick lunch. It's quick lunch. Yeah. Uh, quick, quick, quick. Yes, you got the quick, quick, quick lunch. Quick Toss quick a snooze in and quick lunch. Quick lunch. Yeah. Mm. That's shit about get up. Bro. You have to get those. It's good. You have those. Oh, what's Or no, I told Driscoll to get those. It's really typical. Oh, really? It's a typical kind of day. So what is this, Trevor? What? Oh, that's it. That's underground snacks. Is this what? What's the flavor? Some it's rare really snow Yeah, churro. Yeah, that's it. There's a lot of rare. So snacks. sick, There's dude. When you sent sweat. me a box of under underground snacks, I was the most exciting. I didn't eat it for a minute because I was like, <gasps> the package. <laughs> and then you're oh, like, this is gonna go bad. I know. And then I eventually <laughs> ate it, but it's like, but it's so like out of this world things I've never yeah. seen before. So I was like, this is so cool. Like the ketchup. Ketchup chips? chips? That's just a staple of Canada. But I never, <laughs> but I've never had that. Which makes me. so much sense, ketchup chips. Right. You know, it's like, yeah. have people you always are like, yo, chips? that's weird. I'm like, no, it's not. Uh -oh. You put ketchup on your fries. <laughs> that Chop. makes sense. I you know? don't know. It was wild to me. That was one of the things I was You might have to make a call, Trev. Choppa Papa said your Shopify site isn't working right now. Ooh. Oh, shit. Driscoll. 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 <laughs> What's going on? Get Shopify up. We are plugging the shit so hard right now. <laughs> oh, we got to sleek some candy. Keep the lights Yo. on. Uh, Yo.
We got all th types of things to plug. We can just go all day. I got I all kinds of plugs. I can just all day. Like can we just, let's do a rapid fire list of all the amazing things you're doing. You're coming out with a new album, Underground Snacks. Uh, Homeware. 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 You want to get some shower curtains? Go to TroubleAndrew.com. Okay. Wait, there's Trouble. Are you doing real life? You haven't seen the, yeah, you haven't seen the no. shower curtains? They're insane. What? We're doing oh, I did. I saw you posted it. Yeah, we're doing, it's like, that, that part of it is really fun is just to kind of like, because I, I make my home almost like an art installation. So like I'm looking at like a plain shower curtain. I'm like, no, we got to paint this. And then that inspired uh, making those and doing like, yeah, I've just been getting into like home stuff. So when is bedding soon? Oh, yeah. Bedding's already like in production. Oh, right now. That's That's shower kind of curtain. Now I'm, yeah. I'm coming bedding? for the bedding. Yeah, the bedding's <laughs> crazy. Coming for that thread count, son. <laughs> cool. Yeah. 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 There, um, there's is a bunch it? of fun stuff on Trouble Andrew. That's great, though. man. Dude, I got so I got awesome. a, I got a plug. Hit it. Get the plug. Yeah. So uh, a year and a half ago, Hume? I got an opportunity. Oh, well, yeah, there's Hume. Hume Supernatural. Hume, my yeah. All natural deodorant. <laughs> um, go to humesupernatural.com. It's, it's the best non toxic deodorant that you can possibly find. Zeb Powell is on the team. Co Put me on the team. Me. I need to be on the team. Yeah, Chat. we got you. We got you. Box, Chat, please be down. writing all these Some down. Hume Serious. Supernatural. Um, follow us on the IG. But a year and a half ago, I got an opportunity uh, to do what this woman does, some acting. Wow. Yay. Oh, rad. I what? got a, a show coming out um, on Apple Plus what? this fall. It's called um, It's called Lady in the Lake. And I am, Wait, what? I'm acting opposite a woman <laughs> named what? Natalie Portman. What? Really? what? No you way! Didn't tell me this. That's fire. Yeah. Is it scripted? The most modest human being. Yeah, it takes place in like the late '60s. I just got the chills. Uh, Big plug. Celebrity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You limited, limited series. There's seven episodes. I'm in four. All my scenes oh. with Natalie Portman. I'm like, I got shower curtains. I got Natalie Portman. But you know who needs shower curtains? Natalie Portman. Let's go. Next. Yeah, that was a crazy experience. Oh, I meant to so tell cool. you. I know. Wow. I'm, I'm so excited for you. Congrats. Oh my gosh. Can I go to the premiere? I mean, if they invite me, yeah. Of course sure. they're going to invite you. You're going to yeah. go. <laughs> That's but fun. no, um, it, was, it was an out of body experience. The first day that she walked on set, oh. I was just like, oh, this is real. That's your, you're her. And she was so kind and sweet and amazing. I've heard person. amazing things. Wow. She's Can't very wait nice. for, for it to come out. That I, just did, really the, I just did the ADR for it last week. Oh, Congrats. ADR is fun. Did you like it? It was hard, terrifying, to but I back. found yeah. my rhythm. Yeah. Um, and yeah. And now you're, What's now the you're back ADR? Here? Yeah, you, have to, like, you have to go in. Um, <laughs> into like a booth. Like into a into a booth, and maybe the audio is off on a scene. Mm -hmm. um, and in this case, is a dialect situation. So another dialect coach comes in and is like, "Yeah, but you can get, make it a little better." Oh, okay. And it's like you get to boop boop boop, and then you say the line, and you hope that it, it fits. It lines up. And it lines up. And, ah. Oh, okay. Cool. Interesting. Yeah. Crazy. And I like ADR. Seeing it in, in real life, like when you go and act the thing. And then you go in to do this thing to fix it up, and you're like, wait, no, that's real, and that's her, and that's you. This is actually happening. Wow. Yeah, because you get to look trip. back at the footage. So yeah. It's kind of, that's why I like ADR, because then, like, um, when I did Stranger Things, it was like that. Where I was like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just going down the line of plugs. Uh, no, but it was similar where I saw, you get to see yourself, right? Yeah. And, like, before it comes out. So. And you also know that you didn't end up on the cutting room floor, which is... Right. And you're like, I'm nice. in it. That's great. I, I made the cut. I made the cut. But, yeah, I'm really excited for that. Yeah, that but I want so the exciting. bed sheets, bro. I want yeah, the bed sheets. You. I want shower yeah, curtains. Yeah, I got you. I want Hume. Hume. Yeah, there's quite a list of things here. Yeah. Everybody here is crushing, and I'm so proud of you guys, and I'm just honored. Likewise. To yeah. yeah. Well, I'm just... Yeah. yeah, this was awesome. I wish we had like three days to just sit down and chat through all we of this. We could do it. This is the But best for now, that table. very grateful for that conversation. So good yeah. to see you. Good to see you Thank too. You. Salema, thanks for stopping by our little studio over here. Thank you for having me. Good luck on the rest so of the we got to do set. Together. Yeah, what, yeah. Yeah, what a perfect. Oh, I thought this was like a, I thought I was coming in We'd, on your, so yeah, this yeah, no, I, was, I thought I was coming okay. yeah. oh, This is the, a good squad. Universe. <laughs> the first yeah. time that I met Trevor yeah. Yeah. was in San Diego <laughs> in like 97, 96. Wow. He was like 14. Uh -huh. Oh, baby. And his mom, he was staying with my homie Tim Swart, and his mom sent a cooler of Nova Scotia lobster Aww. yeah, on ice. Shout out Carol Andrew. Carol Andrew wow. sent no a, a big yeah. cooler of <laughs> lobster and we barbecued what? them 
with with so Jamie Mossberg with yeah. Mouse yeah. at my at my boy Tim's house, and that's when I'm that's how I met Trevor. Like I don't know, thirty years ago, yeah. almost. Yeah, Same man. dude. <laughs> Been a minute. <laughs> and now here we are. Yes. I'll never okay, forget that day. Are. This is sick. Yeah. Lives are high. Right well, thank you, thank you, thank you. Lives oh, thank are high. You. They're going to stay high. We're going to cut to a quick break. When we get back, Eileen Goo, the rest of the pack, you. the women's you. ski super pipe brought to you by Chipotle. We'll be right back. Oh, yeah. Right on. Thank you, thank Much you. Much love, y'all. Yeah. Hello, and welcome to the Pacifico Update. I'm your host, Jimbles, and here to tell you medals are flying out of the briefcase as X Games athletes continue to push progression and unlock new tricks here in Aspen. The first ever women's ski knucklehawk presented by Thayer's went down with five of the eight competitors being X Games rookies. Of course, if you love ski here at X Games, snowboard's not far behind. We saw the first ever women's snowboard knucklehawk competition, which ended in gold for Kokomo Morase, her second medal of the weekend and second X Games gold medal. I'll see you soon for another Pacifico update. Make sure all your drafts are frosty and all your pours are extreme. So tell me, what, what does open kitchen mean to you? Absolutely. When it's delicious food and they come in, they see our food steaming on the lines. They see our chicken glistening, our fajitas sizzling. It's magic happening every time they come into our kitchen. This is real. Why do we just accept that companies will do whatever they want with our data? The system doesn't need an update. It needs a rewrite. Snowmass, and as the sun sets behind the Rocky Mountains, we fire up the lights as X Games Aspen 2024 continues on as we bring you Chipotle Women's Ski Superpipe. Welcome everyone to the base of the Superpipe. My name is Jimmy Coleman. Alongside me on this journey tonight is Maggie Voice. And well, Maggie, when you talk about Superpipe here for the women, you have to talk about two returning gold medalists, Eileen Gu and Zoe Atkin. Yes, Eileen, she is the girl to beat tonight. And let me tell you, it is gonna be tough. She won the 2022 Olympics in this event, and she has won every pipe contest she has skied in since then. And then we can't forget about our defending gold medalist, Zoe Atkin. It was tough conditions last year in this event, and she persevered and came home with the gold. And she has already has a couple podiums under her belt this season. So we'll see if she has what it takes to defend her title. Well, those are going to be two of the top two to watch for here, but there's six other competitors in the field that are going to have something to say about it. However, Eileen Gu, she comes into this one wearing a lot of hats this weekend. And for more on that, let's check in with the third member of our team, Kristen Beat. Thanks, Jimmy. You know, Eileen Gu is an icon. She's a full-time student at Stanford with 16 credits. She's a gender equality advocate. She's a professional skier, an Olympian, an X Games medalist. Oh, and a high fashion model. Guys, she was Action Sports Person of the Year in Paris, Time Magazine's 100 Most Influential People. She models for luxury brands like Louis Vuitton and Porsche. But after sustaining a right hip flexor injury during practice, Eileen Gu withdrew from slope style, and there is some skepticism as to where she's at entering this competition. Could she be spreading herself too thin? Well, I had a chance to check in with the overachiever this weekend, and I asked her about that. She said that she is entering this competition with unwavering confidence in herself. When she does have 
time on the snow, it's impactful, it's meaningful and productive time. And guys, even at 50%, Eileen Gu is still the odds-on favorite to win gold here in women's super pipe. She's just a generational talent who is so dynamic and dimensional to watch. Well, thank you very much, Kristen. We'll see how she fares through the tonight with that injury. She was your gold medalist here in 2021. We talked about Zoe earlier. As you mentioned, Maggie, she comes in your defending gold medalist. But as we walk the line here, there's a pretty stacked field out here tonight. So this one is up for grabs. Who are some of your other standouts on the start list here tonight? Yes, we have a group of talented young ladies out here. I mean, some other names to throw out are Svea Irving. She got a bronze here last year. Amy Frazier, she has a big Switch 900 that I think she's going to throw for us tonight. So. It's going to be exciting. We have a couple of X Games rookies in the mix out here tonight as well. And uh, this one is going to be a party underneath the lights as we get set to kick this one off. Courtesy of our friends over at Chipotle. Again, Chipotle Women's Ski Superpipe out here tonight under the lights. What a, bad, what a great way to kick off a Saturday night party out here on the mountain. I moment. know. This is the best. I mean, there's something magical about being under the lights here in Aspen, here at X Games. I love the energy. I love the vibe. And it's fun. We're down here in the mix this year. Of the last seven women's Superpipe events here in Aspen, and there have been six different winners and only two of the previous gold medalists here in the lineup tonight, Eileen and Zoe. So we started off with one of those X Games rookies that I was mentioning to you. I don't, Korea, this is Eugene Jang that's going to have to get things started for her. First gear from South Korea to compete at the X Games. Oh, love it. I love her energy at the top, the smiles. She's shown us that she's just so excited to be here at X Games. So there's three runs out here tonight. It is your best run that counts. The judges are working off of a 100-point scale. And here we go with Eugene Jang. All right, dropping in here. Starting us off with a big 900. Oh, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Giving us an alley-oop rotation. Oh, I love it. What a strong start here. You can just see her confidence as she skis down the pipe and giving us a both variety of directions. Switch, switch right, forward and back. This is such a great first run, and it's so nice. Oh, going a little deep on that landing, but holding on and giving us a nice big Japan grab there. Kind of picked it back up on the height factor towards the bottom of the run there, but seemed to be struggling with some speed there in the middle of the run right there. I mean, height definitely a factor there. They want to see you kind of peak at the end of your run. Absolutely. Amplitude is something that the judges are really, really looking for. And as you can see on that first 900, she went absolutely massive. And that's the thing that's really tough about pipe. It's hard to keep your amplitude as you get further down. Okay, we'll see what she checks in here. Again, they're working off of a 100-point scale out here tonight. So, Eugene, welcome to the X Games. You start off with a 69.66. Not a bad way to start off your first ever X Games appearance. You know, and it's always great to put down your first run. It gives you the confidence, and all you can do from there is just level up. Well, it's never fun to be the first one right out of the gate, especially when you're brand new to this. And uh, she <laughs> shook off the jitters right there, making it happen. We move on to Germany's Sabrina Kakmakli. This is her second X Games appearance. Yes, Sabrina, she is no stranger here to the X Games Super Pipe. So let's see what she has for us. Her best finish was a seventh here in Aspen back in 2018. And she's set to send it for her first of three attempts. Here she is taking some deep breaths, getting dialed in for us. All right, starting off switch. I like this. Oh, yes, the big switch seven. Oh, no. She loses Literally. ski. Yeah, lost a shoe there. Oh. So that's a tough break right there for Sabrina. Such a bummer to see that on your first hit, especially, but I love it. Um, I, to me, if you're going to have that happen, you might as well get it out of the way first I, instead of having that happen in ladder rounds. A absolutely. And you know what? It's also a bummer if you were to crash on your last hit. You have a yeah. perfect run. Yeah, that, did, that so. thing just came off as she was going down the transition. I mean, that could have been a lot worse right there at yeah. the point where the ski came off. Yeah, glad to see her up, and she looks like she's doing just fine. I think her, her coaches are going to need to check her din or something. So obviously that one's going to be the throwaway score for her, the first German skier to compete in at women's superpipe. So we'll see more of her in rounds two and three. Yep, she's got two more runs out here to show us what she's got. Oh, and giving us a nice little show. The ladies told me that this is the best superpipe that they have hit all season long. So. 
So Sabrina makes her way to the bottom of the pipe there. Get the skis checked out there. Let's talk about what's at stake out here tonight at Chipotle Women's Ski Super Pipe. Obviously, everyone chasing gold out here tonight. And uh, Maggie, let's talk about uh, the criteria that the judges are looking at this evening. Yeah, so the biggest thing is amplitude, difficulty, combinations, and execution. So you'll be seeing this from all the ladies. And once again, I think they're also trying to emphasize style and creativity a little bit more out here tonight too. And again, working off of that 100 point scale. And it is the best run that counts. So even though uh, Sabrina had a little bit of an issue right there, you do get two throwaway runs. It's your best run that counts. As we move on to yet another X Games rookie in the lineup out here tonight from not too far down the road, hailing from Steamboat Springs, we welcome Riley Jacobs to the X Games. Oh, I absolutely love the rookie energy out here. These athletes, I think it's just a little less pressure and they have nothing to lose. So they always throw down. Wow, starting off with that beautiful 900 right there for us. Into the 720. Yes, with the switch 360. Oh, going for the Japan grab on that 540. Wow, what a solid run and finishing us with a 540 at the end. Wow, for a rookie, that is so exciting to put your first run down. Yeah, to have that pressure to come out here, I mean, with the amount of fans that we have out here, you're underneath the lights and then going through the intros and all that, knowing the cameras are rolling. I mean, nicely done on your first attempt, Riley Jacobs. And here we go with the replay. This first 900, reaching back and going for that tail grab. Wow, beautifully done and so much amplitude on that. And then here you see her going for the mute grab. It's where you grab just right in front of your ski and you cross it and kind of can pull it hard. But here we are waiting for a score. So we're into the 80s there. So the rookie's going to find herself at the top of the standings as of right now with an 81.66. So again, a great way to start off your X Games career. I Riley mean, Jacobs sitting in the top spot. Look at her face. She's not bummed at all. <laughs> great start. As we turn our attention to Canada's Dylan Glennie, Aspen 2024. This will be her third X Games appearance. Her prior two appearances out of the last two years, she had to settle for sixth place out here in Superpipe. Yeah, Dylan, such a strong rider, and she has so many technical switch hits, which I love seeing. It's super hard to link those tricks and keep your amplitude down the pipe, so we'll see what she has for us. And Ooh, yes, love the style on that straighter. Getting into a big 900, clipping the deck just a little bit, but holding on. And then there's her signature flare. All right, going to 720. All right, what a great run she is putting together. Wow, these girls are absolutely throwing down. <laughs> and there we have it, Hannah. I love the signs. Go, Dill, go. I mean, look at the height. I mean, that eight and a half feet right there for the highest, that was actually right, that was the first hit and the speed didn't uh, didn't get affected, as you mentioned earlier, at the top of the run where she clipped the deck. Yeah, clipped the deck, but was able to hold on and keep her speed, keep her momentum, and that amplitude, as you can see right here on this flare. So it's Riley Jacobs in that top spot with an 81.66. So Dylan's going to get a 74.66. So that'll slide her in right behind Riley right now into the number two position. We're halfway through the run order here in round one out of three. This is Winter Park, Colorado's Svea Irving also making her third X Games appearance out here tonight. She got a bronze and super pipe out here last year after getting in off the alternate list. Is that right? I, I did not know that. Yeah, Svea came out and absolutely gave us a show last year. And I know she has some big tricks in store for us. She's so a senior at CU Boulder studying strategic communications. It's kind of getting in the right headspace right here. And here we go. Svea Irving in for her first of three. All right, Svea, let's see what you got. Oh, beautiful alley you flat fives. Right into the left side, 540. Give us a 720 landing switch. 360 mute grab. Oh. Great run for Spain. Oh, and finishing off with the 900. Wow, these girls are absolutely throwing down on their first runs. With some pop there on that last hit, she was a little over seven feet on that one. So finishing with some good pop, some good energy. 
I mean, you know it's going to be a good event when all the ladies are throwing down on their first runs. So we have so much in store for us. The replay of that alley-oop flat five. So much style. Landing deep. Holding on. Tweaking out that mute grab. And finishing off with that beautiful 900. And getting the safety grab in there for a little bit. Love to see it. So in April 2023, she injured her right shoulder skiing in the backcountry, had surgery soon after. She wasn't recovered until November of last year. She gets an 85.33. Wow. Svea Irving, yes, guess what? Svea. You just jumped to the top of the leaderboard. Oh, this is crazy. Like I said, these girls are absolutely throwing down first run. Big scores are coming out. This is exciting. Well, this is a perfect time to check in with our judges in the booth and put them on the spot. Jason Aarons, what was it that stood out to you guys about that run from Svea? Uh, just some really good amplitude throughout, really locked in grabs and a nice uh, back and forth spinning in quite a few different directions. So uh, we really liked what we saw out of Svea's run and excited to see the rest of the skiers come down. I like how Dan Allen was trying not to crack a smile right there as Jason was going through that right there. Thank you, Jason. You boys are on for, camera. For the insight. Yeah, that, <laughs> They're not used Jason's to that, Jason's on the they? hot seat. The rest of them aren't too <laughs> fond of being on that camera, but those guys have their work cut out for them down there in the booth as we turn our attention here to Calgary's Amy Frazier. Uh, Amy. Fourth in Aspen last year in Superpipe. Just missed the podium. That's her only prior X Games appearance. Oh, the chocolate medal. I know how it feels to get that fourth <laughs> place. I do. So I'm sure she's going to be giving it her all. This would be her, would be her first X Games gold medal if she can put it down here for us tonight. It's so coming in big with the switch. Oh, going for that 900 right off the bat. But unfortunately, she just kind of squeaked it around, which is a, just going to mess with her amplitude throughout the rest of the run. I think she knows it's a bit of a throwaway, but so stoked to see her pull that out right in the beginning, right at first run. Yeah, but the way the judges are looking at this, you can't have any slip ups. So you just kind of use the rest of this run to go through the motions again. As we talked about at the top of the show with the format, it's the best run that counts. So you do have three chances at it out here. So we'll look to round two here for Amy. Yeah, exactly. Once again, that switch 900 is so impressive. I really hope that she gets that around, but she has two more chances. I have no doubt in my mind she's going to make it happen out here tonight. And here she is just kind of practicing, you know, since she unfortunately had a little bobble on that first hit, she's just using the rest of the pipe to just keep practicing. See where this ranks her overall. So a 40.66. So as of right now, that's good enough to put her in that number six position. So Svea Irving sitting in the top spot with an 85.33. Riley Jacobs in second. And then Dylan Glennie sitting in third as of right now. But that is going to bring up Eileen Gu, one of the two standouts that we talked about at the top of the show. Three X Games medals total, and all three of those come from her, her lone appearance in Aspen 2021. She got a super pipe and a slope style gold. She walked away with a bigger bronze that year as well. We haven't seen her out here in competition in Aspen since then. Yeah, it's so great to have Eileen back here at X Games competing. And I know, unfortunately, she had training in Crash. I know Kristen talked about that. And her, one of her hips is really bothering her. I had a conversation with her and she said, Maggie, I've never had to ski through pain like this. But I mean, if anyone can make it happen out here with a little bit of practice, it's Eileen. She has her run on lock dialed, so I'm excited to see her make this happen. And just so happy she can be competing out here tonight. Yeah, it's that right hip, and I mean, just the sheer determination and will that she has. So this is prior to the run, just up there kind of going through the motion. This was about five minutes ago, just kind of going through it in her mind right there, trying to Ooh. just stave off the paint, actually getting that hip worked on there as yeah. well. You can kind of see her flinch there for a second. It looks like, it definitely looks pretty painful. I mean, but the, the hip, that's everything in your rotations. It's everything. I mean, your legs are everything. But wow, starting us off with a beautiful 900, right into the left side nine. I mean, she's over 10 feet. Look at, yeah, look at that height six. meter. That's amazing. I mean, she does not look like she's hurting out there at all tonight, Jimmy. But she was increasing her height as she made her way through the pipe. Oh, my gosh. What an unbelievable run. And people, she didn't have very much practice and is nursing a hip injury. I mean, that was incredible. And look at the height meter. 11 feet is her highest hit. I mean, she was going higher as she went through the run. She said, take that right hip. I'm not going to be phased. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Welcome back to X Games. Eileen Goo. Wow. And here we have a look at these first two 900s back to back. Oh, 
so much amplitude. And look at that grab, so solid, going for the Japan grab, which is reaching back underneath your leg for the other ski, making it look so easy, yet it is so technical. And then with this beautiful alley-oop flat five. Wow, Eileen Gu. She is back and back with a bang. I mean, to have a hip injury and just to try to pump the transitions, look at the reaction as she comes into the base of the pipe right there, and rightly so. I mean, we kept talking about that hip. You saw it getting worked on. What is it going to be? Yeah, <laughs> on the chat, OMG, this girl. You're absolutely you're right. right. We're into brain. the 90s, a 94.66. Wow. She's Impressive. standing five feet in front of us with a giant smile on her face, and rightly so. Welcome back to competition at the X Games, Eileen Gu. Oh, my goodness. So that'll bump Svea Irving down to second, and Riley Jacobs down to that bronze medal spot with one skier left to go in the lineup. Again, if you're just joining us, this is round one. We have three rounds total. It's best run that counts. Yep. And this skier we're about to see next just happens to be your defending gold medalist from last year. It's Park City, Utah, Zoe Atkin. Zoe Atkin, if anyone can nip at Eileen's heels, it is Zoe. I mean, I think this is going to be a bit of a battle tonight, so we'll see what she can bring. Once again, these ladies told me they absolutely love this half pipe, so I'm so excited to see what Zoe has to show us for tonight. Getting into her position, she's going to start this one off from the skier's left, eyeing this up. Look at that look of determination. Oh, you could see it in her face, in her eyes. <laughs> She's like, okay, 94.66, here we go. Here we go. Yes, look at that amplitude. That is like one of her signature tricks, the 540 going absolutely massive. Headed into this next hit switch. Oh, switch seven. Give us another styly 540. Oh, landing switch coming into this last hit. Yes, she got it. Wow. These girls are on fire tonight. Her and Eileen are the only two that have hit the 10 foot plus range when it comes to the height of the years. She ended up, her second hit was four foot and some change, and then she managed to, to fight through that, gain more speed, and get up back up to eight feet on that third hit. Yeah, it's absolutely impressive. These females, to keep their amplitude, they're really pumping the transition of this half pipe, um, really using that leg strength. And like I said, keeping your amplitude down this entire pipe is so crucial. It's something that the judges are really looking at. Oh. This switch hit. Going back for the tail grab, touching it, stomping. Once again, I mean, that was our first run for the ladies. I am so impressed. So in 89, she's going to be knocking on the door of the 90s. It's good enough to put her in silver medal contention for right now. Unfortunately, that's going to bump Riley Jacobs out and put Svea Irving down in that bronze medal spot. However, that's the end of round number one. We still have two more rounds of runs left to go, but it's Eileen Goose sitting in the top spot for Mal. We'll have more from Women's Ski Superpipe when we return to Aspen. Welcome back to my favorite place on the planet, X Games Aspen 2024. I just came out finally with the Apple Lounge to do a vibe check. Yeah. Vibes are high. Yeah. The vibes are high. The vibes are really high right now. And I don't know if you guys saw. Oh, hold on. I think we're having some mic issues. Hello? Hello? Did I break it? Can you hear me now? That was really loud. Hello. Okay. You guys screamed so loud, you literally broke all of X Games sound. Okay, so if you guys were watching X Games Ventura, I was doing a little segment called Jack Swag. I got some Shady Rays goggles. We're going to go cruise around, check the vibe. See, how's everyone doing? How are you guys doing? Who's having a good time? This is what this is the best part of X Games. All you need a little free stuff and a camera on you. Yeah. All right, it's time to give these away. Who are you excited to see tonight? Eileen. Eileen Gu. Yeah. That is the correct answer. Yeah. High five. I have a feeling you're going to be competing in here one day. Oh, yeah. Yes. Well, we can't wait to see you. Until then, more women ski super pipe. Vibes are high.
by Lean Goop. Starting it off with a big Cork 900 to the right, mirroring it. Wow. Cork 900 to the left. Ali you flat spin. A big run out of Eileen Goo to start things off. There it is. I mean, dominating every run she was skiing. Incredible. Getting the gold medal there. That was a look back to her 2021 gold medal performance. The one time we've seen her in competition here at the X Games. And here in round one of 2024, she finds herself in the top spot with a 94.66 here in Chipotle Women's Ski Superpipe. Taking the sled ride back up to the top. Before we get to the start of round number two, we'll check in one more time with Kristen. After their first runs, I checked in with Eileen Gu and Zoe Atkin. Eileen had pointed to her goggles on the podium. She rhinestoned them herself. I also asked her how she's controlling the pain. She took off her glove, written on her hand in pen. Pain is temporary. This girl is an absolute warrior. Now, I also checked in with Zoe. I asked her what she plans on perfecting in her next run. She said she wants to clean it up, more amplitude, and she may even have a new trick to unveil. Mm. Thank you, Kristen. Yeah, pain was definitely temporary for that young lady in that first run. That did not look like the run of a person that was suffering from a right hip injury, especially with the face that she made when we saw her getting tended to before the run. And I <laughs> love Zoe Atkins look, but she looked down the pipe with just the, the death stare before she was ready to go. Yep. Look at her back at the top of Eileen. She's still getting that hip stretched up. But my goodness, her performance, I, that was that was huge with a 94.66. However, that's just one round. There's two more rounds yet to go. It's your best run that counts. We go back up top to one of our X Games rookies. It's Korea's Yujin Jang. All right. Yeah, she just landed a beautiful first run. So from here, all you have to do is just keep upping it. I mean, that's the beauty of landing the first run is just keep pushing it a little harder. Dropping in here for us. Starting off with the big left nine. And, oh, just kind of squeaking it around. Just not and all she, the way around in that rotation. Yep, and she knows, she knows the judges are going to critique that. It's not going to be enough, so she's going to give us a little straight air show down the pipe. I love it. Yeah. To her credit, to come in your first time ever at the X Games and to put in a complete run the first go around right there. I mean, getting that out of the way early on, I mean, right on to you, Eugene. It's everything, absolutely. And look at that smile. She's not defeated. Oh, I love the energy from her. She studies at Korea University. She's interested in international sports, finding herself on an international sports stage out here this weekend in Aspen Snowmass. And look at that cheetah outfit. She got the cheetah goggle strap. I was going to say, she's very in fashion trend out I here know, on the mountain I'm this weekend. <laughs> so we'll look to see more of her in round number three as we bring back up Sabrina Kakmakli. She had a little slip up there in that first run, looking to clean this up and get out of the bottom of the pack. She currently sits in eighth place. Yeah, that, like you mentioned, she did have a little bit of a slip up, but she's got this run and the next run. So I have no doubt in my mind she's going to put it down for us here right now. And yes, dropping in switch. Oh, squeaking around the seven. But once again, I think she just realizes, yeah, wasn't able to get that full rotation. So unfortunately, gonna have to scratch this second run yet again. But still, I'd love to see her and Amy Frazier dropping into the half pipe switch. That's not something you see a lot from these ladies out here. So big props for her on that. That's just tough when that happens twice to you and then it comes down to that third and final run. And as a competitor yourself, like, how do you get out of that mindset? Like, once that happens, you're like, I've got one more run. This isn't going my way. Like, what do you do to shake that off? I mean, absolutely. The pressure is on. But unfortunately, I think as an athlete, you have to shake it off. That was in the past. Your bobbles were in the past. You have to focus on the present, on the future, and what you can control. You could hear there in the reaction shot. She said, what happened? So it's a... It's a tough spot right now, but uh, she's down, but not out. She has one more. See her run. Let's take a look at what this super pipe looks like with a GoPro point of view angle. Oh yeah, here we have it. The POV angle, point of view. Riley, I mean, these pipe walls, look at them. You can see the glare on the walls, how icy they are, how tall they are. Super pipes, as an athlete myself who skied in slopes down big air, I'm terrified of a half pipe, so. <laughs>
These girls are so brave and so impressive. Well, they've got perfect conditions to do it out here tonight. As we were talking about Zoe Akin at the top of the show, you could see that there was snowfall last year, which always affects the speed, but it's uh, it's been great weather out here in Aspen this weekend. So no speed issues, no visibility issues. Riley Jacobs, she was in the top three, and uh, she now finds herself one spot on the outside looking in. The X Games rookie currently sitting in a number four spot with uh, that 81.66. If you're jumping into that top three right now, you need to best an 85.33, that being held on to by Svea Irving. She had an absolutely impressive first run, and I think what she can do is just hopefully a little more amplitude and clean everything up just a little bit. So there it is, that big 900 landing deep, holding on into the 720. Come on, Riley. Oh, there we go, holding on, going deep again on that trick. Another 540 for us, and last hit. Another beautiful 540 to the right side, so mirroring those 540s back to back. I unfortunately don't think that that's a little cleaner than our first run. I was just about to ask you, do you think that's going to best that 81.66 or kind of leave her in the same area? No, unfortunately, I think she just had a couple more bobbles on that run, not quite as smooth as her first, but still nonetheless landing another run out here. Yeah, just a bit shy of that with a 79, so she's going to stick with that first run score. But again, I mean, to be an X Games rookie and find yourself knocking on the door of podium contention, that is an impressive outing here under the lights tonight. We take another look here at Dylan Glenny. She has now moved down to that number five spot with that 74.66. Once again, Dylan had a really great first run, but I think she just needs to clean a couple things up. Um, so we'll see what she has for us. She definitely has all the potential to up this score, so I'm super excited. So dropping in. Starting us off with that massive straight air tail grab. There it is, the 900 landing it even cleaner this time into her signature flare trick. Into the 720, giving us a switch hit here at the bottom of the pipe. Switch 540 into another switch 540. That was a great run. I mean, she absolutely cleaned that one up. I think we're going to see a higher score out of that. So it was a 74.66 from the first outing. We'll see what the judges think here. Got one score in the 90s, and then the 80s go down to fourth place. Let's take another look here, Maggie. All right, starting us off here with that big 720. Yep. Look at the smiles. I love it. <laughs> She's got some fans on the chat waiting. Come on, Glenny. Come on, Glenny. <laughs> So she's going to get an 83, so she's going to overtake Riley Jacobs. So wow. now Dylan Glennie finds herself one spot on the outside looking in. So knocking on the door of podium contention here, getting closer to a potential medal. We'll see what she can do in that third and final round. Svea Irving sitting in that bronze medal spot right now. I know. Looking to build on that a little bit here. Come on, Svea. <laughs> Looking dialed in. These girls, they always, I love it, they always take their time, they find their spot, they get dialed in, take their deep breaths, probably visualize their run a little bit before dropping in. Yeah, I was going to ask you, like with the visualization process, and sometimes you'll see someone stand there and kind of do some twists and just kind of go through the body motions and whatnot and, whatnot and go through the, the run in their head. Yeah, every athlete's different, but I know vis visualization is a huge cue for all athletes. It's something that I utilized when I was competing. And there you have it, the big alley 540. Oh, beautiful five, Miriam. 720. There we go. Come on, Svea. But that's a classic trick. I love that alley-oop. It's a Brita Sigourney special. And finishing big here as she makes her way into the pipe corral. Listen to the reaction from the fans. Hey, look, Svea's in the 10-foot range. <laughs> There we go. What is it, three girls that have cracked the 10-foot height meter? Yeah, it's uh, Zoe, Eileen, and now Savea. Welcome Our to top the, three. Welcome to the 10-foot meter club. <laughs> And for those who think, when I explain alley-oop, alley-oop is when you're spinning up the pipe rather than down the pipe. And it's a little bit more technical, it's a little bit more blind. 
She gets unreal on the Thayer's height meter right there. And again, to go that high at the end of your run, I mean, she was at eight feet early on the run and then struggled a little bit with height in the middle. But to go 10 feet at the end? Yeah, absolutely wow. showing that she has what it takes. She has the technicality to pump and get that amplitude back throughout every single hit. She bumps up the score in 87.33. Won't improve the position, but that gave her some breathing room between her and Dylan Glenn is up right now. But again, I mean, to go 10 feet on your last hit, that was impressive. Absolutely impressive. And like you said, too, being on that third place bubble spot, I mean, you have the rest of the field nipping at your heels. So like you said, she didn't move up the rankings, but to get a higher score is still a breath of fresh air for yeah, Svea. That, that's not the spot you want to be, but when you bump the score up a little bit, not a bad place to be going into round number three as we bring back in Canada's Amy Fraser. All right, Amy, let's see if she has this switch trick this time. There we go, the switch down the pipe, 900. This is a signature trip, trip for Amy, and it's so impressive. Stoked to see her bring it out. Here she has the flare. Let's see if she has Russ down at the bottom of the pipe. And 900 holding on. And mirroring it with the other way, 900. Wow, that was awesome, Jimmy. She looked at that 40.66 and said, you know what, I'm tired of looking at that number. I want something higher. You want to know what's impressive? She did three 900s in that run. She is the only girl doing that right now and out here tonight. And here we have the replay. Looking at this switch hit, bam, stomping. <laughs> I mean, I think the only thing, like I said, being the girl only doing three, or the only girl to do three nines out here, that's obviously one of the more technical runs we've seen. But I don't know, compared to Eileen's run, Eileen has the amplitude, and I think that's something the judges are really going to critique her on. She gets an 84.33, so Amy Fraser overtakes Dylan Glennie now. She sits on that uh, podium contention spot right now in fourth. So, wow, look at that. But again, uh, Svea Irving gave herself that breathing room with that 87.33 yeah, right there. Did. But uh, <laughs> we have two left to go in the run order here. Eileen Gu sits in that top spot with that 94.66, and then you got Zoe Atkin with that 89. And again, I mean, the height factor that we saw out of these two skiers, and I mean, and for her with that hip injury and just to just tune out the pain, I mean, you could see her wincing. The look on her face when they were stretching out that hip and to go through and do what she did in that first round was absolutely impressive. Oh my gosh, yeah, like you mentioned, just when they were stretching on her hip, that looked brutal, so painful, but she did not show any signs of pain on her first run. So we'll see. I mean, she's sitting with such a great first run score of 94.66. I mean, I know she can up it, but I don't know if she needs to or if she's going to want to just because of that pain that she is in. So Knowing we'll her drive, she would definitely want to up it. She's just got that drive, that competitive spirit. She's in for her second attempt. All right, starting us off with that big oh, no. oh, The deck check, and that isn't going to help out a hip injury at Going all. I mean, that is an impact. I mean, yeah. that is a 22-foot oh. wall of solid ice that you're just impacting into. Oh, well, like, it's, she's giving us that wave saying, hey, I'm all right, everybody. But, man, it's always a bummer to see her go down. But, oh, well, she's, she's got a smile. she's smiling as she skis over she's by She's got a smile. <laughs> she's shaking that one off. I mean, that hurt my ankles just watching that. Yeah, there Pain you go. Kristen temporary. talked about it earlier. Pain is temporary. <laughs> so that's going to be throwaway for her, obviously, sitting in the top spot with that 94.66. We'll look to round number three for her, and that's going to bring up your defending gold medalist. <laughs> I, I'm going to bring this up again because the look that she gave looking down the pipe before that first run, she saw that score by Eileen and was like, okay. All right, this okay. is what I got to do. <laughs> yeah. I got to get in the zone. Determination is in those eyes for sure. Zoe Atkin from Park City, Utah. Fans weighing in on the chat. Respect for sending it. You are absolutely right. Here we go. Yep. Zoe Atkin, run number two. Respect to all these ladies out Zoe here tonight. Atkin, run number two. All right, Zoe here on the first wall. Yes. That 540. I could watch her do that all day. Oh, my long. goodness. That's the highest air we've seen tonight. She just went 12 feet. <laughs> hey, we love it. The judges are going to love it, too. <laughs> there it is. 540. Oh, so beautiful switch right 724 is to finish things off. And once again, height 12 feet, and then she went 
seven feet plus on that last hit. A little bit of struggle with maintaining the height. This one. Hey, if it was a height contest, she'd be winning. I have 12 feet. <laughs> look at it. Here it is right here. Boom. She is boosting. And look at that tweaked out mute grab, grabbing in front of her ski and pulling it. Like I said, I could watch her do that trick all day long. Somebody's going to have to call air traffic control over at the Aspen <laughs> oh Airport goodness, is how Jimmy. close to the runway we are. That was massive. And one thing I want to highlight with Zoe is she has such defined grabs. And that's, you know, obviously just holding on to that ski. And that's something that the judges are really looking for. She really, really has some of the strongest grabs in the industry. I'll get the grab next time. Oh, yeah, she well, said, there you go. She mind. said, I'll get the grab next time. And she's into the night. She's not over going to take. She's not going to overtake Eileen. Excuse me, but she will get into the 90s at 90.66. <laughs> Reach out there, Maggie. Give her a high five. Yes, Zoe. We've completed two rounds, and it is Eileen Gu who you see right there sitting in the top spot. We're sending the slippers down the pipe. The battle's not over just yet. We've got one more round to go. It's the conclusion of Chipotle Women's Ski Super Pipe when we return to Aspen Snowmass. Welcome back, everybody. Jack Matrani here, X Games Aspen 2024. I'm at the top of the super pipe now and the most exclusive access you've ever seen. Literally hanging out where all of the best women ski skiers are dropping in during the contest. And you saw the vibe at the bottom of the pipe? Well, the vibe at the top of the pipe, the reason I'm talking like this, it is very quiet, it is very intense. It is very borderline uncomfortable for me to be standing here, but I'm doing it for you, chat, because I love you. So let's do a little tour. It's beautiful up here. This is where they're getting in the zone, right? Getting super focused, getting the skis dialed in, talking to their coaches, visualizing and attacking, visualizing and attacking, getting in the zone. I, I love you. You're gonna kill it. You're gonna kill it. Okay, we're gonna sneak out here. We're not allowed here, but hurry, let's just do this. This is what it looks like to stand at the top of the super pipe. If you look down, it is a thing of beauty. It is gorgeous. The sun has just set. Shout out to Aspen. You are one beautiful thing and I love you. Okay, let's get out of here. We are in the way. We got some more skiers to drop. I am doing this for you guys. Go get them, Tiger. Or Cheetah, I don't know what that is, but thank you so much. It is time to get back into the action for the Women's Ski Superpipe final runs. Let's go. Three, two, one. Yo! Welcome back, everyone. Day two of three competition out here, Aspen Snowmass. It's X Games Aspen 2024. The party continues under the lights out here tonight as we are set to kick off the third and final round of Chipotle Women's Ski Superpipe. What's happening, everyone? If you're just joining us, my name's Jimmy Coleman. I'm sitting here alongside Maggie Boys, and we got Kristen Beat out in the field. And well, what a competition it's been thus far. It's Eileen Goo's been the story with that injured right hip, and she came out in that first run, sits in that top spot. I mean, these ladies tonight have been absolutely throwing down. You've seen all the women in the field. First runs, stomping, high scores, 80s, 90s. And here we have Eileen showing us why she's the best. Oh, and there's that alley-oop, 540. Oh, and that hand pump, she's stoked. Yeah, the hand pump said it all. I mean, she was getting that thing stretched out pre-run, did not look to be in a good headspace, and then just went out there and nailed it, and that is X Games mode and why she's sitting in the top spot as of right now. But Zoe Atkin jumped into the 90s into that last round, so she's your defending gold medalist. She's sitting in the silver medal as of right now. Svea Irving in a bronze medal as of right now. However, there's one more round of runs to go. It is best run that counts, so this one's still up for grabs if you're watching at home. Yep, one more run to shake things up. So we are going to see what these ladies have in store. We go back up to the top and bring back in another X Games rookie. It's Eugene Jang from Korea. She started it off with a 69.66. That's been the better of her two runs thus far. That came in round one. It's good enough for seventh as of right now. She starts off the third and final round. Dropping in for us. Oh, I love this Cork 900. She's doing no once again. Just looking like she's a little back seat and not able to hold on. But once again, X Games rookie. Welcome here to Aspen, the X Games. And I absolutely love her energy. 
And this cheetah fit. This is great. <laughs> you're liking the jacket. Oh, and look at these straight hairs. You're boosting. giving her style points is what you're telling me. Yeah, style is everything. Style on your skis, but also what you're wearing. Yeah. <laughs> I, again, to her credit, to come out, you're the first one Thank to drop you. in the... Co hey. Thank you, Eugene. You were the first one to drop. It's your first X Games, and you put a run down the first go around. I mean, she might be my new favorite skier. I love her energy. You can just tell she's so excited as a rookie to be here at X Games. I mean, how did you feel your first time out here at the X Games? Oh my gosh, I was mind blown. It was a childhood dream of mine. So, <laughs> oh. So that'll bring up Sabrina Kakmakli. We talked about this earlier. She's in a, a bit of a pressure cooker situation. She's had some slip ups and runs one and two. It's got her down at the bottom of the pack. And we talked about this in the last round. Unfortunately, that kind of puts all the pressure on your shoulders here in round three. Yeah, it's definitely a lot when the pressure's on when you have not landed a run yet. But let's see if she can just focus in and dial in what she needs to. This first hit has definitely been a difficult go for us, but here she is. Come on, Sabrina. So it looks like she's just going for a little bit easier trick instead of that bigger rotation, which I totally understand. Sometimes that's what you have to do to keep the pressure off. Is like, hey, what's a run that I can land and I can get a score up on the board? So. Just decided to call an audible on this one. Yeah. Trying to eclipse that 31.33. Yeah, look at that. That was something unique carving back up the wall. I think she just knows it's not her night. Unfortunately, sometimes that happens. Oh, yeah, the, the look at her face and it just kind of says it all. Oh, Sabrina. Uh, and the sigh. You know, it's such a bummer. You come out here to X Games and you want to just put down your best skiing, but like I mentioned, sometimes it's just not your day. You know, and it's only her third time actually competing out here. She's in pipe. She's been here plenty of times, but uh, she's been an alternate four different times. And as I said earlier, her best finish was seventh back in 2018. We move on to Riley Jacobs. She was knocking on the door of podium contention. She's bumped down a couple of spots. She now finds herself sitting in sixth place. Her best outing was an 81.66, another one of our X Games rookies. She's got the GoPro on, I love it. Giving us all the POV shots. <laughs> Did you see that stare looking down pipe? Determination She's yet like, again. Okay. She's like, oh. <laughs> oh, there it is, that big 900 to start things off. Into the 720. Oh, big switch seven down here. Left side All right, left side 540. Finishing it off with another right side 540, mirroring those tricks. Wow, I mean, I'm just so stoked for her. Her coming out here as a rookie and landing all three runs, that's so impressive. She, I hope she's really proud of herself. Let's take another look here in slow-mo. Oh yeah, reaching back, trying to get that tail grab and unfortunately just kind of tickling the tail. Um, and then here she has right here at the bottom, tweaking out that mute grab on this right side 540. Let's go. Oh, I love it. You can just hear her and how excited she is. So she'll bump the score up a little bit. She ends up with an 82 flat. Unfortunately, that's not going to move up the placing there. But again, welcome to the X Games, Riley Jacobs. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> So three down, five left to go here in Chipotle Women's Ski Superpipe. Eileen Gu, Zoe Atkins, Svea Irving, your one, two, three. It is best run that counts. Dylan Glennie currently sitting in fifth place right now with an 83 flat. Yeah, Dylan, she's had two really great runs, but I think, unfortunately, she just hasn't been able to really squeak up that score a bit due to just some, you know, I think just I some technical math, issues. And, and here we have it, on course. Oh, love that. Seven and a little over seven. Oh, there's the 900. I love her signature flair. Yeah, she just, I think in those first two rooms, just needed to clean it up, and she's proving that she's got it. Big switch 540 coming into this last hit. Oh, and back-to-back -back switch 540s. I definitely think that was an improvement from her first two runs. But like I mentioned, just her amplitude, and unfortunately, I think just the grabs, those are the things that the judges are going to be looking for. Something like a someone like Eileen who really defines those grabs and has a huge amplitude. 
So you think that one might be a little bit better. She had an 83 flat. I'm no judge, but. <laughs> hey, listen, sometimes I get you to walk the plank like that. <laughs> and she's going to get an 83.33, so it will improve the score, but not the placing. So four down, four left to go here in Chipotle Women's Ski Super Five. Eileen Goose sitting in the top spot. Will she claim go? That's Hannah Fallhaber right there with the case, the coveted case with the medals. We'll find out who's going to stand on the podium when we return to X Games Aspen 2024. We're out here the day before X Games, getting things ready for the big day. This is feature five on the slope stock course right now. We've decided to make a, an adjustment to this feature. Basically, if the angle is off, the athlete can't land where they're supposed to. The light up here isn't that great, and sometimes it just doesn't come through on the photos. So having the S24 low light camera and, and sending crystal clear photos to all the athletes or the team managers is amazing. There's not many people that can be away from home as long as we are. Yeah, you're living in a hotel, you're living out of a bag, but everybody here is a family. Hey babe, how's it going? Sorry I couldn't call you earlier. Early mornings, late nights, you know the routine. Call me when you get a chance. Love you, bye. You know, I'm away for months at a time, but my S24 keeps me connected with my loved ones, and I appreciate that. Uh, it's awesome to, to see everything come together. We, you know, we've been out here for roughly five weeks getting all this stuff built, whether it was the half pipe, the slope style, or the street course, the big air. It's been an epic day. Thanks for following along. Yeah, some of the unsung heroes out here at X Games, the course builders. I mean, we just get to come in for the weekend, but these guys are here for almost a month. And I mean, it's long days out here. It's cold. You're dealing with the elements and the work that they put in to make the pipe as well as the slope style and the big air courses. We could not do it without them, as you saw there in that Samsung Day in the Life feature. But it is a packed house out here tonight. Day two of three. Competition continues here from X Games Aspen 2024. And you're looking at an epic view up pipe right here. We have four skiers left to go. Svea Irving, she got a bronze medal last year. She's sitting in a bronze medal spot as of right now. She bumped up that last score, uh, two full points. She's looking at another potential medal. But again, you would love to give yourself some more breathing room. Also, she'd love to trade that up a little bit. Try to get <laughs> herself sure. a medal of a shinier color. Hey, she's like, I got a bronze last year. I'd at least like a silver or something. <laughs> hey, nothing bad with leaving here with a medal, but she's like, you know what? I, bronze was so last year. It was it's so 2024. Last year. Give me something new. <laughs> she sees that case down here at the bottom of the pipe. She knows what she wants. She knows, and she has what it takes. She absolutely does. And that amplitude, she had such a, she's what? Height meter was 10 feet. We've only had three girls go that big. But here comes Svea. 
starting off with this big alley 540. Ooh. Just lean it a little forward on that one. Great oh, save. Really great save by Svea right there. Almost going a little too forward, a little head, head heavy. Oh, unfortunately, just kind of missing the takeoff on that trick, missing the grab. But she's still going for it, showing us what she's got. But I think Svea knows, unfortunately, with that one hit and kind of two hits, her landing on the first trick, but kind of flailing and missing the grab on her switch hit is going to be a big deduction for the judges. She's kind of throwing her hands up right there. She's still sitting in a bronze medal. There's only one skier left that can uh, take a medal away from her that's on the outside looking in. It's our next gear, but let's take a look at some replays here. Yeah, here we have this big alley flat five. And oh, see, you can yeah. tell she goes big a little bit forward, but held on perfectly and finishing off with this beautiful left side 900, getting the safety grab. Nice work, Svea. Yeah, I thought that one was going to pitch her a little more forward, but that was a great save there. So she's going to have to stick with that second run score okay. there. Uh, there's only one skier left, as I just said, that's uh, standing between her and a potential uh, second medal in the last two years out here in Superpipe. We'll see how that holds up. We only have three skiers left to go here in Chipotle. Women's Ski Superpipe. Amy Frazier. Sitting one spot on the outside looking in. She has an 84.33. And there you Third can and final run. And there you can see it. She had her eyes closed. She was doing that vis visualization that we were talking about just one run ago. Let's see if she has what it takes. She could knock Svea off of this podium. Sitting in that fourth place spot. She got fourth here last year. Like we mentioned, we know she wants this X Games medal so badly. So here she comes. Dropping and switch. She gonna get this switch 900 for us? Yes, I think even better than her last run. Oh, beautiful. Here's the switch 720. Flare. And what does she have for us at the bottom? A 900 to the right. One more hit. She gets in one more hit. Oh, and the left 900 with barely any pipe left. Oh. Jimmy, this is going to be close. She was running on a wall right there and decided to squeak one more in. Yeah. Wow, what an impressive run, Amy. That was awesome. And like I mentioned, I'm getting a little nervous for Svea. This was such an impressive run. That switch 900 was to perfection. The only girl in the field doing that out here tonight and finishing off with a little bit of pipe left with the left side nine. As we talked about earlier, being in that bubble spot right there. So we wait for the score. Oh, she's into the 90s. Amy Frazier, you just jumped wow. into the 90s. You overtook Svea oh. Irving. She can't believe it right now. <laughs> Look at that excitement on her face. And Jimmy, this means she gets third place, right? With only... Yeah, with Eileen and Zoe left to go, and they're both ahead of her. Congratulations, Amy Frazier. You're getting a bronze medal. You got fourth last year. Now you're going to walk out of here with a bronze. Wow. Oh, so happy for Amy. You can see at the end there, she had a little bit of watery eyes. I mean, this is an exciting moment. So we're down to our final two. On the left, it's Eileen Gu, your current leader. She took gold here in 2021. On your right, Zoe Atkin coming in. You're defending gold medal. She is the last one to ski here in the lineup. And the Jim story we've been telling all night long with Eileen, that right hip injury, she came out here in that first round and just blew it out with a monster 94.66 score. Jimmy and Eileen and Zoe both go to Stanford. I think we got to call this the Stanford standoff. <laughs> it's the Stanford off. <laughs> <laughs> the Stanford off. <laughs> with these two girls in the one and two position. But it's we're... the battle of higher education <laughs> taking place out here <laughs> in the super pipe, courtesy of Chipotle. <laughs> the Stanford standoff. <laughs> Okay, look at Eileen here going through the motions. We talked about like, okay, you got a 94.66 and you're like, okay, would she be happy with that? Just kind of back off with the hip injury? No, look at her right now. She wants more. She absolutely does. As we it's, mentioned earlier, she's only competed out here one time. It was back in 2021. She got three medals that year. Looking at a possible gold here tonight. Uh, beautiful right nine, court 900 with the Buick grab. Mirroring that trick to the left. Oh, and the beautiful right side 720. Switch, Switch 360. 360. Alley, -oop. Alley -oop flat five. Can she mirror this trick here? 
Easy peasy. Wow, Eileen Gu proving to us. Just the consistency from this, from her is absolutely unbelievable. Great work out here, Eileen. I know pushing through pain is not easy, but she certainly. You see what that comment? Eileen is a cheat code at life, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I don't, I don't know how she does it. Juggles all the things, the school, the modeling, the skiing. It's absolutely impressive. She's an impressive piano player as well. Yeah, what can this girl not do? And here we have right here at the bottom, this alley-oop flat five going massive and bam, stomping it. Loving the bling out here tonight. <laughs> yep, she's stoked. She got that hand pump at the bottom. So again, 94.66 from that first round. She was in the top spot pre-run, but trying to bump that score up yep. a little bit. And she does a 95.66, wow. so she's added another point. I think if any of her professors are watching right now and she's late to class later on because of this hip injury, like cut her a little slack. You would think so, right? But she said that her teachers don't give her any oh slack God, at all. Bro. She has to finish her assignments on time. I just meant I if mean, she's late. True. <laughs> maybe go, being able to go 10 plus feet in the super pipe, maybe that should help your GPA a little bit. Ooh, I don't know, maybe like a little claws well. they write in. All right, it all comes down to Zoe Atkin. The last thing standing between Eileen Gu and her second ever Super Pipe gold medal. Your defending gold medalist for last year. She's in for her last run. All right, the Stanford standoff. Can she shake things up here on her last run? I think she can go bigger, which she clearly just did. 12 feet, 12 so massive. Feet. <laughs> and the massive switch. Oh, no! On the last run, no! And Eileen knows with that fall, that is gonna do it. Way to go for it still, Zoe, going absolutely huge. I mean, coming home with another medal here at X Games, a silver, she's gotta be proud. And here's Eileen Gu, our gold medalist, proving why she is the best, wow. And again, I mean, to tell the tale of that hip injury, I mean, she withdrew from the other competition she was planning to be in out here this weekend, still wanted to get in here, get it done at Chipotle Women's Super Pipe. And I mean, that, the look on her face said it all when she was getting that stretched out. Yeah, and just it, the pain that she was in. But when you dropped into half pipe, you didn't see that at all. You saw her determination, so much resilience from this young woman. I am so, so impressed and so excited for her. What a great show here tonight. Ladies, you are absolutely crushing it, pushing the sport. I'm proud, you make everyone else proud. Hey, and let's give a big shout out to Amy Frazier as well. She settled for fourth last year, was knocking on the door. This year, it's a tough break for Svea Irving, but she comes in and she takes a bronze medal out here. Like I mentioned, she got that chocolate medal last year. <laughs> so this year coming home with some real hardware. I could not be more excited for her. And she brought out that Switch 900, the only girl in the field to be doing that trick. And here we have Eileen, a rerun, slow-mo of her absolutely beautiful tricks. It didn't take her foot off the gas. I mean, in that last run, even though despite the injury and being in that top spot, she went out, she gave it a little more and got an extra point to boot just to try to give herself a little bit of breathing room. Oh, and the camaraderie between the girls is absolutely incredible. Here we have Hannah Fall Haber. She's a half pipe skier out here, unfortunately. Had a knee injury, so she's not able to compete. But here we have it, Eileen. Let's send it down to Kristen with Congratulations. Eileen. Congratulations. You wrote it on the inside of your hand. Pain is temporary. How did you work through that pain this weekend? You know, this is probably one of the hardest things I've had to do. I've never skied with pain like this before. Just excruciating, constant. Can barely walk right now, honestly. Um, but I think it's really a testament to how much I love the sport, how much all of us love the sport. There's so much sacrifice involved. I think it's easy to see us as just these happy professional athletes who get to do flips for a living. But honestly, we really put our bodies through it, and we we sacrifice so much. And to that end, I really want to give a shout out to some of the people who are missing from here tonight. Our very own Hannah Fallhaber out right now. Um, John Christian, Li Fang Hui. Uh, Cassie out being a lovely, thoughtful, beautiful mother. Um, excited for her to come back soon. Um, and of course, Sarah Burke, who paved the way for all of us, um, pioneered the path, made the ultimate sacrifice, and um, yeah, really made a legacy. So for the rest of us, you know, it's all about pushing the sport. It's all about doing our best, conquering ourselves time and time again. Thank you, everybody here at X Games tonight. Thank you for all the support. You really got me through it. I'm serious. Thank you.
Thank you. There's so there's such magic here at X Games. Um, I missed it so much. I love skiing. I love competing. I love all the fans. I love my sponsors. Thank you for having me. Let's go, Aspen. Well, wow. welcome back, Eileen Gu, and welcome back to the top of the podium. Wow, what a finish out here tonight, Maggie. What an absolutely incredible pipe event from all of these ladies. They absolutely brought it, pushing the sport to the next level. Um, so proud of these females. So, so incredible, and here's the action. Well, that is a wrap from Chipotle Women's Ski Super by Amy Frazier. Settled for fourth last year. She walks out of here with a bronze. Zoe Atkin with the silver and Eileen Koo with her second Super Pipe Gold. And we are back. What an event. Wow. As predicted, Eileen Gu, welcome back to the top. Much respect for powering through. How was that? Yeah, go ahead. I know, just that speech yeah was beautiful that's stanford right there that's a that's genius stanford. that's a genius in ski boots i mean she was giving love to people who weren't here she was giving love to her sponsors to the to the crowd she was she, you can really tell like how grateful and blessed she feels and, and also how she injured. much she went through exactly oh i God. was so lucky to have the opportunity to go up to the top of the pipe and i saw her before her runs and she had her trainer like working on her hip and wow. you could tell she was in so much pain and oh. the vibe was really serious and um you couldn't tell i couldn't tell could you tell well like she said i mean the fans got her through it and that's yeah. what x games is all about 100%. when you get under these lights and the fans are there it's like you've dreamed about this moment and this day for so many nights and yes. so you she put it together it. and she did it she did it congratulations congratulations that's fantastic Coming up next, some more women skiing in the Pacifica Women's Ski Big Air. We're all fired up about that. Phew. But before we get into that, some more highlights from the most epic event and the most beautiful sunset. So Here's sick. Zoe Atkin. Yeah. Who went 12 feet out of this pipe. That's so insane. That's insane. <laughs> Yo. It's second. What's going on? Chat. Oh, yeah, chat. Jay Chan, Jack, you need to move to Hamilton. I literally just saw that one too. Jack, you need a Raptors jersey. Jack is busy right now. <laughs> Everyone's talking for you. I need a Windsor, Ontario. <laughs> Nicholas Plants, Jack. What up, Nicholas Plants? You've been in the chat all day. Much respect. <laughs> Hi, Anita. I'm not ignoring you, we're but. We're three away I, from the following target. I can't say that. Oh, what? We're three away? Well done. Oh, right. I guess we're going to give away something once we hit that. That's really exciting. Some shady rays. What's up, Jay Chan? What's up with the Twitch chat? What's up, Weedleman? Shady rays, Tatiana. coming at yeah. Dairy section, Top Shot Blazers. Bring X Games and we'll to pull Oregon. pull you out random from the stream. What up, Riz7A? SGX Phantom. Gabby Gang. How nice is it to have Gabby in the house? Aww. We're loving this. We appreciate it, Jack. It's Shady so Rays nice. are coming. Thank you all for, for embracing me. This is this has been an amazing experience. We embrace you. <gasps> I embrace you. We embrace. Ah, I love it. Very cool. Yeah, followers 100% complete. Thank you so much to wow. this thriving community around Woo. action sports and this wonderful culture of progression, yeah. kindness, yeah. unity. There is so much camaraderie all day today. I feel like so many people were giving love to, to the athletes, to each other, yeah, to, to people who aren't here, as Eileen was saying. It's so just, good. This is what it's about. A lot of love up in here. It has to have the love. What There's, was the point of, of life without love? What's the point of life without love? There's what a, a lot of love in the chat right now. Um, good. I love it. This one's really good. Jack, you do an awesome job every year. Thank you, Farts into that Chat. That is correct. Farts into Chat. Jack, Thank you so much. Always killing it. You're an OG, dude. JQ, let's go. <laughs> what up, Joel Wolbers? Why isn't Woodsy competing? Good question. He's been on the mic a lot this week, though, which is cool. Volman KD shaving an X. Is Liam in slope style? Probably. Oh, he's shaving an X. Are you? Liam Brearley in slope style? Liam? He's not. He's not, yeah. But he's in big air. He is in big air. So we get to see him again. Yeah. Catch that. Love is all we need. Much love, love Daniel out. Vetter. Always. Tooth gap for real annoying. 
Oh, sorry about that. You know, can't please everybody. I love it. I know. If I could, and I, I also love my gap. You know why? Because my daddy, I have embraced it from him. I got it inherited. He is a part of a very famous funk band called Rufus and Shaka Khan. Nice. Yeah. Plays guitar, lead guitarist, and lead vocalist with Shaka. That's cool. And uh, look him up, Tony Maiden. I wear my gap proudly. Hey, well, you should. I think it fits you very well, and I love it. Yeah, let's do it. Bring metal's, it all the love. Metal's going down right now. Oh, look at that. She's wearing it proud. Let's go, Eileen. Congrats. Now for your gold medal for the for the women's ski super pipe. <laughs> Wait, my bad. Excuse me. That was not it. <laughs> oh, look, we got a little pole popping up here. We love a good pole. Who is the best rookie so far? Here we go. Rel Harwood or Liam Brearley. It is neck and neck. Rel, Har Rel Har Harwood sorry, is just passing Liam Brearley. Make sure to vote in the chat. Ooh. Exclamation point vote and then Rel or Liam or, or B or Daniel. Shout out Eileen Goo. Welcome back to the top. Look at that. Big congrats. A lot of respect. We out here. X Games asked in 2024. It's happening. Oh no, Arthur's calling me out, out for a flip. Gosh, I thought you guys would forget. Um, right on, what, what else? Say? They park up maybe what, something what? They oh, want me to, they would, yeah, they want me to do a backflip. I've done a backflip, I think, every oh, year at X Games. Oh, that's why you did say that. I just don't know what to do it off. Usually there's like, an, like a couch or a table. Oh, this table would break. Oh, you're talking about like standing still. Yeah, like it. somewhere in this what? lounge. Well, let's think about this. Where where would you feel comfortable doing it? I, I, w I don't feel comfortable <laughs> doing it anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> never have, never will, but I will do it for you guys. That is so Do a backy. Sweet. Jack is so dedicated and sweet to everybody. Hard to go. All right, guys, we have 25 minutes for Pacifico Women's Ski Big Air. Let's take a look Ooh. at the start list. A uh, couple of names that stand out for me. Tess Ledeux. Yeah. Mathilde Grimaud. Those are hard to pronounce for Great me. Great Julia Tano, Sarah Hofflin. I mean, this whole this whole list is completely stacked. I'm really excited to see what's going to go down. I think we're going to see some triples. Hope so. We got a. It's actually really international as well. What do we got? Russia, New Zealand, USA, Norway, Swiss, Swiss, France, Swiss. A lot of Swiss. A lot of Swiss. There's like three Swiss. Backflip off half pipe. Off the half pipe? Jeffrey, I'm not gonna oil you up. Stop saying that, dude. It's gross. Ew. Off the half pipe down to flat? <laughs> yeah. That's that's insane. Adri Adrian yeah. Santos is saying, Are you guys tired yet? No, we don't get tired Never. until the weekend's over. Never. Grib and Jack, what's Luke up to? Uh, shout out Luke, my little brother. Luke, Let me love Luke. Let me tell you something. Little Luke is making music. He's having another baby, and it's his first <gasps> birthday. So shout out to my niece Goldie. Happy birthday, Happy birthday Goldie. to you. I'm sure you're sleeping. It's true. It's true. And you know what else is true? We should do the map. You want to do another map session? Talk, yeah. All right. Talking about all of the international people we have coming up in women's ski big air hi lisa from joseph would you like okay yeah you guys want all right map. so we just want to know where, where are you, you guys tuning in from we've hit this map pretty hard i'll take a camera closer in Looks pretty but good. where are you at chat where are you at chat where are you at chat all right jack's getting the camera here is, there you go. We got Colombia. Netherlands, ooh. We got Melbourne, Australia. Bulgaria. Where are we at with Bulgaria? We got Detroit. Slovakia. We're everywhere. This is fantastic. Bahamas? What? Bahamas? 
Hey yo, I've never been to the Bahamas, but I would love to go. Italy, ooh, Italy's. Austria, let's go. We got Delaware, Connecticut, Toronto, Croatia. Ah, oh, here it's beautiful, Croatia. Romania, let's go. Romania, oh. <laughs> and a smile in Russia. Ooh, what's that? Oh, it's snowboarding in Russia. Smiley face snowboarding, that's good. And one more. X Games, let's go. Triple exclamation. Oh, oh, he's not done yet, ladies and gentlemen. And a heart in Greenland. That is very nice. Greenland is a lovely place, as well as Iceland. Ah, thank you all for that. We're everywhere. Coming in all over the world with uh, X Games Aspen 2024. This is impressive. I love you guys. It's so cool when you put it into perspective and see how you, everyone is exactly. tuning in from everywhere. Look, the chat is still going off. Argentina. Yeah, shout it out. Indonesia. Liechtenstein. Liechtenstein. Bali, Indonesia. No way. What time is it in Bali right now? I miss Bali. Bali is beautiful. Oh, we've got some Aspen. Okay, now everyone, hands off your keyboard for a second. Hands Iceland? off. Iceland? What's up, Iceland? Hands off your keyboard for just one second. Let's let the chat come to a halt. <laughs> Let's just let the chat come to a halt for one second. I'm going to take a bite of my potatoes. Gabby's going to just eat a little mashed potatoes. I have something for you as soon as the chat stops. But I'm not gonna tell you what this is unless the chat stops. The chat is not stopping, the chat is speeding up. The, <laughs> the chat is speeding up. Don't you guys wanna know what he's gonna do? Do you wanna know what I'm gonna do? I feel like you guys should, oh, it's almost. Oh, it's slowing down. Aaliyah said Moment of silence. Never. We're almost there. I feel like it's going to stop. All right, I'm going to give it five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Nope. Sorry, you guys just, you didn't stop the chat. I had something for you, I had, and it was good. It's really exciting. We'll I try it, maybe we'll try it again tomorrow on Sunday. Everyone's fired up. It's Saturday. It is Saturday. I, I am too. Samuel, watch your mouth. <laughs> You don't tell me to up. You up, little punk. <laughs> I'm just playing, play it. Um, all right, fine, I'm gonna ask you anyway. I was gonna ask you where should we bring X Games in the world, but I didn't want it to overlap with where you're tuning in from. Right. But maybe it's the same thing anyway. But I'd love to know if there was anywhere in the world where you'd want us to bring in X Games, where would that be? That is a really great question. Where would you want Krakow, to Krakow, Poland. Jack. Where would I want to bring it? Yeah. I was so excited to go back to Japan. <gasps> oh. We did some summer in Japan. Oh my god. I'd love to do some winter in Japan. Winter in Japan is fantastic. We've been having a lot of Japan talks. A lot. I mean, a lot it's of like are going it's out there. Well, the snow is happening right now. It's Japanuary. It's Japanuary. Is what it is. It's Japan time. It is Japan time. It's literally the most awesome and nicest human beings with some of the most breathtaking scenery I've ever seen. <laughs> wow! I just read a really rude what? comment. How dare you? But what Man. I will say. Is I saw Trollhagen. That would be an epic X oh, Games. Like Trollhagen? maybe just a rail jam there. I mean, X Games that's rail, jam. rail jam. Street that style Trollhagen. Trollhagen. Oh yeah. That go to Highland. Place goes off. Go to Highland in Minnesota. Yep. Highland, Minnesota would that's, be sweet. That would be fun. Mayoko, Norway again. Would love that. Boulder, PA. It's a lot of Trollhagen. Canada, Mount Hood. Oh, Mount Hood. Yeah, for sure. I <laughs> Samuel, you're all good, dog. I think it would be fun to go back to Bear. Back yeah. to Bear? Was, was it, it was at a, Bear? It Snow was at Summit? Bear, like years and years Way ago. back in the day. Yeah. That would be cool. Park City. Yeah. We were just in Minneapolis. Pine Knob, Michigan. There you go. Ooh, where's that? Dubai. That would be fun. Dubai. Wow. That would be rad. I've never been to Dubai. I've heard great things. Florida Man. on the beach. <laughs> How, 
Can we just talk about how great it's been to be in the athlete lounge? It has an energy. It does. It has a pulse. It does have a pulse. It's always flowing. Yeah. It's, it's like happening. some moments are like really tired yeah. and really chill. And right. then other moments, you just never know what you're going to get in the athlete lounge. I agree. Yeah. It's always good energy. It's always really good energy. And it's always everybody just like having a good time and just making sure everyone is feeling their best. Yeah. I mean, we got... PT over here. We got some. We got PT. Therapy. There's a lot of body work. I would kill for a massage right now. You know what I did? I had the Theragun on my back. I my need a massage. Can I get a? Can someone please? Do you want me to go grab the Theragun? Well, maybe, but it might be hard to hear. Let's just go. Maybe we'll just bring them here. I think if I just go like this, someone will get <laughs> give me a massage. <laughs> All right. Roberto Juan Sir Montana, you oh, guys are the energy. <laughs> No, dog. You are the energy. Jack, I think you're about to get, get to out of here. <laughs> what? I'm so Ask dead. Ask and you shall receive. Oh. Oh no. Jack right, is next. officially signing off. <laughs> I will not be able to function. Okay. I love it. I am in heaven. That's, um, that's fantastic. She's she's doing the pressure. What were we just talking about? Did I literally Does just call this? Doesn't matter. <laughs> Okay, everyone wants to go to Park City. Park Hold City. Down for Park City. X Games at Disneyland. We kind of did it. Um, X Games Shanghai oh, in China. Nice. This music is really like grooving to the to the massageness. Um, if you're watching this, I need five. <laughs> go I'm get yourself a Pacifico. Place. I'm gonna have another bite of my oh, potatoes. My gosh. You have the hands. It looks, it looks amazing. Let me just tell you, this is what happens during X Games in the Athlete Lounge, pretty much 24-7. You just gotta get a little work done. Gosh, I honestly wanna cry, I'm so happy right now. <laughs> I'm so jealous, I'm next, right? Yes, yes! Oh. So excited! My God, Evan Olsen, who hired Jack? That's a great question, but Someone I really, really appreciate really, really appreciate cool. them. X Games New Jersey, yo, that would be Dang. insane. That would be cool. Mount Snow, Vermont. <laughs> Nigel, this is getting weird. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm trying my best to hold it together. We still have 15 minutes till the next event. Okay, we've been working hard here. We have. We're 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 due to some uh, physical therapy, some massaging, massaging. And oh, the elbow's the going in. Elbow's going in. Oh, now you're really in. Yes, this it. massage is sponsored by Thayer's. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Idabulous. That is a the fabulous name. You're the goat. Has X Games Alaska. That would Ooh, be really cool. That would be really Maybe a backcountry inspired event? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Stratton Mountain, Vermont. Shout out Marvel Jedi. That's where I'm from. Benjamin Jewel, Jack, shotgun a monster. What? Wanna go grab me one? Have you ever done that? No, I'll try. All right. I, I mean. I'm getting it. Be right back. Beer beat. All right. Maybe I'm not gonna shotgun it, but I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna. I'm gonna drink my first monster of the trip. N and M. This is kidding. <laughs> he puts the lotion on. He puts the lotion on his skin. I think, oh my God, that's not. Okay, monster and back massage, then we get a backy. You guys wanna see me do a backflip so bad, huh? Okay, I'm gonna drink some monster, I'm gonna do a backflip. You've asked enough. You gotta give the people what they want. On my Twitch chat, I've had replying to Kablamo 101 up here the whole day and I didn't even realize it. I'm gonna respond now. Okay, my bad. Dare you to shotgun it. I don't know if I'm allowed to. Oh, you got me options? Well, I wasn't sure. I just cut my nails. Usually I can put my thumb through it. Oh, wow, you're gonna do that one? I think my energy would be so annoying if I shotgunned a monster right now. Well, I got you like a strawberry. There's like the classic monster. Which one, chat? Which one? Black and green or pink? No one's saying colors. Which one? 
need a storm spot. What's That's the next event? Uh, Pacifica Women's Ski Big Air. We're still about 10 minutes out. Getting close. X Games, all Luke of them. Gear. All of them. All of them. Yeah, Lucas. Pink. Both. I would die. Oh, everybody's saying pink. Pink, okay. I can't, it is pretty. I can't shotgun it because I don't know if I'm allowed to, but. Maybe, oh, wait. What? What if it sprays? Okay, fine. We're just gonna, we're just gonna drink it <laughs> responsibly. <laughs> there you go. All right, should we count you down? Let's see how long it takes me to drink a pink monster. All right, ready, set, go. Oh, pinky out. Wow, wow, he's really taking it in. There you go. Is it good? How is it? I finished it. How long did that take? It took no three wow. seconds. You're that's very. I'm very impressed. That was good, right? <laughs> we need a massage after that. <laughs> All right. Well done. Do you feel? Cody yeah. Gibbs, Jack. Say my name, bro. What up, Cody Gibbs? Get a funnel. Just make it like a beer. What is it? The the funnel tube thing. That would be cool. I just yeah, had someone funnel. ask, oh, farts into chat. Jack, what's your favorite position? I used to play shortstop. Hey, rack em, sack em. I'm assuming you're talking about business. Favorite position, CEO. For what? Favorite what? position. Oh, CEO. That's a great answer. By yeah, the way. right. Like, I want to be on the top right. of this business. You know, that reminds me. What? It's the 69th X Games. It is. Yep. 69. That's fantastic. Moving on. Moving on to that. What else is going on? You guys having fun? It's Saturday night. Woo! What are you guys We're doing? We're having a good time. Are you, you're all, because they're all over the world. You're eating dinner, you eating breakfast, you're eating lunch. What are you doing? Someone just asked what was my first X Games. What was? Yeah. What was? Oh, you're asking too? <laughs> Whatever, but you'd have to look it up. If someone could help me by, in the chat, can you guys please look up what year X Games at Mount Snow was? That was the first X Games. And I went there with my friend's dad competed in a snowmobile event. Oh, and wow. so I went with them. I got like the credentials and we it's watched. I think thousand maybe. Let's see, what, what year was X Games Mount Snow? Putting the gas off for 2000. 2000? Yeah. 2000. Sasquatch Tom says 2000. We did it. 2002. I'm watching you. I have a it was Winter X Games 4, I'm hearing. 1969. That's too early. I should know this. I know. Yeah, I used to compete in X Games. I competed I Andy, here in Aspen, in the, in the Superpipe. I think it was 2000. Okay, 2000. So yeah. what's that? What's the year now? It is 2024. It is 2024. So 24 years ago was my first X Games. Wild. So I would have been 11. Good on you, dude. I went as a fan, and then when it moved to Aspen, I got invited to compete in Snowboard Superpipe. Ew. By far one of the coolest experiences of my life. So it's really yeah. cool. I can relate to a lot of the competitors out there, like yourself today. Yes. You X Games competitor. You. I am first time X Game competitor. It, it is wild. Pretty darn cool. But the pipe, I feel like, really would be, that's probably super nerve wracking. Yeah. Pipe? It's nerve wracking. It's really cool because really there's there was no other contest where when you finished your run, you'd go through like a gauntlet of fans, like cheering yeah. and screaming for you. So you know, many. like just the whole the way energy down. is so powerful, and it makes all the hard days of getting to that spot in snowboarding well worth it. That's when exciting. you see that kind of respect and, and appreciation and excitement. Genuine excitement. Too. Genuine. It's not even like someone just being like, oh, yeah, I kind of care. It's like, no, like the X Games people really care. Like, True. They come out here with their signs. Brantley, her parents had a sign with their name on it during the rail jam, and it was so sick. Like, Isn't that awesome? I love that. Rack'em, stack'em, four, five, six. Congratulations, Gabby. Well, thank 
you, Rackham Stackham. I appreciate that. All love. Thank you. This has been great. This is, I mean, Jack's getting a massage. I'm getting a massage. We're I have to ask you, what would you rate my pain tolerance as? <laughs> no comment. That's a great question. Okay, chat, I want to know, should she go harder or softer? <laughs> I think you know <laughs> what they're going to say. Zachary Faber hating on my fit. It's mad boring. What do you mean? I love this new one. This one's dope. This is like a new X Games sweater that I, uh, I'm i actually super psyched on. I'll get it signed, and then it'll be even more lit, and I'll give it away. And then I'm not going to give it to you because you made fun of me. But go to <laughs> xgames.com. Check out the new merch selection. It's only getting better from here. I think they have a couple jerseys left from what I heard earlier today, maybe like five. I'm seeing chat Definitely harder, check softer, on the faster. Website, though. Don't take my word for it. Hello. Just sneaking a couple of bites. Okay, everyone. We are getting very close. I'm seeing the clock. Two minutes and 40 seconds to Women's Ski Big Air. Thank you so much. That just made my night. Well done. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You see, I was gonna I was gonna go and get a massage, but I couldn't because I had to hang with you guys. So we decided let's do it Dedication. together. And I think the monster is definitely starting to kick in. Oh. I just got another one. This is my second. Shut it. Jack, when bomb hole? I don't know. Shout out to the bomb hole crew. What's Would love up? the invitation, but. Brendies. No all pressure. Them. Um, shout out Goon Gear. Shout out everybody. Yep. Shout out to all these women who are about to put their entire bodies on the line to walk home with X Games hardware. Let's yep. check out the rules real quick. Let's get excited. Eight athletes, 30 minute jam. Athletes remain in first run order. Athletes take as many runs as they can. Three runs count. Style intro and two best. If you're just joining us, what does that mean? The first trick that these women do has to be a style trick. Yep. Okay. okay. Well, as you can see, vibes are high Saturday night. Yeah. Lights are on. Crowd is filling in. We're going to hit a quick commercial break. Thank Woo! you for one of the most exciting little breaks with you guys. The chat. Yeah, love you. that was you. nice. That was really fun. Was All right. Really cool. Commercial break. We'll be back with Pacifico Women's Ski Big Air in five, four, three, three two. two. We love you. Mwah. Go deep or go home. Snow Mushroom and Hyaluronic Acid. One, Milky Cleanser. Two, Cushion with Milky Toner. Three, Deeply Hydrate with new Soak It Up Liquid Moisturizer. It hydrates for 80 hours. Thayers. Chipotle's carne asada is back. It's our most tender cuts of steak, grilled and seasoned with cumin, oregano, and coriander. Finished with fresh lime and hand-chopped cilantro. Carne asada. This is our best steak ever. Pacifico is a crisp golden lager. Brewed for those who know, it's what's behind a label that matters. Thayer's Milky Toner. It does more than pours. It hydrates for 48 hours. Snow Mushroom and Hyaluronic Acid takes skin from dry to dewy. Milky Toner from Thayer's. No mass as it plays host to X Games Aspen 2024 as we get set to bring you Pacifico Women's Ski Big Air. Welcome to the booth, everyone. My name's Jimmy Coleman. On this journey with me out here this evening is Maggie Voice. And well, Maggie, when you talk about women's ski big air, the last seven times it's been contested here at the X Games, two names have accounted for five of those gold medals, talking about Tesla Duh and Mathilde Grimaud. Yes, Tess, she is not afraid to absolutely go for it. She's got some of the biggest tricks in the game and already has three gold medals in this event. She got silver last year, and I know she is hungry for another gold. And there's talk that she might have a new switch double rotation for us. And Mathilde, she is absolutely on fire this season. Last year, she was one spot off the podium, but she has not missed a single podium yet this year. So let's see if she can keep the momentum rolling through this weekend. So two names to watch out for. For more on them, let's check in right now with the third member of our crew, Kristen Beat. 
Thanks, Jimmy. Tess and Mathilde both present an interesting matchup heading into this event, both entering with three gold medals to their name. Now, I checked in with both Tess and Mathilde, and they said at this point, it's all about controlling the nerves. And another note, guys, that's going to be hard to do. The travel to the sweet spot on this big air jump, 76 feet. So when they say we're just out there having fun, that is a different kind of fun. Yeah, you've got some distance to clear to get to the sweet spot on that landing out here. But as we said before, those two have claimed three golds each. We have six skiers in the lineup out here tonight. Any other standouts that you like before we get this started, Meg? I mean, we have got a full packed field of incredibly talented ladies. Tatalina, she's an incredible skier. Ruby Star Andrews, both rookies out here, people to look out for. But once again, stacked field. Excited to see it all go down. And if you're watching this and you're like, hey, where's your defending gold? medalist Megan Oldham she's sitting this one out due to injury that is why you do not see her name in the lineup here tonight yeah unfortunately we will be missing Megan she's out with a knee injury she made history last year being the first female ever to triple cork on skis and she did it here at X Games Megan we will miss you tonight we're hoping for a speedy recovery and we look forward to seeing you back next season so looking up top as we get ready to start this thing off we're gonna bring in an X Games rookie she's all the way from Russia. This is Anastasia Tadalina who's going to, to start things off here. Now, one big thing to note, we do have a scoring change here in 2024. This first round, what you're going to see, what they call the style round. Judges are looking for you to do a stylistic jump. The best possible score you could get in this opening round is going to be 10 points. So if you're looking at the numbers in this opening round, you're like, hey, why are they so low? In the style round, you're just trying to get a 10. Yeah, I absolutely loved that X Games has added this trick in and this element to Big Air. You know, this sport is all about style and creativity. I'm excited to see what these ladies have for us on this first hit. Oh, starting us off with a beautiful right 900, going for that Cuban grab. Oh, I love it. And with this trick, the style trick, you're probably going to see smaller rotations than you will on the next few hits after that. But look at this, reaching back for that tail and going absolutely massive, starting us off here with a bang. Okay, what's it gonna be in this style round here to open it up for the X Games rookie in eight? That's a great way to start it wow, off. So that yeah. style run, that's gonna be totaled together with your next medals in big air. Three gold, one silver, one bronze. And here she has with that style trick. Oh <laughs> my goodness, the bio seven. Double Japan grab. Set that one deep into the landing right there. So, so much for that bobble right before the comp started. No problem there for Tess. Yeah, once again, that's all about, you know, a part of being a competitor is, and this sport, it's high risk, high reward, and sometimes you take those slams. And in an event like X Games, sometimes you really do have to shake it off, try to forget about it, and just move on. So a perfect Whoa! score in the style <laughs> round. Again, we can't stress this enough. In this opening round, the style round that we keep talking about, the best Whoa. possible score is a 10. That's perfection right there. Well, that probably feels good after that tumble, and then to have a perfect score on your style run. I mean, that's a great way to start the night. I told you she was going to shake that off. Look at that, with a perfect 10 here in the style round, just kind of giving it a paving the way for what's to come here as we get deeper into this competition. Here comes Mathilde Grimaud. All right, Mathilde coming in forward on this jump. Oh, the signature. Wow, going massive with the left side, 540. She just boosted that one. That was like third line, last line out there. It's the second to last line, I think. My goodness. Wow, Matilda. I read earlier that there was some speed issues in practice. So much for that. And not for her. And the thing with this trick, she's carving, which actually you lose a bit of speed with that kind of takeoff. But nope, no problem for Matilda out there. Yeah, Ooh. it was the second to last die line she landed on right there. Oh my goodness. What's this going to be? Almost perfection right there. Our last two skiers in this round, a 10 and a 9. So again, each one of them coming into this with three gold apiece and then perfection and near perfection here. Let's check in with Jason Aarons, our head judge. Boys, what was uh, behind uh, that 10 and that 9? Yeah, I mean, uh, really cool to see these ladies come out and be able to yeah, do something a little bit different. I mean, Tess's double grab there on that Rodeo 7 was just pretty darn flawless. We were really <laughs> liking that. And then Mathilde coming in with the Cork 5 Blunt, always a classic. So uh, really liking what we're seeing.
And moving forward, now that we're getting into the more technical tricks, what are you going to be hammering hard on for these ladies? We're really going to be looking at their, their grabs, their length of grab, how well they're landing. Uh, they all have really high caliber rotations on this jump, so we're really looking for perfection out of them. So there you go, insight to the mind of the judge, minds of the judges, plural, I should say. So now from here on out, the best possible run score you can get is a 45. So it's your two best runs total together with your style run score. However, of those two other runs, they need to be different direction spins, be it left, right, left switch, or right switch. Yep, and here we have our first jump. Oh, the perfectly executed mute. Double cork 1260. And that is three and a half rotations with two flips. And I know she has that trick to the other direction as well. She mirrors it perfectly, so I'm sure we're going to see that next from her. So Anastasia Tantalina had an eight there in the style round. Let's take another look. Oh, look at that mute grab. Absolutely holding on, tweaking it out through that entire rotation. She has got that trick dialed in. So 36, that's a huge score. Again, the best possible score is 45 per run from here on out. So that eight with that 36, that is big for Anastasia. This is Ruby Star Andrews. Ruby starting us off with a big left side 900. And like you mentioned, speed might be an issue for these ladies. She kind of came up pretty close to that knuckle. But once again, nonetheless, such a clean 900 from her. Ruby competing in slope style out here this weekend as well. We'll see her in the slope style event tomorrow. She got a five there in the style round. So she's going to end up with a 22. So as we're adding these scores together, yes, you're going to see uh, the math and the names jumping around quite a bit here. But that, going back to Tunnelina, I mean, that was a big, I mean, that eight and then that 36, I mean, that's a big start for an X Games rookie. Speaking of which, here comes another one of our rookies. It's Rel Harwood. Rel Harwood coming in switch right. Oh, with the signature switch right. Bio 1080. Puts, puts it down. Oh, my goodness, Rel. Unbelievable, that access. So when I say cork, that means you're kind of setting the trick to the back, but the bio is a little more forward with your takeoff. But perfected to per <laughs> done to perfection by Rel. Yeah, she's got a pretty good style score as well with that seven. And here we have it. Yep, you can see that bio rotation reaching down, going for that safety grab, stomping it to switch. So she's going to end up with a 26 there. Total that together, 33 for now. Kid. This round, now that we're in the 45-point scores here, or 45 is the best possible score you can get. You need two of those total together with two different spins. It's going to bring up Sandra E from Norway. Her only other big air appearance out here was last year. She had to settle for fifth place. Sandra, such a strong CR. Coming in forward to this jump. And here we have it, the left side, double cork, 1260. Once again, this is three and a half full rotations with two flips. Let's go, Sandra. The fans are weighing in <laughs> on the chat. Here we see it going for that mute grab as well, just like Tatalina, or Anastasia Tatalina and just done to perfection. So yeah, this trick is exactly the same as our top leader right now, um, Anastasia, who has a score of, I believe, 36 is what she got. 36, and then she's got that eight. So and look, a 36 yeah. for Sandra. So the Norwegian finds herself in the number two position. So a 40. And there's that claim, like you mentioned. A and 41. Yeah. Remember, the best score you can get from here on out is a 45. She's got a 41 and a 10, making her mark here in the first and now second round. Tesla Duh is not messing around. No, she never is. She's one tough girl coming back from that crash in practice and absolutely putting it down. Here's Mathilde. Mathilde Grimaud also had a nine in that style round. Oh! No. Looks like kind of coming around to 14, but maybe going for the 1620 as well. Oh, you can see the frustration on her face. 
but she's going to have a couple more chances. But these girls absolutely throwing out these huge rotations off the bat. I love to see it. Yeah, we're just south of the 14-minute mark right there. So uh, she's looking to get rid of that one there. Again, she had that nine in the style round, so that is going to be key. She's going to need two more big scores. But as of right now here, it's Tesla Ledeau sitting in the top spot with a 51. We'll have more for Pacifico Women's Ski Big Air when we return. start to the women's ski big air are you Woo! kidding me double cork 1620 bolts that was awesome bolts. it's also awesome we've got an amazing guest with us mia brooks what up how you feeling run yeah i obviously want to try the 14 again but um yeah, yeah i'd be keen to try a 16 but we'll see how it goes oh, <laughs> I think she's yeah. got it. do you listen to music when you ride because i know you're big into heavy metal but your style does not look like you're listening to heavy metal <laughs> what are you riding to yeah Metal. You metal are ready to metal. Oh yeah, every but you day. Have such a sleepy style. I know, so sick. <laughs> Stay all the time. Yeah, but true. metal just gets me hyped, man. Yep. Just I love your music. appreciation. Of metal, are you liking this? Um, Thank you guys. Yeah, this is X Games. She opened up that round with a perfect score of 10. It's Pacifico Women's Ski Big Air. We've completed two rounds, getting ready to start off round number three. The opening round was a style score. Best possible score you get was a 10. From here on out, best possible run score you can get is a 45. You need two of those combined with that style score to get you on the podium. And as we said, Tess is sitting in the driver's seat right now with a 51. We go back up to the start order, top of the start order here with Anastasia Tatalina who's sitting in second place as of right now. I mean, she's had two great scores as well. And for an X Games rookie, that is huge, Maggie. Yeah, here comes Anastasia. Let's see what she's got for us on her second tech trick. Oh, and here is the right side. Oh, no, just going big and losing her skis. Just couldn't hang on oh. to that one. I mean, she's got an eight from the opening round. She had a 36 the last go around there. Has to make a bit of a hike back up the hill. So on that trick, she was going for the right side double cork 1260. She, we saw it from her last run doing it to the left and this way, and then now trying it to the other direction. And once again, she had it, kind of missed that mute grab, and then just was a little too heavy on the front of her skis, as you guys can all see there. Oh, and losing both of her shoes, but she's getting it all put back together here right now. So she ends up with a six with that one. So looking to uh, bounce that one out. It's a jam session clock out there. We think we're probably going to get around five runs. We'll see how that unfolds with the time there. But again, I mean, a 50. She's one point behind Tess. I mean, just looking at the leaderboard right there. And then Sandra E sitting in that third spot right now with a 42. So a 51 and a 50 to open it up here as we take our third look at Ruby Star Andrews from New Zealand. Ruby dropping and switch, looking over that right shoulder. Oh, with the big switch, right 1080. You know, I said last last run of hers, she might be having some issues with speed, but no problem on this jump. So a 1080 is three full rotations. These girls doing some massive spins these days, absolutely pushing the progression of the sport. And here you see it, the 1080 with that safety grab, and then landing, switch, back down to switch. So she had a five, a 22, and now a 29. So you total those together. So she's got three scores in the books with a 56. So that'll overtake Tess right now. Get, Tess hasn't taken that third run. So that's why you see Ruby Star jump up to the top of the leaderboard there and pass her up by five points. So we bring back in Rel Harwood. Coming in forward, switch left, double cork 1260, wow. making it look easy. I mean, the progression of the sport for female free skiers is absolutely through the roof. We saw it here last year at X Games, but I have someone, you know, who's competed in this sport myself. I am so unbelievably proud of these girls for pushing the limits. And there you have it, Rel, with the double cork 1260. Three and a half rotations, and she's just grabbing mute all Look the way through. That score of <laughs> 36. That'll give her 69 points total, so she'll overtake Ruby Star for now. 
So a 69, a 56, and a 51. We still have three skiers left to go in this round. Sandra, e, look at that score from the last go around, though. With the left side spin, she's got a 36 and a 6 from that style round. So what I've noticed, that 36 is all... So is it, it's from that double cork 1260, which we've seen from Rel and Anastasia. They all have the same score on that. But here she comes, carving. <gasps> oh, oh, she no. took a bounce right there on the left side. Just kind of coming up short and bouncing off that knuckle. But she looks good. Oh, ski she rolling got, right down to her. I, that, that was convenient. Like, she got up quick from that one. She did. Thank Yikes, goodness. that was a bounce. Yeah. Oh, once again, high risk, is not high soft. reward. <laughs> it is not soft. Yep. I mean, the snow is so set up. It's not quite concrete, but it's pretty dang close, and it is not forgiving to land on that knuckle or on your side. We got Tesla Duck coming up next. Sandra had a big score from the last going around with that 36, and with that fall, more attempts still to come. She's looking to eclipse that run. There is. Tess, she was your leader coming into this round. But again, look at the monster scores. It's perfection in the style round. Can't stress that enough. And a 41, just four points shy of perfection here in round two. And the way she's been skiing, I mean, what's stopping her out here tonight right now? Absolutely unbelievable skiing from her. And like they mentioned, she had a gnarly crash in practice, not phasing at her at all. Coming in, switch to this jump, looking over her left shoulder. What has she got for us? Oh, the wow. switch, double 1440. And that is four full rotations. Oh, she looks so stoked, so happy. The relief on her face, unbelievable, Tess. That was you know X what? Games mode indeed. There you go. There we go. I'm throwing that up there. <laughs> Use the technology. It's there at your disposal. <laughs> the Thayer's a hype meter. And here it is, the Switch 1440 with the safety grab. Unbelievable. Tesla making all these technical rotations look so easy. I, we're going to see a great score out of this one. I know it. What's it going to be? Get me and Brooks watching with Gabby Maiden there over in the <laughs> Athlete Lounge on the digital host set over there. Hi, guys. What's what's a 39? Wow. She's got a 90 total. Oh, Tess. my goodness. A oh. 10, a 41, and now a 39 with more runs still to come. Tesla Duh back in the top spot with a 90. She is absolutely leading the charge right now. And that was after a fall right before the competition started. Kristen did a report on it. I mean, she was a little rattled, but no. Came no. right out with a perfect score at 10. I, yeah, I think it was that style trick that got her. You know what? She's back. <laughs> and we take another look here at Mathilde Grimaud. Coming in, switch left. <gasps> oh, going for the 1620 again, but just not quite having it. Oh, Other. Mathilde, look at the frustration on her. Oh, such a big rotation, four and a half. Well, Toadcatcher to wants exact. to know, the snow looks a little sticky. He wants to know, can you confirm? Or can snow looks confirm? a little sticky. I don't know about that. I mean, yeah. if snow is sticky, usually you would have some fresh snow on the course, but I think things are running super smooth tonight. Mathilde wants a replay. Well, it's a party over there at the Pacifico trailer. Look at that. That's standing room only down there. We had to walk through that sea of humanity to get up here to the booth, but they're having a good time down there. They got DJs. <laughs> Everyone's tossing back a couple of cold ones. That's what happens. It's a party out here on the mountain on a Saturday night. Where else would you want to be in Aspen out here tonight? Oh, here is the replay of Matilda's attempt at the 1620. And it just looks like she has the full rotation, but she's just kind of landing a little more on her edges on her side. She needs to just land a little bit more directly on her feet. I know she has this trick. This one, more okay. And if she lands it, I mean, she's going to get an absolutely huge score. Well, again, you need two total together with your style score. So she's got her work cut out for her here. 
the remainder of the jam session. Anastasia Tatalina, she now finds herself on the outside looking in. She's been bumped down to that number four position. But again, you see that score on the right, that six. If she could put one down here and get rid of that, that could jump her back up into the medals. Yeah, I think she'll be going for that trick that she did on last run. So the right side double cork 1260. So let's see if she's got it. Come on, Anastasia. Here it is. Come on, it looks great. There Easy you go. Money. <laughs> and once again, so she, for, on her first trick, she did that to the left side, and now mirroring it to the right, they look absolutely identical. I mean, that's so impressive. So here in free skiing, you have to spin both ways, left and right. And here it is, the right side with that mute grab, once again, looking just like her left side, double cork 1260. So impressive. Let's see how long she holds the grab. You know, she got a 36 going to the left. I bet she gets a 36 going to the right because they looked identical. So an Don't eight and a three. You called it. Look at called you. It. <laughs> and that, I called I said it would jump her back up in the medals, and it does. She's back into second place. The X Games rookie, 10 points behind Tesla Duh. So a 90 and 80, and now a 69. Those are the top three scores. But here comes Ruby Star Andrews. We're just under nine and a half minutes left to go here. Let's see what she has in store for us coming in forward. Oh, once again with the styly cork 900 to the left. So I know she has a double cork, but once again, it just looks like she's coming super close up to that knuckle. You can tell she's frustrated. I know she has more in her, but I think speed's an issue out here for her tonight, which is such a bummer. Yeah, she's just in between the knuckle and that first die line on the landing there. For Ruby. Keep smiling. We're just so stoked to have you out here, girl. <laughs> Bumps her up a little bit. Now she's just 10 points behind podium contention. So 90, 80, and 69. Ruby Star Andrews sitting there in fourth with a 59. Comes Rel Harwood at the eight and a half minute mark. Here's Rel. Is that a, was that a 16? <laughs> I need to see the replay on that. Wow. Wait a minute. You guys, I might be going crazy. It's hard to count all these rotations. What was that? They're about to give you the replay. I need we'll a see replay. It in slow motion. She's waiting for a so replay this, down there as well. It's a left side double cork. Let's see it. Oh, to perfection with the lead. Okay, this is still. Just the 1260. But she's going for a different grab, the lead grab. Sorry, everyone. I thought maybe it was a 1620. It's hard to count all these rotations out here. <laughs> They're loving it over in the athlete lounge on the digital set there. Okay, she's got a 26, a 36, and so now she's got a 38. So she she bumps out the 36 with a 38, so that gives her a 71. So a little bit of breathing room there. So we're under seven and a half minutes left to go here in Pacifico Women's Ski Big Air. Sandra E, she's got to get rid of that four. Yeah, Sandra unfortunately going down on this last trick, so we know we're going to see it again. The right side carving. Double cork 1080, come on, Sandra. Oh. No, just not enough. Did you see how far left she went on that carve? Yeah. That's... Just got the last bit of the corner of that lift. That was scary. Yeah, the carving is super, super impressive. It adds an absolute style element to that trick. But unfortunately, I know she has that trick unlocked, so you can see the frustration in her face. But nonetheless, come on, Sandra, you got it. She had a score of 10 in the style round, which is perfect. The next run, she got a 41 out of 45, which is darn near perfection. She's followed it up with a 39. Where does Tesla da go from here, Maggie? I mean, I don't know. I know she has a new rotation for us, but she's been absolute perfection tonight. So we'll see what she has in store. I mean, I know with that 1620, she did it with safety grab on her first hit, but she also has it with the tail grab, which would definitely get her a higher score. But nope, she's dropping yep. in switch, looking over that left shoulder. Let's see what she has for us. So the switch cork. Oh, whoa, kind of the butter. So that was.
was the switch double 1260, but it kind of looked like she was going for 1440 on that one, just how she kind of buttered out, you know, on the landing. I know not exactly what she was going for. But again, I mean, with a 10, a 41, and a 39, she's in the driver's seat right now. Again, she's 10 full points ahead of the competition. But there is Mathilde Grimaud. She had a nine in that style round. I mean, just one style round, just one point shy of perfection. She's really got to get it going here in this round because then after that, the clock is going to become a factor, needing two runs total together with that style run. All right, Mathilde, she's attempting this 16-20. Let's see if she has it. Come on. Did she get it? Yeah. No! Oh, I thought that was... Oh, that was so close. Oh, Mathilde, the frustration. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh she can't believe it. I can feel her pain. Just the amount of passion and energy she puts into her skiing. She wants this so badly. Like I mentioned, she was off the podium one spot last year in this event, and she's been absolutely on fire. But there it is. Yeah, it just looks like she's still coming up a little bit short on that rotation. Oh. Yeah, and the frustration as she hikes back up. Yeah, it's so close indeed. But again, we're at five. Well, they stopped the clock while she's hiking up to get her equipment. But uh, with five minutes to go, and we go back up to that. We'll see. I mean, it may be two more rounds. I don't know. We uh, thought it would be five. We'll see how this unfolds. Never say never. You're right. If she doesn't have two more hits, then. That's kind of the strategy kind of this year. Yep, yep. Again, with that nine that she got in the style round, that's one point shy of perfect, but you still need two more after that. And she's just got that five. So, I mean, she's in a really tough spot. Final round. This is this is you know, but what I'm proud of, I know Mathilde has like a 1260 on lock, but she's out here showing the progression that she has and absolutely pushing the limit. She's like, hey, I know I could do maybe a smaller rotation double cork, but I want to show you guys that I can do the 1620. But they were telling Anastasia up top that this is the final round. You, we have yet to get that confirmed in our ears, but okay. it looks like that may be the case, but that's not been confirmed to us yet. Yep. Okay. You can see Anastasia going through the motions here. She comes into this an X Games rookie. She's sitting in a silver medal spot as of right now with that 80. She had a style score of eight, two scores of 36. Let's see if she has in store. I know she's done a forward left 1440, but we'll see if she has it here tonight. She's landed two double cork 1260s, one to the left and then the other to the right. So we'll see if she just goes for that trick again, or maybe she'll give us something bigger. Yeah, see, now we're down under four minutes, so I'm thinking this might be it. This is possibly the final run. You see her eyeing this up. Taking no winter time. athlete from Russia has ever medaled at X Games. Is that if true? If that holds wow. up. She might be making history here tonight. <laughs> Sitting in that second Silver place spot. Medal spot. Yeah. Yep. Here we go. Anastasia Tatalina in for what could be her last run. It's appearing it's going to be that way. <gasps> there it is. Oh, oh going no. for the switch left. Double cork 1440. Like I mentioned, I knew she's land. I know she's landed that trick before. So super stoked to see her come out and try it again here at X Games Aspen. So such a bummer that she couldn't put it to her feet. But that's what it's about: the progression, pushing the sport. Yeah, but again, to come out here as a rookie, you ski first, you get that eight, and then a couple of 36s, and you're looking at a potential medal your first time out. That is impressive. Also, she just got married earlier this month on January 5th. So, no way. Yeah, congratulations, <laughs> Anastasia. Congrats. And possibly more congratulations to come later on if she walks out of here with that medal. We take in another look at Ruby Star Andrews. We'll see what she has in store for us tonight. Yes, just showing us that she's styly with that left cork 900 going for the tail grab. 900, that's two and a half rotations. Ruby showing us she's got that style. So I did just confirm this will be the last round. It will be. This right. is it which is a tough break there for Mathilde Grimal, who gets to ski last. Such a bummer to see that, just because I know she has so many big tricks in, score, in store for us. But once again, like I mentioned, she could have gone for the double cork 
1260 that she has easy, but she's like, I want to prove you guys I have the 1620. So this is the final round here at Pacifica Women's Ski Big Air. Two skiers have gone. There's four left in the rotation. Tesla does sitting in that top spot with a 90. It's an X Games rookie. Anastasia Tantalina sitting in silver as of now, and Rel Harwood looking at a potential bronze medal. Come on, Rel. Yeah, a rookie here. Two rookies in the podium contention. This is so exciting. She's coming in switch, looking over that right shoulder, coming back with the switch. 1080 that we saw a couple runs ago. You know, unfortunately, like I said, we already saw that run from Re uh, or that trick from Ralph. So she's probably trying to just to up her score a little bit. But I think her first switch 1080 was a little bit cleaner. Yep, here it is, the switch 10. Three full rotations to the right side. Bam, yeah, just coming up a little bit short, but still stomping it to her feet. Oh! So she'll get a 30, so that'll right. bounce that 26 out. So 75, not going to bump up the position at all. However, gives herself a little bit of breathing room. I'm wrong yet again. This is why I am not a judge, Jimmy. <laughs> it's safe here in the announcer's booth, Maggie. Yeah, I, I like it. <laughs> So the last bit of time ticking down off the clock. Once the clock expires, we do let the run order finish out so everyone is assured the same amount of runs. So Sandra E, really the last thing standing between our podium as of right now. She's got a six from style and a big score of 36. She just needs to get rid of that score of six on the right. If she can land this right side double court 1080, she definitely has the potential. <gasps> no! Oh, just no! Gonna do a weird rotation oh. there and bounces off of her back on that landing. Just unfortunately kind of missing the takeoff on that landing, which just set her a little wonky. But oh, happy to see her up on I her feet. I was gonna say, to that see her brutal. get up from that that fast. She landed right on her back. I almost thought that might have knocked the wind out of her. But once again, happy to see her up. Oh, so sorry, Sonder, that you couldn't put that one down tonight. But once again, thank you for pushing this sport. Thank you, XKs. There it is. She's just stoked to be here. So that's basically it for the podium at this point. You have Tesla Da going next. She's in the top spot. And with Matil Grimal rounding out the order, again, she needed two scores. And she's not going to be able to get those two scores with this being the last round of runs. So basically, this is a victory lap for Tess. So Tess, last run, she kind of had a little washout on her landing. And now we're being told this is actually our last oh, skier because wow. Matilda's pulled out. So this is going to be a victory lap. This will be her fourth ever X Games Big Air Gold. Here it comes Tess, switch left, looking over that shoulder. I think she's gonna go for this 1440 yet again. Does she have it? Oh, no. So these girls, unfortunately, going down big, and that just shows that these bigger tricks, the bigger progression in this sport, it comes with a higher risk. But, so oh. That's her fourth gold. But and now that, that her and Matilda were tied third overall for women's ski medals at eight. So now that puts her in a tie for second with nine. Nine, nine medals. Medals total. With Maddie Bowman. Oh, that's awesome. Tess. She's tied for second most women's ski medals in X Games history at nine with Maddie Bowman. Oh my goodness. In addition to her fourth goal. <laughs> Incredible. Here we have it. Oh, uh, here's her style trick, the 720 with the double grab that scored her the perfect 10. And then on her second trip, she has the 1620 stomped to perfection and then goes for this switch, 1440. Unbelievable skiing test. Oh, unbelievable. Yeah, and we just had two rookies come in here and claim medals here in Pacifico Big Air. That's right. The rookies bringing their energy and their excitement. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> Let's send it down to Kristen with our winner. Tess, after such a frustrating start to the night, how do you feel now being able to take home gold? 
I'm just so happy. It's amazing to win a second. Uh, I don't know how many medal, but I'm Nine, so happy you're a to. Nine-time medalist <laughs> and a four-time gold medalist. Wow, it's a, it's amazing. Uh, it's a dream come true, and I'm just so happy. What a night! <laughs> This is your first gold medal, your nine X Games career medal. Congratulations, Tess. Thank you. I mean, what a performance for her right out of the gate in that style round, a 10. And then she comes out with a 41 and then a 39. I mean, she just, she never took her foot off the gas there, Maggie. Absolutely amazing. Such incredible skiing. Rel Harwood walking out of here with a bronze. Anastasia Tonalina with the silver, the first ever winter athlete from Russia to take an X Games medal. And Tesla Duh with her fourth Big Air Gold. You know, you know you're good when you forget your medal. Now. I, know, like, I don't even know. I don't even know how many of these I have at this point. But I know I have a lot. Oh my god. And there's a reason crushed for it. it. She absolutely crushed it. What was it like from your eyes watching the ski big air, knowing that you got snowboard big air coming up? Yeah. Tomorrow? I think even watching that I'm getting goosebumps from yeah. it. Yep. It's pretty scary, but exciting scary, yeah. Yep. That's are you so are you getting inspired as well? Are you gonna maybe try some new tricks tomorrow or Yeah. 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 Get the sand on. Aaron yeah. Blunk in the house. I love the athlete lounge, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> People walking by. Yeah, that was an incredible oh event. Oh my gosh. Let's check out Mia. Oh, the lights just went off. That was crazy. Oh my god, that Mia, your rail tricks are just so smooth. <laughs> it's like you have like that most effortless style. It's so sick. Yeah, the start of the week was pretty tough with the rails. Like it's kind of difficult to get used to. So I was hyped to put that line together. Oh, you murdered it. How was that side hit? Is it fun? It yeah. seems like people have been having like a really good time there. Yeah, it's pretty it's good. Creative. Yeah, I think after last year, a lot of people were like trying to get used to quarter pipes, and you could see it was showing this year. That's so sick. I am so glad that we got to understand the behind the scenes of what music you're listening to when you're riding. Oh my god, yeah. So, what were you listening to during that run? I was listening to Anthrax. 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 Yeah. I think someone thought you said ABBA. No. So then, every, so then I that's thought you said ABBA because that's what so much, but they they've been I yeah say, that's what I was that so much talking more about sense. ABBA someone told me that it's not I, lining up with her steve not at all, at all. not that at is, all that's amazing that's a, okay yeah. i take that back i was heard i was told that it was abba that here and here it's guys Anthrax. what's up in the chat i'm seeing a lot of w's in the chat w's w's we got mia brooks yeah slope up. style champ in the house any questions drop them in the chat all the questions get it up Oh, and you're with Capita, man. So sick. Yeah, had a lot of fun on it this year. It's yeah? a good, good course. Yeah. Have you been been with Capita for a bit? Yeah, I've been with Capita for like two or three years now. So sick. Yeah. Shout out to Capita. You guys are awesome. Yeah. All right, we got a question for you from the chat. Here we go. Who was your favorite snowboarder growing up, men, Ooh. men and women? Dusty Henriksen. Nice. Either Jill Perkins or Jamie Anderson. Oh, really? Jill. Yeah. Jill is such yeah. a But I feel like Dusty's still woman. so young, too. Like, yeah. What, what year ago was this? Like, growing up, though. I'm talking like, when did you start snowboarding? I started when I was 18 months old. So. Oh. You started when you were 18 months old? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So, and you're now, what, 17? Yeah. Okay, you're still a, such a young guy. Right. 18 months. Wow, yeah. that's crazy. When did you start like competing, or at least knowing when you were like, I actually want to try to make this my life? When I was like seven, I think. Really? Yeah, seven or eight, but like in like English, yeah. British championships, and then sort of European when I was like 10, and then World Cup like last year, year before. Like, what was it, just slope style? Was there some half pipe? Just uh, slope and big air. Slope and big air, yeah. all the way from I don't go months. near the half pipe. Yeah. That's scary. Really? Oh my god. I Gosh. impressed yeah. pipe riders, for real. Yeah. It is terrifying. It's I all know. terrifying. All flowers. But baby me. steps to greatness. <laughs> 18 months, wow. That's wild. And you were uh, in the domes, right? Yeah, Yeah. How indoor domes. That? Yeah, they're really sick. I've got one like half an hour away from my house. So. Nice. Yeah, it's really cool. You still I get to ride inside? Dope. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, no, no. I just was saying, like, I've ridden a dome before, and it was actually really, really fun. Yeah. Yeah, that's super good. What are you saying? 
Where do you go after this? Now that you're just stacked up with X Games hardware, what's next on the on the calendar? Big Air, and then Mammoth World Cup next week. All right, yeah, nice. Get yeah, get to Mammoth. Here we go. Yeah, nice. looking forward to that one. All right. Very good. Cool. Oh my gosh. What are you excited for with the Pacifico men's snowboard Big Air? I don't know. I think Rene. Rene Rinakongas? Yeah. Who just walked by. We did just yeah. uh, that was get a quick hang with him. He's in good yeah. spirits, but he's always in good spirits. He's always yeah. like that. So, I don't know. He just gets me excited to see what he's going to do, especially not being here from last year. I didn't get to see him last year. We've missed so, him. Yeah. Looking forward to seeing what he puts down this year. That's so rad. And then we've got the Japanese as well, Taiga. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. He was he was up riding this morning and yeah, he was looking Look good. good. Awesome. All righty. Well, thank you so much for hanging Woo! out with us. I literally can't believe how good you guys are at reactions. That was the best, that was the amazing. most entertaining thing when they that were there. Both of you. Like ah! You guys brought the energy. Yeah. It was really cool getting to hang with you. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you so much. We're going to send this guys. off to a qu quick uh, break. Thank when we you get guys. back, Yee. we're going to get you He's amped good. up for Pacifico Men's Snowboard Big Air after this break. Let's go. No freezers? How unusual is this for a restaurant? I think that that's unusual because a lot of restaurants have freezers. But we don't have freezers. We have fresh food every single day. How fresh is fresh? It's real food that's coming to our tables. That's what sets us apart. Wow. Welcome back to X Games Aspen 2024. And I'm all hopped up on Monster. Ah! It's Saturday night. We're having a good time, and the good times are only getting better. We got Matej, we got Cody LaPlante. What's Hello. going on? What's going on, gentlemen? What's up, guys? How are we doing? All good. All good in the in the athlete lounge tonight? For sure. Saturday yeah. night vibes. It's been a it's been a long day of hanging and watching all the events, but it's sick. Yeah? It's What's some cool. of the highlights of today? Mac. Forehand, getting third in slope style. Burke and A-Hall killing it. Beauties. That whole event was sick. Last night, Teapot going off in big air was awesome. Yep. Let's talk a little bit about tonight. Knuckle Huck's coming up, but you didn't just get the invite. You had to work your ass off for it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit more about this uh, Slush Cup? Yeah, so um, Slush, yeah, Slush's been around for like 10 years now, and it was sick that they partnered up with X Games. We did a cup out in Aspen with eight people, and yeah, Matei and I had a final game, and they're about to play it, so. Super hype? Yeah. <laughs> you say Matei, did I say Matej? Oh my god, uh, Silent J. What, it's whatever. Silent J, no, no I want to say it right, Matej. There's so many versions of my name, already heard, so it's all chill. Where are you from? Czech. Check. Like, yep. Check. But I live in Austria. Uh, oh, nice. I was just there yeah. for Christmas. So the name's from Czech, but I live in Austria. Got it. Okay. Most people just call him the unicorn. <laughs> so here this is. So we're not going to ruin what happened, but okay. I didn't realize you guys went head to head. Okay. Should we straight, straight yeah, up? Yeah, yeah. So it's like a game of skate. Right, right. Just right. head to head. Like, yeah, yeah. Set a kick, flip, thing get started, I'm get jumps here. You get a ladder. A switch blender, seven mute on the first jump. I'm excited. I haven't Other watched way, this game switch yet. Blender ah. five. Talk us and through this thing. Second. Um, so you won rock paper scissors shoot. Yeah. So I won rock paper scissors shoot. So I get the set first, and then um, pretty much I get to come up with whatever I want throughout the park, and then but you got to try it. it. Yeah. Yep. That was such a heavy line for me personally. I've never done proper blenders. <laughs> What is a blender? Is that a it's crab? like looking over your wrong shoulder and spinning the other direction on the kicker. Oh. Got yeah, it. So if okay. you're looking over your left shoulder, you spin I like it, I like to the it. right. Ah. That's, that's wild. Things off that's the wild. Get Matei a little bit dizzy. They're both good. Quick mute though. Hold it long, please. <laughs> <laughs> Great two I will. Too. 
<laughs> oh, this one was a bummer. Where oh, is this? Is this up at Snowmass or is this at Buttermilk? This is at Snowmass. It's at Snowmass, right on. Yeah, they killed it. They put on a sick park for us. Nice. Cody set the trick, didn't get it, and then Matei actually did get it. Not only does Matei win the set, but he gives Cody a letter. Yeah, if you guys need explaining, Woodsy's the person to ask for this one. For sure. Where is Woodsy? I saw him. He's always bouncing around. Oh, there he is. He's floating around. He's behind us. Woodsy's here. <laughs> And oh, that one was a new one. Oh, uh, true. <laughs> and I don't even remember this. <laughs> so proper. And this event was put on to basically winner gets put into Knuckle Hug. Yeah. That was the Yeah, that was the plan. The prize. It's pretty mm -hmm. rad. Yeah, it was actually super sick. It kinda came up last minute. I feel like at least for me, like I got in pretty last minute. Um, kinda had to change my whole plans up and get down to Colorado. I was in Utah and then had to switch my flights because I was going to the Locks World Cup right after. So everything kind of happened really fast and now we're here. And I got out even quicker. <laughs> you what? <laughs> I got out even quicker. Oh really? Yeah, I'm not doing it tonight. Oh, you're not? No. Oh. Why not? Uh, I got food poisoning. Oh, food yeah. poisoning? That's why I wasn't in bigger. No, no way! How are you feeling now? Wait, Cody. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Mid. But mm. even profans doing their job. The and no job. So yeah. sorry to hear that. I know. Sorry. Food poisoning. That sucks. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Do you want some water? So no. All good. good. All good. I drank before. Okay. Man, I mean, you hear all the time about like injuries, but like. Pulling out of X Games because of food, that's that's food a bummer. I'm sorry, bro. Such an annoying that's one. Oh, They're no, both that's perfect. Hard. I'm not even going to ask you what you ate because we don't even need to go there. But nah. <laughs> but what did you eat? What was it? <laughs> uh, it was a sandwich. No! No! <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh! That makes me so sad. I was so excited to see you yeah, ride tonight. I know, right? Cody's gonna have to go double time now, huh? Yeah, you have to. Yeah, yeah. So Mateo, are you are you coaching him a little bit then tonight? Yeah, I'll be up there screaming at him. You'll be up all there. The time. <laughs> yep. Do it again. <laughs> Telling me what to you do. You can do it better. <laughs> but that's the good. That's the friend. That's the camaraderie, right? Yeah. <laughs> First tee. <laughs> that one is so funny. <laughs> Cody, that was amazing. It, it's amazing, and I can't believe how smooth Cody did it after that. Okay, uh, so let's do a switch hand drag cork three Japan to a switch blender Virani. Oh, I'm curious about this one. All right. Hey. Ooh. Oh, that was, what? That was, so that was, so that was nice. wild. <laughs> Oh my god. What's going through your mind right there? You're like, uh, what did you do? I mean... You got it? You got yeah. it? Oh what? My god. That's <laughs> sick. Mine was sketch. Like, His was amazing. You guys are good. But so it was your first try. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of the beauty of slush is you get to ski in someone else's mind, kind of. Right. They get to set the trick, and then you're like, all right, well, I'm doing the exact same thing. Normally, you're trying to avoid that at all costs, especially at events and whatever. Like, you want to be doing your own thing. But with slush, it's like, all right, we're going to try the same stuff. Is there ever a trick that was set where you're like, nope, I'm not going to even try that? Um, or you go for everything. I don't think that I've trick, had one yet. Really? I, I'm trying right, to think. I've played. a lot. I played like Under five, pressure, five or six games, and I don't know. I really don't like front flips. So you don't like front flips? <laughs> Should I say? He's like, now you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's like, for next time. Damn. Oh. Cody Ooh. was brilliant. So that's a re another revenge letter. They both have one each. That's SS. True, Cody's only revenge switch letters. Switch two, backslide, mm -hmm. back two on the flat two, and then just a slide on the flat down, like a back surface on the flat, and then front swap to the down, and then to forward.
guys are so evenly matched. Quickly breeze through it, so but they, they were both good. We have a lot of sane tricks we yeah. like to do, so it's a pretty fun game, actually. That's yeah. so rad. But the next time you play, it's going to be front flips only. Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you got a little, oh, little strategy going into the next one. Right? Dude, this snow mass really put together a fun looking little run. Oh, I was gonna say, this run is really fun. That you're gonna, that you're gonna take yeah, I'll give you some leniency on that one. That's a little bit of leniency. <laughs> okay. He said leniency. Let's go. Redemption, the switch tails backslide. But this time we're gonna take it to switch. Uh, Ow. Pop that off. Yeah. Okay, and we have to do it too. <laughs> slightly questionable, but this time I think they were both slightly questionable in the okay, let's let it fly side. Gabby so in the chat. Cody's gonna Patricia no Fitzgerald. Let's do, do you see uh, that comment? Three. Gabby, please say hi to my Whichever baby girl, Ashley Virginia, who's you, watching. Hi, Ashley. Point, <laughs> so nice to fine. see you and meet you, and I hope you're having fun in Virginia. <laughs> I can feel it in my plums, <laughs> Nicholas Plants. You've been here all day, man. Thanks for hanging with us. Woo. Ah. Although that the set so changes, hard. no letters get awarded, so it's still stage friendly. All right, so let's yeah, do I can feel it in my plums. Let's do off guard <laughs> and take them down to the market. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, once the doubles start coming out. Oh, now you're right. That's when the game gets. You guys are getting real. nasty now. True, now true. It's start hitting the jump, and you're like, all right, well. <laughs> yeah. Proper one. Yeah, <laughs> that was a fun one. Am I right thinking that neither that of you had hit that time? jump before then? Huh? Oop dubs have. Yeah. yeah. No, it was so not my first time. Diablo line. Riser. Hey, hey, hey. I have been here all day too. Mad respect to you as well, Diablo, and everybody yeah. that's been in the oh. chat. Yeah. All day, <laughs> even if you're just around. joining us. It won't work. It's so that tranny was so chill. <laughs> tranny hurt. That's not a huge feature. It's a tiny little but steep I think the whole game was no chill, but that set. was the one the thing where I was like, code. ow. Lip two, front two. Switched left two, backslide to forward. Other way, 270, backslide, front four. Drake Plaza just had ribs for dinner. Yeah. All right. Um, All right. Delicious. Caden John Johnson, can I have the coffee jersey, please? I love ah. that it's being called Ooh. the coffee jersey now. The coffee what? The coffee jersey. Right. <laughs> Wait, what's the coffee jersey? We'll see. Ooh, Aaron Cannon, can there be an X Games gold for chat? That's a great idea. Oh, oh. that was nice. Jeez. Oh. They were brilliant, dudes. Getting no nasty. Words. No, what's your You're brilliant. Up, front up over the flat, back four. So were you guys hiking shuffly, these features or just taking laps? No, it was just snow. a lift lap yeah. up at Snowmass. It's business. such a fun park. So sick. Right? You guys so are fun. just cruising together all day. Yeah, that's kind of like... I mean, whenever you're playing a slush game, you gotta have like some fast right, laps, you know, because flawless. these things can take. I think this one was maybe four, four-ish, five-ish hours. Wow, like, that was a long one. Yeah, yeah, they can take a pretty much all day. Um, so shout out Aspen for getting the park together because go, it's really Aspen. special. Big shout out to Aspen. So what were you doing all day, knowing that you're competing tonight? Were you like getting on some Real knuckles, nice. trying some new tricks? Easy, to uh, I wish. No, <laughs> I mean I haven't had practice in two Welcome days. I don't think. Oh really? Er. <laughs> no, I think I skied yesterday morning. I've just been hanging and watching, you know, a bunch of my boys compete. Very nice. Kill it. So. Nice. I'm, I'm enjoying the X Games experience. You're just an X Games sure. fan, right? Yeah, I'm here to spectate as well. I mean, dude, That's it, awesome. that inspires great. What was that? <laughs> that was a. I like looked away for two seconds and I just see you was, inverted with your. That was an NBD, right? Uh, it's gotta be. Of course I'm not it's sure. I've NBD. seen switched up seven scream and Seema, but I've never seen it this way. What the heck is that? I love that it's called an NBD, which I'm sure it's probably Whoa, not. Oh, we just had just a round no of hugs video. all round. Yeah. yeah, that was an incredible feat. You. Sam in the background. Yeah. Let's do a hand Zayner. Up that. that is wild. Zane Zane Zane. Zane. Shout out. Shout out, Jerry Shredder. Oh. Wow. You guys give me chills, day. man. 
<laughs> no. So proper. <laughs> I hate laptop tents. Oh, Patricia Fitzgerald. Unbelievable showing, fellas. Thank Both you so nailed much. It. You're so Let's sweet. Do a that means a lot. Okay, on the tube. Hey, Fed for Jaws! <laughs> that was beast. That was so sick. <laughs> yeah, great. great work, Matei. Cody, impossible task. Unbelievable. SLV to Cody. To uh, an old uh -oh. player, four on to four. Uh oh! Uh, the no letters are the getting going. Seat. Stacking yeah. up. <laughs> Dang it. Okay. What was that end point? With the grab. Wow. Both fly. Should have so called forward. <laughs> the other way. Switch those on. You both are just too good. Yeah, I know. It's just, it's just like, okay. It's the longest game. That's so dope. Oh. oh you snuck that. No, no, that's, that's not a shuffle. Right? Oh. It was very pretty, but of course shuffles need to be called as shuffles, but it wasn't a call, so it's the fourth letter. That's S L V S to Cody. He's now going to get two goes of whatever comes next. Oh, Let's do a blind date out of the rail. Hey. Okay. Oh, what? That was so ugly. It was so <laughs> ugly. <laughs> <laughs> <Word>. <laughs> What was that off there? It was a blind aid. Yeah, it was a shuffle. It's basically a 900 to be honest, plus yeah, rail. That's yeah. so this insane. Hello. I really don't want to end with this trick. He's got it for sure. Get it. Questionable whether he did get the flag or not. But he when does did you guys film this? Was set. this like so Sunday or Monday? Or? This we filmed um, two weeks ago now. Oh. Wow. Yeah, so that we filmed for, I think, three days yeah. straight over in Snowmass. Um, oh! Yeah, what? That was two weeks ago? Yeah. I think so. So you guys have been out here for that long? No, I went. I we. I did this and went to Locks for the oh, World Cup and then right. came back and yep. he went to Park City. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Nice. Went and shredded. Busy boys. Sick. Switch. My body was, was definitely two. hurting. I was going to say, this is like intense to put yourself yeah. to, to forward to yeah, forum. Yeah, all right the other games we played were just one game a day. So. Wow. A lot of skiing. I really think you might have gotten that. Head. No, no. I'm 100% sure we no rewatched it and I didn't pad. Oh! Good save though. Set changes, Cody's back in charge. Switch two, backslide, backswap, front two on the flat down two. Oh. Oh my god. Hey. Cody Laplan on his way up for his third dog's life of this game. Oh, oh, let's, go. Wow. let's go! Just not giving wow. up. Wow! It keeps on going! <laughs> Set changes back to Matei. No. Goodness gracious me. I wanted to do this one for yeah, the whole week. So switched tails to no sniper. Let's hear the tap and then a tail tap on the last thing to switch. Gap out, but you need to tap the last. Oh, that tap at the end? Sick. What? Absolutely That's flawless. sick. That trick is insane. Wow. Cody missed his noses. Bro. Got it, boss. Is this the last try? Yeah. Damn there it is. Man. I don't know how you do oh, that. Dang. That trick was kind of nice. I don't know how you do that one. <laughs> oh, we worked on it for so long. <laughs> That was wild, guys. That, that was, was a battle. so impressive. Oh, yeah. It was a full battle. Like, that it was, was a full, yeah, you said four you hours? Won. You won, bro. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> wow.
It was a like fun a, game, though. It does look like a fun way to, to hang on the hill. Yeah. It's been a pleasure to be here to watch this first hand. Thank you so much for having me. Yay! Thanks so much to Josh Christensen, Matt Walker, Charlie Lassa, Andrew Napier, Rachel Park. The whole Snowmass Park crew, you guys are incredible. Insane park. Thank you to everyone that filmed, everyone that refed, and all of these incredible world-class skiers. You're amazing. Thank you. Of course, it is a tournament, it is a competition, so that means there are winners. And to kick things off, winner of the Constellation Finals is the champion of last time, Ferdinand Dahl. Yay! Yay! <laughs> yeah, I was the intro. <laughs> the runner up, second place here at Slush Cup Snowmass is Cody. <laughs> and the winner of Slush Cup Snowmass 2014, the first ever time he's done a Slush Cup ever. Wow. It is, of course, the man with the incredibly deep trick bag. It's nothing this guy can't do. It's with Tay. Games are out. Slush Cup champ. So just before we yeah, go, we have one so more thing to that discuss. Camaraderie. That is the Tay, our champion here at Slush Cup actually podiumed at Knucklehug last year. Yeah. So he's got his ticket already stamped, which means the battle between these two legends will continue under the lights. Cody oh. LeClan, hang about. Wow. That's You're That's going to, to X hear. Games Knucklehug. Hopefully next year. Yeah. Next year. Thank you guys. Do you have the golden ticket? I don't have it, no. Oh. Like, you punched it in <laughs> when you registered, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. I had to go. That's yeah. how I got it. Yeah, right. I wasn't on the invite list or anything, yeah. so I was just handing them that. Yeah. And they were like, who are you? Get out of here. No. <laughs> That was Fully really welcome. cool. I'm, that was you know amazing. what? That was quite a treat. Very grateful to yeah. watch that with you guys. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you for sharing this with us. I can respect fantastic. a nice watch party. Thanks for having us. That was yeah, fun. Of course. And now tonight is the night where yeah. it all goes down. Tonight is Knuckle the Huck. night. You got it. Oh! Yeah. I wish you were coming, dude. Oh. I'll be watching and screaming. Screaming? Sick. Yeah, do you? Do just, better. Uh, 16. Do just better. Hold, it, hold it all in, dude. <laughs> yeah, what's, <laughs> further than what's the strategy for tonight? Because, yep. you know, there's a lot of, like, uh, controversy. Controversy? Controversy. I've been talking for way too long. I know. Just about, like, either launching off of it, and now all of a sudden it's, like, another big air, and it's, right. like, another Mini big air. Right. Yeah. Well, in practice, it was a proper knuckle, but I guess the someone wanted them to put more lip to it so they basically built a jump off it from what so it was that really what's happening uh -oh. so i don't know i haven't hit it since they changed the knuckle so i'm oh wow yeah it. yeah i mean there's what? a lip now that um, makes sense i know but if you want the keys to the chat's heart at least they want to see you messing around on the knuckle more than just launching off of it. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I think or a mixture creativity. of both is sick. A mixture of both is great, for sure. Yeah, oh, I like... I like going big, so... A little butter on the knuckle. Or, or yeah, just hit the, the kicker. Hit yeah, the kick maybe yeah, I'll just, just hit, like, screw it. Just maybe I'll just You're supposed to have jump. fun out there. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. You mean, like, hitting the jumps big air jump? fun, too. <laughs> it's freestyle. <laughs> <laughs> what if someone launched up the lip? And just hit it like a big air jump, dude. It's great. Yeah, I go to the bottom. But, no, case it. Onto the knuckle yeah. and then bounce. I was like, gee. <laughs> Who did that fridge? Fridge. Yeah, back? yeah exactly. The back to the back lip. I, that's one of the most legendary clips. Oh, 100%. Oh, my God. Jay yeah, Chan. I'm, I'm not is goaded. For knuckling. Yeah, wild. Are you yeah, excited? Yeah, killed it today. I'm stoked. Yeah? I'm getting a little anxious to get out there. I bet. Yeah. Like, how All does day. that feel? Like, 9 p.m. starts there. pretty crazy, but <laughs> that is it is late. Yeah, it's, it's late coming now. up though. Yeah, it's 7:41. Drink yeah. some boost, throw the boots on. Nice. Get a little warm up in, and yeah, you head got out some, there. Nice. You got some songs or music that you get hyped to? Uh, I used to ski with music. I've skied with music less now, just because I hate fidgeting with my phone and. It does take other, you away. From yeah, it things. takes me away from it a little bit, that's and true. I don't know. I'm pretty hyped to hear the crowd tonight. So. Yeah. I think that's uh, it. It's a crowd favorite. Yeah. yeah. That's really nice. Really yeah. in, in embrace yourself within the moment. Mm -hmm. That's really sick. Oh, Ollie was killing it today. Woo! So sick.
Oh. Knuckles. Hey. Here it is. Here it is. Mate, you're still oh, on there. Woo. Yes, let's it's go. Not, yeah, not too late. <laughs> Breaking news. But I, but I was going in there until like the last minute on the big air as well. Yeah. So many friends of mine, they didn't know that I was that I wasn't in yet, yep. or that I was actually out. Tuned it at like half past four a.m. in the morning. They're like. They were like, calling me, where are you? Yeah. Oh. You're like, I am in the bathroom. <laughs> I'm in the not, bathroom. Be there for good. hours. <laughs> so looking at this start list, who, who are you guys excited to see? Yuho. Yuho. Who is it? Yuho, for sure. Yeah. I love yeah. it. I favorite. Love it. Yuho's, Yuho's the favorite? It. He is insane. If you get a chance, go watch like some Instagram yep. clips from him. That's okay. Some sick. wild stuff. Right, hey, if you can hear it, team, can you throw up any Yuho Instagram clips? It's Bacon Yuhis. Yeah. Bacon, yeah, Bacon Yuhis is his handle. Bacon Yuhis. That's a great name. <laughs> Who else we got? Um, A Hall, Colby, Jesper. Jesper's gonna go crazy. So what makes you switch double you backy? <laughs> so hopefully, yeah. I mean, great to watch. Is it the style? Is it? I think it's just uh, new. New. Something new, yeah. That's Creative. nice. He's going to bring something new to it for sure. I what think that's going to help. The legend, Henrik Harlow. Henrik! He's always, always yeah. a pleasure to watch. He's always entertaining. I saw him. He just posted a nice switch tail bud nine. Nice. From practice. That's True, I dope. think he hand it uh, in the practice. Yeah. I mean, not on the clip, but I it was he hand it. So I'm That'd looking forward to see it. Colby's yeah. got, Any hand Colby's got some it. fire under him from getting fourth today. Yep. Right. So he'll be going crazy. Right. I don't know. It's going to be a fun event. Yep. And since you're not competing, if there was someone out here where you could essentially just put your clothing onto to pretend it was you, <laughs> who to would pretend it pretend it was me? Yeah. Like to give your spot to somebody <laughs> as to your my... like a stunt double. Oh, that would be so who would nice. be your I got, stunt double? I got the perfect stunt double for me. <laughs> Either way, he's so much more steezer than I am, but I'll put my clauses to <laughs> Daniel Bucker. All right. Well, sure. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, you might need first. some bigger clothes. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a little bit of height. <laughs> yeah, true that. How does it feel being at X Games? Does it does it have, like, a special place in your heart? Yeah, for yeah. sure. I mean, I think we both grew up watching X Games. Yeah. Yeah. Our whole yeah. lives, so. I think I saw Bobby Brown walk in here a second ago. So well, that what? kind of gives back <laughs> a little Lounge. throwback. Yeah. Oh, no. Bobby Brown's in town. Yeah. Love it. That's so specific. it's just great. I'm excited. But. I should probably get ready. Yeah, see? Get it. You know That's what? a good point. It's you got to go compete. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that thank was awesome. you guys so really much. Fun thank you for, yeah. for nice chatting with us. Nice to meet you, Jack. Yes, likewise. Good luck tonight. We'll yeah, be cheering for luck. you guys. Thank feel better, you. man. Oh, my gosh. Seriously. Oh. I hope You'll you be feel tonight. better. Bye. Oh, bye. Drink water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lots of water. I kind of forgot we were like doing this. for. I just felt like we were hanging out for a minute there. What's up, chat? Thank you. Congrats. Yeah. That was really fun. I that hope you guys awesome. enjoyed that. I mean, when do you get to do a watch along with the, the two finalists of the whole video? Like, that was cool. That is pretty cool. That and also them breaking it down and stuff and yeah. seeing the hype of them. And the like, reactions. And the reactions. That yep. was sick. That was really cool. And right before his, like, getting ready for his runs, like, that's, that was really nice. He took the time to, like, hang with us. So that was really sick. Yep. All right, well, Full Spectrum, I think you're cool, too. Thanks for the shout-out. Up next, Pacifico Men's Snowboard Big Air. Coming up in 13 minutes, wow. one of our favorite events to watch. We're only 13 minutes away from it. Like, this one... This is wild. It kind of makes me nervous. I'm very nervous. I'm, I'm nervous. I mean, I'm it's like... And it's the real deal. Like, the tricks that they're doing, the lengths that they're going on this jump... Yeah. ...is no joke. Like, oh. let's just go out and say it. I mean, I just feel like we're going to see something different tonight. I yeah. think someone's going to surprise us tonight. You think so? Yeah. Like, who? I don't know. I just, because I, I can't, at this point, like, any person that I thought that was going to win or do something, it kind of switched over and it was someone else. Like, it was, like, either someone first time at X Games or it's just someone landed something that they never landed before and they just all of a sudden, like, I like the surprise. Yep. So I'm just going to kind of keep it as... The up in the ether. I love that. Yeah. I think we will be, we will all be surprised. I think every year in Big Air, we are surprised. Yeah. Because it's just like the, it's the full send. It is, <laughs> it is send. just like, That's it. okay. That's what it is. You got to land two tricks and a style trick. Yeah. 
and it's all or nothing. You can kind of see these tiny little like ants flying through I the know. air. I'm trying it's to see. It's slowly coming. Down. I heard Tyga was killing it in right, practice. Right, practice, yeah. That's who else? Sweet. Who else was throwing down? Oh, Takero. Yes. <gasps> Welcome. How's it going? Do you need me to grab? You got that? Dude, those shoes are super sick. Oh, it's okay. Takera Otsuka was throwing down. Oh my gosh, practice. yeah. 1980s. Hello. Hey. How's it going? How are you good. doing? Yeah, good. I'm sure. Well, what happened? Why yeah, are you walking up to so us? Uh, <laughs> yeah. um, about, I'd say, two weeks ago, I, had, I was training here for half pipe and Unfortunately, took a little fall on the switch right cork sev. And I saw that. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah, just lighting kind of changed and yep. <laughs> kind of came out back seat and ended up tearing MCL partially. So that's all good. Didn't have to fix that. Very but nice. ACL and meniscus. Got it. Uh, so what's that, a six month recovery? Maybe more like nine. Nine month recovery? <laughs> oh, yeah. So sorry. Yeah. To hear that. No, sorry. it's all good. It comes with the sport, right? It sure does. It yeah. does. Yeah. People coming out there doing their thing. Yeah. Are you born and raised in Aspen? I am. Born yeah. and wow. raised. Wow. No, a so local. About 19 years coming to this event, so <laughs> yeah. What's it like to to grow up in Aspen with the X Games every year? Oh, I mean, it's such a special event for me. I mean, to be able to grow up in the valley, that's what got me into the sport, and to right. now be able to compete in it, it's just I'm I'm still in, living in the dream. It's it's yep. crazy. Mm -hmm. Who were some of your favorite like riders to watch growing up here? Oh, like, when I mean, you get excited, it's like, oh, I can't wait for this rider to show up. Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, I'd say definitely Sarah Burke. Oh, of Sarah course. Burke. And Britta Classic. Sigourney. Yep. And then watching, like, Alex Torin out here, it was just so cool. And then I'd, like, see Alex and Torin out at, like, the ski club, and I'd be like, oh, my God. Yeah, that's so <laughs> crazy. So and what's your relationship now with Alex and Torin? Yeah, Torin, we're... We chat a little bit, but me and Al, we were in the gym all summer long. Nice. And That's awesome. Are you yeah. doing those obstacle courses with him? Oh, I haven't what? done it yet, but maybe that'll be You should part ask of him to do one. They're yeah. so fun. Some of the <laughs> knee hab. Yeah, some knee hab. <laughs> yeah. yeah. In like nine it. months. I mean, yeah, it's probably good for stability once you're ready in that, you know, yes. chapter of progress in yeah. rehab. Um, what about cruising around town with Al? Yeah. He's a local legend here, huh? He's he a is a local legend. It's, wow. it's he knows pretty funny. Everybody. Yeah. I mean, it's either him or Hot Dog Hans. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hot Dog Hans is yeah. sick. That yeah. is wild to me. Yeah, no, Al's an awesome guy. Love him to bits. Yeah, yeah he's so great. Rad. <clears throat> yeah, we, uh, we got here, and we always love to play a little basketball before X Games goes down. Oh, that's we didn't nice. really get to, but I texted him. I'm like, hey, do you know of any courts or anyone we could contact to, to go play some ball? And, he sends me the high school principal's phone number. <laughs> oh like, my gosh, you go. that's this should hilarious. Probably do it. I think this is like the only place I can think of. I'm like, only Ferreira. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. I mean, I think, yeah, he definitely has the connections here. Yeah. That's so funny. So, going, we were just watching some uh, Ski Superpipe yes. highlights right here. What was it like having to watch on the sidelines? Uh, it was definitely a little rough, yeah. but... All of the girls absolutely killed it out there. So, mm -hmm. I mean, Absolutely. the podium, they absolutely stomped all of their runs and mm -hmm. grabbed their skis, which was sick. And Savannah Irving, she was so sick and land, probably skied the best I've seen her ski. And uh, just all of the girls really threw down, and it was, it was a fun event to watch. That's awesome. Yeah. How is it crutching around X Games? <laughs> It can't be easy. <laughs> yeah, this yeah, snow. It's like really the snow like, and like. It's a little rough. Seems you gotta like plant the eating. crutches and then make sure you get a good hold oh and then gosh. go. I did. I gave the wheelchair with the treads a good a go, but um, that was a little more sketch. So. I yeah. saw that today. Yeah. It looked, have you seen those? The What's wheelchairs that? with the treads. That it oh, looks yeah. like a, that yeah. is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, they're they're definitely a good idea on like more hard pack snow. Oh, so not going through snow. like the sled track. I was just like spinning <laughs> out, and I was like, sleds. Like, this just come wasn't over. a good idea. <laughs> yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh.
That's yeah, so wild. I didn't even know that was a thing. That's yeah, it's a brilliant idea know. to have so that someone who's in a wheelchair could be able to be in the snow. But yeah, yeah good to know to have hard packed snow and yes. when you're on that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but that's so cool that you're you're out here and you're supporting and you're being here. It's you know that's that's really rad. I'm so sorry to hear about your injury. It's all good. I wouldn't want it any other way. I'm able to come out and watch my buddies do what we all love to do. So exactly. Yeah. See that this is like the common thread of this X Games 2024 is camaraderie and positivity and being there for your friends. Yeah. Shouting out for the homies. Like this is amazing. A lot of people that either they got injured or they just like backed out for whatever other reasons, they're still chilling. They're still here yeah. and they're hanging and they're supporting. This is, you, you all are fantastic. I know, that's one of the main reasons why I love this sport is because we're all just a huge family and want the best for everyone, so. 100%, yeah. 100%, hear it here. All praise, action, it's, sports, culture. Yeah, Aww. I it think is. it's just it's because, you know, you're like-minded. It's not yeah. like in other sports where like, you're gonna go play a game, and obviously, like, you know, there's injuries on the line in other sports, but this is some gnarly shiz, you know <laughs> yeah, what I'm saying? Is, like, yeah. you, you know, like, everybody that is dropping in, like, something goes wrong, as you know, one little yeah. pop off the wall, and you go yeah. two feet too far, like, then you're out for nine months, and so I think that level of respect and wanting your peers to do well is just, yeah. It's some deep human yes, connection sure. and, and 100%. yeah, it's awesome. I can't believe we're, we're only six minutes away for Pacific O Men Snowboard Beer. I'm here. nervous. Y'all excited, excited for this? I'm excited. No, it's I'm gonna excited. be sick. Yeah. Are we gonna see 2340s, 2570s? What is it now? I don't even. Oh uh, yeah, too many numbers. To too count. many numbers to count. I, I don't know. We'll see. It blows my mind how high we are with the numbers. I think we might see 2160 at most. Probably. If I'm making predictions, yeah. 2160 at most, mm -hmm. 1980s for sure. What tricks do you think for the style tricks? Ooh. I'm actually really excited to see the style tricks. I think people are going to get like pretty like back in the day, bring some stuff out of the pocket. I'm I think some pullbacks, some tuck knees, some switchback five knees? late methods. Um, maybe what? we'll see a switch method. That would be kind of A switch be method? Sick. I would be psyched on a switch method. It's so sick. I don't think we'll see one, but. How do you know? You don't know, Jack? I just, I'm just, I just said I don't think. I don't know <laughs> but what I'm saying. Happen. It was know, really right? interesting to watch in men's ski big air when they would just do like nines and tens and get really yep. low scores, they would see that and then someone else would go do a 10. And I'm like, Alex Hall did a zero spin and got a nine I loved or whatever. A zero spin. It's yeah. like, why are, you, why are you guys spinning more? Like, do the style trick. Yeah, I don't yeah, know, yeah. I was confused. I was like, why, yeah, are they, me too. why are they even doing that? Maybe it's just like it's customed. It's already in their brains. They, yeah, it's like sure. they just have to get maybe used to it of the switch. Or maybe just trying to grab different grabs or yeah. who knows. Just yeah. try something new, different, or bring something back, like what you would do, like having fun park laps and just like goofing off, you know? Yeah, I think the whole style trick is a really good idea. Yeah, yeah. it's Great. important. Yeah, it's important. Bring the style back. Bring yes. the style back. Bring it back. We're bringing style yes, back. <laughs> yep. Well, thank you so much for hanging <laughs> with us. Thank so you much. so much. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Where are you watching this thing from? You got a cozy spot. I mean, it's, it's nice right and warm. Right, right behind us? I would, yeah. take, nice. I would take the couch. Yeah. Awesome. The yeah. athlete lounge is pretty, pretty nice. Yeah. yeah. Gotta, gotta find a spot to prop the foot up, though. I know. I wouldn't. I've got some swelling down there that I gotta clear. Oh, for sure. Uh, some, like, yeah. ibuprofen, yeah. some ice. You got some ice? Someone's I'll, I'll picking figure up? it out. Okay, yeah. cool. Thank you, guys. Yeah, for sure. Thank, thank you. you. It's been yeah. a real pleasure. And if, let me, I'm gonna help you with these crutches. I'll get it for you. Are you sure? Ah, oh, sweet. What's going on in the chat? What's going on in the chat? Ring style back. Dude, it was such a pleasure. Igor is watching from a public bathroom. That is so funny. That is commitment. She's so rad. Oh my X Games. Woo! Well, royalty. howdy doody. The fan howdy favorite doody. here by a long shot. Nick Gepper has entered the chat. Can you hear us? Yes, I can. Can you hear me? Can oh, hear you loud and clear. Loud and clear. How are you tonight? Fabulous. You're How fabulous? are you, Jack? I'm doing well. How's the week been? It's been good. It's been good. Uh, 
I'm ski half pipe, obviously. I'm on the last night of the last day. And you got so a lot of time. Yeah. We, uh, we wait till the end. So uh, a lot of twiddling of the thumbs during the day when we're not practicing, but yep. feel good. Does it make you nervous, like having to wait until like the end? Incredibly. <laughs> Sorry. Makes sense, no. But when you say twiddling of the thumbs, it's like twiddling of the best Instagram and social posts out of anybody right now. I'm going to go out and say that. I think you are absolutely crushing the social game, and I think a lot of people Ooh. will agree. Uh, your post today was hilarious, getting ready. Yeah. With the denim jeans on. Yes. I love yes. it. You uh, put great. yourself out my, there, dude. You were like in complete your underwear. These are my, these are my denims right here. Um, fantastic. <laughs> extra stretchy fabric for um, ultimate mobility while in the half pipe, so they feel good. I have a question. Yes. You did a post that was like, hey, would you like to be featured? Oh, here we go. This is <laughs> some, cool. yeah, some of the content <laughs> we're talking about. And take notes on the at Nick Gepper, G-O-E. Love the subtitle. P-P-E-R. Dude, yeah. I was kind of Fantastic. bummed I didn't make the cut, but I, I know, I know. Well, the sound was trash. It was, right? the, it was, the, it was the audio. Trust me, you're, you're definitely good looking enough to make the cut, but it was just yeah, right. the audio. It's that usually was the other way around, but I do appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you're crushing the game, but you did one maybe a week or two ago that was like, "Do you want your brand featured at the <laughs> X Games in front of millions of ski fans? It could go here." Like, yeah. Did you yeah. get any responses from that? Um, that was sort of. More of a not yet, you know. We're playing the long game. Okay, you know? okay? great. Yeah. We're, we're playing long -term the, the next, next year and the year after that. You know, these long-term partnerships that will last a career. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, you know, when you're driving down the highway and you see those huge billboards that say <laughs> your, your ad, ad here, here. Yeah. yeah, or like yeah. this works. You saw it. You know, <laughs> yeah. that was kind of the vibe. So. Love that. That's really sick. Yo, chat. Any questions for Nick? Now is your chance. All right. Got some hard. Oh, this today. was it. This was today. Nick, was this today? Oh, yeah, it was. Yeah. This was today. It was. That's Get ready with me for X Games. I love it. You really, you just love to have fun, man. Yeah, it's part of the, it's part of the rebrand. You see, the... The rebrand. I've been, I've been around for a while, Jack, you know this, and it's, 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 take, it's taking me till damn near 30 years old to really come out of my shell and, you know, find my confidence. And I think people can relate to that and, you know, finally showing a bit of personality and, just, I, I'm, I'm more relaxed now than ever, so it's fun. Love it. It's very exciting. I'm, I'm happy that you're coming into your shell. Thank you. Yeah. Are you having a lot of fun with it? Because it does look like a lot of fun. It looks like a lot yeah. of fun. Absolutely. I mean, with, with you know, switching disciplines from slope style to half pipe and then with the social media initiative, um, you know, I, I'm my humor is dry and sort of matter of fact. And... Um, and I'm just enjoying the hell out of it, and I love being here at X Games. I, I did not predict I was going to be back, you know, two years ago. I, I fully quit. I was done. I was not fulfilled. I wasn't having fun anymore, and it took some soul searching, and and, and now I'm back. So I just can't believe it. Yeah, That's in so a whole exciting. new in a whole new pipe. Yeah, it's, it's a it's a pipe dream, literally. It's a pipe dream. <laughs> hey. How has the pipe dream been coming together as far as practice goes? You started off the season pretty damn good. What'd you get fourth at the World Cup? Yeah, uh, yeah. I pulled up to to Copper about a month ago. Got a fourth place. Yep. Got my spot here at X. Nice. Um, it's been good. You know, actually, I kind of went on a, a secret mission last spring to Locks just by myself. I got an apartment right by the gondola. Um, and just skied with the U.S. snowboard team for two weeks and awesome. just kind of found the love again. You know, I didn't do big tricks. I just skied the, the slushy half pipe and um, had the most fun ever, um, you know, kind of like finding that love again. And I got I to gotta say, like being in the, in the X Games environment, doing super hard tricks and skiing for big points is, you know, I wouldn't say it's like fun in that sense of the word. You know, I'm definitely pushing yeah. myself. I do like that too, but um, just remembering why every time I go, like, why am I doing this? You know, right. why, why am I continuing to ski and, you know, risk my body and like every decision I make yeah. from now on, you know, I made a promise to myself. It's because I want to do it because it fills me up. Yeah. That's it. It's your choice. It's something that, that, that drives you. Yeah. Essentially. Yeah. I do need to, um, yeah. What are you um, using, like Premiere or I use, iMovie? Uh, or? I use uh, 
the Apple one. Final Cut? Final, Final Cut. cut. Final Cut? Yep. Yeah. Very nice. Final Cut's hard yeah. to use, actually. Yep. Yeah. It's, yeah. I, I use, like, the most basic tools ever. I don't know anything that's about it except you, for, yeah. like, no. the what? arrow and the blade, and that's about it. And I just tick, 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 tick. Yeah, yep. that's enough. That's all yeah. you need. You don't need to do And then the captions. And it, it really, like, I feel like these days the the production is second to the value of what you're showing and the idea. Exactly. Like yep. if right. what you're showing is meaningful or funny, it's gonna resonate with people regardless of like totally. how crappy the editing might be. It does matter a little well, bit. Well, sometimes though. the editing, if it's kind of goofy or crappy, it yeah. actually adds to it. Yeah, it fun. yeah. You kind of like amateur vibes. Like what what's what are they yeah. saying these days? UGC, user generated content. That's yeah. it. Oh. That's it. UGC. That, see, acronyms in me is kind of hit. Yeah. So. UGC, the Taught start me. list right here. Are you excited for <laughs> Pacifico nice Men's Snowboard Big Air? I am, yes. Yeah. I'm I'm, ex I'm <laughs> very excited. I see we've got a uh, shout out to Chris Corning, a, a, a qualified fireman. Yeah. Really? About Graduated that. from fireman school. That's impressive. And then, of course, we got Rene, the. Uh, yep. Creativity Master, um, T. Arn from New Zealand, Mons Roislin, Takaru, got some familiar faces on there. It's going to be a good one. Yep, very excited. Um, Taiga has been killing it. He is one of the favorites. Um, Liam Brearley has been on fire, won the Locks Open, came here, wasn't even invited. Well, actually, sorry, won the Locks Open, wasn't invited to X Games, got the invite. Made the trip, was on the alternate list for slope style and big air. Wasn't even in the knuckle huck, and then all of a sudden, boom, hey, a couple people drop. Yep. So like, yeah, I'll try it out. Boom, wins gold. Yep. Gets into big air. Yeah. And now all eyes on the rookie, Liam Brearley. Mm -hmm. Imagine two golds and one X as a rookie. Wow. Those are the stories we talk about for a long time. That's no. a, those <laughs> are stories. Time. Yep. Those are the stories we the like. Stories. <laughs> Jack Matrati. <laughs> yeah. I remember when Liam pulled up. <laughs> His first X Games. I love it. Hey, by the way, great job earlier. I, we were, I was watching you on Thank the stream. You. That was, oh, nice. That was awesome. Uh, thank yeah. you so much. She killed it. Yeah. No, I, uh, it. I, I, I did kind of, I had so much fun. Yeah. I, I miss rail jams mm -hmm. so much. It's literally my, my favorite thing to do. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I just love how, especially whenever there is a rail jam, it's probably the same in the sense of doing like, going to X Games, going to LOX, it's like you're, you're basically traveling family mm -hmm. and you're just always going to see pretty much the same people. And like a lot of the people that are doing this, friends of mine grew up riding with, with filming with and stuff like mm -hmm. that. It's just, it's just like, it's a, it's a party. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I love rail jams too. I'm glad that we got one here this year. I know. Really cool. Hopefully it happens again next year. Cause that would be really sick. It will. Trollhagen. Trollhagen. Yeah. We're, we're going to Trollhagen. Yeah. That would That's be what needs so to Have you been to Trollhagen? No, but I've, I've been to Minnesota. I've done Highland Hills. Highland? Yeah. Yeah. Highland's my favorite. I love Highland. Okay. So Minnesota I'm, X Games Tour. I'm from oh like Rope Toes. I understand the Rope Toe game. Rope I Toe mean. game's insane. Dude. It's like more like a skate park. It's just yeah. like... How, question. How was your first attempt at, at the, the Rope Toe, rope toe in Highland? <laughs> It like, be honest. I it was literally nerve-wracking. Did you do it well, or was it, it? I mean, the thing goes 20 miles an hour. I, I had to stand there and watch <laughs> the yeah. locals for five minutes. Like, Me okay, too. how do you do it? There's this huge, like, U-turn with a yeah. massive berm that everybody flies into, and it's like this, you know, it's like, like a conveyor around. belt. Yeah. Yep. Just never stops. Like, don't go there. You're, someone's going to hit you. Exactly. You, know? you got you better watch out. If so. you fall, someone is coming in. Oh, no, for sure. Hot. Well, then I started seeing like all these young kids that were coming. They never unstrapped. Yeah, and they all wear the farm gloves. Dude, from, and then like, I got Murdoch's those gloves. From like or Cabela's. <laughs> they're not even ski gloves. No, they're, they're like, not. farm gloves with leather wrapped around. Yeah, dude. They're like intense gloves to be able to hold on to this coil chain whatever with yeah, metal. it's a lot. It's intense. It's gnarly. It's yeah. intense. Was training for this X Games intense as well? Because it's yeah. kind of hard to read you. Like, I, I can't. <laughs> yes. I'm like. Never let him know your next move. Exactly. Smart, You're yeah. doing a hell of a job. I'm like, I think he's kind of putting off like, oh, I'm just kind of like having fun. It's yeah. like I'm not taking it too seriously. But then I'm like. Okay, when after the post, he's like, he's he's getting in the oh, gym, no, he's getting you, ready. Yeah, no, you're right. You're oh, exactly Nick, right. look at look at you go. Look at that. Another awesome. Like video. a wrecking ball. <laughs> so what is this? Yeah, I didn't I didn't see this one. This I is your this training. This is the training. Yeah, Any yeah. other suggestions would be appreciated. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I did see this. <laughs> Working on my jumping. Uh, oh, look at that helmet. Here we go. This one's about Christmas shopping and little bikes. How about that? Wonderful. Yeah. Do you have kids yet? 
No, no. I, uh, yeah, you know, I definitely be an awesome dad. want You'd some. You'd be a great dad. Be a good dad. You know, they're just good. F- it would be fun to have extra friends around, you know? Yeah. Aww, That's a, see, you would be a great dad. Say. Yeah. Because um, so nice. I thought that was maybe your daughter's bike. Like, where <laughs> oh, did, you, did you, like, no. beat some little kid up at the school? Like, what did you do to get that bike? <laughs> nah, I mean, shout out to the parents, Dave Wise, Jamie Anderson. Oh, nice. Impressive yeah. to see them rolling around. I saw Dave, like, come oh, down yeah. the pipe tonight and, like, give his kid a big hug at the bottom. And I was like, oh. and he went skiing with them yesterday on our day off. And Yeah. Dude, that's uh, that's impressive. But yeah. yeah, I mean, that's that's in my future um, for sure. You know, my girlfriend's on the same page. Um, but yeah, eventually. So. Yeah. That's, you heard it here first. That's wonderful. Yeah. Hey, we're accepting uh, name ideas in the chat for Nick's future baby. <laughs> Bring it on. I'm thinking Spike. Spike. Spike would <laughs> yeah. be a total. Dude. That works yeah. for you for sure. Spike Gepper. Yeah. <laughs> I like that's it. That's actually a really sick name. I like it a lot. What about a girl? Um. Spiky. Charlie. Charlie. Yeah. I love girl names that are t- typically male names. Yeah. Like, I think that's really nice. My middle name is Charles. My uh, dad wanted to name me Charlie if I was a girl. That's really sweet. So, yeah, I kind of dig that. Or, you know, whatever she has in mind. Ah, good I answer. Mean, so, it's ultimately, con- she'll connection. probably win the name game. That's all good. That's sweet. <laughs> Well, Charlie, that would be sweet. It's yeah. Spicket. I, actually, I have a cat Someone named Spicket. I have a female cat named Charlie. Really? Yeah, but we we call her Chuck. That's nice. Yeah. I mean, she's a rascal. It, it could be whatever, Chuck, Charlie, yeah. <laughs> whatever you want it to be. My dog's yeah. name is Moon. It's oh, funny, even, uh, very nice. Yeah. Very nice. It's, it's it's literally an object. Shout out Roberto Juan Sir Montana. Nick, always have fun, even when it is serious. Yeah. Yeah. It's yes. Good. Good way to live by. And that's what makes X, Ga- X Games cool, you know. Kind of like you said, Jack. Behind the scenes, you know, we, we're I've been doing this a while. Like I got my routine. I eat my food and do my stretches and you know get in my zone. But we all started action sports because we had more fun doing that than maybe the soccer or the football team. And that's kind of the essence of what I now want to portray to people. Mm-hmm. So that's what I'm all about. Love that. That's yeah. fantastic. I'm so excited for your journey. Thanks. Your journey's going in such a really awesome direction. I mean, it's already been great, but it's like, it seems like you said, you soul searched, you're finding yourself in other ways, and you're re finding love of other things, which I think a lot of us sometimes get distracted by yeah. on this crazy planet. Yeah. So this is, I'm really excited mm. for you, man. Thanks. We're crazy gonna, lucky. Yeah. Anything that you can do to stay within this little bubble that we have created I that know. is action sports. Bubble family action. Count me in. It's cool, yeah. I feel very fortunate to have competed and then what? went through the same soul searching and was like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Do I go back to school or do I do this? And I moved to L.A. and then I just Ooh. like... Yeah, I wanted to do a lot of filming and editing, and then I got this call, and they were like, hey, do you want to do this like late-night digital show with X Games? And I was like, yep, <laughs> cool. <laughs> I'm in. And what my I need bags to do? are packed, and I'm But gone. for that reason, to like stay on tour and stay within this community more yeah. than anything else. So it was like, yeah. I would do anything. It's like, hey, do you want to like come Same. and like put the scaffolding up in the freezing cold at every event? Like, sure, if it keeps me on tour around all these people, like, I'd rather do that than... 100%. I mean, X Games is but... already just so sick. I'm yeah. just stoked to be here and be part of it. And, and yeah, I, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Eileen. Yeah. Murdering it. She's still skiing? I thought she skied earlier. She's still <laughs> she's going. She's still up there. She has to stop. God, she's got stamina. <laughs> It's yeah. impressive. They, something in the water down there in <laughs> SFO. Dude, what about her stees, man? Like, she's got the Eileen Goo drip on right there yeah that that sweatshirt yeah she she's uh, knows a thing or two about fashion i'm trying to take a page out of her book wait speaking of maybe she should sponsor maybe she should be on oh. like eileen goose team there you go well listen does, she make, je- that? does she make jeans that are twenty dollars <laughs> <laughs> as if she does we should we could talk no, i should give them to you but i want to see you in that sweatshirt is kind of where i was going okay yeah a little sparkle no. i get down with that <laughs> I think, yeah you can i can wear lip off. gloss too <laughs> When I go. <laughs> and there you go. No, she she crushed oh. it. And the fact that she was injured and she still like pulled this off is yeah. remarkable. What a great what a great uh message she has. Definitely. You know, every time she gets on a microphone, she's always talking about something great to yeah. 
positive. Influence people. That's great. And um, and I feel like that's something that we should continue to to put out there. It's like sending great messages like that. Yeah. Inspiring either the youth <coughs> or even people that are uh, our age or older. It's like, you know, people might need to hear some sort of positive message to get them back down to earth. You, know? you can do it. <laughs> you, you can, can do, do it. it. Si puede. It's good. Sasha Mecker. Nick, what's your favorite what's cereal? Ooh. Lucky Charms. <gasps> Mine too. No way. Really? Oh. I was going to do a contest to see like I'm what sorry, the I chat got wanted or I thought was the excited. better answer, but I got to. Guess so. that one's out. <laughs> okay. Check. That Next off. question. <laughs> favorite not cereal. <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> favorite candy. How about that? Reese's. Okay. okay. Oh, can I can I speak now? Yeah, you can. Okay, go. okay, cool. I don't want to blow it. Okay, you said Reese's. Reese's yeah. is great. Reese's pieces or cups? Oh. Cups, old fashioned. Cups. cups. Nice. But not more than like eight. Okay, are we talking yeah. like the standard orange? Yeah, like no, the mini, standard mini like cups, two, like two, Halloween. I can version. eat like two king size, and then they start oh, to get yeah. a little dry. dry. <laughs> you know, it's not like like <laughs> European butter, yeah. chocolate. That's like. Uh, oh, speaking of cereal, dude, this one was hilarious. Oh yeah, that, that's my <laughs> oh. girl. That's my girlfriend, actually. Dude, this. <laughs> that is. The, I love when people do that with the arms, and you put your hands behind your back. It's so sick. <laughs> oh, well, she really dude. gave it to you. That's, that was funny. That's hilarious. Yeah. Candy. Dude, what about? Gabby, um, candy. You know, it's a, it's a it's a it's a draw for me. It's either Laffy Taffy or Baby Bottle Pops. Oh. Well, you got to pick one because okay. we're going to ask Baby the chat. Pops. Okay. Chat, you're the judge. American Favorite Reese. candy. Either <laughs> Nick's answer is Reese's. Gabby's got the baby bottle pop. Who wins? <laughs> Who wins? And if you're wondering why we're talking about candy right now, it's because there is a delay in the Pacifico men's snowboard big air. <laughs> that does happen. And so when it does, it does, we kill some time together. Okay? So let's see. We're getting closer, guys. I'm seeing Reese's. A lot of Reese's. There we go. I know. Lot I of know. Reese's. Where my Reese's people at? A lot of Reese's. No, it, it's a bummer that we got to wait, but we got to wait. But that's what's good. It's the anticipation. Reese's. It's coming. Reese's. Reese's. We I haven't a seen a single baby bottle pop. It's fine. Oh. I can keep it all to myself. I'll, I'll keep the baby bottle have the, pops. Have the tart to yourself. I'll have the tart. It is that. I like tarts. Yeah. Like sweet tarts. Yeah. Baby bottle pops are stuff. pretty the good. Chocolate's though. good, too. Dude. Yeah. I like it. Um, let's let's ask the chat. Who do you guys think is going to take home the gold? Yeah. In the Pacifico men's snowboard big air. Cocoa Pops. Let's take, let's, <laughs> let's take predictions here. Nick, who do you think is taking gold? Oh, man. Um, man, uh, Takaru? No, he's got some swag. Takeru, I know he's got big, okay. big tricks. I think that's a good assumption. Um, that's a good I mean, Tiarn Collins, I've known that kid a while. Um, I know he can spin like a tornado. <laughs> but uh, but we got the style trick, we right? We do have the style. Yeah, the style trick. Yes, so that makes things a little interesting. You know, small effect on your score. Um, okay. Man, always, always an exciting discipline to watch. I never did big air. I never was a big air guy. I was only slope style, kind of fit my skills more. Yeah. Um, but I do like watching big air. Big air is wild to me. Like yeah. having to, you just have like these stocked yeah. Spin to win tricks. It's just wild. Who do you think, Gabby? I kind of, I kind of, I'm going on your tip. Uh, oh, I'm okay. Going, I think I'm going on your side. Okay. I don't know. I, I, lucky Charms. <laughs> I mean, my favorite candy is Reese's. I mean, we already into Lucky Charms. Chakaru is going to win. <laughs> okay. I'm saying Tyga. Okay, there yeah. we go. Yes. Tyga? So while we wait for this, we're going to hit a little commercial break, maybe a little Pacifico update. There you go. Nick, it's been a pleasure. Nick. I'm so glad you Pleasure's finally got mine. to hang yes. with us. Yeah, There's no too. better yeah. person to me hang too. with. We got an extended version, which I can fully appreciate. <laughs> yeah. If you don't follow this gentleman on social media, please do. Help him get to a million so he can uh, yeah. start getting those billion dollar deals. get all deals. of those sponsors. 100%. See you later. X Games live. Yew. Signing Yew. off. Welcome to the Pacifico X Games update brought to you by your pal Jimbles. Second half of X Games Aspen Day 2 is off to an amazing start. The women's Ski Superpipe presented by Chipotle 
saw the return of Eileen Gu in her first X Games since 2021. Eileen wowed the crowd and the judges, securing another X Games Super Pipe gold. The Pacifico women's ski big air saw these athletes push the progression of the sport with incredible skill and grit. Cess Leda took home her fourth X Games gold with a spectacular performance. The men's snowboard big air event is up next, and afterwards we'll finish day two at the Thayer's men's ski knuckle huck before an epic day three finale tomorrow. Until then, keep those drafts frosty and your pores extreme. Aspen 2024. There's no other place you'd rather be than right here, right now. A massive event schedule under the Colorado moon. We've got the Chipotle Women's Ski Superpipe, the Thayer Men's Ski Knuckle Huck, but we kick things off with one of our favorites, the Pacifico Men's Snowboard Big Air. What's happening, everybody? Brandon Graham joined alongside my big air co-pilot, Craig McMorris. Craiger, this is that event where progression rips the roof right off. Absolutely. Now, folks at home, you may recognize some of those faces on this start list, but I can guarantee you do not recognize this format. The first jump is scored out of 10. We're calling that a style score. After that, you have to land two more jumps. Those are both scored out of 45. You need to land three jumps. Very different from every other big air event in the entire world, Brando. Let's get this thing fired up. Was not expecting that much math right out the <laughs> gate, Craig. Let's give the people what they want here in the Pacifico Men's Snowboard Big Air Final. I'm so excited to kick things off. Now, no Marcus Cleveland, Facts. no Mark McMorris Facts. in this event, but still, these guys are going to bring the goods. Leading off, an X Games rookie, yeah. Liam Brearley, fresh off a gold medal performance just last evening in Knuckle Huck. You want to talk about momentum? This young man's got it. Dropping in switch here. Was talking to him earlier. He's got a very, very good game plan. This is interesting. As I mentioned off the top, that first jump is a style jump. The best score you can get on that is out of 10. But your first jump counts no matter what. Right. So if you make a mistake, that's your score. You can't change that score. Let's take a look. Cab 720 off the toes goes stale fish, then switch to that seatbelt grab right there. Maybe bobble on that grab there, and then a little bit of a washout there. Let's see where the judges put him. A score of three out of ten, right? So he can still go to work on the other two. Right. But just to reiterate, as you said, Sweet, new this you. year in 2024, this first run all about style. Correct. So here's Mons Roycelin, 26 years old. So Mons Roysland, frontside 10, frontside grab, but before he gets that grab, does that double shifty there. A lot of style. I love it's it. It's going to be so unique, Brando, how these riders interpret this format, this yeah. rule change, if you really will. Really good point. Six medals across 13 X Games appearances for the Norwegian. We'll see his score on run number one. And if you're just joining us going, where's the big rotations I've been told about? Hold your horses. We're getting there. Run one, all about score. Eight, very solid. Now making his X Games debut out of New Zealand, Tiarn Collins. I actually had breakfast with Tiarn's dad, Greg, today. Oh my, beautiful backside 1080 right there from Char. That high indie grab on it, dripped with style. Let's get another look at this here, Brando. Look at him poke that front foot out. Shout out Stolly Sandbeck, the way he used to rotate those backside big rotations, that indie. Renny Renacongas loves it. So do we. A six for Tiarn Collins. So first run score in for he. 
We move on to another X Games rookie. His friends call him Hiro, Hiroki Kunatake. Backside 360, but he says, no, I'm going to keep it at 180. He had everybody out here fooled. We all thought he was just going to do a chill back three for a style trick. He says, no. Look at this trickery. How hard is it to stop your body's rotation? Everything is pulling you to finish that 360. He kicks his hips back and keeps it at one. I love that. that Very is creative. oblique power. That is it's just abs. We move on to Chris Corning, making his ninth X Games appearance. He has a bronze in this event. He earned back in 2018. So Chris Corning just going as big as he possibly can in the big air with a backside 180. Corning has a huge fan contingent here. It's very loud behind us. The Silverthorne, Colorado native always brings it here on the Aspen stage. So his score comes in at a five. What's at stake here? We've got a 30-minute jam, three best attempts count, as we've talked about. One score based on style, that's run number one. And then those two scores based on technical progression. Go up to 45 on each of those. One note there, you have to spin once to the left and once to the right on those big scores. Go, Can we talk man. about this okay, jacket ready? for a second on Rene Renekongas? Is that Ladlin up top? This sheep pool? Gee, Willikers, Batman. <laughs> Is that that trip? <laughs> You keep up on all your references in youth culture, don't you, Brandon? <laughs> Part of my job. <laughs> Kid of the night goes to Rene Renacongas. Ninth X Games appearance, owner of four X Games medals. I love that. 180 and then switch backside rodeo tuck knee. I cannot express to you how terrible. Oh, and he's going out the course. That Watch out for boy. snowmobiles. He's hopping out the gym. He's jumping out the gym, Brando. I cannot express to you how scary it would be to ride at this massive big air jump and be so calm on a switch backside rodeo. Look at how calm he is. Rene became a fan favorite as soon as he hit the scene, and that's why. And Brandon, when we saw this style added, this format change, I was really excited to see how Rene would interpret that, and uh, I've been pleasantly surprised. A nine for Rene Renacongas. So the best style score of the night thus far goes to Rene. And here now, making his fourth X Games appearance, Taiga Hasegawa. Switch method. Oh, yeah. oh my goodness, to the bottom. Holy smokes, Brando. That was so sick. I could not express to you how difficult it is to do a switch method. Switch method, pardon me, that's, he's got me tongue tied. Switch methods, very hard. Switch methods over an 85 foot big air jump, oh, almost impossible. There's hype meter. We just hit Unreal. And by we, I mean Taiga Hasegawa. I guess us uh, and by adjacency. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's We're a all, contact. We all win. Yeah. And many expect Taiga Hasegawa to not only contend for the podium, but win this event. Today. I love that switch method. That, I think, is my favorite jump so far. And here now, Takaru Atsuka. Switch backside rodeo seven from Takaru Atsuka. I don't think there's a trick he can't do. When Takaru Atsuka is riding up to his potential, he is almost unbeatable. He has won this event, Craig, twice before. Similar to Rene Renekongas' switch backside rodeo, Takaru Atsuka does the switch backside rodeo 720, so adds a 180 onto what Rene Renekongas did. Different grab, obviously. So an eight for Takaru. The style runs are officially in the books as we close in under the 24-minute mark here in the Pacifico Men's Snowboard Big Air Final. And it was Rene Renekongas leading the way with nine. Much more action when we return. 
X Games Aspen is brought to you by Mobile X, made for you by you. And Bayer's Natural Remedies for better looking skin. With Thayer's, go deep or go home. Snow mushroom and hyaluronic acid. One, milky cleanser. Two, cushion with milky toner. Three, deeply hydrate with new Soak It Up liquid moisturizer. It hydrates for 80 hours. Thayer's. So tell me, what, what does open kitchen mean to you? Absolutely, when it's delicious food and they come in, they see our food steaming on the lines. They see our chicken glistening. Our fajita sizzling. It's magic happening every time they come into our kitchen. This is real. Pacifico is a crisp golden lager. Brewed for those who know, it's what's behind a label that matters. It's a party, it's a party, it's, it's a, a party. party! Over Woo! at the Mobile X stage, looking good. We got Eileen Goo. We're not worthy. Congratulations. Oh, Old so medal. How hard was it to ride through the pain? Gosh, it was so tough. Like, when I tell you guys it was excruciating, it oh. was excruciating. What um, were you and then with? I had to do corks on top of it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so what were you dealing with? We've heard hip. Yeah, so a hip, which I think is so funny. Hip like, flexor? I feel like such a grandma. I'm like, oh, my hip. Like, my hip? You know what I mean? Oh. Like, I've no. never dealt with hip problems before. But, uh, yeah, I posted a couple of days ago. I hit the shark fin switch in the, yep. the slopestyle course and, like, took a super vertical line. I guess that's, like, the pipe skier in me, right? So yeah. I, I didn't make it far down enough, and I pretty much came, like, 25 feet straight onto the knuckle. Like, not even the knuckle, like, the deck. So, like, jumping 25 oh, feet to flat. Gosh. It was no joke. Um... Yeah, so I couldn't walk for two days, and then oh today's the God. third day, so, yeah. <laughs> you couldn't walk for two days. I've been days. spending, like, over three hours a day on the physio table. Like, my, <sighs> if I took my pants off, I'm, like, taped everywhere. It's, yep. yeah. Yeah, so what do they do on the physio wow. table? Are they just, like, digging their thumbs into the spot, trying to, like, break it up and... Yeah. Yeah. What happens in the physio room stays in the physio Yeah, okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough, yep. yeah. Enough said. Tears shed on the table, like, yeah. It's painful. <laughs> yeah. It I, but worth uh, it. Worth it in the end. Worth it. Yeah, because I, I was able top. to stand when it counted. And, uh, yeah, genuinely, I think that was one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. Just, God. you know. Yeah. There is so much love in the chat. I don't know if you can see the chat right now, but yeah, there are, so like, many hearts. so Aww. many hearts in the chat right now. Thanks, guys. That is a beautiful Thank you. thing. We love you. Can you tell us a little bit about the drip? What's up with this sweatshirt? That yes, thing is beautiful. I, yeah, I love it. Hoping you guys would ask. Of okay. course. So this year, X Games, you know, we're really all about the style this year. Of course. Yeah. That in the in big air, in slow style, um, knuckle huck, just the introduction of all these new events. And so I work in fashion, right? Like I'm I'm a mm -hmm. fashion model, and so I was thinking, how can I bring my own style <laughs> nice. to the X Games? And so to me, that was through my clothing, um, through my jewelry, through you know what, my accessories. So the goggles that I was wearing when I was competing, actually, I don't know if you guys can see them. They were like these bedazzled goggles. I actually did those myself. Cute. Oh, um, what? Some of my friends at, at Stanford. So I'm also a full-time student at Stanford. Um, yeah, and no so, big deal. So sick. So, <laughs> so sick. we thought it was going to be like a 30-minute cute like arts and crafts project. <laughs> yeah. No, just uh, five hours wow. on a dorm room floor, wow. just one at a time. I bead, love that. Bead, bead, and you can see yeah, a little see. red oh, on the side. Wow! Yeah. Um, on the other side, there's like an X. Um, that was supposed to be like the X Games logo. That's kind of what That's I was going for. So nice. What's yeah. going to happen then, with those goggles next? I don't know. I feel like you could probably like auction those off for like some charity for probably like ten billion dollars. <laughs> Like, I'm not even kidding. Those are so sick. Yeah. I need to pay my friends. I like oh, there exploiting you go. their labor at this point. <laughs> so those are one of one. Is this sweatshirt one also one. one of one? Yeah. So so again, yeah. So I designed this. This is with my outerwear sponsor, Anta. Um, you can so see my little sick. like Eileen Goo. And then so I'm I've always been like unapologetically just a huge nerd. So I put I these like Latin phrases on my hoodie because I think it's cool. Mm -hmm. I don't know if other people think it's cool, but I have like Vini Vidi Vici here. Vini Vidi Vici. I won. 
Um, what is that? What does that mean again? I, I came, I saw, I won. Okay. Love it. And then Love this it. one Jeez. is I am not led, I lead. Very cool. Oh, so I, I like think that. That's pretty cool. And then yeah, my name in various forms. The back here. I'm gonna rotate really oh, quick. Go for it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay, no, you're on. good. Extreme sport. I'll Here, I've got this, like, extreme close-up camera. Let me pull this thing oh, out. Oh, yeah. That, then Let's get this thing out. And then... There we go. Let's see the back again. Sorry. So last name out. in Chinese. There we go. That is so sick. That is to the detail. We are big fans. Yeah. Seriously. Wow. Cool. I am cool. so impressed by you. It's just everything. So style do. points. Do I get them or not? Like, yes. that's all I want to know. Chat, does she get style yes. points or not? <laughs> 100%. I'm saying 100% too, Gabby. <laughs> This is fantastic. I yeah. mean, and the fact that you're going to Stanford, like, it's, well, it goes on and guys, on and on. It sounds, like, cute and fun until you realize that I'm taking, so 12 units is a full course load. I'm taking 16 in this quarter. Last year I did 17, 17, 18, and then I took summer units just because. So, like, you guys think it's, like, fun and cute, but I'm going back after. Like, I'm I not going out tonight. Oh, I never said I it was fun and I'm cute. I'm respecting <laughs> the fact that you're doing, you just won gold. And Same. you're also. Arrow Astro homework to do after this. Like, that I'm is so swamped. It is insane. <laughs> and you're handling it with grace, and it's fantastic. Oh, well, thanks. You oh. guys are sweet. Well, you you're sweet. And like we this. had Nick Gepper here. He's looking for sponsors. I said you <laughs> yeah, should sponsor him <laughs> because he would look good in that bedazzled. Oh, my yes, God. Yes, he would. Right? Although, honestly, I, what do you guys think of the jeans? I think it's it's working. The jeans, I think the it's hair. No, it's okay, you know what's so sweet? The thanks mom and dad in the back of his helmet. I back it. I back yep. it so hard. My mom's here. She's like right behind you. Um, Aww, so like mom. I'm I'm huge on the the parent appreciation. Same. Yeah. My mom's here too. Well, yeah. Amazing. It's good. We got to We got to give you know what's praise up? to our parents. So you have to get here. Praise Absolutely. to the parents. Praise to Eileen Gu and praise to our next competitor. It's time to get back in here. But Eileen, thank you so much for thank taking you, the time you. to hang with thank us. You. We're not you. worthy. You're awesome. Thank you, guys. Have a lovely rest of your night, and thank, thank you, you so to everybody much. watching. Back to Big Air. Woo! Thanks, team. We'll check in with you in a bit. So here's Liam Brearley. Had a three on his style run. What's he got for run number two? I'm guessing switch back triple, but watch this. Stays oh, at 12. Here. Switch back triple 1260. We mentioned 1620s, we mentioned 1800s, but what we didn't mention, and what is so technical and difficult, is this. He goes off axis three separate times in this rotation, and it looks like he's gonna bring it to switch 14. He says, nope! Watch him dig the toes in, and you can see him almost over-rotate. Everything is pulling you, your shoulders, gravity, but he has to stop it and dig the toes in as much as he can. Oh my goodness, look at that back knee take, all that. Pressure. Wow, Liam Braley, I really like that jump. Very unique. So after scoring between one and 10 on run number one, we're moving up here on the next two, a 23 on that second run. Craig, your thoughts? I want to ask Tom Zekas about that, actually, if we have a moment. So here's Mons Roysland, again, owner of six X Games medals across 13 appearances. Frontside 1440 off the toes. Double dips it as well. What I mean by double dip, he goes off axis twice in that 1440 degree rotation. What's very interesting and unique about this one, Brandon, he takes off his toes. Very few riders are doing that double, especially with a 1440 with a toe side takeoff. Let's take a look here. Look at that snowboard flexed. Mons Roysland. Shout out Alms Dog, by the way, with that message, <laughs> whose Mons is this? Who's That's one of this? our favorite lines. Yo, whose Mons is this? That's my Mons right there. I see him in the score corral, giving him a high five. He has got to love that front side, double 1440. That was a thing of beauty, a score of 34, Brando. Remember, the best possible score you can get on one single jump. Now, out of 45. Whoa. So Mons Roysland officially setting the pace. He's got a total of 42 thus far, as we're under 22 minutes to ride with. Jaron Collins out of New Zealand. Oh! Jaron had the 16. Yes. He had the 16. Sure. But he wanted the 18. He wanted the 1800. You could tell on that rotation. He said, 
could dig the toes in, but I'm going to add another 180. So Charon Collins going down on the cab 1800 attempt. So here's Hiroki, one of our X Games rookie in the field. I'm guessing frontside quadruple court. One, two, three, four. Facts! Oh, no! This Hiroki. is a Russell Brandt, are you not entertained situation. <laughs> he had it. So we were walking up with Hero up to practice here. Yes. And I was like, hey, what are you doing? Yes. And he's like, yeah, I think I might do like backside when he pull back. We saw that on the style trick. And then he's going, I'm going front quad. And I said, you are a very, very amazing individual. So Chris Corning with perhaps the loudest cheering section here at Buttermilk. Drops it now for run number two. Switch backside. 16, 20, switch backside 16, 20. The reason I hesitated is because Chris Corning, you know, he's not really known for his switch backside rotation. We've seen Chris Corning do backside 1800s right. day in and day out, but we haven't very rarely seen him add that with a switch back 16, 20. Let's take a look here. So a 1440, that's four full 360s, and then you add a 180 onto that, making it a 1620. Very solid first score so for Chris Corning. That score comes in at a 36. We can't be having all the fun. How about the third member of our team, DC? What's going on? Yeah, thanks, Brenda. Well, we're about to see Rene Renekongas drop next. And talking to his team manager, Austin Hodges, before the contest, he shared uh, some sentiments okay, with perfect. me. Thank you. That, uh, yeah, he doesn't always show his cards. People underestimate how mental he is. His mind is always working, thinking about something new to do. I mean, come on, just look at how Rene exited the corral after the style trick. This guy's an animal. So creative. Here he is, dropping in. Classic bassist. <laughs> No respect for boundaries, I say. Oh my. Frontside 1800 attempt from the young Finn and the bassist. <laughs> yeah, Rene, uh, for that reference, is in a rad hardcore band called Catfish with a K that he has with his brother. He's played bass. I believe he's either on third or second guitar now. I don't know if that's a promotion. Uh, we'll dig into that later. <laughs> Unfortunately, going down on that 1800 there from Rene Renekongas. He keeps his rotation flat, so it's so difficult to stop it. You saw him land, but then he does a 360 out of it. That's going to be a throwaway for Rene Renekongas. Here's Taiga Hasagawa, who put down an eight on his style run. Switchback 19. Yep. Oh, my heavens. 1960. Five and a half full rotations. Five and a half rotations, not full. 19, 60. Hold on, hold on. I'm pulling out my protractor. Hold on just a second there, partner. But you have to admire that takeoff. He knows he's going to do one of the biggest spins a human being has ever done on a snowboard, yet he goes up the takeoff so straight. He executes that rotation so perfectly, and watch the way he falls in the landing. This is going to be a huge score, Brando. What would you do today, son? I flew, mother. <laughs> I touched the sky. A 36 for Hasagawa as we close in on the 17-minute mark. Well, these riders are having all the fun. Uh, let's check out Takuru Atsuka before he drops in. Gave us a little glimpse of the course preview. Check this out. Oh, you know what? He wants it. He wants it. He wanted it bad. Oh, 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 Takuru, oh, 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 switch oh. back. 1960, so he saw Taiga do the switch backside. Oh, no, that was, sorry, that was, pardon me, that was a backside 1960. All right. I buried the lead. <laughs> let's check out that course preview now from Takaru Atsuka. All right, let's try the big air. Yo, what up? I'm Sven Torgren. I'm here with Takuro Tsukya, and we're here in Aspen. This is the Big Air GoPro course preview.
The jump this year is insane. It's a 70 foot gap between the lip and the knuckle, so it's pretty big. That's the most exhilarating course preview when your course is <laughs> one feature. The way Sven said it, it's actually pretty big. Yeah. It gets me every single time. <laughs> so just like that, we're back up on the top. Liam Brearley, he's got a total cumulative score of 26. What's he do on run number three here, Craig? We know he wants to do a cab 1800. Let's see if he pulls it out here, dropping in switch. that man. <laughs> there goes my hero. Uh, cab 1800, five full times round. A gold medal last night in Knucklehuck and seemingly picking up where he left off. What is, so what is so difficult about that rotation, Brando, is it's really easy to go early. And what I mean by that, you start your rotation on the takeoff as opposed to waiting till you get to the top, initiating pop and then spinning. Liam Brearley, one of the best at that cab rotation. He doesn't have time for that. I don't have time for mistakes. So a massive score of 38 for Liam. Mons Roisland. What's he gonna put down here for run number three? I can't wait to see it. You gotta spin once to the left and once to the right. He already has that left rotation. Monzi, backside 1800. He gets in a small car accident and somehow <laughs> rides away from it. He is in disbelief as we all are down here. Oh my God. Yeah, I think Mon said it all. Wow, that was massive. Hey, let's bring in Salema Masakela. Salema, what'd you think of this one? Understand how how they don't just freak out and dissolve in midair <laughs> after like the fourth spin. Salama, what was so ridiculous about that was how he dumped it over at the end. We've seen a number of 1800s here tonight, folks, but that one I think was executed my best. Yeah, that was incredible. Truly incredible. I'm 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 baffled. So, that was ridiculous. Wow. Ones. A 38 there for Mons, that obviously puts him into first place right now. We turn our attention back up to the top. Tieran Collins trying to land something here. Charlie goes cap 18. What? So we have an 1800 off. What? Cab 18 switch stale. So a very different grab than you normally see with an 1800. Chart, wonderful, wonderful execution on that switch takeoff as well. Oh my goodness, I love that. Hey, Tora Bright sitting out there. Tora, what'd you, what'd you think of that one? What's the score be? Oh, just wait, Tora. Just wait. Yeah. The short answer, yes. Right? And that's why I was curious about Liam Brerley's first uh, non-style jump with that triple back 12 pullback. That's where I was curious about where the scoring would go, but I mean, they're scored on the technicality of the jump, like that quadruple oh. from Hero. <laughs> and, and what we've seen thus far tonight is the most technical tricks have been the 1800s, but Salema, to answer your question, yes. You don't have to do it 800. You still can do maybe a 1620 of a very different vari variation yes. and get a high score, right, Brandon? Oh, absolutely. We've seen it before. I love that comment that came in, by the way. We used to get excited about 1080s. The future is now, old man. <laughs> <laughs> I did say 
So here's Chris Corning. After a very impressive second run, we've always said he's a guy who favors those 18s. Do we see it here? I think so. Well, that's about as clean as you can do a backside 1800 right there, Branda. Five full times around, Mellengrab front hand on the heel edge. He's already got a huge score with his right rotation. There's gonna be a huge score for his left. Chris Corning is stacking right now. He's a veteran of this event. He's been close before. He's talked about how important it would be to his career to win gold here, and he's putting it together tonight. It's just a great long-term investment strategy, Brando. Salema loves it, we love it. You gotta build. This format requires three landed jumps. Your first yeah. one has to be landed. He's got that five with the style, and you can see the right and left rotations. You, you gotta diversify your portfolio. And we, I've been telling you, telling you again and again. Wow. What a showing for Chris Corning thus far. Total score of 75. So Rene Renacongas drops in now. Can he put down this trick on his third run? Closing in on the 10 minute mark here of the Pacifico men's snowboard big air final. The previous run, we saw him attempt a flat frontside 1800. Yes. Looks like he's going back to the well. Yep. Oh! And the point I made the last time he tried this trick, he keeps his very flat. We saw a couple 1800s from other riders doing that triple dip where you flip into the landing. When you keep it flat, it is so difficult to stop that rotation with such a high degree of spinning. And now the question becomes, how many more times can he go back to that well? Is he going to keep going until he finds water? Or does he have to switch it up at some point? Oh, shout out to the camera crew at X Games following the riders. Also on skis and snowboards, all while having a camera. Yes. Are you, are you going back Not to... Not all uh, heroes wear capes. Oh, Craig's talking to Rene right now. Again? Or are you going front 18? Again. You don't know? You don't know? Let's give him, what, let's talk game plan. What yeah, do you want, what you, yeah, what do you want to do? He's going back. He wants to land it. He's going back to it. Taiga Hasegawa on course now. He'll do one. Here's Taiga. <laughs> oh, okay. my. Taiga Hasegawa is just an electric factory. We've been talking about 1800s all night. He says, child's play. Let's go 1980 on him. Are you kidding me? I thought his switch backside takeoff was a little bit better, actually. So he's already done the switch back 19. Here he goes backside 19. Maybe a touch early on it. And I know I'm, you know, splitting hairs here, but look at this. A little bit of a hand touch. So not as clean as maybe a sw switch backside one, but two 1980s in one big air Whoa, event. That's filthy. 43 for Tyga. Salema, how are we feeling after that one? <laughs> yeah. Be being small and being ridiculously strong. Core power. So here's Takaru Atsuka. Here's a guy that many of us picked to win this thing outright here tonight. Still looking for a matrix. So Takaru Atsuka going back to that 1980 well. Left foot forward, so he's going for that backside 1980. Gave him trouble last run, gives him trouble here. Still seven and a half minutes on the clock though, Brando. So Hasegawa leading this thing with that 87 overall. Mons with the 80, Chris Corning 75. Takaru still looking for daylight here. Three runs in to the Pacifico Men's Snowboard Big Air Final. Hey, before we go anywhere else, let's head over to the Stag Tent with Kristen B. Kristen. Hey guys, I'm in XIP at the St. Hubert's The Stag Lounge, catching all the action from the men's snowboard big air event, seeing some of the most progressive tricks I have ever seen. But you know what I'm really looking forward to? Those epic X Games celebrations. I will catch you guys a little bit later. Cheers. 
The action rolls on here at X Games Aspen. More from the Pacifico Men's Snowboard Big Air Final right after this. Oh, I don't know how you guys are handling this, but every time someone goes, lands, falls, whatever, like, yeah. we are breaking the chair. Oh, yeah. No, this I'm has literally been pulling back just like this. The most insane event. Starting off with the style runs, of course. Yeah. The most beautiful things we've ever witnessed. But then not to mention, they're doing 1980s. <laughs> like nothing. Damn good style. Such good style. Man. Do that switch method. I also like to, yeah, the switch method. Switch I, method. I was one who was like, I don't know if we're going to see a switch I know. method. I know. And, then and, then we, and, it and I told Jason, you never know, and then look what happened. Yeah, what do you guys think, Chad? Are you guys enjoying this as much as we are or what? I think this might be one of my favorite big airs of all time. And these are the top three oh, yeah. runs so far. While I mean, TV's in commercial break, we get to watch this oh, again. Chris Corning insane. going switch backside. Insane. And then backside 1800, that was the backside 1800 on his second run. <laughs> I think my favorite style trick was Rene Rinnekonga, switchback. Rene is murdering he it. He was insane. So sick. He and needs I to land. He needs to land. He like kept spinning pretty much at the end, even on the ground, in the landing. He's talked about how important it would be to his career to Oh, man. And he's putting it together tonight. It's just a great long-term adventure. And you can also see, Renee, how Salama. he's having fun. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah see? The reactions. The reactions are wild. My reaction as well. Mons Roisland, dude. Okay, we're talking style. Yeah. Oh, I wanted to see his first run, Look too. How fast. They're spinning. It's insane. Not only that, Backside but he was 800. like off his core coming around on his last 360. Like, that should have been a ride to the hospital. Yeah. And he just somehow like pulls it together. Comes back around. It's mind blowing, dude. Stomps it, as Craig said. Stomps it. Survived a little car crash there. I know, his descriptions are so funny, Craig. Shout out to Craig. And the way that he spins, too, it's like alley oop, you know, drifting yeah. to the left, spinning to the right. That shiz is not easy. It's just crazy. There was like, there was a comment that someone put saying about how they remember how the 1080 when that was such a big deal and that now we're just so far beyond and past that it's just yeah that's just yeah a short version of our reaction yeah i i agree tyga I, I did call tyga to Jay throw down Tyga. and he's boom that landing perfect that is not easy it was insane. to stop that much momentum and land like that is yeah. so hard you called it too. I did kind of call it, but it's not over yet. It's definitely it's not over, not over still yet. Still a long time. Tyga's got so much steez. I love this slow mo shot. Yeah. Boom. He's so sick, dude. Mm. And Tyga's the one that did the switch method. Mm. Yeah, I know, Tyga. Which is. Look at the awesome. steez. Watch him land it. Bam. Yeah, I just did a 1980. <laughs> yeah, no big deal. Yo, shout out Casey Willax in the chat. He's actually out in Japan right now. Who misses Torstein? Mitch said, I agree. All right. It is time to get let's back get to back. competition. Let's, let's, let's make it we happen. We excited? Chat, you excited? I love you all so much. Let's keep this thing going. Yeah. Saturday night, big air. Let's go. Oh. Musco Lighting, we make it happen. The fans are absolutely going mad out here at X Games Aspen 2024, <laughs> as are we in the Pacific Omen Snowboard Big Air Final. <laughs> it's hard not to dance. The energy is palpable. We're feeling it over from the Pacific Omen, and it's going right up to the riders up top uh, for this men's. Big Air final, Brando. Oh my, I mean, 
ah. 16s, 18s, 19s. What, what's next? Well, I mean, it's not only that they're doing 1800s and 1980s. They're doing it very well. It looks good. Grabs are being held the entirety of the rotation. The level of riding here tonight goes without saying. Ridiculous. Liam Brearley, the youngest competitor in our field, just 20 years young. A gold medal last night in Knucklehawk. Right now, trying to get back on the podium in Big Air. Ooh, I love that. So that's the trick he did at the start, right? That switch, triple 14, it looks like. Then he stops and brings it back. So switch, triple 12. Here, I think he dips this one a little bit more, too, for that last court. Very upside down, right? This looks switch, triple 14 the whole way around. Then he says, nope. Psych. Puts it down there. Had that scored at a 23, it scored at a 22 here. So he'll hold on to that score. And his points will stay the same. Come get your mons. Roycelin, run number four. Currently sitting in that silver medal spot, Krager. Have that beautiful back 18. And there's the double 14-40 <laughs> oh, off the toes. Wow. But what I like about this one there, he uses the tail grab, right? Yes. That left rotation, I think this is going to be a higher score than his 34. So right off the toes. Some people would call that a frontside rodeo off the toes. He keeps his a little bit flatter in the way he doesn't, he doesn't throw his head down. He throws his head out. That's one of the differentiators, I think, for me. I know some people might feel different ways, and I'm allowed to have my own opinion. You can feel however you want to feel, Craig. But I was right. Bumps oh, that 34 up okay. to a 38. Wow. All right. Well, as we've got run four under, I'm with you. Salema Maskelin. Salema, your thoughts on what Craig I'm, just I'm said? I'm totally with you. I, I thought that was, like, so technical. The tail grab was incredible. With the rodeo, flat spinning. Corking, give me more points, please. <laughs> yeah, here's Tiaran Collins, sitting in fifth. Switch oh, back 16, geez. and look at the confidence on the Kiwi, digging the toes in to that landing. I really want to take another look at this landing because young snowboarders at home, this is how you stop your rotation. This is called contest commitment right here. Switch back 16, height. Look at how hard he digs those toes in because if those toes aren't dug in, he keeps rotating, catches a toe edge, and it's going to be night-night. So he puts down a score of 29, jumps up a spot into fourth place. So here's Hiroki. That was sick. That was so sick. Sitting in eighth. There's no getting around it, Craig. He needs a make yep. right here, right now. Does he go back to the quad? He's dropping right foot forward. He is going back to the quad. Hold your breath, folks. Quad 1800. Get going. Yes! Oh! And that's what he does right there. He's already put himself in a field goal position now. Let's see if he can convert. Front side, quadruple, 1,800. Field feet. Yeah, that's going to be a Thayer's hype meter unreal for me there, pal. Hiroki needed something big in the worst way, and he gets it. Why I'm so fired up on that 1,800, we've seen a lot tonight. The risk required for that front side quad. You're putting yourself in such a dangerous position, especially on that fourth flip, Brando. 41. Pow. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. What you... Is it pow? <laughs> wow. A massive score for Hiroki, <laughs> jumping him all the way up into fourth place. You saw Gabby Vaden and Jack Matrani there watching on the digital side. They like what they saw. So here's Chris Corny. Perhaps no one playing the game better than Chris here this evening. What does he do for run number four? Maybe try and improve upon that switch backside rotation, right? He did that sure. switch back 1620. It was very good. Does he try to bring it to a switch back 1800? Maybe he goes backside 1980. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
He's in disbelief. So are his fans. Chris Corning just flew into a neighboring dimension. He went out of state on that one. He is shaking, rightfully so. He has done that backside 1800 many times. What he hasn't done is that back 1980. Completely different axis, the way you land, the way you have to whip it around. For the record, I was not just thinking Were that. You, okay. <laughs> just me or? <laughs> Salema, Jason, Tora, yeah, they're, uh, oh. I thought Salema was about to fall over. <laughs> A 39 for Chris Corning, so improves upon that. Sitting in that bronze medal spot. Two minute warning, Chris Corning is my guy. So we move on to Rene Renekongas. By the way, during the break, got a bunch of messages from uh, multiple friends who all claim that they had this jacket their freshman year of college. I don't know what that says about Rene. I don't know what this says about my friends. Just an observation. You're just, you're just speaking. You're speaking your truth, and that's all we can do. There's no getting around it. Rene needs a big make. Can he do what Hiroki did and deliver on his fourth run? Oh my goodness! See, Salema, let's go back to the question you asked earlier. Can you still win without doing an 1800 or a 1980? Tricks like that lead me to believe you can. Let's get a good look at this takeoff because he takes off switch, but instead of popping off his back foot, he pre-spins, pops off his front foot, dumps it over twice with the switch Yo. nose grab, and you think he's gonna keep rotating, but he doesn't. Throws that right foot in front of it. This is so unique. Rene this says, is so different. Give me that. Yeah, there's uh, your boys in the booth. This is our reaction. <laughs> well, let's bring Salema in. Salema, your thoughts after what Rene just did? I know that all the snowboarders at home right now are saying, yes. bump that man up. <laughs> I, I, I mean, that's like, you, it's singular, it's unique, it's self-expression, it's technical, it's difficult. <sighs> I, I, can, I feel like an old man screaming into the, into the sun. That was so sick. You just heard it from Rene right yeah. there. He says he had to do that one for snowboarding and snowboarding. Thanks, you, Rene. You're the best, buddy. Have fun. So that was a 34 for Rene Renekongas. Your favorite snowboarder's favorite snowboarder. So Taiga Hasegawa, our current leader, Craig. Looks like he's going to improve upon that Switch 1980 score. They had him at a 36. Oh my good word. Oh my good word. 1980 with just a perfect takeoff. Holds the grab for so long, right until the end. Gotta whip that 1980 around, that last 180. Such a clean landing. This has to be a bigger Is score. That, it has to be. Was that legal? I, not in a couple states, I know that. It, probably not in Canada. <laughs> wow. Hasegawa jumps into first place, Brando. Taiga Hasegawa may earn his very first gold medal tonight. But let's see if Takaru Atsuka has anything to say about it. Taiga's just been getting in a bar fight with this 1980, right? That backside 1980, and he's been rotating it. But it looks like the landing is just not coming around for him. We saw in Taiga Hasegawa's, he kind of flips into it a little bit more, where Takaru Atsuka is spinning into the landing a little bit more and causing a lot more impact. So we're four runs in here. Before we go any further, though, let's head back up to Kristen in the Stag Lounge. Thanks for checking back in, guys. I will hold down the spectating for it here. I'm having so much fun. But I'm also really looking forward to which athlete will take home Saturday's St. Hubert's the Stag celebratory moments. St. Hubert's the Stag will also be awarding the best in snow at the end of the weekend. So make sure to stay tuned for the big reveal, and I will see you guys there. We'll be there, Kristen. Four runs in. The Pacifico men's snowboard big air final. Just one run to go. 
Will Taiga Hasegawa win gold here in the Pacifico Men's Snowboard Big Air Final? We're about to find out. What does this collection of eight superheroes put down when it matters the most? Liam Brearley, our 20-year-old rookie, a gold medal from Knuckle Huck last night. Does he have enough to get on the big air podium? Coming in switch. Oh. So his last switch backside rotation was a switch backside 1260. Kind of over rotated it, pulled it back to 16 or to 12. There, he keeps going with it, goes to 1620 on that switch backside triple court. So Mons Roisland, this is really interesting, Craig, sitting right behind Hasegawa in that silver medal spot. Got an 82 overall. Gonna need something big here. Does he add more to it? Ooh. So we've seen him do that frontside rotation off the toes, double frontside rodeo, if you will, to 14. We've seen him do it with two different grabs. It looks like he was trying to take that to 1620. And look who we got there, Brando. Yeah, oh my goodness. Let's yeah, bring guys, back we in got the Mia Brooks uh, joining us. We're going to check in with her. Mia, what's your thoughts on, on Big Air so far? Oh my God, dude, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. How, no does, does this motivate you for, for tomorrow night's competition for women's big air? Yeah, definitely. Like, I think tomorrow's going to be insane. So yeah, looking forward to it. It's nice, good. nice. We're going to have plenty more with Mia after the competition is done. We're fired up. So Chiron Collins. Yes, Chiron. He's just outside of podium position, sitting in fourth place. Needs to replace that 29. Let's just take a look at this here. As you saw in the graphic, needs a 41. I don't know. <laughs> From what we've seen thus far. A 32 for Collins. So fourth place is where he will stay. That one much cleaner than his previous switch back 16 20 attempt, but just not up in that 41 podium range there. So here's Hiroke. <laughs> okay. Okay, Hiroke. I see you. What did I say? He was a two-minute drill kind of guy, okay? He waits till the clock almost runs down and then puts down two hammers. The Love jump before this, view. quad four, quad 1800, pardon me. Love that view in the Samsung flow motion. All right, a 34 would get him up into that silver medal spot. A 32 would get him in a bronze medal position. It's got to be up there. That's cab 18. A 34 for Hiroke. He jumps up into the silver medal. Wow. So impressive, especially when you consider, Craig, he had gone 0 for 2 after the style run. I mean, he had to bring it. <laughs> that was absolutely Mando. Also, good look at the hardware there, Dusty Hendrickson holding it. Chris Corning is the coolest athlete I've ever met. Get some. Oh, Jacobs met Chris Corning. Quite the flex. So he did the he did a he did a backside 1980, a switch backside 1620, and then tries a frontside 1800 there from Chris Corning. Not afraid of the big rotations, Brando. No. I'm going to make an assumption. <laughs> so we're inching closer towards handing out the X Games hardware. As you said, Dusty Hendrickson will be handing it out. Rene Rinakongas. 
to go. Okay? Yeah. Thank you. With arguably our favorite trick of the evening. Can't wait to see what he does here. Brando, him and Marcus Cleveland are really the ones that have pioneered that kind of like fakey. I guess it would be Nolly because they kind of pre spin to their regular or natural stance. Double flipping. It is, it's almost a knuckle trick, but yeah, he's taking right. it at the highest speed off the biggest jump we have here at X Games. So here's Rene Rinacongas. He, he's going front 18. Get going, Rene. Yeah. Okay. Remember that S. Look at that S with the nine. He has the highest style score. He already has a 34. Where do the judges put oh this flat 18? Oh my. And he's got an incredible handstand. The course. Right, give him the medal. Give him the medal after that. <laughs> after the jump, I thought it was 50-50. Now get him on the podium. I'd love to take a look at this front 18. See that landing a little bit. With the follow cam, it looked like some snow came up. Was that maybe under rotator yeah, or was that his so hand? His score comes in at a 30, Craig. What'd you see there? Everything looks great. Gimbal God right there behind him filming. Everything looks great. It was maybe just that right there. Yeah. A little bit of an under rotation. But hey, Rene having fun, putting on a show, and one of the best handstands we've seen tonight. <laughs> Salema, Mia, Tora, they're hyped. Rene Rene Kong is dropping hammers. <laughs> No doubt about that, Pat. Okay, it's our current leader, Taika Hasegawa. How do you, <laughs> how do you improve on that which is perfect? I feel a rhetorical question coming. Yeah, with that. Switch method, backside 1980. Yes, I am. Speaking correctly, backside 1980. Switch backside 1980. And then still can do a, what I'm going to assume is a victory lap. Correct. With that backside 180. It doesn't appear that Takaru Atsuka, who will be the final rider to drop in, will be able to catch Taiga's score. Good to go when you're ready. So that certainly was a victory lap. We'll let Takaru go down, though, for his final trick. He wants that 1980, and he gets that 1980. <laughs> that is why I love this jam format. You can go again, and you can go again. You, And as I said, he's in a bar fight with that thing, right? He comes out on top right there. Wow. Talk about perfect timing for Takaru Atsuka. Be interested to see how he gets scored on that. Yeah, very nice. That's a Takaru win, though, for him, right? <laughs> yeah. That's a, that's a personal hey, battle I came that here he to overcame. do this. Yep. Exactly. And our podium is set. And give it up. Taiga Hasegawa wins his first career X Games medal, and it's gold. Let's take a look at how he got here, Craig. Switch method. Probably flying 85, 90 feet. Look at how far down he goes. Almost that last blue line. Then he goes to work. Backside, 1980. Five and a half times round. How about I mirror it with the switch backside, 1980. Five and a half times round. Filthy, Brando. That was a absolute clinic from Taiga Hasegawa. And there you see Dusty Henriksen. A gold medalist himself here at X Games in years past, handing off the gold to Taiga. Let's head down to DC, who's with the gold medalist. Yes, Taiga Hasegawa. Omerito gozaimasu. Congratulations. Your first X Games medal and you go gold. What do you want to say to everybody out there? Yeah. I'm so happy. Uh, thank you so much. I can't believe this happened, but I was thinking, just a stomp. I'm so happy. Uh, thanks for.
is wild. It's like, yeah, people get upset about the whole spin to win thing, but like, I know. it's not that spin to win, really. Like, that is steez. Super style. With the grab and everything, it's just. I'm about wild. it. I'm about all of it. Hiroki, he? I love it. He came correct. Look at like where he was starting off with, too. He had a I six. Know. And oh then, my God. one, two, three, thank you very much. <laughs> The speed, yeah, the speed of how fast they're going while spinning like that. And like you were saying before, like landing with all that speed, with all that spin of yeah. momentum is it's difficult. Yep, it's difficult. It requires a lot more than uh, just waking up and going snowboarding every day. You gotta be working on your freaking core, am I right? That is some training. Man. It's craziness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, reaction. that was Inception. That was Inception. I was like, wait, I'm not moving my arms. What the heck is happening? <sighs> oh. Yeah, we were, I don't know how you guys react, but no, we were, we we were, were kind of freaking out. out. We were freaking out over here. We're also freaking out for Mensky Knuckle Hook coming Yeah. Up. Oh, Tiger! That yeah. excites us. So does Home Base. What's going on over Home Base? Yeah, let's bring it over to Saloma. Talking to Mia. I know you're, you're fired up, you're competing in Big Air tomorrow night. I, I know Hasegawa and the gang got you pretty pumped. Yeah, yeah, definitely watching them tonight. It's insane. So yeah, looking forward to it. It was your 17th birthday last week. Yeah. You, you said, said a message to our research staff and you said, I'm going to win slope style. Yeah. Everybody else is going down. Those were your actual words. So I want to know where the confidence comes from when you sent that you were still 16 years old. That what gave you the, the confidence to be like, no, this is mine. I'm going to go and get this gold medal. I don't know. I think obviously I fell last year here. I think since then I was just like, I'm winning it. I'm going to win it. So yeah. She pretty much created the future yeah. in her mind before it happened. So of course it was going to happen. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Deep manifestation. Powerful. Yeah. We're taking a look at your run. You know, the judges said you equally dominated in the rail section and the jump section. Usually it's one or the other. I was saying to Tora earlier, I've never seen someone look so natural on a snowboard where yeah. it's just like, it looks like you're walking. Where does that come from? I don't know. Just going snowboarding every day and enjoying it. I think, yeah, that's the most important thing and I think where it all comes from, really. Yeah. She's a shredder at heart, <laughs> thanks to her parents. You had an yeah. incredible upbringing. Shredder for life. But the coolest thing with me talking to other riders, guys and girls, they all look to you for inspiration. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> you, you you travel around in an RV uh, with your parents. Tell me a little bit about what that lifestyle is like during the season. Yeah, it's, um, it's definitely cold, <laughs> for sure. But yeah, you know, it allows me to go snowboarding every day and enjoy it for what it is. There was another person who came up in an RV with their family. I think his name was Sean White. Yeah. It worked out pretty good for him. <laughs> a lot of a lot of talk about how you get fired up for a competition uh, backstage, what you're listening to. Big Metallica fan, am I, am I right? Yeah. Big Metallica fan. <laughs> uh, what, what are your songs? What are you listening to? Why, why metal? How'd that become your choice? I don't know. It's just fast. Just fast, fast and hard. music, yeah. Gets me hyped. Yeah, sick. And you've been to see Metallica. Yeah, I've been to see Metallica. Is it true you caught Hatfield's guitar pick? Yeah, it is. I've got it here in the hotel. You're lucky child. I'll bring it everywhere with me. How do you catch a guitar pick? I didn't, well, I yeah, don't know. No, you it. caught it, you caught it. Just we, a woman who found it on the floor. <laughs> it, it came right from my face, fell on the floor. And I was looking for it and I picked it up and it was like shining like gold. And oh, I just ran out that's of the awesome. before I could get it. Good luck to you Thank in you. Big Animal. We're so excited for your career. Uh, we
We've still got Alex Hall coming up tonight, chasing it in Knucklehawk, Ski Knucklehawk. Stay with us, guys. It's going to be a lot of fun. Games Aspen is brought to you by Pacifico. Rude for those who know that every day brings new adventures. Discover responsibly. And OKX Web3, the most secure all-in-one Web3 wallet. Don't you love when these new stars just put it down at X Games yeah. and then all of a sudden, or sorry, these rookies at X Games, yeah. they just all of a sudden are on ESPN, ABC, yeah. and they're the new faces just like that overnight. No, oh, definitely, and they deserve it. They put a lot of work. They they, they came and they, they had a plan. They had a run that they wanted to do, and they landed it and they made it. That's right. And that's sick. Giving all the flowers to him. All the flowers all the to flowers. Mia Brooks. All the flowers. Oh, Mia, it's just so sick. I just love that she's a metalhead. That's so dope. A metalhead? She's a metalhead. So sick. I do too. Knucklehuck is coming up, chat. I see Knuckle you. Knucklehuck! We're getting, we're getting close for our final event of Saturday night at X Games Aspen Ooh. 2024. Yeah, Mia's got the best energy for sure with chat. Yeah, she's the sweetest. Who's going to win the Knucklehuck? Yeah, what's the vibe? Who's the crowd favorite? Who's the chat favorite? Let's see it. Drop it in the chat. Knucklehawk, to close us out, as Salema said, it's going to be fun. Chiro Beche, Jack from Argentina, Beraloche. <laughs> Beraloche. Gracias, mi amigo. <laughs> Jesper, I'm seeing some Cody. A lot of Jesper, Harlow. I mean, look, just look oh. at that. Jesper, Cody, Harlow. That's pretty awesome yeah, that sick. they're all competing. How is Matei? Matei, unfortunately, got food poisoning. No, his belly. His poor he belly. He had to knock out. He had to stay out. But he's sending love and, and good vibes to the homie. He, yeah, he did. He had some really yeah. good vibes. That's good. Because that must be kind of hard to sit on the sidelines knowing you could probably win an event. I know. But he was chilling. Did it happen today or it happened the other day? I mean, we didn't really get into it. No, we really didn't get into it. We didn't want to like. I'm sure we did. We just didn't want to like. You know when like you're kind of queasy and then you start talking about it. Worst. Yeah. We yeah, didn't want to yeah. do that. No, no, no. Um, Larry Spins wants me to throw some skis on and do my own knuckle hucking. I mean, okay. that would be entertaining if you like bales. If you like bloopers and bales. Which is everybody likes bales. Throw Gabby and I on some skis. Sure. I'm Jesper for that. sure. I think Jesper's the the chat favorite. It seems to be. Smart yes, Breakers, sure. Gabby, we rode together at Camp of Champions back in the day. Hey, Camp of Champions, shout out. Nice to see ya. Camp of Champs. This, that was good. That was fun. That was, was fun a good, out good era. Wrestler. Yeah. Mini underscore 136 on Twitch. I just woke up at 4.30 a.m. to see the Knuckle Huck. Wow. We salute you. Good morning. Dedication. Good Go morning. Grab yourself a coffee if that's what you're into. <laughs> Settle in. <laughs> Yeah. It's going to be a show. This this lineup is quite stacked. Yeah. It's it's the perfect lineup. We do miss you, Mate. And we're getting some some lovely people coming back. It's more athletes coming into the Chipotle Athlete Lounge. So it's going to be wild in here for the Knuckle Hug. It is going to be wild here. There's we are very it. excited. Are you excited because you see a sandwich? I, I, <laughs> did you see me? I just saw a sandwich go by. Look, I've not left this <laughs> studio know. laboratory. So I forgot to eat dinner. But you had some chips. It's all good. He, so, yeah, exactly. Where else would you rather? I had some chips? delicious Chipotle chips. They were good. <clears throat> you shared with me. That was nice. Yeah. The Chipotle Athlete Lounge. We are? This is, yeah, this <laughs> is where we are. Yo, check it out. Start list. Oh, yeah. Everybody knows crowd favorite, Jesper Shatter. He's going to go switch double backy. Yeah. Hopefully. I'm rooting for everyone on this list. I think this is going to be a be really great. good show. Henrik is awesome. You know who else puts on a good show, Gabby? Who? Everybody at the home base. Home base. What's Send up? it over there. Check it out. It is going to be a very packed three days here at X Games. Bert Root just jumped to the top of the leaderboard. That was huge. Cat 1260. Oh. Brooks in X Games mode. 1440! What? Are you not entertained? We promised.
promised you star power under the lights. Oh, oh my God. gosh! That is what we got. We love the Thayer's Daily Refresh, just reminding us how much has gone down over the course of the last two days here at X Games Aspen 2024. And I am pleased to welcome in a very special guest, the one and only Nick Gepper, four-time X Games gold medalist in men's ski slope style, who now is about to compete in ski superpipe for the first time. Nick, you were retired essentially a little over a year ago. You said, I don't want to compete anymore. And, and what happened that has you in the position that you're back at X Games um, with a new energy and a new attitude and, and trying Superpipe for the first time? You're exactly right. I was done. I didn't want to compete anymore. But I took a year off. I did some soul searching. And it's never too late to reinvent yourself. And I'm back, baby, with a new rebrand. And I'm excited to be here. What I, what I like especially about your quote-unquote rebrand is that you decided that you couldn't do things for other people. You had to express who you were. And you took some chances, some real vulnerable chances, in how you started to present yourself in social media. How many followers did you have b b before you made this choice compared to where you have now? Uh, I'd say about four or five months ago, um, I don't know, like 106,000. You know, I'm climbing like 20, 25K, but I'm really trying to get my message out and, and just that, that you can do it. Anybody can do it. And um, just do it for you. I think what people identify with is, is how real you keep it. I, I checked one of your posts the other day where you were talking about what you eat for lunch at the ski area. And I think it costs you like two dollars or something in comparison to when you go to ski areas they're charging you basically 25 to 50 dollars to eat lunch and you just have like sandwich apple and a juice and i think people it resonates with folks yeah i mean i'm from a middle class family i'm from indiana i skied on a 400 foot hill and that's what i brought to lunch they had a microwave in the lodge and i'd warm up my chili that my mom made the night before and I mean, that's how I grew up going skiing, and that's how you can ski today if you want. I mean, I'm wearing jeans in the in the competition tomorrow night, and anybody can do it. Well, I wish that we had more time to talk about this choice that you made to enter Superpipe and develop your skills in such a short time that you compete can compete here at X Games. Wishing you the best of luck tomorrow. And with Thank that, you, we're going to go up to Jimmy Coleman for Thayer's Men's Ski Knucklehawk. Take it away, Jimmy. Thank you, Salim and the fans. They don't want to go home, and we're not going to send them away. They want more. We're about to give it to them here. It's Thayer's Men's Ski Knucklehawk, the last medal event of the night out here, day two of three for competition here, X Games Aspen 2024. What's up, everybody? I'm Jimmy Coleman. That's Tom Wallace. And well, Tom, this thing's only been contested. Listen to that. This thing's only been contested five times prior at the X Games. We've had five different winners. Yeah. Let's talk about two of them. Last year's winner, Jesper Shatter. Jesper Shatter, so incredible. He's so technical, goes so big, and that's the beauty of it. He's tech. He's not doing that one butter move, but he's doing the spins, the combinations, the double flips. He is a showstopper, Jesper Shatter. Let's also talk about Colby Stevenson. He got the win the first year this was ever held here at X Games. Yeah, and he is styly, goes, spins different directions, does different tricks, also hasn't had that result he wanted in big air or slope style. He's going huge tonight in Thayer's men's knuckle hug. I can't wait to see all this action. I know all of them want to see it. I hope all of you want to see it too. All five of our prior winners are here in the lineup tonight. Before we get to it, let's check in with the third member of our crew, Kristen B. Jimmy, do not sleep on Alex Hall in this event. He has already won two silver medals here in Aspen, and he could repeat the record he set last year as the only male skier to ever medal in three different disciplines at one X Games event. And guys, that is so exciting, but lucky for him, if he ends up on the podium here tonight in Knucklehuck, he could 
set that record again, and that's a goal of his. And guys, this, this event falls right into his wheelhouse. Alex Hall told me he skis better in a relaxed setting, and that's exactly what Knuckle Huck is. It is a 20-minute jam sesh. And Alex Hall also told me, guys, he wants to do some quote-unquote weird things out there. We'll see how that creativity translates to this course. Well, this is the proper place to do it. If you've got weird things in your repertoire, this is the place to do it. It's all about expression. It's all about creativity. So eight skiers in the lineup out here tonight. As we mentioned before, it's only been contested five times prior. All five of our winners are here. Talk about the other three. Yeah, we got more people in the field. Cody Lapron coming in through the Slush Cup Finals. Yuho Sastamoinen, Daniel Bacher, all could battle for that medal as well. This field is stacked, and it's going to be fun, playful, flavorful, and we are going to see some tricks. I can't actually tell you what the name is because they're being invented and played out right now in real time. So we're just being told now that Daniel Bacher has dropped out. He got a bigger bronze on Friday night, so he is not going to be in the lineup. So now we are down to seven here as it appears in the jam session. And look at these fans want more. We're about to give it to them. They, they've been out here all day. We've had a jam-packed Saturday schedule, but it's nonstop here going into the late hours of the night in Aspen for one of the funnest events you can watch. So this one, it's a jam session. You're gonna, see, you won't see scores in this one. You're gonna see a live ranking. You'll just see the names sliding around as the judges team how they feel they should be placed as we move through this. And you don't win a medal, you win gold knuckles for this one. That's what it's about. I mean, it is fun, and the name of the game is fun out here tonight. And it's less serious than maybe the big air contest you tune into. You're gonna see big spins, big tricks, technicality, but it's not high stress. Everybody being coached through the process, doing some 1980 we're not going to be tabulating it and tabulating scores like that it's going to be all about who is having the most fun and doing the most creative things across this knuckle that could be featured in any park around the world yeah talk, take, talking about our prior winners 2020 was the first time it was contested here colby stevenson walked out tom knox there 2020 in norway it was alex hall then in 2021 here in aspen henrik harlow quinn wolferman got the uh, the top nod there in 2022 and then of course Jesper Schauder his first ever piece of X Games hardware came out here just last year. Yeah, Jesper Shatter, always so creative, so innovative. We saw him on the slopes out course or earlier this morning doing some insane tricks, pretzel reverting in the air, some super creative rails. It's just going to be so fun. Can't say so, it enough. Count how many times out there I say fun tonight because that this is really about it. So swag and rights, if you want to get your official X Games merch and you're not out here on the mountain this weekend, all you have to do, go to shop.xgames.com and you too can get your official gear. Seen a lot of the fans out here tonight sporting the gear here on the mountain. And uh, again, nobody wants to go home. I mean, it's been a packed house. It's been steady out here all day long. Okay. Right, so it looks like we're about to get underway. There we go. A little bit of a course hold here. And we're going to get Dennis Renalter in here. It looks like they're going to let the alternate go into this event. And Dennis going massive. First run, double cork. So that's what the hold was. Okay. With. with Daniel Bogger dropping out. We thought we were going to go with seven, and they said, no, we're going to let Dennis Renalter in. So a late last-minute entry, and here we go. Okay. And he, he started it off with a bang with the double cork. Nose butter going for it. I mean, this is this is knuckle. Like we're getting it going. The first one's a huge trick. So the judges are looking. How about that? You're standing up there. You were an alternate. You're like, well, I guess I'm watching this unfold. And all of a sudden, right before the time starts, you're like, oh, wait, I'm in. Hold, hold on. Overall impression what the judges are looking for out here tonight. But hopefully get you the gold knuckles as we take our first look here at Cody LaPlante in his second X Games appearance. Oh, another guy 
That's that same trick pretty much that we saw from Dennis on the other side of the lip as we just get absolutely doused by snow here at the end. Watch those skis though. Oh, you can really see it in that Samsung flow motion. He looks for the nose butter, but the one ski like catches up on that. It's just so impressive that he's able to get that rotation still around with that tip catch. Like it was a blatant tip catch on that knuckle. So another X Games rookie in the lineup here out of Finland. This is Juho Seistamonen. Defying physics with mind-bending tricks. I love that tagline on his headshot. Oh, good Lord. That was it all out Superman front diving Misty Five. I mean, he's <laughs> laid out. Watch this as we take another look. Carves off the right side of the skis. He's diving forward, both hands on the snow. I mean, it looks made up. He is redefining physics out here. Uh, that left ski just came off right on impact right there. And for those of you just tuned in, or maybe you're new to X Games, you're like, what is knuckle hug? You see, they're just going off the roller of the last landing of the slope style course. You don't have a lip. There's nothing to give you that pop, that trajectory. It's just sheer will and absolutely sending yourself into these rotations. And of course, style, the name of the game. And I think a lot of people forget the knuckle, yeah, you're, you can do tricks off of it, but the way these athletes treat it, they're skipping the normal landing of the big air and going so far down that the impact on this landing can be so high. Look at Quinn Wolferman. Listen to the oh. reaction from that crowd. He got his gold in this event in 2022. Quinn off the noses. Nolly Bio 1080. I gotta say that trick was almost as minty as that outfit. Good. Cody LaPlante was in that top spot. Now Quinn Wolferman finds himself in the top spot. So just to recap, no scores. It's just going to be a live ranking. We're just under 17 minutes. But watch out. Here comes the style cat. It's Henrik Harlow. Your favorite skier's favorite skier. Switch tail better, butter into the bio nine. Are you going for the Ferris height meter? Yes, you yeah, are. I gotta, gotta hit that. Over. I gotta hit that. That it, was awesome. It got dusted with a little bit of snow a couple runs ago. Let's take another look at Henrik Harlow. Look at the steeds going off the knuckle. He is so fun, so flavorful. Got the new sunnies on, and the way he pops off the tail from the beginning of that knuckle, the grab, diving forward, huge trick, and just signature Henrik style. If you're wondering, some poles, some no poles, there's a big debate in the outside world and in the ski world. Henrik, an innovator in that no pole style and making it look good. Well, here is what's at stake out here tonight. A 20 minute jam session. As we said before, it's basically, it's an overall impression, but I mean, with the criteria down there at the bottom, I mean, you know, you just kind of make it up as you go along. We talk about some of the specifics we've seen pointed out here in the past. Yeah, I mean, they're looking for innovation and creativity. So it's using the whole ski, not just doing a normal jump, buttering pressing, tapping, dragging your hand, rotating in unique and interesting ways, and just innovating with the full purpose of what the skis can do. Our first look at Alex Hall, who's had a big weekend out here already. He's got two silver medals this weekend, one coming last night in Big Air, and the other one this afternoon in slope style. Yeah, so successful already, and I think that takes the pressure off. This this contest is always about just enjoying yourself with all these friends at the top, but also pretty easy to enjoy yourself after a weekend in Aspen where you got two medals. Looking for that tap on the knuckle there. You see him poke those legs out. By the way, Henrik took the top spot after that first run. Alex Hall, he slides into that number four position. So the recipient of the gold knuckles in 2021, Mr. Henrik Harlow in the top spot as of right now. But here comes Park City, Utah's Colby Stevenson.
He just sprayed everybody. He's apologizing to everybody. He just uh, gave that whole side of the corral a giant snow shower. The reason he had to slam on the brakes is because he basically <laughs> landed in the corral down here on this nose butter and hand drag. Watch that left, right hand, I mean, gets that drag, reaches down, gets the safety grab. He's not high off the ground when he's over the knuckle, but then he just drops away from him. I mean, that's going to challenge Hendrick for the top spot. With no lip to go down, he went past that last die line, and he will overtake Hendrick. You called it, Tom. That puts Colby Stevenson in the top spot for now. Still lots of time left on the jam session clock. This is Sweeten's yes for Shatter. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. Okay, okay. See that in slow mo. I mean, Jesper Shatter going in. We've seen him do this somewhat as a switch double backflip before, where he pops, catches the tips, and this one he bounces. This is a combination move. This would score well in Tony Hawk Pro Skater. He combined, com combined that switch backflip right into the next switch backflip. And look, the hands are never leaving the side. The feet are together. I mean, that's just Jesper. In a nutshell. Did you see where he landed that right on the roller? Oh, and you're defending. Oh, winner from last year finds himself in the top spot. Look at that. Jesper Shatter, Colby Stevenson, and Henrik Harlow. You're one, two, three. With theirs, go deep or go home. Snow mushroom and hyaluronic acid. One, milky cleanser. Two, cushion with milky toner. Three, deeply hydrate with new soak it up liquid moisturizer. It hydrates for 80 hours. Thayers. So we're back up to the top of the start order here. Dennis Renalter got in literally at the very last minute as an alternate. Look at this send. There we go. That's Dennis's style. Fell on that first run. The goggles flew off. But this run absolutely sticks it. We've seen a lot of this trick. This trick was invented, popularized, and brought to the scene by Henrik Carlo. And look at the noses there, then reaches down for the safety grab. He's hovering there over that knuckle. I mean, that's very proper how early and how pressed out on the noses he was. He was down there in seventh, and oh, look at Dennis jumps up into the podium there, into that number three position. And here comes Truckee, California's Cody LaPlante. Smooth there, Cody LaPlante with that switch hit. So just steezing it out. And I might tell you guys when we're watching that we're looking for the grab or you're looking for the execution and all these critical things that come down in a more serious slope style comp, but it's not in the cards tonight. He'll slide to that number five position. Let's check in with Kristen. Dennis, describe the energy out here as you're competing. Yeah, it's so nice. Like, look at all the people, the homies. It's such a good vibe, and it really gets you hyped to, like, throw your tricks down and having a really good time. Dennis, congratulations. Let's see you up that score next run. Hyped is an understatement. I mean, you think you're going to watch this thing. You don't get it off the alternate list, and all of a sudden they're telling you, they hold the confidence and say, wait, yes, you are in. And now he finds himself on the huge stage out here tonight. At X Games. Yeah, Dennis's hype meter on the Thayer's hype meter is all the way past awesome, all the way up to maximum. Yuho Seistamonen putting one down here in round number two. Pre run, he was down there in that number eight spot. Again, another one of our X Games rookies out here tonight. Look at this, where he just drags those tails for so long. How does he get into that front flip? I was just about to ask you, how do you do that from dragging the tails to launching yourself forward like that? He honestly is defying what I thought was physically possible. There's nothing to set off of. Oh, He's hovering. He jumps up. The Finn now finds himself in that number two position. Wolfie is the dark horse winner here. The weigh in on the chat there from that fan. Okay, Quinn Wolverman smooth the butter into that one. He came, I talked to him right before this event started and he's here to get a medal. He wants it. He's got all these cool tricks. He's got experience. He's been on top of the podium here in Knucklehuck before. So he's, he knows what it takes and it's a variety of tricks. 
different creative elements and just kind of just having fun and doing great all night long. It's going to come down to who just does that best variety. Yeah, that'll put him up in that number four spot as we keep moving along with Henrik Harlow. Oh, that was such a long butter. That he, is he the butter. Right there, butter. I mean, he <laughs> is the butter guy. He was on the tips of the skis so long. It is so, takes so much strength. You see him start it right there, and he's holding it this whole time. Look at all that time, and then gets the hand. You can see the hand there. Both hands down, lands a bit on the hips, but the ability for him to drag across that whole knuckle, it's a 360. That's not an incredibly challenging trick for these athletes. From a young age, my dad was just like stoked on getting me out, doing a bunch of different things, and and the crossover for every sport really works well. Going back to ski, it's pretty funny how like back to back all my activities are. We usually like just have so many activities in a day planned that there's not much time to like sit around. Pretty much anything that has to do with action sports and being outside, I'm out there doing it. My favorite part about sled axis skiing is just being out on your own and having so much terrain at your yeah. fingertips. You know, you can literally look like three peaks past and be like, all right, let's go over there. And, you know, within 10 minutes, you're all the way across the valleys. It's really fun and challenging, and you actually get to find different lines that you wouldn't find on skis because you're going uphill. I'm Colby Stevenson. I'm a professional free skier, and I'm from Park City, Utah. There you go, a little look into the life of Colby Stevenson. Right now here at Thayer's Minsky Nugglehawk, he sits in that number three position. That was a little look into my entire season last year, filming with Colby. He is a maniac on the sled, on the skis, and absolutely astounded all of us in the backcountry, just like he's doing out here in Aspen tonight on the knuckle. We're not even at the halfway point okay. yet. It's a 20 minute jam session. We've still got over 10 minutes left to go. We're just now at the 11 minute mark. Switch right side. So spinning both direction, reaches, gets that grab, spins it around there at the end. In the slope style bent, you want to see left and right. In the knuckle hook, it's up to you, but the way he's doing it, it's extra variety, extra credit if you want to say. Judges gotta be loving that. See if this bumps up the place. Oh, and he goes back to the top of the leaderboard. So he overtakes Jesper Shatter. Okay. Wow. Nicely done there by Colby Stevenson. Speaking of Jesper, we're going to take a look at his last run and what it looks like from the athlete's point of view here, courtesy of GoPro. I mean, the yeah. rotation right there, I mean, that's mind-bending. I mean, he's looking over his shoulder. You can see he's going backwards in the GoPro point of view. You can see that he's looking. Then he looks totally uphill, totally away from where he's going, lands for, I don't know, a millisecond, <laughs> and he's back upside down again. Yeah, it was, it was, it was so fast. Oh, yes, for dragging the hand. Okay. They're going to run out of real estate on this landing. They are going so far down. The impact is so big down there. But if you want to get the, a big rotation after the hand drag all the way across the landing, this landing is steep. It's 38 degrees or something so that it can be soft for the big air and for the slope style. But as they fly that fast over the knuckle, look at how high he is and how far he drops out of that. He's got to hit the leg press for the leg strength to be able to stomp that one. Yeah, and again, to, I mean, to do that without a lip and to just propel yourself around. And last year's winner finds himself back in the top spot. He answers back, overtakes Colby Stevenson. So it's Jesper, Colby, and Juho Seistamon in your one, two, three. We're at the halfway mark. Ten minutes gone. Ten minutes left to go. We're going to take a quick break. And we come back, we'll have the second half of Thayer's men's ski knuckle huck. We're not going anywhere. This is being brought to you commercial free at 
here tonight. So we are going to keep the party rolling here, Tom, for the final 10 minutes of Thayer's Mint Ski Knucklehawk. That's right. Okay. You heard it. Now you can read it. It's I, commercial free. I thought I had a second to catch my breath and try to comprehend the physics to buy tricks, but I guess I'm not going anywhere. Just when you thought you were going to get a minute to think for a second, no. We're right back into it. Commercial free. We go back up to the top of the order. Dennis Renalter. Oh, Dennis, keeping it smooth and stylish. Major points on that one. The cork 540 looking for the tail grab. So we saw that the variety of tricks so far for Dennis. We saw the nose butter double cork 1260. That sounds like so much. It's three and a half full rotations. This time, one and a half full rotations. But at the same point, that's this event. It's not always about the biggest spins. It's also how the spins look. So we'll take another look here at Cody LaPlante as we're working our way towards eight and a half minutes left to go here. Cody coming in switch here. What? Whoa. How do you launch into that coming in switch off of that knuckle? I don't know how. This is not your typical jump. I've seen him do this trick on like a normal park jump, but it is not a normal park jump. It's flat. He's hovering over that knuckle. It's basically that switch 540 start that he pretzels back to three. It's a switch Lincoln loop with the tail grab. It's corked out. It's stalled. It's so difficult. He was down at seventh. Oh, Cody puts himself in a podium, podium contention there. He jumps up into third, so he's going to overtake Juho Seistamonen, who is on course right now, by the way, with a chance to answer back. Okay. Uh, I'm starting to on. just lose my mind watching Juho ski. He honestly is just so impressive, so fun. And just fascinating to watch. I mean, that diving forward off that one and doing the double misty. I mean, it's just, the just crazy. Let's see what happens here. Oh, just the ski, the ski pops off. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Just barely going down. Yeah, it highlighted that he was standing for So looking at the replay there, you see that the left ski came off. Quinn Wolferman. Previous winner of this event, he got his gold in 2022. He now finds himself in that number five spot. Aspen 2024, it's his fifth X Games appearance. All of those appearances have been in this Knuckle Huck event. Okay, Quinn also bringing a double variation in here. He's going to do some smooth, smaller rotations, but he's also going to push that limit, some technicality of what you can do off a knuckle. Everybody behind us just went mental right now. Did you hear that? Yeah, I mean, I'd be going mental too if I had just watched that with my own eyes, which I guess I should be going mental. I should have hit the Thayer's hype meter because that had me losing my mind. I, it's a lot to process at this speed right now, but my goodness, I mean, everybody around us just erupted on that one. Again, he was in that number five spot. And okay. he's back up on top. Faded Rooster says so minty, and the judges obviously think so too. <laughs> really is. I mean, so fun. Quinn came to play tonight. He's clearly going for it. That's new and different tricks from the year we saw him win this event before. So... Thayer's Men's Ski Knucklehawk being brought to you commercial free out here tonight. We're in the bottom half of the jam session here. Quinn Wolferman has just taken the top spot. Here comes Henrik Harlow. Oh, switch to the last die line right there. The Style Master puts another one down. I mean, barking as always, Henrik Harlow. Just going for it. I mean, did you see that? Did you see that comment? Butter by BTS should be playing while Henrik is skiing. Oh, it should be. It should be. <laughs> Just having so much fun. He's smiling. Switch tail butter double. He's slapping it up. He's right here. I'm going to try to get a high five, but I can't. Oh, that was one of the best ways of the night. One. Oh, my goodness. I got one. He just jumped into that number two spot. It's Wolferman, Harlow, and Shatter. Here comes Alex Hall. Okay, this is getting ridiculous. There's no names for the stuff we're seeing out here. It's just mayhem by these athletes. Alex Hall, Henrik Harlow. I mean, the crew just keeps going nonstop.
Look at that way he pops that one. He's upside down looking at the landing. It's so crazy. Stalled out, a little extension of the body. Everything is just so unique. So he'll, Alex Hall jumped up two spots there. He was an eight, so that'll put him in that number six position. Did someone just hand you the suitcase with the knuckle? Yeah, I'm not going to what lie. I just saw. I got the knuckle here. I, I think I'm going to get to hand this thing out at some point here soon. Colby Stevenson back in. He currently sits in that fourth place position. Okay, he's double corking as well. Everybody's just going for it here tonight. You can hear him exclaim, he's stoked on this one. Everybody's pushing the limits, comes in switch, the switch three, butters around, then looks for that opposite safety grab, going just crazy. The hype is real from the kid. Just got a knuckle from Colby himself, who said that one was nuts. So Colby Stevenson, Quinn Wolferman, Henrik Harlow, now your top three. Your winner from last year, Jesper Shatter sits in that number four position. I don't know what to expect anymore from Jesper either. I mean, he's so fun to watch in the knuckle. And if you haven't seen his rail edits and videos, he's just the most creative technical skier. Go watch one of his GoPro videos, his unrealistic videos, him sliding a loop box. There's nothing Jesper can't do on a pair of skis, including this one. Presses the tails out, then pops off into that forward Barani rotation. Spots the landing. Just defying it, the way he spins. So he's going to jump back into that number okay. three position. So Henrik now on the outside looking in. Still have two and a half minutes left to go. But before we get to this next round, what could be the final round, let's take a look at some of the sights and sounds of the weekend out here at Aspen Snowmass, courtesy of our friends over at Samsung. <laughs> much that has happened in the last two days out here. We still have one more set of hardware to hand out tonight, and then we get to do it all over again tomorrow for a third and final day of competition out here before we say goodbye from Aspen. This will be the last round of runs, Tom. This is what I'm being told. This is the final round. You have the hardware here at our broadcast desk. Here we go. Dennis Renalter with his last attempt. Oh, Dennis. So smooth, Austrian's fi Austria's finest out here, keeping it steezy, everything from the 12 down to these fives, tapping that knuckle. And again, to tell that story, I mean, just standing up there, not thinking at all that there's a chance that he's yeah. in this, and at the last minute, you have Daniel Bacher dropping out, and then he finds himself in the event. Welcome to the X Games, Dennis Renalter. Cody LaPlante. Sits in that number five spot, heading into this last hit switch. Oh, man! Cody LaPlante tapping the knuckle, then dipping into that double cork. That would have been an insane trick. Cody got into this event through the Slush Cup game that X Games put on here in Aspen and won this spot and came out to prove what he was worth and did just that. That would have been an NBD never been done trick if he would have put that one down. So time winding down once the clock expires. We'll finish out the run over here. Last look here at Finland's Juho Sice the Monin. Okay, Juho. <laughs> But this time, gets it. So far forward on it. We're going X Games mode, why not? This is what it's all about. Dives forward, there's all the way up. Absolutely unreal on the hype meter. Look at the bottom line. Those lines are there to help them spot the landing, Jimmy. And when you skip all the lines, how are you gonna spot where you're coming down? I mean, he blew way past that last die line right there. 
So he's down in eighth prior to that run. It'll move him up two spots right there, puts him at that number six spot, but well done out here tonight by another X Games rookie. Quinn Wolferman got the win here in 2022. He's looking at a potential silver as of right now, you have the gold knuckle in your hand. I got the knuckles You're on my keeping knuckle. It warm. I'm keeping it warm for the winner of the knuckle huck event. I'm getting ready to run out there when we're awarded the final result. And Quinn Wolferman, I mean, sitting in second right now. And he's got other stuff. He's been going big already, but one more massive trick to bump him up ahead of Colby Stevenson. Can he do it? Okay, Quinn Wolferman. We saw him more on the bio rotation or the misty rotation. This one is flat. You can hear him. I heard him say, that's how you end the contest. Watch this switch butter. And he's almost flat rotation, maybe court, just unique rotation all its own. Looks like the way Henrik Harlo spins and just skiing away like he never left the ground. We call that the after bang. It's gonna stay in second though. Shout out Montana. So, give the shout out to Montana right there. So yeah, you called it staying in second there. So here comes Henrik Harlow on the outside, looking in. Henrik Signature invented that trick. The first person to do the nose butter double cork of the knuckle. We're talking 10 plus years ago. He invented that and he's still out here competing in X Games with the best of the best, bringing the style, the flavor, and of course, more dog barks than you've ever heard. So he's eyeing up the monitor. Oh, and okay. Henry jumps back in. In the second. Into the number two position. So now. Boom, 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 boom. West side <laughs> So now it's Colby Stevenson, Henrik Harlow, and Quinn Wolferman. Jesper Shatter now finds himself sitting in that number four spot. He's going to get to ski last by virtue of being last year's winner. This is the final runs here at Thayer's Men's Ski Knucklehuck. Colby Stevenson sitting in that top spot, but this is Alex Hall for his last attempt. And oh no, he can't hang on. Oh, Alex Hall, this is a signature kind of pullback that he does on so many different tricks. He goes for that hand drag in order to create the, the momentum stop to be able to bring that rotation back. That would have been insane if he was able to put that one down, but love to see Alex Hall always pushing the limits. Skied in slope style this morning, walked away with a medal, comes back out here at night, hours and hours later, and just sending it as always. Yeah, that's two medals for him on the weekend. I mentioned he got a big air silver last night, followed it up with the slope style silver today, so he's had a great weekend out here in Aspen. Colby Stevenson in the top spot, your 2020 winner, looking at a, his second potential gold here. Colby Stevenson, you have got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me with that. That was outrageous. Nose butter wraps up. That's all the way over. I can't stop hitting the Thayer's hype meter. Unreal. Hits the nose butter, wraps up, gets into the seven, then all the way over to 14. This is incredible. I've never seen that. Just the way Colby's doing it. I mean, he's sitting in first place. If that doesn't help him absolutely claim these golden knuckles, I don't know what will. But that being said, Jesper Shatter definitely has something to say about that. Yeah. He's a gold medalist or gold knuckle winner from last year, Jesper Shatter. He's last to go. So it's Stevenson, Harlow, Wolferman. One thing's for sure, we're definitely going to have our first repeat winner in the history of men's ski knucklehuck out here at the X Games. The question is now, which one of them is going to be? Jesper, not one to be counted out, though. He's also going nose butter. I mean, the style. Did you see that landing? It was like he never left the ground. So it's a it's a trick we've seen a lot of tonight. Staple of the Knuckle Huck event, the nose butter double cork 12. Jesper Shatter trying to put one more big rotation down to get that top spot back or at least bump up into that top three.
Jesper Shatter waiting for the judges' score now. Colby sitting in that top spot. Heard him over talking with the athletes. That seemed to be a never been done. They were discussing discussing it on that nose butter 14. So everyone waiting for the big reveal. He'll jump into the podium, but he's not going to overtake the top spot. Colby Stevenson becomes the first person to ever repeat a win here in the history of ski men's knucklehuck at the X Games. He did it. The first time it was ever contested back in 2020, and he's done it again here in 2024. But how about Henrik Harlow there with the silver and last year's winner of the Golden Knuckles, Jesper Shatter, walking off with bronze here today. I mean, what an all-out battle. How many lead changes did we see out here tonight? Tom just completely bolted out of the booth right there with the Golden Knuckles. He couldn't wait to get out there to hand those things out, but what a way to cap off the last competition of the night out here under the lights and out of the booth and right into the winner's circle. Congratulations, Colby Stevenson, Colby, Kristen, get in there. So many lead changes in that knuckle hook competition. What gave you the competitive conviction to take the top spot? Uh, I don't know, man. Everyone's so good. You just go and try to do the tricks you plan and maybe try some new stuff. Yeah, I learned a couple tricks right there. It was a progression session from everyone. I, some of the craziest knuckle stuff I've seen. Colby, thank you so much and congratulations. Enjoy this moment. So there you go. History was made out here tonight. It's been a contested five times prior, five different winners. And tonight here in Thayer's men's ski knuckle hunt, Colby Stevenson claims his second ever set of gold knuckles. Absolutely amazing. Colby <laughs> Stevenson, round of applause. Hey! Everyone's clapping, everyone's clapping. <laughs> what a way to cap off a Saturday night X oh, Games Ask 2024. What a day. What it has a been day. a marathon of good times. Yes. And great oldies. You're still here with us, chat. We love you so much. You guys have been great. Around. So great that, in fact, we were going to be giving away a nice pair of Shady Rays. Ooh, the Shady Rays. Because y'all helped us hit our follower subscriber goal earlier. We do have that information right here. Gabby, let me get a drum roll. And the winner of the Shady Rays is Charles Tolbert. Hey! On YouTube. Yes, sir. Uh, so Charles Tolbert. X Games will send you a direct message. Make sure you have your direct messages open up on YouTube so that they can get in touch with you and send you some pretty sweet Shady Rays. Woo! Um, that's it. Two days down in the history books for X Games Aspen 2024. Yes. We're not done yet. Maybe do we save the best for last? I think so. Four more events tomorrow. Stick with us. I'm also going to be giving away the signed jersey yes. covered in my coffee. And Lucky all of fan. the amazing athletes we've had on our show during this weekend. have signed it. They've signed it. Yeah. And Eileen Gu. Trouble Listen. Andrew. Oh my God. Salema. Scotty. Everybody. And who Literally are we going to get? We're going to get more tomorrow, Saturday night. That's a wrap. We love you, chat. We'll see you then. Have a great Have night. Have a good night. Much love. Peace.